What's up? What the what the faggots? Uh, come town for this is uh, th- this American come. This American come. This is the big. This is the big one, dude. Oh, I know yeah. I said the last one was big, but this one's even bigger than the last this one. Huge. This is a plus size. This is an Ashley Graham size podcast, BBW, dude. This is yeah. two, two dope comes. Uh, <laughs> two dope comes on Radio W come. Uh, W come Y come W come Y W C U M. Hey, this is okay. Um, so let's introduce ourselves, Nick. Yeah, Nick, uh, aka the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. We got Stav, aka the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, and Adam, of course. What's up, Puerto Rican rattlesnake? Adam Friedland, what's going on? Yeah, everyone? we're the yeah. Puerto Rican rattlesnakes of comedy. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to uh, nice to have Adam back. Yeah, yeah, dude. great. Um, yeah. Yes, it's great to have you back, Dan. Uh, was, thanks, guys. Yeah, it feels great to be. <laughs> it was it was cool having a guest, but Dan really kind of stunk. Yeah, Dan uh, wasn't as good as you, buddy. Yeah, that's how we feel for uh, sure. Yeah, we were like Wait, saying, can, "What's that?" Can I be real for a second on the podcast? I like. Uh, I know of course, this is a one hundred percent real. I know zone. that we're this like joking around, talk. like. All right, you guys, like, I think poo-pooed on me a little bit on that last episode. No. No, he didn't. What are you talking about? Dude, I got texts from people. They were like, first of all, you lied to us about being the host of Come Down. <laughs> Second of all, your boys are roasting you, dude. Dude, you I don't You guys were so. flat hand Brandon Wardell roasting me on the pod, and I wasn't even on That's it. That's not true. That's a I wasn't even lie. on it to defend myself. I don't know who told you that, but they're a fucking yeah, who liar. who that? Name names, dude. I mean, the friends of mine. People well, that listen to the podcast. They're lying, dude. We didn't say a negative word about you. We're glad that you're back. Dude, we... it's on. Okay, first of all, it's a podcast. It's recorded. You can check it. Like, you can, like, look it up. What like, did we say then, bitch? Yeah, we didn't say anything. You said that I ruined the podcast and that I'd never be on no, it again. No, never. Maybe in private conversation, I've, like, maybe offered constructive criticism about your behavior. Look, you dude. You never gave me constructive criticism. Yeah, you I've just shit on me when I wasn't on no, the No, I've in said a couple of times. Look, you need to understand that when you come in here... To the Anthony Cumia Studios at the top of the Empire State Building. This is the eagle's nest of podcasting. Okay, the don't, stakes are higher. Don't, don't put this p like make me out to be a PC pussy ass bitch. Don't make that's this all are. about your political bullshit that's where you're you mad are, at. Bitch. No, no, that's this is bullshit, an alpha dude. male podcast. This is about this, this is, is about no. Males. This is about friends. That started comedy together. That are trying to fucking do a podcast together and not shitting on each other. They're shitting on everyone shit else. We like, didn't. Sh- we didn't shit on you. Okay. Dude, nobody relax. Nobody relax. shit on you. I'm I hot. Even... I'm hot right now, and it's not. I just. I would expect dude, you're about to get banned. I honestly. can't. Yeah. I can't believe you would even do this. Don't ban. You would accuse me of these things. Okay. Get Dan back. Especially get Dan me, back. Considering I'm. The, I bought all the shit. I'm. Everyone That's knows true. I'm the gear. I'm the gear guy of the crew. I'm the one that makes all this shit happen, and you're going to say that I did something to sully our friendship. Dude, I had... Um, when I'm, I went to B&H Photo, and I had to deal with those, that... You know who wretched owns that place. People. You know who owns that place. I know place. who the fuck owns that place. You know Continue that sentence. I don't like it. Continue them. that sentence. Well, I'm not what going to. What kind of person? I'm not dealing with Just that. Just say you what, what kind of person. Guys, you know what? relax. If you don't like the way the pie... I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No. I'm going. Nick, come on. I'm done. Nick, don't be a... I'm, I'm leaving. Uh, I'm just talking it out. Part of a podcast, we're going to be accused of, of being. Some Dude, kind this of is why we got a pat. This Stop. is why we got a pod. Because uh, if we have beef, you work I'm it out on the pod. No, if you have beef, you work it out on the Fuck. pod. Adam, shut up, dude. Come on, dude. That's what pods are for. They're for working out beef, dude. This sucks. What dude, you fuck? got beef, you bring it to the pod. This isn't married. Dude, Nick is a shit. bitch, dude. He just left his podcast equipment here. Look, we have to do this. We have to finish this podcast. We take over. I am now the host of. Dude, come tell Town. him to come back. Shut up. Shut up. All right, I'm the host now. All right, all right, all right. I'm the host of Come Town, everyone. Hello, welcome to Come Town. It's now a Nick Mullenless podcast. Because uh, he's a this Nick, is pff, Adam. Okay, sorry. You know what? This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work with two people. I can't do it with you, man. I just don't think you have. Uh, Dude, you have we're what better said. off without Nick. Look, let's be honest. Let's just open the door, okay, to the Anthony Cumia Studios. Do you want park. Nick? You just open the door, and whoever's hanging out. We'll let them be our third co-host. Dude, if you want Nick, you can... Hey, hey, it's me, Nick Mullen. Diarrhea, diaper, uh, diaper rash, diarrhea. My diaper has autism. Stop it, all right? Save I'm, it. I'm Nick Mullen. I, we need a my, third. <laughs> I'm not going to have you roast my good friend, Nick. All right. I would never... 
Excuse me, is this the Jew? Oh the my Asrian? God! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Look who we have here! Oh, oh my God! Who? Who? We, oh, hey, is this Seth? Seth, Seth Dickfield. Dickfield. Oh, it's hey, me, buddy. hello, boys. Wow. Wow. How are you? Oh, you have a seat. This is a great wow. time of your year because actually, Nick, who you know, you know Nick. Oh, Martin. I hate that guy. Well, you oh, know, is he's not here? Is he's he? He's my good friend. This is. It's actually. And I won't have you sully his name, but he actually just left. And we're looking for a third co-host, and it looks like you're the third co-host oh, of Oh, boy. Oh, I despise him. This is him. actually pretty amazing how every time Seth Dickfield is here, it's like a Peter Parker kind of Spider-Man kind I of thing. I don't know what you're getting at at all. I don't know. Okay. Um, um, that's crazy. Well, I'm here now, and I tell you what, I love podcasting. <laughs> that's great, buddy. I love it. I We've love, this. I love talking Seth, into dude. the microphone. What, go Shoot. Shoot. I'm, I'm, I'm all yours. It's good to have someone... Like I am okay. I don't want to talk shit on Nick while he's not here. Like he talked shit on me last week, but Dude, like don't talk shit about my friend. Go ahead. It's just his politics get kind of exhausting. Oh, I'm so mad at this PC. I'm so mad at this. You know, this. that's the worst part about him. I'm one hundred percent. That's what I like about Seth Dick. You know, when I hear PC, what I think in my mind is not politically correct, but pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's how I think. I yeah, I'm proud to be PC, a pretty cool guy. Yeah. But, so uh, last time you were here, you were talking about Lady Ghostbusters. Oh, I saw it. I got it on uh, Torrent, but I donated money to Rain, uh, the ticket price for the movie. So women that are raped will get the money for the Lady Ghostbusters, which I illegally downloaded at my, wow. to watch at my girlfriend's apartment. That's and great. Uh, I, it was great. Uh, I did, you know, I mean, I only watched the first five minutes, and then I had to, you Is know. Is it true that they uh, that they vacuum them up into their pussies? Uh, <laughs> Is that how they vacuum the ghosts? That's one hundred percent true. <laughs> uh, that's how exactly you? how the movie goes. That's good. It's natural, you know. Uh, you know, and uh, what I was more afraid of than the ghosts while watching the movie was uh, the men in the film. Oh yeah, because you know what's what is a ghost going to do? You know, maybe it's scare true. you a little bit. A man, uh, well, he's going to do the wage gap. <laughs> he's going to do the wage gap at you. So he's true. not going to pay you in, uh, as much money. That that's is true. so fucking And true. I, I just heard, don't think that's fair. I heard you know, it is kind of messed up that the four female protagonists of the new Ghostbusters earned the least amount of money out of any actors on that film. That's oh, yeah. true. And that the original true. Ghostbusters were around in the 80s. Yeah. And so even adjusting for inflation, they made way more money. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the female Ghostbusters had to do so much more work considering the increase of ghosts in New York since 9-11. <laughs> Yo, can you, uh, uh, so Seth, mad. could you actually like, you know, I, d I don't know mm. if this is cool or not for a podcast, but could you give us a couple like good bits like that from the Ghostbusters movie, like a couple lines that you remember? The girl, uh, the girl uh, Ghostbusters one? No, I actually don't remember any of the lines from the movie. I put the film on, and then I looked in the mirror, and I pat myself on the back <laughs> for the next two hours, and I kept saying, good for you. Good for you, <laughs> Seth. Don't let, those, don't let those bad guys on Reddit tell you what you can or cannot enjoy. Are you looking forward to anything else? It sounded you asked, sound like you asked if this was the Juno Diaz reading. Um, oh, by the way, Seth, do you want snacks or something? Like... Yeah, we have actually we have like uh, chocolate. Oh, like is these M and M's? Oh, these are M and M's. Yeah, they're, they're these regular M and M's. Oh, these are peanut M and M's. No, no, no yeah. they're regular M and M's. No, they're. Oh, peanuts. I had some earlier. I can't have peanuts. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Hum, hum. <laughs> these are definitely peanut M and M's. Oh yeah, no, you oh no, I'm allergic to literally everything. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, oh, uh, how are you? Are you I, got, I don't feel so good. I have to go get help. I'm gonna go look for help. I'm uh, sorry. Someone has to stay here with me. I'll well, stay here with you, but like, do you? What, do you have like an EpiPen or do you have like I don't. I don't have anything. I just need to, people to tell me I'm a victim until I feel better. <laughs> Please console me. Please, someone tell me how much of a victim I am. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're allergic to peanuts, we, we need to get oh, like God, some medical my, I feel my here. throat's closing up. I feel, do you have I like feel like I'm being persecuted. Contact? I feel, oh, yes, it's in my wallet. Here, call my... Oh, I hate him so much, but uh, please call my cousin, okay. What's Baltimore your cousin? comedian R Ralph Horowski. Okay, he I'm calling him right now. Bring, bring. Yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Ralph. This what is the fuck is this shit, yo? Ralph, why, it's yeah, me. Why y'all fucking wake me up, yo? Wow, Ralph, how, you just showed up here? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yo, I was just in the other room taking the shit, yo. <laughs> Anthony Kumia is my idol, yo. <laughs> I love the way he be treating them blacks on Twitter, yo. Dude. He got a real way about himself. Okay, so let's clear yeah, things up right is, now. What the hell are y'all up to, yo? I just had a peanut and I think I'm dying. Oh, my God, this about is... fucking Tom, yo. Ralph, you yeah. are... 
a Baltimore comedian. Yeah. And you're also cousins with Seth? Yeah, Seth, Seth Dickfield is my Jew cousin. Well, we call him that. <laughs> he ain't no Jew, actually, bloodline-wise, but we don't trust him because he wear glasses and he be doing he be uh, eating bagels sometimes. He's just a Jew as style. He does it as yeah, style. Yeah, and honestly, that's even worse the way I look at it, yeah, <laughs> to, have, to, be, to choose that type of lifestyle. I can't. You know, my outrage has cured me of my peanut allergy. <laughs> I can't believe you say <laughs> these things. Seth, Seth you're yeah. back. <laughs> You're back. You're I'm all, back. I'm off live. the ropes, and I've had enough of this bullying from my yeah, you from my, s- my ethnic white cousin. So, so Ralph, do you find yourself in this uh, sort of a similar political bent to yo, Seth? Yo, uh, first of all, yo, I don't be doing no politics, yo. I'm a moderate, yo. That's, <laughs> I'm on both sides. I, I see the good on both sides. You know what I mean? Like, I say, I say honestly, yo, you want to get abortions, yo, do that, because who trying to wear condoms? I ain't trying to wear no condoms. Yeah. So you get them abortions going, but you trying to be president after you had an abortion? No, thank you, yo. <laughs> you cannot be doing that shit. Like, yo, get them shits, but you can't be hold the public office after you got an abortion, after you fucking killed a beautiful wow. ass baby, yo. Wow. That, that baby could have played despicable. third base for the fucking Orioles, yo. I know, first of all, sports should be illegal. Second of <laughs> oh all, my God. all Take the it back. never. The uh, A's, never. A's, Ravens, Ray Rice was framed. My other cousin worked <laughs> at that elevator, and he ain't seen none of that shit go down, oh. yo. Y'all ain't see the real tapes, yo. There should be a statue of every one of Ray Rice's victims. Sports should be illegal yo. except for lady soccer. Shut up, yo. Wow. Don't, don't, wow. I'm being victimized. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> you know, if, yo, every time Seth be talking when we was growing up, we would just molest him, yo, until he shut up. <laughs> Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. Yeah? What? All right. I'm about to molest you, yo. I this like is, the way okay. you be looking at Listen, me. Listen, I'm the on, only yeah. host... <laughs> I'm the only host left of Comtown right now, and I feel like a responsibility. Yeah. Well, how about is this? there some reason you need to go for I feel some responsibility? Nobody likes the word "come" anyways. Yeah, well, I it's, love cum. It was a bad podcast. That's, we're doing a new podcast okay, I now. I just like that for I, real comedians. Oh, wait a second. Is this? Am I on this podcast yet? Yeah, yeah you're on our podcast on this right podcast? now. Oh, my bad. Yeah, what y'all need me to do, yo? Okay, so Ralph, I'm just. Th- oh, okay, I, I'd like I you to be respectful. I'd me. like you to respect your cousin. Even if fuck him, yeah. even if he is fuck, fuck me, S- screw you, pal. <laughs> oh even God. if he, he is doing whatever the <laughs> blackface up, is of Jews right now, sure. and that's incredibly all, offensive. I ain't got to no me. problem with blackface. Okay, <laughs> first of all, that's history, yo. How are you gonna take history out the history books? Okay. <laughs> All You've right, never huh? read a book in your life. <laughs> books is gay. I, I love will... books. I hang out at the library and I meet first of all, yo. There. First of all. I've read. Have you checked my Facebook? I read The Giver. Thank you very much, yo. Y'all see that shit? Yo, the apple. In one scene, yo, the apple was black and white, but then it turned red, yo. Yeah, I only read the first three chapters, (laughs) but that shit's fucked up, yo. That's a metaphor, yo. I just learned what that word means. You don't even know what a metaphor is. Yeah, it is. It's a it's okay, a truck. It's, it's a, he's it, Ralph is an imbecile. He's a grade A imbecile. Why, so then, why is he your emergency contact? And why did he show up immediately after Yo, you? I was. I told you. I was. Uh, I was. He has at a the very Anthony fast Camille car. Studios. I have a very fast car, yo. That shit ain't street legal. I got six lawnmower engines in there on top of my Ford Turbo Taurus, yo. That's a special kind of Taurus. You got a turbo out Taurus. I got a turbo out Taurus, yo. I got Where do a you spoiler. work? Where do I work? Yeah, yeah. I work out the Sh- Sherwin Williams out Glen Burnie. Oh, nice. Yeah, y'all need any kind of type of paint? Y'all tell me, yo. What I you like need? the Sherwin Williams logo. Yeah, cover the earth. Cover the earth with just, paint. <laughs> hell yeah, yo. That could be the new Contown logo, yo. Cover the earth with jizz. Oh my god. Yeah, y'all. Yo, yo, I took a couple branding and marketing classes over at SS Community College, <laughs> and um, it's got to be strong. Your branding got to be strong, yo. That's Are my you, take on it. Wow. I didn't... You know, Ralph, I'm really glad you can give us these kind of pointers. I just wish that Slav and Nick were yo, here. Yo, did you just fucking look at me, yeah? I don't know. I'm look looking at you. at you right now. So, yo, shut and the I, fuck up, I'm son. a grown man. I'm, I am... You ain't no grown man! I am 47 years old, okay. and you will not speak to me like this. I'm fuck tired you, of yo. it. Yo, I'm that's tired why, of being That's why bullied. our uncle sucked your dick the most. All right. I I don't remember that. Uh, I choose not to. Uh, yeah, I you don't I just... remember that shit, yeah. 
He would take us to the summary zone. So you're and saying... whoever couldn't do the obstacle, <laughs> whoever did the obstacle course the slowest got molested. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you train I champions. Have... That's how you breed champions I out this fucking asthma. house. Yeah, Are I you can't... telling me, okay, look, guys? I, here's my question. Okay, rain is Ralph, yeah. you're 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 implying that your cousin. Yes. Was molested into behaving Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, everybody knows that's how Judaism started, yo. Well, I, you know, I wouldn't disagree with that. I just don't like the presentation of the facts. I wouldn't yeah. say that's incorrect, but you know, maybe I, maybe I chose not to do the obstacle course that fast. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other thing, yo. In the back of the head, everybody knew he liked that shit, yo. No. We would all get together. All right. Is there something wrong guys, with that? Guys, I know that Is there something <laughs> wrong with that? Yeah, we Please would... explain to me in I know the, we're the least homophobic terms possible. I know we're loosey-goosey here on Cometown, but Ralph, I think you're really <laughs> heading into dangerous territory. <laughs> I'm just by spitting facts. That about your cousin. First of all, the, history ain't dangerous territory. Historically, this is what happened to Seth. He would get molested after the summary zone because he couldn't do the obstacle course, and we would all sit in the back of the room pretending to be watching Martin reruns, but really we was listening to him like getting molested and calling him gay. <laughs> that's it. That's history, yo. That ain't nothing that's wrong, yo. Open your eyes. Thank you. Anyway, what was you saying? All right. Well, I'm Seth, I'm really sorry to hear about the constant abuse that you had to face growing up. That's a that, Yo, that was just really he, first of all he ain't grow up with us. That was just during Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, Seth, where did you grow up? Uh, I grew up in uh, Louisiana. <laughs> oh, that's where you get your classic Louisiana. That's, accent that's for. this is a classic Louisiana <laughs> accent. Everyone in Louisiana sounds like this. <laughs> You just sound like, geez, like a real Have Creole. You, yes, it's it's just like, uh, you know, Aunt Jemima speaks this way. <laughs> Uncle Ben speaks this you way. Feel like, yeah, here's, a question, Roni yeah. Got, here's a question, yeah. okay? Because you're from Louisiana... Do you have more of a French perspective on things? Is that <laughs> is that like a? I would say so. I like wearing tight fitted shirts and eating bread that looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, I don't. Yeah, believe, pause. Yeah, I don't. I pause. Don't yeah, women should have to pause. Yeah, my man, gay still. <laughs> that I was, thought you was about to grow out that shit, but I should have known better. First yeah. of all, I love women. Yeah, I, right. It's yeah. both sexually and politically. Yeah, I bet you've gone down on a woman before. Wait, of so course that, I have. Okay, that's gay. That's how you have sex. Yo, I ain't never said you love women, but you're decidedly anti Hillary Clinton. If you I love am. women, why don't you support the woman that's Ooh, not for that's right I, I want First Bernie, but I would have sex with Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I think Hillary is a beautiful woman, and I would enjoy a body in a in a in a in a way yeah, that yeah, would right. result but in both of us experiencing gross. a simultaneous orgasm. But Seth, yo, that shit gross, you yo. You divulged to us that yo, you that had doo doo, yo. Fuck you've, her, yo. You've had That's four so circumcisions. misogynistic. Yo, that bitch got hair like my uncle Donald. Yo. And you know what? I donated all of my foreskin to trans people so that they could create new genitals. Hey, what the fuck did you just say, yo? Donald? What a shitty name. You ever think of that? Donald? Yeah, don't talk that way about my uncle, yo. <laughs> all right, sorry. It's just a bad name. I would never insult anybody's name, yo, especially ugly Donald. Ass bitch, yo. I think she's gorgeous. All right, first of all, let's be a little bit more respectful to women no, and our uh, our that, other yeah. guests. Ralph, listen. What? We, we do Man, know. Man, you're making me mad, yo. I understand that Seth is probably one of the most annoying human beings that yeah. I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Yeah, he was. But we can't. We got to respect other opinions and perspectives here on Come Town. I don't think That's so. the thing that I got upset about listening to the last podcast where Nick and Sav uh, did it with a uh, fa- famous comedian, uh, Dan uh, Soder, without oh, me. Oh, they got Soder, yeah? Instead yeah. of you? They oh, got, that guy's good, they, yeah. They got Soder. That guy's so- funny as hell. Okay, but like... He's a lot better than your dumbass, yeah? You know what I like the thing is, 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 uh, that they is brown nosing. <laughs> is when people do that, is they suck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's much better, yeah. They should do that all the time. Dude, Anyway, okay. what were you saying? I'm just saying that, like, they did the... Uh, Asian voices and uh, South Asian voices. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if that's Yo, something. I love... I, that, about I think that's hour? despicable. You should never do a voice of any kind of race agenda yeah, that doesn't that, belong that to you. That you don't belong to. Exactly. exactly. I wait, agree wait, with that, Seth, too. But you should Seth, never make a man a caricature. You should never do that, ever. Okay, Unless we're in agreement. It's one of those tasteful ones that you get on Times Square where they make you look like a ballerina, <laughs> but your head is very big. Yeah, ballerina, huh? I wonder why my man like that shit. <laughs> My man like wearing two days. <laughs> it, no, it's a very athletically demanding sport. Have you ever seen the calves of a male Did ballerina? You just talk. 
Yo, ballet, everybody knows ballet is just gay stuff, the shit gay people watch to get in the mood to have sex with each other, yo. <laughs> That's how it started, yo. The prince of fucking Russia couldn't get hard, so he looked at men jumping up and down. I, y- y'all think I don't know my history, my motherfucker? I know my fucking history, yo. Dude, but uh, I what think... What are you saying, though, Adam? Listen, I just think that, like, you can make jokes and you can make comedy without having to do belittling stereotypes of of different races. I mean, sure. I think we can... There are a lot of very funny comedians out there. First of all, there's like, truce to stereotypes, okay? Bill Mayer, um, John Mayer. <laughs> you know, these are guys that are really doing it without um, punching down. You know, they're punching... I know all about punching, punching down, up. yeah. I know about punching punching. Y'all ever get in a fight with me? You're, y'all, y'all only hear... Y'all will only hear, like, fucking ten hits. You only punch down. You only hear ten hits. Well, I hit you. You hit the floor. Me and my boys hit you eight more times while you're <laughs> locked unconscious, yo. That's what you hear, my man. So I know a little bit about punching down. <clears throat> anyway, so, yo, this shit's fucking boring, yo. What the fuck? Y'all got any fucking uh, chicken bosses out here, yo? I don't have any chicken pasta. I do have Chicken peanut- bosses. Chicken box. Bosses. No, B-O-X-E-S, bitch. Box. Bosses. Bosses. You don't know what chicken, chicken box boxes? is? Like a boss of chicken. <laughs> yo, I can't be around this motherfucker, yo. There's too many Jews here, yo. You're Jewish, ain't you? I am. Seth is not. And it's He it, might as fucking well. Seth, be, I yo. just want to talk to you about this. I'm not caricature. Jewish. I don't know why everyone thinks I'm a Jewish person. What you're doing It doesn't Seth, make any sense to me. Listen. I would give my last nickel if I never had to, well, maybe not that far, but I would <laughs> I would consider it if oh, I could shit. never have to put up with that kind of... Uh, I think the Anthony Cumia show is coming back. Yeah, they're about to um, make a retarded guy get a boner. I got to go watch I'm late show, for my though. ninth therapy session today, so I have to leave anyways. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. When this shit sucks. I, 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 I'm grateful that you got my emergency contact here, but I am so displeased yeah, with having you. to be confronted with my awful cousin... <laughs> Uh, most of my family I don't get along with, but him the least and his yo, molester father... Least, yo. What about my dad who molested you, yo? Well, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm glad he's dead, <laughs> but, you know, it is a, a, at least a physical relief that I don't have to <laughs> deal with him anymore. Well, anyway, yo, I got to get the hell up out of here, yo. I ain't, been, I, I ain't about right. to be... Y'all Ralph. will never hear me on this podcast again. I can promise that uh, shit. Probably me not <laughs> uh, either. I don't think. Ralph. I'm coming Seth, back. Seth Fuck Dickfield. you, man. I'm leaving, yo. Fuck you. Seth Dickfield, Ralph. Thank you so much for being with us. Ravens! Ravens number one! Alright. Um, I guess I guess it's just me in the studio right now. I I, I just want to thank you guys uh, for for listening. Um, I'm just going to take it to break, I guess, and see if I can get Nick and Stav back. Nationwide um, Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! We interrupt to bring you an important message. Our everyday low prices are 33 to 70% lower than national chain. Nationwide Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! But for three days only, take an additional 10% off marked items. Nationwide Warehouse! Living rooms from $198 to $498. Nationwide Warehouse! Nationwide Warehouse! Bedrooms from $188 to $428. Nationwide Warehouse! Mattresses from $24 to $99 each piece sold and set. Brand new, free layaway. Hurry! Nationwide Warehouse. Sale ends Monday. Nationwide Warehouse. At Nationwide Warehouse. Nationwide Warehouse. Eight convenient locations. Queens. Nationwide Warehouse. Bronx. Nationwide Warehouse. Long Island. Nationwide Warehouse. Manhattan. Nationwide Warehouse. Newark. Nationwide Warehouse. Lodi. Nationwide Warehouse. Asbury Park. Nationwide Warehouse. Phone 1-800-252-2232. Nationwide Warehouse. Nationwide Warehouse. All right. We are back from break. Guys, Nick and Stop have agreed to return. Hey guys, we're hey. back. Sorry, sorry guys. Got uh, a little heated. I got you, a little upset. It got really weird here, but while you were away, and I'm just oh yeah, I is just, Seth okay, dude? Yeah. Oh, Seth, Seth was Dick here. Yeah, okay. Seth and his, yeah. and who who were you uh, telling me came? This guy from Maryland, Carl or Ralph? <laughs> it was Ralph. Yeah. Ralph. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> Ralph he Rousey. was a disgusting person. <laughs> hey, well, that's my culture, man. And, right. uh, and Seth and him are cousins, from what I understand. That's so weird. Yeah, that's crazy. kind of convoluted, wouldn't yeah. you say? Like, kind of have, a stretch? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> wow. It's weird that they both be here at the same time, <laughs> exactly. considering, you know, they live... Yeah. So far apart. But man, it's good to be back. You know, yeah. I, 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 I need I, you and I, I, I need you and I don't want I don't want to do this apart again. And I'm sorry for like 
being being a bitch, dude. That's right, man. That's I'm, okay. As long as you understand, like, we didn't say anything negative about you on the yeah. podcast. It's like... No, you said and something we never negative. Will. No, it's on that's the not podcast. true. Yeah, but, you know, we okay. accept your apology. We accept and it. I calmed down. I went outside. Me and Stav, you know, we saw this. <laughs> we were out there. This kid with uh, Down syndrome walked by. And I just, <laughs> it just always makes I me couldn't, I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> for how uh, proud of him I was. Not, like, in a yeah, mocking exactly. way. Me too. I, it just felt so good for him that I calmed down. And, uh, and the whole town told him he was Batman, right? Yeah, we all pretended he was <laughs> Batman. I went up to him and I was like, "You're Batman." And he was like, "No, I just pushed the carts here." <laughs> well, um, it's good to be back. Yeah, yeah, let's catch up. Well, Pe- let's. Yeah, people let's, are going to think we're setting up another bit. <laughs> <laughs> we what don't do, you do bits. bits. We don't do. You're you know, right. I don't We've know. never people, done bits. People, I guess, have, have commented on that. They're like, you know, we love the characters, but there's no none of us. I don't think we, any of us no. do characters. Well, we're working on a couple. Right yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We we were thinking about we, uh, like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the French one. Let's do the French. Yeah, one. we mean, came up with this character. Yeah. He's like, uh, so he's a French guy. He's and French. He's, yeah, he's yeah, like, he's French. Uh, uh, hello, um, I am from France. Uh, uh, hello, I am from France too, and I am gay with him. <laughs> uh, we are gay together. We I are gay, and we are French, and we are here, and this is my boyfriend. And I, we we kiss each other, and uh, we have uh, one of those uh, bicycles that is like a, a double bicycle, but we uh, use the same seat anyways because it is uh, more gay. <laughs> Yes, well, uh, we, he's, good. Uh, my boyfriend is uh, fucking me in the house <laughs> while we are riding on I the bicycle. I love we fuck th- men with my penis. Uh, but yeah, that's the character. So we're working that's on the that. character that's the character that, that we were, were working on. That's pretty good. I thought that yeah. went well. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was better that. in dress rehearsal, maybe. But I think that it went oh. okay. For yeah, the real we spent show. the last hey. like fucking week and a half trying to figure out, you know, trying to make this podcast. Oh, so he's French, what about that? What about gay, the um? What about the four twenty one? What four twenty one? You know that the 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 look. Here's here's the thing. I know it's four twenty <laughs> isn't a joke to me. You know I take yeah. that shit seriously, dude. Absolutely. But, okay, it's four twenty somewhere. Because you know what? It's still a fucking crime. You know. That and is that, true. Uh, uh, people like us are persecuted every day in states like. Luckily, it's legal here in New York. Listen, so, <laughs> listen, Nick. we can get we can get fucking four twenty ripped up <laughs> right. out on the streets whenever it's, we want. It's legal for white people, and pretty soon it's going to be legal for black people. Well, too. I don't care about that. I mean, <laughs> the first one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, man. Everyone, everyone, worry about yourself. You know, that's you know? the thing is that you can't put you can't put men can't put their laws. On a plant, okay? yeah, especially not for other white Thank guys. Thank you. On a plant, okay. Thank you. I think we're all in agreement here uh, about weed and gay French men. Do you guys uh, want to smoke weed real quick? I would love to smoke yeah, weed, dude. Weed. <laughs> Always, I'm smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> oh, this is good, dude. <coughs> this is dank ass weed, bro. Oh, that's good. Get that binger out there. Dang, that's fucking weed. Get that binger, dude. Get that binger popping. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. (coughs) Dude, you see the... (coughs) 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 And what? (coughs) Damn, Nick, stop hitting that shit, dude. Dude, Dude, look at that binger rip, dude. Nick, stop hitting that shit, Dude, one time Nick hit a binger for a week. Hold on. I'm not even lying to you. No, I'm going to do the joint on top of it. (laughs) Oh, dude, you're savage, bro. Dude, Uh, Nick is so savage, he just hit a binger and then hit a a J without even blowing it out, bro. Well, great start to the second (laughs) half. That's a good (laughs) sesh, dude. I think we had a good smoke out just now. (laughs) Good start to the second half. We had a good smoke out. We had a good sesh, and I think that's like what's important. You know, man, the thing about podcasts is you just do them. Just you know, do them, man. you just that's how that's how you build a listenership is you do them. <laughs> you get good gets, you know, hot. gets. I gotcha. asked my friend the other night what he liked about the podcast. And he said he liked the fact that we didn't come on. try at all. Yeah, <laughs> I asked myself shit. and I, I thought, what do I like about the podcast? And because I, you know, I, I've been considering actually listening to it after we <laughs> record it. And no. uh, and then I thought, no, nah, that's stupid. No, um, I'm with you. But good news, uh, I got a friend from Russia. We're going to hack Mark Maron's email and get all of his guests the week before they really? do. What the fuck? Ooh, yeah. smart. That's smart. nice. So dude. we got Chuck Mangione coming on next <laughs> week. He's going to talk about his French horn, a.k.a. the gay trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> 
That is a gay ass trumpet. <laughs> Who's kidding? I am from France. I, I am a, a, a the, the gay trumpet. <laughs> I love a sex with men. We but play also the horn animals. with our penises. <laughs> we put it um, in the horn. All right. Um, no, uh, I guess here's uh, here's the thing we can talk about. Let's hear is, it. Uh, so I worked a job last week. Can't really talk about it. Uh-oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what kind but, of job? Uh, uh, I can't talk about it. But uh, he there was some work. Yeah. Let's say I let's say I did a little thing where I had to wear a costume. He's and in pretend. Ocean's fourteen. I'm in Ocean's fourteen. <laughs> um, I'm in Ocean's nine eleven. It's the movie <laughs> where George Clooney and Matt Damon have to blow up the World Trade Center. <laughs> Ocean's nine eleven. <laughs> <laughs> we just do that's great. That's, that's, a, that's wow, something. Wow, uh, dude. Also, also, national. Yo, bleep that out of the podcast because that's an ace bit that we can yeah, yeah. ace bit. You know, that joke almost makes me want to get even higher, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> let's break. Um, Cottonmouth Kings, baby. That's my favorite band. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> um, anyway, you oh, were yeah. saying so, yeah, job. I'm working this yeah. job and. Uh, uh, I, I want to talk about. Uh, I've tried. I've, I've maybe mentioned it to a couple of people, but you guys uh, are you familiar with uh, Black Nerds? Oh, because fuck yes, dude. a lot of people don't know that they think Black Nerd. They're like, oh, you mean Urkel? And it's like, no, Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. That wasn't actually right, a black right, right, nerd. Right, There's right. no black nerd that's actually like that. Black Steve Urkel was a black face. Black, Steve Urkel was a black guy playing a white nerd. Mm-hmm. And then a real black nerd is more like Stefan. <laughs> yeah, 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 is, yeah, is yeah. what Jaleel Stephon. White thought was cool. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's like, I'm actually the cool Urkel. I like Street Fighter and Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah. I don't wear glasses. I got contacts. Check out my leather jacket that I wear in the middle of the summer. <laughs> Yo, That's like a black no, nerd. No, black nerds, dude. That's an annoying thing. Black nerds are like Katana type yeah. kids. They right? love yes, Asia, They're all ghost dog way of the samurai. They love. There was a kid DBZ. They love. Avatar: there was, Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. There was a kid in my uh, Naruto in uh, at po- in po- Baltimore Polytechnic Institute, baby. Uh, fucking engineers, bitch. The Polycrackers. Uh, Baltimore that, Polyamorous High School. <laughs> Baltimore Poly. We all just like and fucked each other. Uh, it was a lot of fluid bonding. Um, there was a kid who, when he got mad at the teachers, <laughs> would pretend he was going Super Saiyan. Oh, he would just. He would be <laughs> like. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> like it was like all right, all right, Jim, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this is just fucking. Yeah. And there was also another black nerd who, uh, he was very gay. He was a black theater nerd, actually. Those mm. are the best. I had a also knew close karate. friend in high school that was a black gay theater. Black nerd. gay theater nerd yeah. knew karate. This is you know Baltimore, and he would just like people tried to bully him for being gay, and he fu- one time he straight up roundhouse kicked like a thug <laughs> kid <laughs> in the hallway. It was fu- and then just did like a Z snap. It was yeah. fucking incredible, and he was. Notorious yeah. for blowing like straight kids in the <laughs> fucking upstairs. He was the he was the equipment manager, so he had the keys to the closet, and he would just blow kids. All well, the time. that was that was the guy I worked with. He was like a black nerd, incredibly jacked. I had to like change with him. They're like, all the guys change over here, and everybody else is in shape. I'm like, can I just change with the women? Is <laughs> there gonna be like a shitty body room? But he is. Oh yeah, he's jacked. He's wearing a wife beater that looks like a Gold's Gym wife beater, but it says Goku's Gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got like a drawing of Goku in the middle where the guy would be living the wings. And at one point he goes, he looks at me and the other girl and he goes, have either of you ever had the pleasure of watching Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but no, he would have definitely fucked me up if I even, you know, remotely laughed at any of the things he said, <laughs> right, which were right. all great. Right, right, right. Whenever Stefan Urkel would enter a scene, just going back to that. Mm-hmm. I love how like I I imagine that the fresh the family matters like audit they had like different signs for the audience like laugh and like whenever Stefan came out they put the cum sign up <laughs> and everyone would just be like ah oh! oh! why was he so hot like <laughs> every he'd enter and see people be like, hey baby Ooh! that was just Jaleel White being like yeah he was I so want to get tired. pussy yeah he was so tired of being a fucking nerd Brandon Brandon Wardell's going to do that at some point. He's going to demand that his agents let him play, a, you know, a character that's he's not a, a black face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to demand to play Stefan. Twitter meme. Uh, dude, my sh- shit is popping, dude. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to go black. I feel like I feel like Brandon's sort of doing that already, trying to trying to make his brand about. He's doing digital black <laughs> Huh? He's doing digital. What's going to happen to him when he like finally ages out of that? And Maybe then, he doesn't. He doesn't. That's do true. It. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just stay. Half, you know, he's uh, half Filipino. He's got good. 
good genes age-wise, I think he might be okay. No, but I mean like I mean intellectually he ages out. Oh of being no, he'll like never a, intellectually age out of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> no, nah, he might. Who knows? Who cares? Fuck Brandon. Um, Dude, Brandon actually is here, right? <laughs> oh, like, is he? Yeah, yeah. Where? You want to go get him? You yeah, want to go, yeah, go get, get him? Go get Brandon, yeah, dude. Yeah, okay. um, make sure, just to have him, like, ma- tell him that we don't do characters on this podcast. So yeah, just sure. have He's Brandon just come as characters. himself. Yeah. <laughs> any bullshit half thought out characters? Yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Okay, um, so this is... Hey, Brandon. It's hey, us, your friends. Hey, Brandon Wardell. Is, so yeah. I was, because uh, we're <laughs> boys, I was just wanted to work out new bits that I do. Oh, okay. Well, okay. this is, you know, it's kind of a conversational podcast. Sweet, dude. Okay. Yeah, and, and remember, this something? isn't Vine, so you have more than six seconds to do your jokes <laughs> that you stole from oh, black no, people. Oh, no, no. That won't, that won't be necessary, my dear man. Um, okay. All right. And here's the first bit. <laughs> Here's the first bit. Go ahead, um, Brandon. <laughs> so, so Drake, so Drake was, <laughs> please, here's my first bit. So Drake was, uh, t- took a, Drake had a Pokemon and I said, what kind of Pokemon is that, Drake? And he said, it's a, it's a Charbander. And I said, Drake. You're savage AF, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, savage AF, bro. Yeah, you got zero shit. chill, baby. All right, hell yeah. Dude. Can I try out another joke? Now I know why you're famous. <laughs> Can I try it? <laughs> Go another ahead, joke? Brandon. Let's hear it, Brandon. So, uh, Justin, Justin Bieber was uh, Justin Bieber is in the news <laughs> again. <laughs> what are you even doing? Go ahead. And <laughs> it doesn't even sound like Brandon. <laughs> Jack, Jack. <laughs> Jack come in and he said, Justin Bieber, is this your Pokemon or is this my Pokemon? <laughs> you sound like Miss Swan now. <laughs> Br- Brandon? I, Brandon's, I, Brandon's mom is Miss Swan, I'm pretty sure. His, yeah, dad's, on, his, a, his, his dad's a, a GI lady. and his mom, I don't know his parents. I won't, I won't stand for We can talk about shit on Brandon, but not the Wardells. They are lovely people. Uh, you've met his parents. Yeah, no, they're great. Um, why? Did you go to his bar mitzvah? Yeah, we do last mitzvah. year is bar mitzvah last yeah. year. Uh, I believe I'm uh, uh, guys, 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 still in the room right now. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, hey, Brandon, you're still here. About, hey, buddy, get out of here, man. I, I like that, that Brandon is just emo Phillips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was he in that movie? I met Drake <laughs> the other day, <laughs> and uh, Drake was lit. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon was just like the guy from the, <laughs> the, the B-52s. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll all right. <laughs> Anyway, the Snapchat <laughs> is a little uh, place <laughs> where we can rip off black Twitter jokes. <laughs> He's going to hear this and get mad. For sure. Yeah. He's we can have him on and we'll squash the beef. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's we just just that's the point of podcast. You start the beef and then you bring him on the pod yeah. and you squash the beef, dude. That's what yeah. pods are all about, baby. <laughs> I, you know, I agree with that now. And I think we've come full circle because initially I disagreed with that idea but that they're for are. beef squashing. But now I, I you know, I... I think I agree with it, and I, I no longer think the podcasts are about like, you know, being funny or really having anything to say. Absolutely or, not. You know, no, 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 we'd no, be no. having conversations that aren't just like sort of cyclical and, and making fun of the same people <laughs> or, over and over again. No, I got sixty-five new Twitter followers. I am drunk on power, mm-hmm. and let's keep keep it going with this podcast. Uh, uh, I think it's going to be great. W- right now, I think what would be the best what the people demand is if we play a clip show of all the best moments. <laughs> <laughs> we should do the, the next one. Of the last <laughs> three episodes. <laughs> the last three episodes. Um, some, I got, some of the hits from I got the past. some tweets about some people's favorite parts of the, our episode. Can we stop doing this? This is pathetic. Yeah, this, this is the fourth... Is- <laughs> one and we're talking about we're talking about it as if it's fucking anything. Dude. I don't know. I just ate a lot of bread, so I'm kind of like uh, I'm kind of sleepy. Well, let's get I want to tell it. Come Nation, Come Town, just to keep listening because we have tons of topics, issues, discussions, and <laughs> other things that are going to be coming up in the next 55 episodes of Come Town. I'd love to talk about you know how's everybody doing fuckwise. It is Come Town. Is everybody fucking? We all we already did that last week. Did None we? of us have fucked. N- there's no. Oh, here, Adam's uh, not girlfriend is here. We'll just <laughs> we'll just give her a microphone and she'll. It's Michelle, true. do you want to come on? <clears throat> She's been sitting here in the background the entire time. Someone thinks maybe we're we about could. to do another. She was trying to watch porn and yeah, no. There's now we <laughs> can't in- introduce anybody. This is falling apart. Everyone's gonna think it's a no. character. This is fun though. Okay. 
So you don't want to... Michelle, just come on the pod real yeah, quick. Just, you have to come on the podcast because we got to fill 10 more minutes and <laughs> we need something. Here, you take my microphone. Oh, no. Take take. Adam, so guys, this have... is my FWB, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> and you Please don't use my real name. Um, her, that's not her real name. Her real name... <laughs> Her real name is well, Go- we, we won't say <laughs> we won't say what her real name is, but so we understand that you don't want to uh, date Adam. Is that true? Not at this moment. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't answer for the lady. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think so. That's good. No, no, tell us why. I love this. This is great. Oh, let's hear why. Let's. Hear. <laughs> no, I understand. Adam is kind of a piece of shit. Kind of annoying. He's kind of annoying. Sure. Um. <laughs> what about him? Is annoying. This is great. Uh. I don't know. It just <laughs> doesn't feel like something we should do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool to like sm- fuck every once in a while and like, yeah, hang out. Yeah, sex is great. Yeah, is I'll he good at fucking? That. I'll give him is that. Is Adam good at fucking? He's so I think, he's happy I think he's, he's, I think he's okay lie. at fucking. He's okay? Like, what would it's you what give a cushion him? is feeling. A C I'm, plus? I'm in... Th- <laughs> I'm enthusiastic. I don't think I'm good at it. I just think I'm passionate about it. So he's it. like a... But he likes to cuddle afterwards. He's a big cuddler. I could tell that about him. Yeah, of course. I am too. I feel like we're in the same zone where it's like, I'm going to try my hardest, but that doesn't mean anything's going to happen. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean it's going to be a great turnout. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. But that's what I found that... Uh, so if Adam was better at fucking, would you want to be with him? <laughs> 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 be honest <laughs> grab a mic here Nick take Adam's mic fuck well, Adam no I think if you I had like an undeniable dick I mean maybe the sex is good so I don't want to date oh uh, interesting but no 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 don't give us that bullshit answer to, to <laughs> make Adam feel better but if he was like how so you're saying he fucks at about a 7 out of 10 right now <laughs> Right? Um, yeah. Six seven to out seven. Of six to seven. Six to seven. She bumped you down. Uh, six to eight. I mean, six to eight. Six to eight. On your best day, you get you hit an eight. B's not bad, dude. But the one to ten scale, the one to ten scale for men always translates directly to inches. <laughs> For yeah, women, see, it's I don't about really care rest. about inches. I don't Ooh, think that really matters. What, what are Actually, you, gay? <laughs> <laughs> I love inches. Hey, this is great. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm back on now, by the way. This has got it. I got to so, move this. But if he was a 10 out of 10, would you be with him? Um, <laughs> would he be if he was better at fucking? Pro- would it like uh, equal out how annoying he is? No, I don't think it'll ever equal out. Oh, okay. I think it's just I think it's just there forever. <laughs> That's so I good. I try to tune it out. That's great. So what are you let's find you a man. What are you looking for? <laughs> We've got a podcast listenership uh, of over forty five people, I think. Um I don't know, I guess somebody who doesn't cook me breakfast. <laughs> See, so is, you want to be treated is, badly. This is a major podcast flaw because the only way podcasts work is if you have a girl, but only when you just tell them to shut up all the time. Okay, okay, that's fair. All, all the alpha male podcasts. Can I myself for a second? You're not on camera. We don't have mic. another. Sorry, we only got yeah. three mics. This is. Uh, you know what? That's twenty minutes. So, <laughs> hey guys, that was the second half. Uh, <laughs> You gotta <laughs> look. Uh, some podcasts they know what they're doing. We're not these kind of like, you know. Fucking, Hell yes. You want a good podcast? Uh, we got uh, our friends, sort of a sister podcast, Chapo Trap House. Yeah, listen to that. Which are everyone who listens to this is just people they told yeah. to listen to this. Really? That one's, yeah, they're very funny guys, but they're also like. You know, if you're into like, have you listened fucking to knowing it? who the president is? They're and smart, smart shit. Guys They're shit. not dumb people. I don't shit. do that. I'm not like a homework guy. You know, I'm we're just not fucking guy. nerds, dude. We we're get, not homework nerds. We don't like plan re- out what we're gonna say we, on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we just fucking get real and have a good time, and we we fucking you know what we do? We get four twenty. We get four twenty. <laughs> I just want to also thank my friend with benefits, uh, M- Michelle, for being Which on the podcast. Yeah, thank you, Michelle. And I just want to say you bring a lot of joy to my life. Well, Even don't if, you're not, if you're not my full girlfriend, yeah. I don't care because you still make me happy <laughs> when we're together. If it makes you happy. Oh, that's so, so good. So I'm going to just say that out there to the world and everyone well, listening. Is that Great. Cheryl Crow? I think so. You know what I was doing the other day is... Uh, 
Are you strong enough to eat my ass? <laughs> <laughs> that was stuck in my head. For like six <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for uh, listening to Come Town, guys. Uh, follow me at, on Instagram at Stavi Baby, S T A V V Y Baby. I'm um, naked as hell, and I think you'll really like it. Um, I don't have anything else to plug because my career is bad. But yeah. anybody else? That's fine. I'm at. Uh, I'll be back on Red Eye on June 9th. Fox News. I'll Fox News, 4 a.m. programming. Uh, four, yeah, 4 a.m. It's on from 4 to 4.01 a.m. <laughs> Only in uh, American Samoa. <laughs> in Guam. Yeah, in Guam. Um, but, yeah, thanks for listening to the final episode of Come Town. <laughs> it's not the final episode. It's been and such I a think good this is going to sound run. good. Uh, it's been a great run. We've had, you know, three great episodes. Probably we'll be, the best run of any podcast. We're gonna roll a, a best of next week. So yeah, uh, I think we already we already made that joke. Oh, did we? Fuck. Yeah, we did. Next uh, week we're doing. <laughs> next week we're doing a, something a little bit different. It's gonna be a little bit more planned out. We're doing. We're finally doing my plan of this American come, where we're gonna we're gonna have a host. We're gonna have three different stories about uh, American come, <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, it's actually <laughs> illegal to transport raw cum across state lines. Really? It's got to be pasteurized. What um, if it's... <laughs> pasteurized, you just swish it in your mouth a little yeah, bit yeah, and yeah. spit it out? Well, you have to swish it fast enough that it heats up like one of those yeah, yeah. Vitamix Louis blenders. Louis Pasteur, dude. Yeah. You don't know yeah, science? It's a French guy that did all these experiments oh, with cum in his mouth. I know a couple of French guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're forgetting that we Hello? already, we yeah, already did know, the French guy. Hello? We were just no, basically no, frozen. No, no, stop, stop. Let's end it. We were ending it. Yeah, yeah. No, we're ending it. This is, that's the end of this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My what boyfriend a fucking nightmare. has his penis. <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank goodbye, you. Goodbye, everyone. Town episode uh, five. <laughs> ooh, ooh, episode five, bitch. Uh, yeah, so uh, we did this one backwards. We already recorded the second half with our guest Bonnie McFarlane. Hilarious. Who You're was, gonna love it. Yeah, it, I feel like it was pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was all right. And yeah. listen, it's gonna be much better than the you know the bullshit we're about to do. For yeah. So we did it backwards. So. so we got to do the first half now. 
uh, which is pretty unorthodox yeah, for us. Uh, every single one of these episodes is actually scripted. <laughs> um, we script the whole fucking thing. Except the one where we argued and Seth and uh, uh, Ronald, or Ray, what was it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't Baltimore know. Baltimore comedian. I don't know. I wasn't there for oh, that Oh, yeah, one. you weren't there. I was only there for the Seth part. Yeah. Um, uh, there's this guy, Seth Dickfield, apparently, <laughs> that's been doing the podcast. Yeah, while almost I'm, as much as us. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's around pretty often. Um, uh, so, yeah, so... Um, uh, how how Stav just spent the weekend in Atlantic I City. I was in beautiful AC, baby. Yeah, I was there on. It was a working trip. Uh, I'm gonna mention my erotic Instagram again. I took a uh, a bunch of nude pictures on a public Jersey beach. I just had my dick wagging in the sea. Was it a nude beach? No, it was just like a I feel like beach. all beaches in Jersey are nude beaches. Yeah, they're all getting fingered beaches for sure. They're they're all nude beaches. You have to do steroids to go to them. I had to do a lot of pull. The lifeguards wouldn't let you in the water unless you did 10 pull-ups on the lifeguard station. What, what percentage of the male population of New Jersey do you think is on anabolic steroids? Like a legitimate guess? Yeah. 7%? <laughs> is that low? I'd say it's much higher than that. You think so? <laughs> I think it's... 7% you, is a good amount of people. Yeah, but I think it's probably closer to like 72%. Yeah, actually, thinking about it now, 72 sounds a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better. 72% is just the men, or just, are you talking everyone? Men and women. Yeah, babies. Yeah. Old ladies doing Uh, fucking lat pull-downs. Yeah, Italians need testosterone. Italians, 100%. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Italians, they can't live without uh, anabolic steroids. (laughs) They actually have a a brain virus. (laughs) Makes them require (laughs) trans fats and anabolic steroids. The steroids, they dilate their fucking shitty clogged arteries <laughs> from living off gnocchi and, uh, you Ragu. know, Sauce. gravy. <laughs> gravy. <laughs> what? That's yeah. so fucking stupid. Um, we've but. been meaning to have, like, an Italian bashing episode yeah. for a while. Um, there, You know what? And it's uh, maybe I'm being a little bit unfair to Italians, but in an age where you're not really allowed to be racist anymore. Um, you can still be racist towards Italians. Oh, anything you say. I can't stand when Italians like, hey, whoa, come on, man. I'm Italian. It's like, yeah. no, fuck, get the fuck out of here. Well, the reason it's like they'll never be able to stop that is because, you know, with other minority groups, you know, like people, I remember when I was like a teenager, like it's uh, being racist towards black people has just never really been okay. <laughs> right, right. That right. one's well, always been off. You you could be really oh. racist for the beginning of this country, but after that... No, I mean in the last, like, since I've been alive. Oh. That one's always been in, off limits. In Greektown, Baltimore, Maryland, it's oh, okay. it's always been very... Uh, I think in most community in half of the communities in America, it's been okay. But I know what you're saying, though. Well, I'm saying that I remember being, uh, like, 12, and I remember thinking, like, huh, it's weird that you're, like, you know, it's, like, really messed up if you said something, like, if you used a racial slur towards a black person but i can spend all day being like yeah chinese guys got tiny dicks <laughs> yeah, 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 and it's just yeah. funny and they laugh at it and i say it to their faces and they smile Dude. and they you know <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> and it's they like, smile and they yeah right play you know, the, play but chopsticks so what happened piano. was is eventually asian people got angry and you know with Suey park and all you know that was hilarious, arthur yeah. chu who that does you know to be fair have a very tiny dick uh <laughs> So I don't. That know. is true. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to slander wanna, him. He does have. He does have a, a really tiny. Penis. He has a, an extremely small dick. So for legal purposes, we, we, we're not going to. We have to say that. Just a disclaimer. Say, legally, Arthur Chu has a very, very small dick. Microscopic. You it's like a match this. head. Uh, it's just a, <laughs> a little red match head dick. <laughs> it's the same color as. That's every how match he fucks. Head. He strikes it. <laughs> <laughs> he has to rub he it against a pubic it, it makes hair. A little like, <laughs> a little pop noise. I've I've finished, I've finished <laughs> sex, um, but you know, but it's racist. You, yeah, and they but they got angry, and that's why people don't make you know Asian jokes anymore. They cancel Colbert right. shit. As misguided as it was, that shit didn't wound up you think working. It I think it did, but why Italians will never be able to do that is because they're already angry. <laughs> There's no. Nice There's level. no. Yeah, they can't get angrier. They're like the Hulk. They could do like the Sopranos. They're episode. they're the Hulk in the sense that they like to wear shitty purple clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, talking about, I have an anecdote about my un not knowing that you can't be racist because I grew up around a bunch of fucking animal Greek people who fucking uh, just were the worst people on mm-hmm. earth. Like I remember a life lesson one of my friends' dads taught. The, me. Well, the Greeks are just Italians without any industry. 
Right, but but like a much we we've been really coasting on democracy for forever. That's true. Like yeah. that's that's what we got. Um, but like this fucking guy, he's a piece of shit. His name is Haralambos. <laughs> <laughs> Haralambos. Haralambopoulos, <laughs> which is such a fucking stupid name. He's a just one of the worst people I've ever met in my fucking life. Uh, like a lesson he gave his son was the worst thing. <laughs> The worst thing a man can be, number one, a gambler, number two, a faggot. <laughs> and I was like, at his, that's like at his son's 16th birthday party, lessons he's just telling all his male friends, you know? Well, that was okay. Again, it, like, homophobia was fine until, like, honestly, people think it's like... No, it was three you, years ago. Yeah, three yeah. years ago, probably. I remember I was thinking about, I was driving behind um, one of those... Uh, like a scooter, like a, a Piaggio scooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remembered in Vice City, which, like, the Grand Theft Auto Vice City, right, which right, came right. out in, like, 2002 or something. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, middle school, I think. Yeah, the name of that bike was, like, the Faggio. <laughs> and the joke was, like, because it's for faggots, yeah. get it? Uh, here's a video no. game for children, where we literally call <laughs> right, people faggot. Right, right, right. Well, for children, you're, st- you're getting your dick sucked in the back seat and all this shit. But... Yeah, but but it's, you know, you can't see it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It counts, but no, I know homophobia is good. But I'm just, I'm just like, I'm painting the picture of the kind of people I grew up around. So when I got to middle school, I, I went, I, uh, I thought it would be a funny joke to tell my friends uh, who was wearing Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> 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 hey, nice Tommy Hill N word. <laughs> you know what I just mean? Just say it. It's fine. I'll bleep it later. You're not gonna. Ble- There's I know. no way. You're I just, absolutely you're won't. Gonna, what you're going to do is isolate it and just play the clip that's over the new, and over again. Yeah, that's the new theme song. <laughs> and and these fucking like Jews from like Northwest Baltimore were horrified. Immediately snitched on me. Immediately told all these black kids. And they were like, and luckily I was in like the nerd class. So like <laughs> the one black kid in it was like, uh, uh, was like very meek and shit. But if, you had to- if they had told like, uh, like just any other kid and they luckily they didn't have any i had more black friends than they did and if they had like any non-nerd black friends i would have been fucked in that school but yeah that's what i thought was acceptable coming out of fucking uh the greek community a very very well it's just a bad joke you know i mean if it had been a better and i don't think it was i don't think that's what that's how that's why you offended those jews is because you offended their humor (laughs) sensibilities yeah you're right they're all writing for fucking fallon right now. yeah they're all uh they're all um, Emmy Award winning. <laughs> um, they came up with smashing. And, um, anyway, whatever. Smashing what? Eggs on your head. Oh, uh, uh, we should plug this. Last week you said uh, National Slampoons in conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, National Slampoons. I haven't decided what to do with that. I'll probably just tweet it out eventually right now, actually. Um, do you want to talk about, because we don't really have to fill that much time because yeah. we got, we got a decent chunk with Bonnie and Good it's great. Stuff. Yeah. Stick so around, the second baby. half is definitely going to be the part, you Hulk know, fire. really just fucking don't send me criticism and say, well, the last one, someone keeps like DMing me and they're like, you got to tell that other guy to stop laughing. Oh me? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, man. Hey yeah, fuck buddy. That guy. <laughs> Suck my dick, pal. Yeah. That's what I got to say to um, you. Um, which no, I don't, I don't yeah. have, we don't have to do just don't, I mean, Continue to subscribe to the podcast, but don't listen to it. If you got a problem, pal, rate us five stars, subscribe, and then don't listen to the podcast. That's what I got for you. Thank you very much. Please give us money and buy the yeah. t-shirts when they come out. Yeah. They're just um, going to be t-shirts we've come on. Uh, yeah, so uh, Harambe the Gorilla. Harambe. Oh, man. <laughs> what a name. That story... Uh, Harambe sounds like a thing a racist calls a black person. Well, pretty much every ape at the zoo. <laughs> yeah, they give it a name because that's the one place you're allowed to be a racist still <laughs> is at the zoo. The guy who names the animals at the zoo <laughs> is like, can we call this one? Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not that creative. <laughs> I, was, I forgot that we were recording this. I just remembered my own I sense of humor. Bra- yeah, I thought you were about to. Yeah, I thought you were about you had a very similar moment to me seven minutes ago on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, uh, this the name of this episode is just going to be the letter N with a bunch of asterisks <laughs> after, it. and then a comma, and then another N with a bunch of asterisks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, that Harambe story was great because I love the people who are like, well, he was, he was, it looked like he was protecting that little boy. <laughs> it's like you're protecting him from what? Right. Like you know the other gorillas. It's like oh okay, so yeah, that was the one that wasn't right. the problem. And it's also like, 
just imagine the outrage if the one zookeeper had been loading the gun and then another zookeeper was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, let's see what happens here with this. <laughs> oh, okay, that little boy's dead. So yeah. that's my fault, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. There was like, what? You killed a beautiful, majestic ape. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know what? I was having so much fun making fun of Harambe on Twitter, and then that piece of shit, Muhammad Ali, had to die. Oh, no. And ruined that story. <sighs> Can you believe it, dude? He did it to take away from... very selfish. Yeah, that selfish piece of shit. Of you trolling. I like how everyone I know now is suddenly an expert on Muhammad I love that, too. It's like... And and not the usual stuff where it's like just Mm -hmm. a link. Everyone is posting their own, like, three-paragraph Facebook status. It's like, yeah, he was fucking cool. Muhammad Ali was tight. I loved him. Like, I liked him. But he didn't fucking affect... There's no way he affected you that way. And also, you're a white guy from the fucking... I mean, maybe if you're, like, a black dude who was growing up in that era or around there, or you know. But, like, there was just a lot of white guys from, like, suburbs that were, like, changed race relations, man. It's like, that guy did not help your life at all. He made your life a little worse, actually, if yeah. you're thinking about it. I was surprised he was still alive, actually. Yeah. He was one of those guys that I didn't, I assumed was dead. You know what blew my mind? When Rosa Parks died, like... Uh, yeah, right? <laughs> when Rosa Parks died? <laughs> yeah, I thought she was Harriet Tubman for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what do you mean, like, 100 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> it was also funny, because it's like, yeah, it's sad that he died and everything, but then you see what he looked like, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh, we should cancel boxing. <laughs> no one should box. <laughs> this is the greatest boxer ever, and he can't fucking raise his hand. Like, it looks like a fucking... Well, there's zero evidence that uh, Parkinson's came from boxing, you know? Um, it, it all, all the times he got punched in the head repeatedly yeah, yeah. probably had <laughs> nothing to do with that. Totally. I mean, CT is a lie. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't exist. Uh, watch the NFL folks. <laughs> <laughs> watch us, uh, pay black people to hurt each other for our in- amusement. I wonder though, with Parkinson's, like, is it one of those things where like, you know how, like, so if you have ADD and mm-hmm. you take Adderall, it calms you down. Right, but if you right. don't have ADD and you take Adderall, it you know it's speedy right, right, right. you know right, ramps right, you right. up. So I'm thinking like with Parkinson's, you know, if you're just a guy and you're a boxer for 20 years and you get Parkinson's later in life, if you're a guy like Michael J. Fox who did, never boxed, <laughs> right, if right, we just right. beat the fuck out of him repeatedly, Probably. just smash him over the head with baseball bats, <laughs> yeah, baseball could we it. save Michael J. I Fox? I think so, dude. There's only one way to find out. Yeah, we're doing a, a show called Bat to the Future. <laughs> They say hit him in the back of the head with a baseball bat to save Michael J. Fox. Did you see them on Fallon? I don't know if it was Fallon. You know what? It might have been uh, Kimmel. They had uh, they had some oh, late night yeah, show. They yeah, had yeah, them yeah, on, yeah, yeah. and they come out and fucking Christopher Lloyd is like demented. So <laughs> like, old. And he's old as shit. He's like, where are we? <laughs> you know. And he's like, uh, we're in the future. He's like, no, literally, where <laughs> yeah. are we? Are we doing the sketch now? <laughs> when are we on, Michael? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How old am I? Does anyone know where my car keys are? <laughs> yeah, it was like hard to watch because you yeah, thought dude. you would feel bad for Michael J. Fox, who's dying. <laughs> right, right, right. But it's Christopher Lloyd who should have been dead like 30 years oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Because he, he was terrible. already. Remember how like old he looked yeah, in, dude, in, uh, in the One 80s. Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Oh, yeah, the Cuckoo's Nest. Not even. Yeah, that was 70 whatever. 75. I don't know. I have no idea. You don't know? I don't know. I'm usually pretty good with that. Movie years. I want to say 76, but that's on. That's just because you said 75. I want to say a different number, but close to it. You know. So yeah. hopefully, I'm I'm bet I'm batting that you're kind of close, and I want to steal that. Okay, that'd be good. Um. All right. Well. Uh, that's probably enough. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, apologies to Adam, who we had to cut out of this one. We were going to. Well, record. honestly, like. This one, you know what? I did it. It was my fault the last time that Adam couldn't do the podcast. I like it was a scheduling issue on my end, but this time it was Stav's fault. He said, "I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to wait for Adam to show up." Yeah, fuck Adam is my stance. And Nick said it too off mic earlier. I did. He was well, like, <laughs> I would say a lot of things off mic that we're not gonna. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck Adam, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, um, yeah, no, yeah. stay tuned. We got Bonnie McFarlane Bonnie coming McFarlane's up. Bonnie McFarlane's great. It's Hilarious. great. Uh, and please don't ever unsubscribe to this podcast. We need it, bitch. There's that, we have a list of the people that are subscribed already. If I see your name drop off, there will be consequences. Uh, <laughs> stay tuned.
No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. Hey, we're back from break. So is this that is, what we're doing? Yeah, we're gonna do this. So this one is the second half of the podcast that we're. So we're still not starting. No, we're starting. Wait, this we're is starting. on. Wait, this I is don't want to waste like really good things. If, if oh, it's we're not starting, real. baby. I think no, this is real. Yeah. Like no, sometimes in real life, like I'll have a really clever thing to say, and I just won't do it because there's no mic. Clever yeah. to go you now. This is. Uh, <laughs> well, we're back totally. from break. Didn't, I mean, it's going to be edited. So Back from break in yeah. quotes. Air from, quotes. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. recording the second half of the podcast first, doing a little nonlinear trick. Oh, Ooh, shit, dude. Dee, 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 um, and we dee. have a guest, so you have to keep listening. <laughs> when you guys Who's... told me the name of the podcast was Come Town, I said, oh, you can't keep me away. <laughs> That's uh, Bonnie McFarlane. Uh, right. Famous comedian, great comedian. Is that true? Yeah, uh, totally. People are googling right now. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <For> sure. <laughs> She's got a movie, a book. So, a comedian slash book maker slash. I like to think of myself maker. as the filmmaker, <laughs> oh, an wow. author, filmmaker, a and author. wife, a mother, oh, and this, a comedian. It's like that wow. song, like that. I'm, yeah, I'm a bitch, and <laughs> also I'm a bitch. Mother, yes. yeah. Right. I like that you are sitting there. Uh, Bonnie is far away from us. She's on the other side of the room. I know. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because this is uh, if this is sort of like a boys centric podcast. Yeah, it's an alpha male podcast. It's an alpha male. We're live in the Anthony Cumia Studios. You guys still are doing binary gender coding? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's absolutely. only two genders. Actually, uh, there's only one gender, male, and then I don't pay attention <laughs> to whatever else is going on. <laughs> You're homosocial. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Uh, is that the science name for human beings? Homosocial no. is oh. when you're not gay, but you you only enjoy hanging out with men. Oh, really? You may have sex with women, but isn't that? I metro? think my husband's homosocial. That's how <laughs> I know the term. Isn't that metrosexual? What happened to metrosexual? No, I it's think, almost the opposite of metrosexual. yeah, exactly. Because oh, okay. metrosexuals appear gay, uh, but are not. But yeah, but are not. We'll still They're we'll still fuck women. But it sounds like. Dite. <laughs> that's a great. That's a good word. I don't know exactly what it means, I'm but I feel sure like myself. I just but I feel like I it's always good. feel like you can. You, you know, we're in a time in this world where you can just use any word you want, and and if you don't know exactly what it means, it's probably like ninety percent of the population also. I but doesn't then, know what it means. But then that's right, folks. <laughs> Anti intellectualism. That's a topic today. That's what we're actually so pro anti intellectualism. We don't know anything on this podcast. Yeah, I'm not so. wearing sleeves. I'm yeah. going sleeve. Nick is wearing. You both a- very much look like, <laughs> and you're you are the poster guys for anti intellectualism and oh, homo socialism. So I think I feel like everybody should be anti intellectualism because how much of a piece of shit do you have to be to describe yourself as an intellectual? Well, I do a lot of reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, reading is. I lost my reading. Voice. You guys both wear glasses and yet cannot read. That's mm. true. That is a that is ironic. Mm. Fuck, we gotta lose these. Yeah, I'm not reading. That's for sure. <laughs> the glasses gotta go. I well, do like your the style of your glasses, which I you. tried to find and I couldn't. Here, I'll give you a tip. Zenny dot com. These are an official sponsor. <laughs> Zenny dot com. This is uh, like a Greek website. That's. Yeah. Just, uh, steal your credit <laughs> this card is my information. Uncle's website. Yeah. Z e n i z e n n i. These glasses were seven dollars. That's why I when I but first needed okay, glasses. Okay, that's the thing about glass. Like the frames were seven dollars. No, it's still gonna be hundreds of I'm dollars. I'm telling you, I look legitimately with. Can shipping, I ch- tr- test your glasses? Do you yes, mind? Please throw do. them over here. I can't. Here you get go. They're very durable. Oh, <laughs> this is <they're> light and durable. <laughs> Oh, and they do have a prescription in them. Yeah, I'm not one of these assholes that, you know, has That's those for very style. popular now. I remember the first time I saw somebody with just the frames and plastic lenses, and they were Kat like... Cat was doing that for that, a while. There Kat could Timps be nothing Kat douchier. Kat still does it. She still does it? Cat Tim still wears <laughs> fake glasses onto Fox News. So if you ever see Cat on Fox News, she's wearing fake glasses. But to why? Tw- it's a style thing. To look, I yeah. guess, yes. Yeah, I do sometimes... Uh, 
roll around in a wheelchair. <laughs> 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 I don't that's need a great it. bit. Yeah, that's a great style <laughs> choice. <laughs> well, you say that, but people did they did have like you know canes because they look cool. That was the pimp culture. Well, thank you for breaking down my yeah. joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but nothing this is funnier <laughs> than taking apart a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to yes. uh, introduce some tidbits. Into right, no, the, I like it. Well, going. actually, 1904 was uh, <laughs> the highest sale of canes in the country. I, uh, well, when I was a teenager, I knew this uh, this big fat guy, Justin, that started mm-hmm. walking with like a cane with a skull on it. Hell yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Does he still have it? Well, <laughs> but it was spelled Jason with a Y. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was it was Justin. And oh, he, Justin. It had a secret compartment that he would keep cigarettes in, oh, in the cane. Oh, fuck yes. But people made fun of him for it obviously because sure. yeah, they didn't know about the cigarettes obviously. yeah well they, yeah, they didn't know <laughs> they about the cigarettes how <laughs> yeah, cool it actually was yeah but uh but yeah so they made fun of him for it so then he was pretending like he actually needed the cane because he was so fat awesome. and it's like well, it was a like slippery a slope. <laughs> like that's better <laughs> no, like yeah. no 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 yeah. i'm not a douchebag with terrible style i'm medically <laughs> obese and i cannot walk yeah, yeah. well you get those scooters <laughs> right I, I thought i think you get a discount on those scooters yeah if you have like a medical so they just have to call up and be like well what's your problem mm. it's like i'm fat and then they get shit really well that's who those are for you can't get a scooter i mean you can't you could but nobody's riding or no able-bodied people are riding around those scooters right it's all it's uh, the scooter is for the able-bodied <laughs> yeah fat person this is a non-ableist <laughs> podcast yes we're, uh, we, we're every everyone. other have you ever read the, the reviews about that movie me before you or you before me or whatever me, myself and irene no, there's a movie that's come out Which, called You Before Me, and it's about a guy who is, um, uh, he's, he's been in an accident now. He's paralyzed, I don't know, from the waist down or the neck down, I'm not sure. But um, some woman comes to take care of him, and of course they fall in love. But he's made a pact with himself or with his parents that he wants to kill himself, and his parents said, wait six months. Because mm. that's what parents do when you yeah, want to kill yeah. yourself. They say, you know what? That's what parents do with like <laughs> PlayStation. On this. <laughs> yeah. like, I really want PlayStation. Wait six months. Yeah. Uh, and then in okay. summer, we'll get you PlayStation. See how you feel. Yeah. Why don't you wait until your brother kills himself and then see yeah. if you still want to do it? Yeah. Um, and uh, then this woman, they, they fall in love, but then they still have to kind of check in on you know so they do something fun together i don't know what like she right rolls them rolls them through the sand that would be hard but yeah. and uh probably like the something beach. with parquet <laughs> floors she sets yeah. his feet on fire <laughs> <laughs> is someone making bacon <laughs> and then, like, then oh, he has to always you. be like we're in love and yeah he's like well, well i'm still gonna kill myself and yeah. then it's like that would be awesome what movie is i don't know it's called movie. you before me or me before you but it gets like it's been getting like really oh, hilarious reviews and stuff because oh, okay. it's a terrible idea for a movie yeah, to be like. Oh, well, first of all, premise. if you're handicapped, then yeah, it's what the, else are you gonna do? Right, right, right. <laughs> kill <laughs> you're yourself. Going to kill yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. We should watch it. We'll um, tr- we should have a sister review podcast. We should. Have you seen the remake of Rear Window with Christopher Reeves? No. It's really funny. Really? Because it's right after his accident. I think it's the first movie he made after his accident. Oh, like, he's, he's, so he he's playing in a wheelchair, it. and he really is in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, he's, uh, like, completely fucked up. Uh, Jesus You know, because it was, it was like, I think it might <laughs> oh have been... Oh, my God. F- Th- it's kind of genius. Yeah. How could it not have worked? Well, they were like, we need, yeah. a, we, need a, we need to be able to put Christopher in a movie, and they're like, oh, perfect, we'll remake Rear Window. Right. They and just go through like their list of movies with <laughs> handicapped people, and they're like, "Well, yeah. there's only been one." Yeah. yeah, so I guess that's the one we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> now he could do the remake of You Before Me. Right. right yeah, right. he let's, could be. Let's in reanimate that. him. Well, at the end, he's like, you know, the killer comes in, and, and he, uh, he the struggle is. Well, he just like disconnects his like breathing <laughs> 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 and then Christopher Reeves shows off. They use the movie to show uh, show off Christopher Reeves' like newfound ability to swallow air into his lungs like a fish. <laughs> He was, you oh know, he does God. this like, man, it's not going to translate on the podcast, but he, <laughs> he does this weird, like, like, <gasps> like weird, gross, you know, yeah. mm-hmm. like a uh, filthy, disgusting. But there's thing. like a guy yeah. on set that's like, okay, he's really dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. To run in. Wait, just, blink at us if you're, if you're just dressed like an animal trainer. <laughs> yes. It's the polo shirt tucked into the khaki shorts. Okay, that's the, enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shot a commercial and they had like a, a specially trained dog that mm. was a, a, this little dog like a lunchbox that had to like run in and then sit down or whatever. 
And of course, it was like a, a, a lesbian in the blockbuster employee <laughs> outfit that like took care of it. But you know, really, they're, like sometimes they're, they're very like th- that's their power in life, and so they're very like, oh, oh we're, I've got to get this dog out. Totally, yeah. Please, get this please. dog in. Yeah. Excuse me. Don't pet the dog. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that is all they have. That's everyone though. Everyone who's any any middle any manager of anything is always, I feel like. Really flexes their power, whatever they have. Do you guys think SeaWorld's going to come back from from all the Blackfish controversy? Do you think uh, people are going to forget N-O. about that? Oh, I don't think so, actually. No. Well, my my daughter wanted to go to SeaWorld, and of course, I try not to do anything with my daughter, <laughs> and uh, so I just showed her the movie, and then she was like, "I don't want to." <laughs> what are you going to do when there's like when she wants to do something wholesome? Um. Well, she wanted to go camp this year. My daughter's eight or something, and. Uh, <laughs> She, um, I, she never went to camp before because I'm virtually unemployed. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> I right, mean, right, right. I'm, I'm a famous comedian, uh, but that means nothing. <laughs> um, so, so I signed her up for camp this year, and she wanted to go to robotics camp. Oh, whoa! You got a she's, nerd on your hands. She's so dumb, and <laughs> it's like, well, how is that going to help your life? Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's like, don't you want to get good at like frisbee or something? Yeah. Um, robotics camp. That's for boys, though. You can't. You can't send. <laughs> well, a girl here's the there. thing: is that all the pictures show boys, oh, but really? they have a class that's specifically for girls. Which normally I wouldn't be into <laughs> this, but just, then I started to worry that she wasn't going to have friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, I'll just sign you up for the girls. But the girls is only 10 and up. So she has to go to uh, the... Got to go in the boys club. Break, break that glass ceiling. I said, is it going to be okay if there's all boys? And she was like, yeah, we'll talk about Minecraft. She's pretty cool. <laughs> My, Minecraft mine, Minecraft is uh, was it's virtual Legos, right? You That's essentially... I, and you can like make them do shit. They, like, you didn't think like Legos were nerdy enough. They're like, how can we get computers involved? <laughs> <laughs> well, because they go into each other's worlds. They're friends. And then they like... Uh-huh. She's got like the her phone on FaceTime. Mm-hmm. But they never see each other. They don't care about yeah, they seeing just, each yeah. other. And then uh, they just sit the, sit the FaceTime phone there. And then they're yelling at each other while they're doing... Oh, uh, interesting. They're... In their other worlds. Um, I have a grown man friend that plays Minecraft. <laughs> Do you know Blake Midget? Also, uh, oh, hell yeah. One That's of the his real last name? Blake Midget. I think you should change it to Little Person. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, it just doesn't feel right. Uh, He's so lucky that he gets to say Midget just like... Well, you can say it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, let's. We're not gonna pretend like never. that's a slur. Anyone Probably can really do anything about. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to say <laughs> well, little person and then shoulders. whisper midget right yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Everyone knows. Yeah. Uh, that's a joke from my act. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional comedian. You just uh, you say it. You whisper like this with your hand under your mouth. Yeah, right, right. And instead, instead of the side, side. And you go to the bottom. I stepped over. I stepped over a midget one time. When I was leaving a classroom in community college, he was like, he was sitting by the he was door. Not, he was not um, bent over anything. You c- he was he was squatting. He was squatting. So he only had a clearance of like two well, feet. This is, this is, I think, like a teachable moment. I didn't know they could squat. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I stepped they, over him completely. Bend at the knee? And I didn't realize how insulting that was until afterwards. <laughs> to completely just walk <laughs> over top of another human being. Right. But you had um, to get somewhere. You're like, oh, I got another class. You didn't yeah. mean it. You weren't intentionally being a dick. Well, maybe partially. Yeah, you I definitely mean, were. It was a, there was a clear and then afterwards. You I did put your it. balls in his mouth. I did. <laughs> well, that's that part of wrong. walking over somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, once you realize you can do that, you gotta fucking teabag him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, so true. Okay. Well. Uh, what do you got? What do I got? Oh um, I, <laughs> I, I, we're it's really good at podcasting. Uh, it's body. like, it's really, we don't plan anything. And then, uh, oh, come on. Hot out I find that hard to believe. This has been <laughs> I had a couple of things. Very, oh, very you know what? Here, we'll, we'll just... Coming along at quite a pace. <laughs> did you, did you? I had some, but go ahead. No, I wanted, because I was thinking, I wanted to talk about, did you see the, the story about the, the swimmer kid at Stanford? Yes, oh, got six months. I can't. I try not to see that story. And it's Did you like, see the letters? From yes, the, of course. God, it's it's like every dead. woman I know posted it. Yeah, <laughs> read this powerful letter. <laughs> this is a must read. Is it's, it? I well, no, it's great. The letter the girl wrote is probably the best thing that's ever been written on BuzzFeed. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, someone had to get raped for them to produce anything that's <laughs> en- entertaining. Pa- out to read. of pain comes great <laughs> yeah. art. Uh, what kind of gifts did they use for that? When I didn't, well, I didn't the, see the, the dad speed, was kind of crazy. Oh my god, the dad. The dad's hilarious, dude. Unbelievable. I love when he describes one uh, moment of uh, was, twenty minutes of action. Yes, well, Jesus yes. Christ! If it's just at calling like fucking action <laughs> yeah. is already worse than rape. That's yeah. I feel. Like action is something you do in the back of like a panel van with like a mural on the side, you know? Yeah. You have to have like fucking like there's gotta be like a wizard on top of a mountain airbrushed on the side of the van and then you fuck in that van and that's what action that's is. Action. Yeah, that was fucking horrend- horrendous. What did he post that on too? Like what what was he expecting to happen? Like the people to read that and be like, Oh, He's I don't so think he right. posted it. One yeah. I think minor it was... mistake <laughs> yeah. in life. How did you, I don't I didn't follow the case until the letters. Um, but so how did, how did it come out? Well, how, well the girl went, to, she knew no, she was passed out. Was right? She was passed out. She right. was caught. Like he was like fucking her underneath or fingering her, uh, behind a dumpster. Jesus Christ. Uh, which like, Ugh. how did you go find a dumpster even? You know, <laughs> like, he dragged like, her out to the dumpster. She was out behind a dumpster. Like, oh I, yeah. And he was fingering her behind a dumpster Ugh. and these two Swedish guys, Ugh. Who they said were bi- biking. Uh, they said they were riding. Uh, I don't know if they said they were riding bicycles. But, but they obviously said it was like a heroin or something. Well, I'm hoping oh, it was two sex. Swedish guys on, oh. on like one of those double bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. For a second, I thought Swedish you were going to tell yeah, me yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like, you don't know, you yeah. don't know the sex act the bicycling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hans, come on. <laughs> it's uh, two, yeah, two Swedish yeah. guys <laughs> on a, just out for a double bicycle ride at three o'clock in the morning. Okay, so they caught him. Yeah, they caught him like you know dry humping they were like hello are you okay <laughs> and then he ran well, off that's crazy Jesus because i don't Christ. know that i would have stopped to see if the girl was okay like it would be hard in the dark i think to well see. come on we're new yorkers we don't stop we don't stop for people if they i hurt. stepped over a midget i <laughs> yeah, mean that's right. the kind of guy i <laughs> yeah. am that's what you do in new york you see somebody being hurt you say it's none of my business only in new york and you well keep i did call the cops once did I you saw, um I saw these two guys dragging a girl into a taxi cab. Jeez, like yeah, literally, that's... like her, like her shoe fell off. That's Holy. how, and they had to go back and get it. Like so dragging you do her something. along. And I yelled, and I was running down the street. But they got in the cab and took off. So I just called the cops. But I don't. I have no idea what happened after that. Yeah, she is uh, in Mississippi right now. Human traffic. Maybe they were helping. Quicker. Were they helping? It's, po- it's totally possible that they were friends of hers. They did say we're her friend when yeah. I was yelling oh, at well, them. Oh well, then. <laughs> yeah. So they therefore, they I, definitely were not good. I let it go. Her. I said, yeah, "All yeah. right." The, oh. the cops they show up and shoot the cab names, driver. But I believe one was saying her first name and one was saying her middle name. <laughs> <laughs> we had that happen. I was at my apartment complex and there was some guy like beating his girlfriend in like the parking lot, like across. Like she was in her car and he's like punching the window and kicking the car. We had to like yell at him and run over and call the cops and shit. So oh I guess God. like I, you know, like a minimal level of, you know, doing doing the right thing. Yeah, no, you do something. I think yeah, you'd yeah. do something. I don't know. I mean, yeah, if you saw that, maybe yeah, you would just check to say like, hey, are, are you guys? Well, you, you should ask you what her right? name is. If they say it's our friend, you know, should and then say, well, Can they we did see that. Her ID or something. Yeah, they did that. They asked the. Uh, the Swedish guys were like, oh. "Do you do you know her name?" I think that something like that, and then he didn't know. Or well, why, he couldn't make something up at that <laughs> yeah. point. Like, what, like he, he, he yeah. was terrible at improv. His story, <laughs> he was really yeah. Bad. <laughs> his story changed like three times, and oh. the the like I guess the testimony from the Swedes because their like identity is in public, right? right? You know. Um, Although they could have their own show right now if they played their cards right. Yeah. They're fucking heroes. It was actually, <laughs> the you know who it was? And a yellow it was, tandem bicycle. It was the Property Brothers. That's why. <laughs> that's why no one knows their identity. Because the Property Brothers stopped that rape. Well, there's those three I'm, girls yeah. that stopped uh, I'm I'm Jason rape, Property, right? and this is my brother Michael Property. We stopped We're rapes. opposites. And we've never and kissed. It works. I was saying, I like to imagine that the Property Brothers, they have no genitals, but they share a bed with each other. Aww. You do but a lot of imagining. I do. About the Property Brothers. <laughs> well, that's hey, my favorite is, show. When he says imagining, he means, I like to beat off to the Property how is, Brothers. How is, that, what is, how is that even a beating off thing? That's not even well, slightly sexual. Well, we don't know. Sexual. Everybody has their different thing. Yeah. You know, everybody it beats no, off to And by the way, different. you jumping to a defense, and you're, you're yes. twitching. Your leg is yes. twitching right now. Yes. Nick is bright red. If he He's storms furious. out, we've yeah. got him. Yeah. I already did a storming out bit on the last podcast, so I can't storm out. I again. wish you would storm out. 
Um, yeah, that would be pretty funny. If that I, would be an awkward podcast for the rest of this. <laughs> I think we could fill. You know, I had I had to leave. I had to, to leave on the last one because, uh, like, uh, Adam just started making dinner while we were recording, <laughs> yeah. it, and I got annoyed. Yeah, we'll probably trash Adam at the beginning of this. Seeing, as yeah, we'll we... get. Well, Adam's going to be on the beginning of this podcast. Who's Adam? Adam's the third guy on the podcast. Oh, I don't see him. Yeah, you we guys don't. Do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He's been talking this whole time. Oh, what are you talking about? Those are the lulls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. yeah, we were confused when you were talking about lulls. Adam was giving a beautiful soliloquy. Well, well I thought we, we were just going to do it right now afterwards. And then, anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it after. Me, we're going to go record the first half of this podcast mm -hmm. after this one. Mm -hmm. this is, that way we get this part done with. Right. And get me out of the way. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Get our friend, our Nate, our friend Adam, with no credits. Yeah, our other, the other, we fuck up a lot, so it's like easy if we have more wiggle room to, you know, <laughs> yell at Adam. And I think we're back. doing great though. We're this doing is fine. A, this is this is going fine. Classic. All the dead spots we add in Tim Allen's grunt noise. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> something like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. So, what projects do you? Do have? you know he's still alive? Yeah. yeah, like I, I didn't see one of the Christmas movies last year out, and I was like, I was so worried about him. But I guess <laughs> yeah. he just stopped doing. Well, the, if you know, if he, he if he dies, <laughs> he wasn't a like Santa dog. Yeah, this year. if he <laughs> dies, <laughs> whoever kills him becomes Tim Allen. Oh, that's the, oh, so that's the Tim Allen forever. clause. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's been four people since we've been since I've been alive. Yeah, I mean, he's only like, he's only like sixty three years old. <laughs> Tim not, Allen? No, yeah, he's older than that. No, he's not. I. We're never going to look it up, but I bet you he is. He was 27 in 1970. How do you know this? Because he, went to, all, cause he went to prison. He went to prison when he was 27 or some shit for. I'm about to look uh, shit up right yeah. now. Bitch. Did you know that story? The Tim Allen story? Yeah. Yeah. I've met Come Tim on. Allen, okay? Oh, yeah? Oh, I've been in the same room with him. I believe I may Lay or may not have jail? played pool with him. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were a co conspirator <laughs> in his fucking. When he was selling. Uh, selling what was it, Coke? He was it selling was Coke. A lot of Coke. Tim Allen age. We're about to motherfucking find out. Oh, well, right that's, now. I don't think it's that. <laughs> I'm going to, can I guess? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say 58. 58? You think he's younger than that? Yeah. I think he's probably like 63. Yeah, well, guess what, you idiot? He's 62. You're wrong as shit. So. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. But I didn't go over. So I feel yeah, like I won. You win Price is Right rules. You yeah. Yeah. get to yeah, fuck yeah. Tim Allen now. Yeah. You won Boom. Tim Allen. <laughs> Maybe I already did. <laughs> she did say she met him. Oh, well, I'll stop <laughs> talking shit on Tim Allen, man. I'm sorry. Where did you meet Tim Allen? Well, I'm, his uh, we had the same managers. We were at a party at, his ma at our managers once, and then um, he was at the improv once. Mm. Did, did he ever describe uh, Wilson's body to you? <laughs> yes. I always he did I, a police drawing for yeah. me, so I was one of the first people to know. It's what actually, he actually un underneath the fence. It's just it's a severed head being held up by the property brothers. That's <laughs> what I like to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're working the mouth. <laughs> That's nice. The a lot cool of property brother. brothers deep cuts. In this um, one. Well, my girlfriend watches that show all the time. So yeah, uh, your girlfriend. Yeah, uh, it's me. It's just me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I sit at home and I watch the property brothers all day. Of all things oh, I thought you watched the Tim Allen show. I was like, oh. that's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, we actually can't. Yeah, we the can't. The property brothers now makes more. She seems like a real person now. Before I was like, I think he's making her up. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no, for, she's a very real, very disappointed person. Yeah, for for legal reasons, we can't acknowledge that Tim Allen has like a TV show on his podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah what, it's like a copyright issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in, we're in. Roiled in some litigation, uh, unfortunately. So, what do you have coming out project-wise? Anything big? It's rude. Is it? What do you mean? Is it rude? <laughs> oh, like... Well, when does this air? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, tomorrow night I'm doing a big show at yeah. the Village Underground. Nice. Cool. Uh, taping it live for serious. It's a lot of really good. Uh, people on it. I'm not actually supposed to say what the show's about, but I feel like not enough people will hear yeah, this yeah, to yeah, make yeah, a totally. difference. Yeah, yeah, totally. But um, we're doing a game show called uh, Would You Bang Him? Oh, nice. We were going to call it Would You Fuck Him, but then I just felt like it was a little too harsh. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, No, we agree. You should always name things like... You shouldn't be You shouldn't be harsh. You shouldn't be explicit in your name. Yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's a, it's going on serious. You can say it, but right. just because you can, Doesn't mean you should. You? That's right. So, you hear that, uh, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be um, Dan Soder, uh, Mike Vecchione, Big J, uh, Dave Smith, um, Pete Lee, somebody else. I'm missing somebody. So they're going to compete. And then we have uh, four female judges, Carmen Ooh. Lynch, 
um, Annie Letterman, uh, Emily Tarver, and uh, Marina Franklin are the judges. And so then the guys come out and they do five minutes of stand up, and then the judges decide if they would fuck them or not. So oh. shouldn't that kind of be called ha- Have You Already Fucked Them? I- <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Because I feel like, yeah. And shouldn't that be the name? Of the show? The, that could. Uh, <laughs> We, we could work that in. <laughs> so Rich is going to host it, and I'm going to be the. That's great. I like something. that's cool. A nice Com- color flip. commentary on it. Yeah, it 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 does a lot to speak to uh, the patriarchy, which that's I right. just learned about this week. You did from a shirt. Yeah, I saw somebody <laughs> wearing a shirt. And said, oh, asked me about it. Right. Um, I know all about flipping the patriarchy. I have an erotic Instagram account that we he haven't does. talked he about plugs enough. His, he plugs his Instagram. That we haven't account talked about enough week. on the podcast. I feel like that's a better name for it. What's that? Flipping the patriarchy. Flipping, Flipping the patriarchy. patriarchy. We should change. Well, we down. wanted to do. It. We wanted. You know, the, the guys we fucked podcast. Yes. So we wanted to do uh, guys they fucked. Yes. So we're the guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. But I don't. Yeah. Right. I haven't fucked either of them. I haven't either. Yeah. But so. it would be rude. I fucked them both. Did Whoa, you? Oh, nice. <laughs> they should judge. They should. You should have them as guest judges for the. Well, I mean, we could. I want it to be a regular thing, but cool. We'll see if it happens. The last one we did was a huge success. And those was, are all those are all fuckable. Those are all pretty fuckable guys, though, on that lineup. Yeah, no blacks. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think that's what you're getting at. Yeah. Well, you should throw one in there where it's just. I me. was well, we were, M- Michael Che was going to come, and I don't know what happened to him. Uh, who who would so be now? We had no diversity. Who's the guy that's just completely unfuckable that you could put, like besides Stav that well, you could I'm put pretty on fuckable, the fucking pretty show? Pretty cute. Well, I you'd have, have to see what, what your stand-up... You know, the the premise is that supposedly, you know, a funny guy, that's what women want, a good sense of humor, so we're going to put it to the test. That's okay. Great. I like that's, that You idea. know what? It's funny. It's like it's the male version of the naked show, where you have to... <laughs> To showcase the thing you know, that makes weird. you fuckable. I don't know is, that if this was reversed that any women would say yes to it. I mean, I guess there's some women that would. Would you do right. the naked show? Have you heard about Never. it? Never. Of course not. Never. I don't, I don't do the naked that, show when yeah. I have sex. I don't do the naked show ever. No, I'm not. Uh... Yeah, I, I've seen it once. It's like incredible the turnout that that show gets. Because people are just... that's. At the end of the day, people just want to like look at tape. Are you just, are, are you into the comedy of it at all? No, or is, that's not a thing. I think at that's all? like a nine percent. I think it's ninety one. Even even if you have funny comics on there, they're not going to be able to like really do their material while completely naked. Well, this, the girl's like, well, I just like I got to get stage time. I'm like, really? Yeah, like, <laughs> that is. There's so another funny. level there. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. That's great. <laughs> Imagine sex trafficking yourself into the world of stand up comedy. Yes. <laughs> just yeah, low level sex you, work. You kidnap yourself like Liam Neeson's daughter. <laughs> well, I, I always ask this question and I don't I really don't know the answer and I it's um why, you know, f- women who do stand up still really like try to be sexy and like right. You know, so many of them on their album covers. They're yeah, it's so like weird. Yeah, naked, and then they're like, "Pay attention to me as a, a a funny person, and I have like this clever mind." And then they're doing it to themselves. They're what? what what's totally what are, what are words? They're objectifying themselves, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's like feminism, but I don't understand. Right. Is it feminism or is it just like trying to get fucking money? Yeah, I guess it probably is like... Well, we're the experts. I know. Yeah. I know. So, I feel like I've also come money. to the right place well, feminism finally. Is I've asked a this myth. question many times uh, yeah. to many people. Um, I don't know. I guess you could say that it's empowering. Because like, at this point, it's like, what isn't feminism, really? You know, in terms of... I mean, it's like... Right. As an ideology, it's like so thoroughly diluted through, mm-hmm. you know... Uh, culture at large it, every, a, everyone's uh, pretty much a feminist you have to like make a decision to say i'm not a feminist now right if you're anybody that's having a conversation with anybody at least online right um so well i was involved in um some you know human trafficking for a while as a feminist i yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was i felt like i was taking them yeah. to a better place well human, actually human these, are, these are feminist swastikas they, yes <laughs> it's a different it goes in a different direction yes, so it it's actually a little means, different than what you're thinking yeah, yeah. yeah it's an ancient indian symbol that means uh you know no, but I, end I, the wage gap <laughs> uh i know what you're saying though because it's there is like a, a difference between like uh, in in theory, yes, like you should be able to dress however you want and still yes. and still be taken seriously. But there is like a period. I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit of a. 
Well, my husband put it this way. He was like, you know, if your dentist, if you showed up and your dentist was like, you know, wearing like a low cut shirt and her like belly was showing. Right. And even if she was super hot and you were like, oh, my God, this is amazing. This is my dentist. You still wouldn't think you, you had the best dentist. Right. You'd never be right, like, I'm right, pretty right. sure. Right, 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 right. <laughs> like right. if you really had some dental work to get done, you'd go to a better dentist. A frumpier you'd, dentist. Yes, you'd yeah. go to yeah, someone yeah. else. Like A very, a very kind Jewish guy. <laughs> yes, like you're not going to go to the hot. Like that's the same thing about stand up. It's like hotness really doesn't have anything. It doesn't True. really help you. Yeah, yeah. but it's it is so, still the entertainment industry. So there's like if you if right, you but have if you're, the ability if your to, whole thing is about bucking the system and getting into a business where it's male dominated and fuck them, I'm going to succeed and and then you're like, okay, and then now just let me play the game exactly as it's yeah. already been written for thousands right. of years. Like that's No, absolutely. Yeah, I think you're right that you could it's like uh, especially when it's like you're choosing the thing that you want to represent you the most, like a special cover or like, you know, the material for like, right. you know, you, you, you do set a tone with that. And I, I agree with what you're saying. Well, I it, cause it, cause it, I get on one level, like it works, it gets eyeballs on you or whatever. Right. But on the other level, it's like, well, so does marrying a rich guy and not working like right, so many right, things right. that are like sort of anti-feminism. Right. Yeah. They work. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's right, like, right. but it's yeah, not just like helpful those to the cause. Then don't, then at, at the very least, don't present yourself, I think. It's like some fucking. Like warrior for justice or whatever. Yes. For justice. Do you think justice? male comedians should have to be jacked? I First <laughs> of all, I don't like comedians that look normal at all. Like, it's not my thing. So like, even Dan Soder us. to me, I feel like he's still got to overcome that he's like, got that giant head he looks too normal you know he's like yeah. oh, okay or um and I, I don't i when i see pretty people doing stand-up i it takes me totally. so long to get behind it i yeah, can't yeah, yeah. take it of both I, genders too it's like both genders too, you can't be too hot and, and do stand-up if you work out all the time and then you're like uh what's his name i for a long time Rogan? i just didn't like him no aaron uh Oh, Aaron. I'm just completely based on the fact that I, I'm like, okay, well, that, you're no. so into working out. <laughs> well, is he is he still though? Because he used to be like a competitive bodybuilder. He still is like. I mean, he, he was wearing like a sleeveless shirt the other day. And it was I've like, never yeah. seen him with sleeves. I don't. Yeah, think I don't. Yeah, no, he I've loves seen him with showing he, it he'll off. Wear, yeah. He'll wear vests. Like vests. Over like the one thing he's got shirt. going for him is that he he's odd looking. Like even <laughs> right. though he works out all right, the time, right, like he right. wears weird like suit coats. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, he wears uh, like Ed Hardy suits. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's so true. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, <laughs> so it's like he's still like a little, you know what I mean? Still like yeah. off. Yeah, he's still off. Like but, I think you should be a little off. But if you're a yeah, comedian. anyone who's like just. It's yeah. Everyone's like beautiful in in, in every category. What, like, what about Rogan? Because Rogan's huge. Um, R- Rogan to me fits his right. It thing. makes sense. Like his his personality f- fits so well. Like Rich yeah. too, my husband. He his personality is like this New Jersey guy. Like it fits so well with how he looks that. You know, it's it's almost like it's a flaw. You know whose in body of itself, yeah. right, right? You know whose right. body is perfect for their act. Sean Rouse. I don't know what he looks like anymore. He I has seen crippling him in years arthritis. Years. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he can barely stand up. And he's, isn't he like a fall down drunk? Or he's uh, like, Sean Rouse is like my favorite. Comedian. I used to love him, and then I had too many encounters with him where he was just like a mean, horrible person. Yeah. And no. I had to he's, be like, I can't. I, can't, I don't know who you're gonna, who I'm gonna meet up with. Uh, he, right. uh, I, like uh, my friend Norman got him booked. Now we're just that, gossiping about people that know. That's yeah, what happens. Yeah, no, that's what happens. We have a terrible <laughs> podcast. We told you it's bad. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Whatever. The rule with podcasts, you just do them, you get people to subscribe, and then if it's boring in the first, you know, 10 minutes, they don't listen to it, but they don't, they forget to delete or the episode or unsubscribe, mm. and that's how you game the system and get up, you know, oh, up in the charts. Oh, so that's, that's what cool. we're doing. I get it. Yeah, this is all just a This scam. is springtime this for This is Hitler. all a career. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a front this, for, I don't know This is a what. career move, so we, so we <laughs> named it come town well again i think that's smart <laughs> i think you know everybody's like that's a dumb name you're gonna want to change it and it's no, like I why do. to I why agree. everyone will remember come town forever that's true yeah, the they'll remember forever. not to hit play. <laughs> yeah. If you I had, a, if you had a, like a, a like a name like Brookview or something, they'd be like, <laughs> what is that again? And they might. That they sounds might like go a shitty apartment complex. Yeah, no, that's, just, my, thought, that's my that's my apartment. Uh, <laughs> 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 that's 
That's my townhouse. <laughs> yeah, I thought it just. I thought it's like a gated sh- community. Yeah, no, it's no, a it's, fence. It's, it's, it's so just a weird fucking where fence, I live. Yeah. Is like everything about it is. It's it's like out of a like if you're gonna make a TV show about like the friendliest town in the world, everything is named exactly like there's a, a, a suburban street. It's there's called a suburban street. Just named suburban street. Yes, like there's. <laughs> it's just it, it it's just it's too it's so cliched. It's crazy. Who gets to name the streets in just like a fake suburban? The prisoners, town? whoever's in the jail. Oh, that's they make license plates and they name all the streets. Oh, <laughs> it's true. I actually, I had a. That's why there's so many Valdez. (laughs) (laughs) Eddie Guerrero Memorial Drive. (laughs) (laughs) Chris Benoit Drive. (laughs) Oh, shit. So you live in central Jersey, right? I live, I do. I live right in the very middle. Very uh, suburban. In fact, our town is almost just houses. Like, there's hardly anything. Like, you know, there's obviously, like, supermarkets and post office and stuff but there's it's not like a destination place like there's no mall nobody comes is it what so it's like a philly yeah. suburb i don't know what that means like a suburb of philadelphia it's not it's not <laughs> no okay. it's like an hour from philly oh okay yeah it's an hour you, from you new york an hour from philly why it's like 10 15 minutes from princeton oh ooh, that's where my smart. daughter's taking her robotics uh-huh. that makes sense were Funny. you guys friends with john nash before he died yeah we were cool. like always hanging out. Um, <laughs> did you have you have you ever seen the uh not a beautiful mind, but there's like a uh maybe it wasn't even a documentary, it was just like a short interview with so you know John Nash, Beautiful Mind? Yes. His son was also crazy, but like oh. way worse. But just stupid. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> but not like, like a crazy yeah. guy at GameStop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He no, would he jump out of windows and stuff, oh, but he was. Yeah, the son was also uh like a like a very math good at genius. math. Yeah, but like very fucking crazy. There's like a video of I saw like an interview and they're interviewing John and John's like, you know, keeping it together barely in the living room. And then the son's in the other room with these like ridiculous giant like cowboy boots on. (laughs) 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 Oh, that is some good crazy shit. (laughs) What, this is a documentary? What? It was like a short, I don't know if it was a doc, I mean, it was like an extended interview with John Nash and his family that I saw. Maybe it was. Because I think part of it though is that your kids, and this is just part of the experiment I'm doing with my own child, (laughs) is that they just, they pick, they, you know, when you you know when you went to school and you'd be like, oh my god, this this kid is nuts. And then you meet the parents and they're the exact same kind right. of nuts. It's yeah. like they're growing up in that. Yeah, but I mean, he has like schizophrenia. The it's son, it, well, he like hears genetic, voices too, and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both things. It's like it's the 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 what the parents create, and it's also that kid just got really unlucky and got all his dad. Basically. Nature versus nurture. Right. Yeah, yeah. What is it? That's the second hour of this. We're gonna open nature it up right versus now. nature. Yeah. Um. So now we well, can. Because my into daughter's it like really good at joke writing. Like she's a very very good joke. Oh writer. really? Do you want to hear one of the jokes that she wrote? Sure. She wrote this joke when she was maybe six years old. Let's hear it. She said, "Is that because you, you just don't know how old she is?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know. I was like, "Is it five? Um, she said, you go on stage and you're in a wheelchair and you've got like a neck brace on and your arms in a cast and you go up to the mic and you go to the audience. You should feel sorry for me. I'm married. <laughs> that is a great That's joke. A That's a great funny. joke. That's my so you're joke. teaching your daughter to hate men at a young age. <laughs> yeah. That's what I got. She sees that. what happens in the family. <laughs> that's cool. There is some like nine year old girl that's like. Uh, oh, I hate kids. That's yeah, doing, I uh, well, just the, really hate kid uh, entertainers of almost across the board. Well, because it's so. They almost definitely don't want to do it like themselves. There's yeah, like, no, well, they, every the father comic. Behind it. Yeah. Remember oh. that kid in D.C.? It's like you're, you, what you're watching is their stupid parent. Exactly. Yeah. Like that you, you really think they're sitting down and writing their dumb jokes yeah. every day? We have no. a we have a child comedian friend, this kid Brandon Wardell. He's like <laughs> he's like 13 or 14 and his parents have to write all of his have to write all his tweets. His parents all his have tweets. To his parents world mine star his tweets from Black Twitter and fucking <laughs> There was this girl and I I think she's still around but obviously she's probably like 10 years older now but maybe she was like 16 at the time and um her, she would come to the improv and do stand up, and she was like kind of cute, and uh, but with tons of makeup, short skirt, high heels. Like people, I, I don't get it. I don't get why you would send right. your daughter up on stage like that. And then, and then the people, people at home. I'm using the word people because that's like giving you guys the benefit of the doubt that the, those are the list. That's how many listeners. And um, so he, you can't <laughs> see what I'm doing, but he was like crouched by the side of the stage, like he's super gay. Her dad, her like stage dad, and he'd be like. 
no. like, you know, conducting her. But also all her jokes were like, you know, like as though like the guy was writing for like a Liza Minnelli special right, or something. Right, they were right. like these and she didn't flecked like a gay guy. And right. it was like you're just hearing her dad like every nineties yeah. and then you say this. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's always what happens. There was another kid that kid Leo, whatever the fuck his name was oh, yeah. DC. It was like two divorced it's like asthmatic little boy that, yeah. that and his parents would make him go do open and his, mics. And oh, his God. jokes were all about like not fucking good. <laughs> like oh, it was clear God. his dad wrote those. That's a funny sketch <laughs> though, like, yeah. like just like yeah. how much he hates his mom. Oh yeah, they you were divorced. To realize, like, I think you would be funny, and yeah. he had this like hot mom who was like hit on every comic. It was so fucked. You'd up be funny. Movie. You have like a child comedian, but then you force him to do like, you know, where's the birth certificate? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. We haven't seen it. It looks like a Muslim to me. That's yeah. actually really yeah. funny. Like, yeah, if you yeah, want yeah. your lunch money tomorrow, you'll fucking. But do that's the, bit. the only way that a kid comedian is going to be funny is if it's like, oh, it's like crazy because a kid shouldn't be saying that. But then, yeah. then, then we know that the kid isn't saying it. Right. Hey, everybody, my name is Andrew Five Clay. I'm five years old. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so anyway, whores. <laughs> Who whores? Yeah. Luckily, my girlfriends don't even have pubes yet. Hey. Hey. My Dad, daughter. Can we go uh, home? <laughs> when she was no. still a, just a baby, we would take her on stage and we do. We had this one joke we would do where we go, "Where's your spleen?" And she go. <laughs> <laughs> she, it got a big. One. It's a good bit. Kids are great, huh? Can't wait to have them. Um, so, uh, do you have anything that you want to plug? Because we're like, we're, we're so we're tomorrow good to go. night. You can, I think there's still a few tickets left. Village Underground, yeah. eight o'clock. The, big bump, the Come Town Bump, right now. Yes, I'm yeah. gonna feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna see it in the line when I walk up. There's a huge line. I'll be like, oh, Come Town, you <laughs> did it. Um, it's a you just check the sex offender registry. <laughs> yes, I know. Run it by the guest list, the manifest, and that's whoever overlaps. Those are uh, <laughs> yeah. those are our, our guys. That's ha- that's what's happening. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, you can always just get my book. You're better than me if you're into. People might like your listeners might like it because it's read her book, you pieces of shit. It's about yeah. it's about getting started in comedy and whatever. Uh, it's called you're, you're Better Than Me. It's on Amazon or Audible. Cool. cool. I have a movie yeah, on Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it called going, Women Aren't Funny. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's a good movie. You Women Aren't Funny it. on uh, Netflix or iTunes. Uh, yes, correct, right. And sir. then the book... Uh, Amazon or Amazon, Audible, You're Audible. Better Than Me. Audible's uh, audiobook, right? Yeah. Did you do it? I did it. Cool. Whoa. I would hire somebody. Well, then I... I well, this is... Um, they 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 pay you very, very well to huh? do the, audio, the mm. audiobook. But, so then they I got a hotel. They said it's going to take a week, five days. So I, I got a hotel for five days, and I told my husband, like... Okay, you know, you gotta just watch the kid. I gotta do it. You know, yeah. it's the thing I gotta do. And then I finished in like a day and a half. And so then I just like walked around the city, like, like you know those men they get fired from their jobs and don't tell their wives. Right, and they totally. just have to go. I'll see you later, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he had, just like honey. feeding the birds. It's a briefcase with just an <laughs> going back to the room, yeah. taking the call from my husband. Like, oh, I gotta run back in there. I'm on a very short break. Yeah. <laughs> my friend's mom disappeared in high school. She was like, just wound up. She was like, spent three days at a bar. I remember him Jesus. having like a crisis about. It. He's like, yeah, my mom. She doesn't come home in like two days, and we don't know where she is. And then, yeah, it turned out she was just drinking. Uh, just, went on, <laughs> just went on a bender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, uh, I, I, I kind of get it. I mean, it is. Totally. I think it's an important oh, part I would of do being that. a mom. If I had- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> to just go on a three day bender. Just like not all the time, every two years. Yeah. Especially if you can't drink during the pregnancy. You should get the bender in immediately. You don't need to. You don't want to drink during your pregnancy because you're getting oxytocin like a motherfucker. I mean, mm. it is the best drug. And if you could just have that all the time. See, I don't, I don't, if you're an alcoholic, you want to drink. So. No, I don't think you do. There are tons of alcoholics, drug addicts, they don't drink or use while they're pregnant. I mean, obviously some do, but. A lot of them don't. They so why don't we just impregnate all of the women smart. with drug problems? Yes, smart, I agree. Smart, smart, smart. I think I just started my own charity. Give them a little action. Uh, come coming for coming. <laughs> or just let them breastfeed. That does this trick also. Angels who come. <laughs> angels who fuck. <laughs> the come angels. The come angels. Breastfeeding is like a weird, one. a weird thing because, like, obviously my kids ate, so this I quit like three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't see you say that, but I don't know how long you're supposed to breastfeed. Probably till well, not you, much. They less say than you're that. supposed to breastfeed for two years, but two years is too long. Like, oh, okay. It's weird. It gets weird. A two year old is a little person. They can yeah, talk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And they can walk. I wrote an article a couple <laughs> years ago about breastfeeding my 12 year old, and I got a lot of people that were mad at me. And then I got a bunch of people that were like, I actually find this to be very sexy. You know, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, send me like email about like wanting to. Well, you can get addicted to breastfeeding because you, yeah, you get addicted to the oxytocin. Really? And that's why women, the crazy women that breastfeed until their kids are five or whatever, uh, they say they're doing it for their kids. But really, I, I had they're no drug idea. addicts. That that felt cool. <laughs> they really are. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> what a and drug with those women, we should to. put back on heroin. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm going to fix that. Um, well, it's thank you for doing oh, our stupid that, no. fucking podcast. Thank Appreciate you for having it. me. Yeah. Um, ch- uh, if you if well, it's not you're on you were on Kennedy yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Check her out yesterday wing, wing. on Kennedy. Uh, probably some YouTube. Yeah. All the other I got to get over to my show at the Village Underground. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, come town, fucking epi- come town episode, episode whatever five. It is, yeah, five. we're done. Bye. <laughs>
Uh, well, I guess it was last week already, but R.I.P. Harambe, guys. <laughs> um, I'm the greatest reeling. tragedy, the greatest loss that we faced you in know, the last week. I keep I keep having to find more and more stories about Harambe, and they get you know all these damn shootings and celebrity deaths are taken away from my Harambe. Yeah, comments. today's terrorist attack is so disrespectful. To you know, we're not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to. I don't even want to bring it up. That's fair. Uh, we should address though. This came up. Uh, we got some negative comments on Twitter really? from people. For what? What? Uh, apparently, you know, um, they know it's ironic, but we say the R word a little bit too much. Well, no, but that's a deliberate political choice. On yeah, the um, it's it's called satire. <laughs> from yeah. yeah, we're really when I we're say satirical is all when I say retard, fuck. I don't mean actual retarded people. Mm-mm. I mean fictional retarded people that I've made up to laugh at in my head. Right. Yeah, of but course. who are really silly and goofy and are doing funny stuff. Yeah. You know, but they're not real. It's like a fit, like Homestar Runner. Like, remember how everyone thought Homestar Runner wasn't mean spirited because it was a cartoon with Down syndrome <laughs> rather than it being a fucking actual boy with Down syndrome? That's what made it okay, guys. That, yeah. That's what satire is. And it's also like, you know, I mean, this is one of the most intelligent podcasts you could listen to. Absolutely. You know? I, yeah. It's we getting got a lot out of, there to the intelligence. Yeah. And it hurts me because, you know, there's a lot of young kids that listen to this. And they, this is actually, you know what? I have, uh, I have a letter. Yeah, get the letter. Hold on. I, I think a, I got it. I have right a here. letter. I, I got it. Who wrote you know, this? I got a letter. This is from one of our fans. Uh, hi, come town. My name's Dylan. I'm five years old. I'm gay, and I just learned how to jack off. And I wanted to thank you guys for, you know, teaching me how to live my life as a, <laughs> as a trans five year old. Wow. And you know that warms my heart, guys. You know that these <laughs> fucking kids are out there. And we're touching them. We're touching these children. We're touching these and small by the end, children. By and the end t- of this project, we're going to touch basically every single ch- child in America. Every child, every race of child, every type, size, and Gender. race. Give me the Ashley Graham child. Let me touch the, <laughs> let me touch the biggest bitch five-year-old you can find. And I'm going to touch her, her mind. Because I respect children and I respect our listeners. And to say that we're you know, problematic is... That's it's, fucked up. It's bullshit. And you're, basically, you're a faggot if you're saying that. <laughs> yeah, this is a smart show like the... You're a gay fag for sure if you're saying that. This is a smart show like uh, the Stephen Colbert, uh, Colbert report. This is That's like right. basically... Yeah. We're playing characters. We're playing characters right now. <laughs> but we yeah. just broke it. Fuck. All right. Well, in real life, they don't even know what we are in real life. That's like, so true. They call that the fourth wall. Yeah. I think. Um, I'm a French literature professor at Columbia. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'm that guy that got exonerated for rape at Columbia. <laughs> the mattress guy? The sweet? Wasn't he Swedish? Wasn't uh, What if he was one of the... Mattress guy? He what if he was one of the bicycle guys from the Brock Turner case? <laughs> yeah. He went on to... To save... To save another a, girl. Yeah. And it's you know like, what? Uh, the rest of his life, still a sex offender. Right. Well, it's like, uh, you Fuck, know, the villain man. becomes the hero Free kind him. of story. Like, Although, did he get in trouble? He didn't get in trouble? No, he didn't get in trouble. Brock that guy, got in trouble. Brock got in trouble. Free Brock. <laughs> Brock got caught. Yeah, free Brock. You know what's so this funny? Is a, this is a messed up question, but he said in his letter, like, oh, yeah, no, I can't go to the Olympics. Like, was Brock good enough at swimming to go to the Olympics? Fuck no, Has anyone dude. looked that up? There's no way he was yeah, good enough to go to the Olympics. Well, he was, they said he was an all-American swimmer, which that just means white, right? Like, all-American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means white guy, in my mind. Absolutely. Um, I don't know what actually qualifies you to be All-American. You, you would know. All-American? Right? Yeah. You get enough, enough stars. He had enough stars <laughs> in swimming. Yeah. You yeah, earn yeah. stars and stripes in sports. <laughs> I'm like doing chores. Yeah. The, yeah. the, 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 the smaller your fucking swimming underwear is. That's what I like. Having the there. tidiest locker. Yeah. That, I love how swimmers are like, yeah, I shave all my body hair to be faster or whatever. It's like, yeah, an autistic person told you that. There's no way that actually has any real effect. Also, Brock's dad has spent so much time around little kids in bikinis his whole life like yeah. what a what a piece of shit Brock's dad I'm yeah, not that gonna is, listen to you that is the worst part about Brock's dad for well sure. I don't know man everyone, <laughs> yeah. it was kind of dumb that everyone was criticizing that letter as if like his dad was supposed to be like yeah fuck him up <laughs> yeah, yeah. fuck him up I hate my son yeah he's the person he's who raised a rapist yeah, yeah. he's gonna be like a fucking uh, a font of knowledge his dad did have a tweet that was like Brock is gonna be enjoying a different kind of footlong yeah in jail <laughs> I actually, I did that tweet. 
<laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did one today for the, the I was like the the uh you know, the bright side of this whole shooting thing is that you know all the victims are up and having enjoying a different kind of little <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. I can't help myself. You're going to hell. <laughs> You're going to hell. If I go to hell, will I be enjoying a <laughs> different kind of different football? Different kind of football. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Sorry, those are my keys. Oh, that's too good. It's the new black box. It's yeah. the new. The plane should be made out of the black box. Is the black box is Twitter? Yeah, it's a it's a great joke. I really don't think there's been enough time with Brock Turner yet. That guy should have postponed that shooting until. I guess he had to do it during Pride Week, aka Gay Ramadan. <laughs> gay Ramadan. So it has the most effect. Absolutely. That's what they should do to get back at him. They should change the name of Pride Week to Gay Ramadan. Gay Ramadan. <laughs> Just fucking pictures of Muhammad sucking other Muhammads off. Yeah, um, but we didn't about. get enough. We didn't get enough time with that Brock story. I think it's still. Yeah, you're right. It's probably gone now. No, it's gone. Yeah, now it's going to be the shooting thing. And I don't know if you saw this. About an yeah. hour ago, they arrested some white guy with like a gun in his car outside the Pride Parade in L.A. What? Yeah. Oh, and I read the article. I told Adam already. I read the article, and there was <laughs> oh a God. there was a line in the article where they're like talking. That, you know, it's like buried in there where they're talking about. Uh, you know, like a representative from the Anaheim Police Department stated that they take Disneyland very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Just be that cop, and it's like, yeah, Mickey's real. He's fucking real, and we protect him. Goofy's real. Mickey you know and Goofy are real. I'm friends with them, and I keep them safe. <laughs> and I take him serious. I take them very fucking seriously. There's nothing. I mean, I know his name is Goofy, but there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing goofy, funny. There's nothing goofy about Goofy the dog. <laughs> he's, a, he's a businessman. I respect him. I respect his choices as a father. The way he raises Max. I, frankly, I wouldn't let him listen to some of that music that he enjoys. I mean, uh, <laughs> he probably shouldn't be hanging out with Pauly Shore either. But uh, yeah, that movie sucked. Goofy movie. Yeah. I have nothing but Are positive. Are you I have nothing for but real right now? I remember not it. liking it. Powerline, like Max's favorite star, was so cool. That <laughs> song was so cool. You know what I think it was? I think I was embarrassed of my own father, and it struck a nerve with me yeah. <laughs> as a kid, and I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. There were too many similarities. I love that one, that movie too, because it's just like everyone's a goofy. Yeah, like there's no other, there's no fucking mice. There's no like, where, yeah. What what universe is this? What is this goofy? They're, they're dogs. Is there a different planet. They're all dogs. They're, they're human like dogs. They have yeah. human bodies. Yeah, but where did fucking <laughs> Donald fucking Duck go? You well, know isn't what I'm is Pete supposed to be a cat? The neighbor, Pete the Pete the cat. I think he's a, a cat. Dog. Yeah, he's just a big dog. Was he a dog? I thought he was a fat cat. Uh, oh, we maybe. need to watch. We need to re rewatch. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Well, they all go back to what is it? Steamboat Willie. The the original Mickey cartoon. Yeah, it's Mickey yeah. Mouse, and then his it's boss the first is animation. Pete. Mm. So it's Mickey's boss. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Why isn't Mickey in the the? That's goofy what I'm movie? fucking saying. There's no. Right, they don't live mice. in the same town. He lives in an all goofy person. So town. it's segregated. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. by species. <laughs> in the, the Disney, Disney world, world, there is segregation. <laughs> It is well. Walt Disney was an avowed racist. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Well, actually, anti semite. You remember the show Doug? I don't know if I brought this up on the podcast mm -hmm, I think before. You have. But, so you know how, like in Doug, like Skeeter's green and mm -hmm. the friends yeah. Rogers. Blue. Yeah. But initially, they wanted the show to be like, let's make it multiracial. Let's have like his best friends Hispanic and like there's a black kid and like Nickelodeon or whatever back in the '87. Whenever that show was being pitched, they were like. Ah, just make them purple and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I think actually making them a different race might be too much. So let's just make them something that nobody can relate Give to. Them disgusting right? green skin. Give him jaundice <laughs> yeah. instead of making him yeah. Hispanic. I want one of them to be uh, their race to be booger because that's more pleasant than actual black guy. I think. I got to do. Uh, speaking of trial, I got to do jury duty tomorrow. Oh fuck! Do you, scared, you have dude? jury duty like once a month? What didn't you just that's have? That's what jury happens, duty? man. If you're full-blooded white guy, they get they you. want you up there. Yeah, they know you. You understand justice. My family came over on the Mayflower, dude. <laughs> You're a good judge of character. Yeah. Um, no, I had to postpone it last time. Uh -oh. I had shit to do, and I postponed it to this one. 
and I can't. And that's where I saw there was a guy in line with the PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? There's a guy. There's some old black guy in line at jury duty last time <laughs> that was just carrying a PS4. <laughs> No, I like to believe that it was the box for the was PS4 the he was using as a briefcase, that's, that's which what is it even was. funnier. It, it's, Wait, you know it, what? It's not funnier because it's it's so sad. He's <laughs> yeah. like the guy from The Pursuit of Happiness, except the child died. Guy, yeah. He's trying to get that child back. Uh. It's Pursuit of Happiness too. I got PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was a briefcase though. He wasn't using. He wasn't like playing PS4. For a jury, it was the PlayStation 4 box that has like a handle on it, and he was oh, using God. that as a briefcase. Oh, oh my. Can God. you imagine be, whatever whatever <laughs> like court case that is to have to be the other side of that when you're like actually he should go to jail <laughs> I'd have to fucking lock that guy up that if, poor, uh, what if he was a lawyer <laughs> what if he was like yeah, the public a defender <laughs> just like, he's a lawyer like, for that, that that retarded guy that accosted you outside of the Yankees game <laughs> yeah. oh, that was so good dude like I knew the whole uh, what schedule are you doing here? of the Yankees and he talked like Daffy Duck too. 2016 season he's you like got, why don't you yeah, tell the story when we were, when we, were at, uh, we went to the Yankees game and uh, I was wearing an Orioles uh, Orioles shirt, you know, as just to be a dickhead. And uh, some guy came out and fucked immediately. At the end of the game, some guy just comes up to me. He's like, what are you doing here? The, the Orioles are at home against the te- Texas Rangers right now. And I was like, what? And he's like, the Orioles, they're not here until July 30, whatever the fuck. He had like the exact <laughs> like day down. And he just had like a nice fat. He was a, had a fro. He knows he the whole mustache. schedule. He knew yeah. the whole schedule. And he talked, yeah, he was just like an adult autistic man who loved the Yankees so much. And he accosted me about it. Uh, had the funniest voice I've ever heard in my life, probably. Uh, well, he also was, had he also had that like black eye mustache that you don't see them have very much anymore, where it's just like a solid black. <laughs> yeah, there's no that nose. Thick black. The tri- <laughs> like this Trebek has one have. like that. What's that? Alex Trebek's got one of those. Steve Har- Steven- Steve Harvey had Steve- one. Stephen. Where they P. just Harvey. have like a cigar on their face, yeah. like this big <laughs> fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. fat. That's. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. I can't. I, I can't grow I a mustache like a, at all. Well, I can't grow a mustache at all. I can't grow it in the middle. Let me tell you guys something. That news story that we didn't get enough time with, I'd like yes, to go back to. Please. Uh, the Gary Condit Chandra Levy. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Like, 9-11 really ruined that shit. Yeah. Everyone that was happened, talking about that. Did that happen in September of It happened early September. 2001. That's what we were all talking about. 90, why is, why is OJ t- shit so big this year? Why is like 90s... Sh- are we going to go through all 90s news stories? Or are yeah, we bored well, with if, our own news no, stories? No, they're doing that because if you look on Netflix now, they like there's been a resurgence of like shitty... Well, not shitty, but like 90s, I guess, summer thrillers and blockbusters. Mm. They're all... Like I watched... Uh, I watched... What was it? Fatal Attraction the other night, which <laughs> might be the funniest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Glenn Close looks like absolute dog shit in that movie. That's the woman. I haven't she seen looks, it. She looks, yeah. She She's looks, the one he leaves like his wife. What is it? What's the plot of the movie? She, uh, yeah, so he has a hot wife. I forget who the wife is played by, but she's like this hot, like fucking some European actress. or something. I don't know. I wasn't mm-hmm. paying attention, but I she was hot. Her. And then he meets Glenn Close. <laughs> Who looks like a fucking like hair metal meth? That <laughs> looks like a. She looks like an early ro- trance. That's what she looks <laughs> yeah, like. She does. When the surgery like, was yeah. very new, yeah, like, you know, she retains most of her masculine features, sort of like a yeah. She, yeah, she took a fucking. Denmark. She took one hormone. She had one, not hormones. She, she had one she singular took one hormone. hormone. She's barely. Yeah, yeah. She sucked on a ball for like thirty minutes, <laughs> and then she's like, "I'm finished. <laughs> they finished me, love." Yeah. And, and Michael Douglas can just not yeah, stop. Yeah, he can't stop. Her. He's like, his wife goes out of town for like 45 minutes and he's like, I have to fuck you. And he fucks her. And then Glenn Close is already not an attractive woman. Sure. And in this movie, she's like really particularly fucking bad. Like, have you ever been to, have you ever seen like the, the white trash in Florida? Oh yeah, like sure. that's that's yeah. the look. I said I said the other day she looks like when Uncle Fester gets electrocuted in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> her like eyes are all sunken in her head, and she's like oh, very white. Well, that what picture that you sent me, I think that was like an '80s style, but there was like the raccoon around the yeah, eyes. She style. Got, yeah, she had yeah, like yeah. she had raccoon eyes, and then her hairline starts in the middle of her head, like fucking Elizabeth <laughs> one, and she's got this shitty 
like frizzy mop of blonde hair but and michael douglas just cannot stop fucking her and she's like cutting herself and threatening to ruin his life and he's like i just need more i I think it was a euphemism for like bad cocaine or something Mm. or the crack epidemic or something that might be what it be it might be smart Me, I did. That's you why I'm <laughs> it's a satire. It's Paul Verhoeven. That's, <laughs> that's he did it. But uh, yeah, and Michael Douglas was in like a bunch of these like movies where he just has uh, he has like weird bad sex with women, <laughs> like this weird like middle aged sex where it's like you're not. Yeah, there's. I watched the other one, uh, which actually is Verhoeven. I think uh, uh, Basic Instinct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and oh, I keep I get those two. Confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes. Wait, uh, oh, you said that you saw Fatal Attraction. I confuse those two movies. All no, because Sharon Stone's hot, dude. Yeah, she shows her pussy. Yeah, you see her yeah. pussy yeah. in that movie. I fucked her before. Um, but then Michael Douglas fucking in those movies is like, like it's always the woman being like. I don't want you to make love to me. I want you to fuck me. <laughs> and then he's like always about to bite them. He's always like making it. He's like sucking air through his teeth. Like he's about to fucking bite him. And then whenever he sticks his dick in, they both have this like pained express. Like have you ever seen cats fuck? Like where it's oh, this it's traumatic terrible. incident. Yeah, like two barnacles. Two male barnacles that fuck each other to death. That's like the the... The you know vibe of Michael Douglas's sex scenes. Was he the cuck in uh, Unfaithful? No, that was uh, who was fuck. the husband? I think he was the cuck in Unfaithful. No, wasn't that fucking Richard Gere? That was Richard Gere. You're very right, <sighs> bitch. Uh, Swish. I know that shit, bitch. The, the Richard Gere gerbil rumor it's is the it's, best. it's it keeps being funny to me. It's <laughs> yeah. the best. <laughs> It's the It'll best. Never, you know what I need to do as soon as we're wrapped up with this? Do a series of tweets about Harambe living inside of Richard Gere's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Folks, you're getting to see Extremely Online, guys. This is the process. process right now, <laughs> unfolding before your you're eyes. You're into the process. Before your damn ears. Yeah. No, I mean, it's so funny to me. <laughs> well, you and I, remember when you and I and Jake were talking about the Rod Stewart one and we oh, did yeah, the yeah, math yeah. on it? Yeah. So we, the, the rumor, Rod Stewart... Uh, there's a rumor that he OD'd and like they, they saved him at the hospital at a party, right? He, yeah, t- he, 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 he OD'd at a party and had to go to the hospital. Oh, and right. They, and they pump his stomach. And, and there's, what was it? T- there's two liters of uh, semen. <laughs> <laughs> there's a drug cocktail and two liters of semen. And we're just like, wow, that's like a tremendous amount of semen. So we did. So if you, you, if you look at the medium, lo- the median load of a guy. Yeah, and then you divide that into two liters of semen. It's like he would have had to suck. How many was it? It was. It was like, I think you know. I mean, I'm pulling it. It was I remember, in the seven hundred. Yeah, it was like seven hundred and twenty-two point <laughs> six. Yeah, what if he was saving? I love that he's maybe just saving his own jizz. Rod Stewart. Maybe he's just coming into a fucking well, bucket. Yeah, that that's one option. He had some sort of refrigerated so. jizz situation. There's no other way, <laughs> unless he's just a large bukkake. No, he had to have sucked. I mean, first of all, the story's real. So. <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> That's number one. About <laughs> Let's get that Rod out of the way Stewart right now. sucking 723 it's, it's men's one of those, penises. Yeah. Before, what, how long does it take to metabolize? Like six hours? You have to remember, this, oh, is, the, true, this is the 1980s true. too. So this is like a big Hollywood party. <laughs> Michael Douglas is fucking like a broom with tits drawn on it. <laughs> He's high on cocaine An upside in the down room with a Richard frowny Gere, face. <laughs> Richard Gere walks in. He's like, does anyone have a gerbil? <laughs> Just all the and urban Ryan, legends. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, Prince, Prince is getting his ribs removed <laughs> so, so that he can so suck so Marilyn dick. Manson's dick. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah that's those, how that got confused. I think, I think those rumors do get... Like uh, applied to multiple celebrities. Yeah, well, it's colloquial depending on because yeah, right yeah. where, where I when I was a, a kid, I remember it was Marilyn Manson that sucking his own dick. Sucking yeah, his yeah, own yeah, dick. I remember that. And then yeah. it wasn't until adulthood that I heard that it was Prince doing it. Oh, I never heard Prince. This is the first time I've heard that. Do you remember uh, when Ciara came out and everyone's like, "She's a Joe she's, she, she's got a penis, guy. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman." I don't so, remember that one. Starting no. her music career, I do. I, I do remember Lil Bow Wow got raped by his bodyguard. Yeah. Oh, that's and, well, that's true. Is it because someone told me it wasn't? And Wait, I think it's and true. It, that was like that was like me finding out Santa isn't real at like twenty two <laughs> years old. Is that the little bow wow story wasn't real? <laughs> I think it's real. See, I mean, check because I'm pretty sure. And someone from B two K got raped. I think also. 
Uh, B2K stood for Boys of the 21st Century, just in case anyone... I think Roger from Moesha raped B2K. Oh, my... (laughs) I'm not even kidding. That's the fucking... That's the rumor I heard. Wait, Roger from Sister Sister? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Batman. That was his stage name, right? Was it? Yeah, he went into R&B after that. Yeah, because no, he went... He's like an R&B guy. Because he, uh... I remember that like Roger was the fucking nerd, and he did like a similar Stefan thing. Well, he hit right. puberty in between seasons, and like he went from being like little Roger to then he was like, oh, know, it wasn't Roger, it was TJ, wasn't it? No, on oh that was smart guy. Never mind. Yeah, Sorry. that was smart guy, bitch. Yo, this is the most nineties ass podcast we've ever only had. Only nineties kids. Yeah, man. only nineties cuts. Gary Condit, only true ass. 90s well, that's kids. what you do. Like you know, we were joking about that show Vinyl. Like fucking baby boomers love <laughs> oh, yeah. being like, ah oh, man, the seventies. <laughs> oh dude, I've I fucked so many women that look like Glenn Close, <laughs> and they reminisce on the seventies. And you're like, shut the fuck up. And then we're gonna do that, but we're gonna be like forty years old and be like, Doug. <laughs> it was a multicultural Roger. show. <laughs> Nobody did it like us. Roger from fucking Moesha. I remember the Sierra thing though. I remember, and I would. It did not deter me from beating off to Sierra, and I think that's what opened up me uh, thinking I would fuck a trans really? woman. Yeah, I'm. I'm in there for sure. You know what? Uh, you know what one was great is the Jamie Lee Curtis one. Oh, like yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis was a hermaphrodite, and it was because she had like short hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She had great. like she was she a had, jarhead. She yeah, had the yeah. biggest tits in the world. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude. Like, like, I would titty fuck <laughs> the shit out of Jamie Lee Curtis. Dude, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm <laughs> that serious, was dude. one of Me my too, first man. boners. Was True Lies when she does the strip dance scene. Oh, how about fucking in? Uh... Yo, what's up with like every movie where Arnold has a kid? The kid's name is Jamie. Yeah, <laughs> is that I have real? to say, yeah, Jamie. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie, it's Christmas, Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, don't forget, man. we have to get. A present. <laughs> the terrible <laughs> man. <laughs> Jamie! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I did not know that that was the case. Yeah, and in every movie he had, like, a, like his name was, like, John Anderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. I'm, fr- I'm from Cleveland. I'm I a police officer. I'm a cop. From Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Born and raised. <laughs> he's the big... Yo, he's, like... He's one of my... He's, he's the, the king, dude. He's the biggest overachiever... Of all time, yeah. I, I'm not saying he didn't work for it. He worked for that body. Well, his dad was a Nazi. I mean, you know, people yeah. complain they about their fathers. They instill values in you. Well, imagine if your father's he was wasn't he a Nazi police officer? He was like a, he was an, an Austrian Aust- cop. He was an Austrian yeah. cop, but that was also a Nazi sympathizer. <laughs> well, I so mean, imagine you have a Nazi Austria. cop dad. How are you not going to be the most jacked fucking dude <laughs> in the entire world? Then the whole country should be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh yeah, that's true. Dude. Wow, <laughs> profound. Got Thanks. He bro. got you, bitch. <laughs> R.I.P. Harambe. <laughs> Yo, but like, listen. Here's this guy. This this like mongoloid like uh like gland case. That's like I'm gonna be the strongest guy in the world, and then he became the strongest guy in the world, yeah. and then he's like I'm gonna be the biggest movie star, despite the fact that I cannot speak English. Right. Well, he was in, like a in, real in, estate in an intelligible too. manner whatsoever. Right. And then he became the biggest fucking movie star in America. Well, it was he... right time, right place for him. I think the, the 1980s were a weird thing. Like, after the Vietnam War and before the Gulf War, there was, like, this weird period in American cinema where the idea of, like, an American hero evaporated because they, like, lionized World War II in American cinema. Right, yeah. So you have all these movies, like, glorifying the American GI and what a hero is. Right. And then everybody hates the fucking military after Vietnam uh-huh. and... Nobody gives a shit about, like, American values anymore after Nixon and stuff. And so all of, like, the American heroes in the 1980s are, like, you know, Europeans on steroids. Right, you right, know, right, It's like right, John right. claude Van Damme and, you know, Arnold and shit. Stallone had a nice run there. be a literal robot. Yeah, Stallone. Sly. But so, yeah, but he sounds European because he has, like, Bell's palsy or some shit. <laughs> well, Dave, and also Rambo is, like, so He did anti- porn, right, before he became a... He was yeah, living he in the... he did one, in, yeah. He was living in the, the, hog. It's pretty big. the um the bus station at Times Square. What's that shit? The Port, Port Authority. 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 Yeah, he was living there, and he saw uh, saw an ad for soft core porn. <laughs> Whoa, is Sylvester Stallone here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, was, uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Right now? <laughs> I wish I could do better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, he did. He porn. did a porno. I watched it. it was, you know, and then I think you can see his dick. The story of Rocky is pretty cool because he wrote that fucking piece of shit, 
And hey, and on. then he sold it, and he was like, I want to direct it and be in the movie. Uh, you're not getting it. Right. And then they fucking, mm -hmm. you know, they, they were like, no, we'll give you this amount of money, and he mm -hmm. fought for it and fought for it. Yeah. And he took, like, a lower amount of pay to be in it, and now, you know. Yeah, it's fucking He incredible. won Best Screenplay at the Academy Awards. My friend Matt told me a story that, like, Sylvester Stallone, like, he has a friend that's family friends with Sylvester Stallone, and, you know, they've known them for years, and they went horseback riding on their, like, with their <laughs> horses in Maryland somewhere, mm -hmm. in, like, Western Maryland, and, uh... Sylvester Stallone fell off his horse and like stubbed his thumb and started crying. <laughs> He's a grown man. I love this fucking slander, this sly slander we got going on. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I heard from <laughs> yo. I heard from one guy told me that <laughs> another guy that he knows <laughs> said the Sylvester Stallone cried. Dude. I'll fucking kick his ass. If I see him right dude, now, he's a bitch. He's dude. a fucking bitch, dude. I'll kick his ass. Yeah, fuck sly, yeah. Um, so what's going on in the world of monster trucks? That's, uh, is the monster truck segment. Oh, monster the, truck the bone, what's his name? The grave, grave digger. digger. Grave digger is always, I feel like since we were kids, been around. He's always, yeah. Well, that's, that's like the number two truck after a Bigfoot. You yeah. know what I want to do? I wanted to print out my own grave digger shirts with a grave digger on them and, uh, like go to an event, like a monster truck event and set up a little table and start selling them and see how long it takes before they notice and shut me down. But it says Grave Digger on it. Or, well, it's got Grave Digger on it. It's a picture of Grave Digger. And then it says Digger Lover. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you see how many you can That's sell. That's pretty good. I think I, people would buy them. They would sell out quick, dude. Yeah. The, the Monster Truck Have demographic. Have you been to a Monster Truck? And the N-word pun demographic. Yeah. Yeah. I went, to a, I went to a Monster Jam at US Air Arena when I was like five. Was it good? I don't know. I was five. I was there with my grandma. I remember being very oh, loud, nice. and then I went her. to another uh, monster truck event pretty recently. Me and Dana went uh, to one at, at like a fair, and it was it kind of sucked. Yeah, it's it seems like cool. it would suck. Yeah, my friend just went for his like birthday in Austin. He went to one, and he he said it was kind of underwhelming. I believe that shit, dude. I would want to go, but it's just anywhere there's that many fucking people and the people that love monster truck rallies. You want to go to be around. You want to have your own private monster truck. Yeah, I want to have, I wanna have <laughs> like a bond villain. I want to have a fucking, I want an audience with fucking grave digger, dude. I want a private audience with grave digger. <laughs> I want to go <laughs> in a fucking robe. <laughs> I, I watched the, uh, like the modern marvels on monster trucks and they were like talking about, how the the drivers don't have fans and the drivers get like <laughs> fucked up, dude. They get like their spines broken and shit, and they just cycle them out. And it's like really people only care about the trucks. They're unsung <laughs> heroes. The yeah, trucks are, are yeah. like characters. the trucks are the stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much do you Holy fucking shit. make to be a, a monster truck driver? Twenty two thousand dollars a year. <laughs> That's not bad. No, nah, they got to be teamsters, right? How funny would yeah, it be if they were teamsters? Yeah, they're fully union. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I drove over a car last week. Get me a fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> the trucks just sit there all day long. <laughs> you get paid nine thousand um, dollars. That's not bad. Nine thousand dollars a day. Yeah, that's how much teamsters make. I want to go to the no, RNC. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon Wardell's going. I know. That's yeah, hilarious. Brandon Wardell's being sent there by like Nickelodeon Gak and fucking Go. He's got some great insights into the world of politics. Yeah, I don't understand what they're doing. Uh, uh, they're, they're sending me uh, to the RNC, and I'm gonna be like, yo, yo, yo uh, 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 nice to hear it's whack, Donald Trump. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's gonna be the entirety of of what they pay him a quarter million dollars to go <laughs> He's there. Gonna like get them to dab or something. Yeah, exactly. He's going to be like, I just taught the soldier boy dance to the delegates from the, Guam. The Hillary campaign should seriously fucking poach Brandon. They should hire Brandon. Honestly, and, really, they should. They should. That would They're be. Sort of he's doing he's that good already, at memes. Right? He yeah, just, he uh, he would be great for them. And then also, we could relentlessly bully Brandon about <laughs> doing that for the rest of his fucking short life. <laughs> short. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. The more money he gets. He's going to overdose on sneakers or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh, did you guys... I on forgot to ask. Did water? Did yeah. you congratulate Trump for predicting the terrorists? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. That was the best tweet. What a champion. Of the day. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Everyone's saying thank you to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's congratulating me. I want to say thank you for congratulating me, but it's, you know, let's give it a day or two before I graciously accept that I was right about Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, he's the king. You he's know, a fucking hero, man. So now it's like a basically we get in, like, a fascist versus an imperialist, and we have to choose. Everyone's Whoa, gonna choose. Whoa, stop imperialist. with the hot takes over there, buddy. That's my take, guys. <laughs> I know the chop. I know the chopper. Uh, uh, actually, <laughs> sorry guys, you're not allowed to say hot takes anymore. That's uh, that uh, That's belongs to Brandon Wardell. Yeah, yeah, copyright Viacom, cool yeah. the Brandon Wardell Corporation. Fuck. It's Lit Fam Entertainment <laughs> Incorporated. <laughs> they own hot takes now. N word uh-huh. media. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me say the N word media. <laughs> it's just called N dash word media. <laughs> uh, fuck. The N word I'm talking about is never. Because I'm never going to stop. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to say it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta stretch. You gotta, you gotta stretch, stretch it out. Should we take a break? Yeah, we'll probably take a break. We'll take a quick fiver and then we'll be back. We're back. Look right down in the crowded hall. You see there's a beauty standing. Is she really everywhere? Oh, a reflection. One always called out to you. The other shy and quiet. Could there be two different girls who look the same as sweet ballet, sweet ballet? Okay, we're back from break. Back from break. Uh, it's uh, Puerto Rican rattlesnake Adam Friedland. Puerto Rican rattlesnake Stav Rotalkius. And the original Puerto Rican rattlesnake, me. Um, it's actually Puerto Rican Pride uh, Week. It's Puerto Rican Gay Pride Week. <laughs> Puerto Rican Gay Pride <laughs> Week. Uh, no, it is Puerto Rico Week, which uh, I feel like they have too often here <laughs> in New York. <laughs> It's uh, Lin Manuel Miranda is the the head of the parade. How about this? Here's a good compromise: no more gentrification. You get rid of that fucking parade. We take it away from him. Dude, what the, do they do for the parade? The crazier parade around here is the Caribbean one. They go the Car- oh, you wild. say it. You say it pirate style. I say it pirate style. I always, really? I That's a choice. That. It's an aesthetic Caribbean, choice. Bitch. It's an aesthetic it's choice. Caribbean. I've never heard anyone say Caribbean until the Pirates of the Caribbean movies yeah. came out. That's how I say really it. Say You've it, said right? it like that your whole life. My whole life, yeah. I do. Oh, I actually shit. do a bit. I do I a bit about that parents. about no one. How no one talks it, says it that way until those movies came out. Because I say, you know what my thing is? I say, uh, I say Reese's Pieces. <laughs> 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 I can't. Stop, I can't stop doing that. I don't know why. Reese's baby. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Yo, let me get some Reese's. Do you have Reese's Pieces? They fucking say that's how people say that shit in Baltimore. Um, I don't think it's a regional thing. I think I'm just a fucking idiot. Yeah, my friends are dumb as well. I yeah. used to say like uh, reindeer zing, like when I saw those signs. Like, oh, school like children zing. Oh, zing. Everybody does that. Xmas. I say Xmas. Oh no, I figured out Xmas. Yeah. Like, couldn't figure out Zing until I was like. I thought it meant 41. that there. Were, I thought it meant that there were Chinese children yeah, playing. Yeah. <laughs> Beware, Chinese children ahead. <laughs> There's a Zing coming up. Children, ching, <laughs> ching, wow, ching, wow, ching. I'm not gonna be able to be racist towards Chinese anymore. I'm I'm leaving China. Are you moving. Where are you going? Getting, I'm moving to Bed Stuy. You're going nice, to that place. Bro. Yeah, uh, Bed. Um, like a pretty cool Bed Stuy guy now. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm yeah. in Bed Stuy. Oh yeah, dude. This is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't really consider myself one of the gentrifiers because it's like I'm not the one paying the rent. You know what Dude, I mean? This <laughs> is where they did do the right thing. And by the way, I disagree. I don't think they did the right thing. Yeah, there was like a shooting a couple blocks from my house the other week, so it's still pretty lit in my neighborhood. It's still like it's still a pretty cool place to Gang live. shit. Gang shit, bro. The gang shit. Uh R. I. P. to Pop Popcorn two seventy. Oh, I miss him so who's much. Who's in jail? Dude, I, I sent you the DMs I sent him right before he yeah, went to yeah, jail. Yeah. Wait, who? Uh, you know who discovered him is uh, uh Will uh Will from Chapo Trap House. Oh, well shouts out. Yeah, that is Will, Will, I've, the I've, I've evangelized Popcorn. 
popcorn for popcorn a while. Popcorn two seventy on Instagram. This like fat, this little fat white kid. This Eric Cartman, in like Kentucky. Is you know what he looks like? He looks like Eric Eric Cartman with Glenn Close's hair from Fatal Attraction. <laughs> and yeah, he's like all of his videos are like. Me and my niggas hanging out smoking <laughs> weed. <laughs> it's like, he with like some other moron and a white beater. <laughs> he is very plays very fast and loose with the N word. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> it's <laughs> it's so funny. And anyhow, he he just got arrested and he's doing ten years. What? I read, I'll read the DMs yeah. that I sent him. I was like, Yo, popcorn, you. So he like wrote on one of his. You Instagrams. find them. I'll continue telling yeah, yeah. the story. So yeah, his account's great. It's like this little fat kid that just smokes weed and like makes shitty rap videos and like posts pictures of his like his like Kmart brand jeans <laughs> like sagging. But yeah, he got arrested and Adam DM'd him to see. So I was like, like, "Hi, popcorn. Are you really going to jail on Wednesday for ten years?" And he said, "Yeah, I have to do two years out of ten to get parole but i'll probably do four and i was like damn dude sorry to hear that what happened and he said me and my dude did a home invasion with a handgun and went on a high speed chase with the police because we was in a stolen car (laughs) (laughs) i love that he's just telling this fucking stranger on instagram What's going on? Like, yeah. you could be a cop. You could be anyone. Yeah. So I said, I said, are you doing okay? Like, and then he didn't respond to that because that's a soft ass question. And then right. I was like, can you, can you have Insta in jail? And he said, no, nah, you can't. And then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like the white, he's like the white Latarian Milton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That man. kid. That yeah. kid's gotten his life around, turned his life around, dude. Yeah, well, he graduated did all that middle shit. school. He did Popcorn all that shit had a was hot like girlfriend. Did he? In his, co- yeah, he had a hot, like, tall black girl that he was dating. How old and, is And, like, this guy? there are pictures where he's just, like, holding her ass and he's like, Every, you know, nobody said we could do this. And then there, there's a picture at Zales uh, where he's taking a picture of a, uh, of a ring and he's like yeah about to celebrate our three month <laughs> oh god just... do you uh do you, do you remember that when jewelry stores had like the little window where you could see the guy working on the jewelry no there was one at lay far small they had that they had like a little window <laughs> like a small jew like elf? no it was a chinese guy that would oh, work really? on the jewelry and you could go to pretzel time and get pretzels and just fucking stare at him <laughs> and he would get mad at you if you st- is like stared at him but like that's why they have the fucking window right there. right right you flip them off and shit and he can do anything. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> why for fucking teenage assholes to troll him dude that's exactly what they fucking had in mind <laughs> you yeah. just have fucking nacho cheese yeah. sauce all over your lips my favorite my my favorite Latarian Milton uh, video is like I think the third one where they're interviewing him and he's gotten so used to the news in his house that he's just going about his business in the house. He's like, "Cause I like doing bad shit. Leave me alone." And they follow him around the kitchen, and while they're following him, he's making Kool Aid ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude! Latarian's the best. Yeah. Oh, I love him. Is I he, wanted to adopt how's him. How's he doing? He's good. They had they did a, they ran a news story about him recently where it's like, oh look how and he's he's like in a suit and he's like I'm over that. He's like he's, oh, eighth, he he's graduating eighth grade. He's going to high school. He's going to play football. He's like really really into uh, turning his life around. We'll see though. That was a while ago. High school. Maybe he's probably a sophomore a lot of now. Peer Damn, I wonder what Latarian's up to. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up. Peer pressure, um, man. That's tough. That's what made Brock do those unspeakable <laughs> things. That's right. It was party culture. It was party culture and peer pressure. Uh, yeah. Free Brock, guys. Free if, we could just, if, we, if we could be serious for a moment, we let Brock out jokes. of jail. Did you see that Because he has the same name as the president. Uh, yeah. And the guy from Pokemon with the, with the oh, stone. Yeah. Well, uh, Barack Obama actually said, if I had a son... <laughs> His name would sound His name like would Brock's. Be Brock. <laughs> His name. Uh, if I had a son, he would be Latarian Milton. <laughs> he said that for real. He did. Uh, did you see that thing about uh, that girl that like wrote a letter to the judge uh, saying that like Brock's not a bad guy? I like went to elementary school with him, and like you know, if you write a letter to a judge in a trial, it's like public records. So mm-hmm. someone found it and they put it online. And that girl was in a band, and now that band is like been kicked out of all these music festivals in Brooklyn. Oh no! Yeah, and like all these fucking well, Bar Matchless, they kicked him out. And the owner of Matchless was like, "She lives here." 
Uh, no, they, the band's in like Ohio or some shit, but Bar Maskless kicked the band out and they're like, um, we're not going to support anybody that apologizes or diminishes rape. And it's like, have you watched the show at your the bar? The stand up show <laughs> yeah. every Monday? Every fucking Where Monday. Michael Che's like, let me tell you about my, my new thought about Cosby. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I got 10 new Cosby minutes yeah. there. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Bar, bar Matchless will never stand by rape. That's Bar Matchless. Check us out on Yelp. Give us five stars uh, for not. <laughs> Dude, my friend just bought me because he thought it'd be funny or something he listens to the podcast now but yeah he just bought me bill a bill cosby shirt from like oh man season 12 he's like it's so cheap no one wants like cosby show memorabilia so he you got gonna rock me. it it's a monster's shirt <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna have a monster's shirt in my room I mean, hitler's underpants like i would wear hitler underpants is cosby going to jail uh, he's going to trial, I think. Yeah. Some there's came one out statute of limitations that wasn't expired. Oh, really? Because that's what he kept getting away with it. Cause what if were, all what the race were in like the 70s? And what if that's the trial I'm on? What if that's the jury <laughs> I, guess, <laughs> I get selected for? Probably, dude. And they're like, well, he's racist, but he is a comedian. So he's got, you know, check marks on both sides. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> neutral. Got, yeah, he's completely neutral on this one. Are you worried about getting a fucking long ass trial? A nice murder trial? I am. I mean, it would be cool, you know. My friend sort of lost his mind doing that. Eric did. Eric? Is that what happened to Eric? I th s sort of think that might have happened because he did, like, he sent a guy to jail for 35 years. He, didn't he was send on this guy to jail, but yeah, he was the on this jury yeah. that they convicted, and he said it was super intense, and there was like long jury de deliberations and stuff. You know, what I wouldn't want to do is like one of those ones where somebody left a baby in a car. Yeah, and I would be the one guy where it's like, nah, fuck that baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the twelve angry men guy that's like, I personally, fuck that baby. That's how I feel. <laughs> and then they all have to convince me, and they can't do it. And then they're like, all right, forget it. So, guys, the Tonys are going on tonight. Uh, who's who's excited? I mean, I, I've, I've, I've seen in the Tonys. The Tonys is for what? Musicals? It's uh, for yes. plays. It's for plays. But all the plays are in New York. So it's like, why would anyone else watch Tonys that don't live in New York? That aren't like... Gay men living in Chelsea in New York. I thought it was like, like the there's... award. I thought it was like, well, okay, which one's the best? Scarface, Soprano, uh, uh, the Tiger. You, you got to pick one here. Which one? Which one's it going to be? Who's the best? I, I say Sarah Tony Goose, the Tiger. Uh, the Goose, baby. Oh, man, we were, looking at Goose. Goose. <laughs> we were looking at naked pictures of Tony the Tiger the other week. <laughs> and there's a thing when people draw Tony the Tiger on like DeviantArt, fucking Mario or Two Can right. Sam, huge hug. Of course he's got, of a, course huge he's got a huge dick. I mean, dick. everybody has a huge dick in the cartoon fuck world. But <laughs> what's true? You know what's great is is the way they draw Tony is uh, so the end of his dick is blue <laughs> because his nose his is, nose also. is blue. <laughs> oh, no. It's always every single one. <laughs> he's got a blue tip oh, of no. a dick. Yeah. It's unbelievable, dude. Oh, that's incredible. He's got a blue. Dick. Dick. Literally, you will not find one yeah. Tony the Tiger dick pic online that is not blue-headed. It's so funny. And that makes me think about, like, Toucan Sam dick. They should draw it striped like his nose. <laughs> <laughs> and he's saying, follow your dick to the smaller <laughs> birds. You know, I was looking up Toucan Sam on Wikipedia the other day. Sure, and of it, course. It, uh, which I love Wikipedia because the Toucan Sam article is like... 15,000 words. <laughs> <laughs> it is? Yeah, there was a lot of shit on there. Holy I don't know if it's that shit. far. But, uh, yeah, and then they have... Uh, uh, they have... You know what? It is actually the longest article I've seen. It's on the Wikia. It's like the Star Wars Wikia. Right, right. The page for Wedge Antilles, who's like a minor character in the movies. He's like <laughs> Luke Skywalker's friend. It's like, you can do it, Luke. <laughs> you know? Like, that's like the movie's only line in the movie. And that article, like... Um, you pull it up on your phone. Look up look up Wedge Antilles on your fucking phone on the Star Wars Wikia. Like Wedge, like a uh, Yeah, like Wedge. Salad? Like, yeah, Salad Wedge. It's obscene. It's probably like 50,000 words. <laughs> How much somebody fucking wrote about Wedge Antilles. But, yeah, I was looking at the Toucan Sam page. And it's like all these extra characters and storylines that happen in the commercial that nobody pays attention to that shit. Right, right, right. And somebody got paid like millions of dollars. At a, oh, yeah. And it's like, well, what if he's got a friend that's like a... It's like a dog that's on safari. <laughs> and they got paid a shit ton of money for that. 
I um, used to do that shit. Didn't you do yeah, that advertising is, this shit? Yeah, is, this is pretty long. Uh, no, our company paid me briefly to like, they were like, we want you to write tweets for us. And that lasted two days. And they were like, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Please don't ever do this again. <laughs> Boy, how mention. can we work for Hillary Clinton? Fuck Brandon. We should just be writing those tweets. We wouldn't write as nerdy tweets. As- yeah. Delete your account. Everyone thought that was so fucking cool. No, it's actually, first of all, I only found out about that because of people making fun of her for that. Yeah, it's so no stupid. No one thought that was cool. Yeah, all these people were no, like, people I'm dead, cool. I'm crying, cry emoji. Yeah, I'm like, fucking, you slay, drag him. <laughs> drag him, Hillary. <laughs> and it's like, what? That's supposed to be Hillary, impressive? Hillary, be the Khaleesi that we, yeah, we yeah, yeah. that America <laughs> needs. <laughs> Hillary. Yo, this is what Hillary doesn't get, okay? Yes. Sorry you, to go to Chapo territory here. This is my political analysis. Hillary can't go cool. We're never going to buy it. She's yeah. not cool. Yeah. You have to emphasize the fact that you're like a freak. Like, I'm a freak. I read policy papers, like, all night long. Like, I, I have no sex She should go sex full drive. autism, dude. She should, yeah. she should go about Big Bang Theory. Yeah. That show has been on for, like, 27 seasons. Nerd culture is huge. The Golden State Warriors are a nerd team, right? Yeah, yeah. Why doesn't she just go full nerd? Why is she trying to be cool? That's smart. Why is she trying that to be good, Beyonce? Yeah. And it's like Donald Trump is so inherently cool that like yeah, anytime yeah. he's he, she, you know, what's so f- great about Trump is he should be so easy to make fun of, but a, he's, he's not. hideous. He's not. He's, he's wearing not. weave. Anytime, okay. any, all the people that are like, oh, Trump, you sound like a fucking nerd. Saying, yeah, you're a nerd. He doesn't care. You're a nerd making fun of Donald Trump. And you know what? Uh, everyone made fun of the dangerous Donald thing. And guess what he calls Elizabeth Warren? Goofy, Goofy Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> Which should be so much worse than Dangerous Donald, but it's perfect. Goofy <laughs> yeah, Elizabeth. Yeah. He yeah, calls Goofy, her Goofy. Goofy Elizabeth's going to keep lying about being Pocahontas. <laughs> and it works. I love him. Goofy I, I, Elizabeth. I really just, I, I cannot wait until the election's over, and I'm going to buy that hat. He's a really, the yeah, hat when the election's time. over, it'll be, yeah, it'll yeah, be yeah. nice. But. I mean, as a social phenomenon, he's... Agent Smith of the Republican Party. He's a virus that's just multiplying, and we just don't know how far. Holy it's shit! Be. Did I show you that that comment someone sent me on? Uh, they said Trump is Agent Smith. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, <coughs> sorry, um, from some woman posting on Trump's page. Uh, oh fuck! You showed. Yeah, me. yeah. Oh, I don't so know if I showed you. Funny. Somebody sent me this. This kid uh, who listens to the podcast. Shout out to him. Shout so out who? So okay, <laughs> this is on Trump's page on Facebook. Some woman, Terry Terry L. Beavis Guthrie. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked. It's I'm pretty. Is sure that it's real? real? I'm pretty sure it's real. Okay. I mean, as as much as I can vet. Yeah. And she goes. Uh, she writes, Mr. Trump. I don't know if you read these posts or not. However, my son Matthew, who was born with Down syndrome, would be honored to tell Obama and Hillary they are fired. (laughs) He will be voting for you, and you are his idol. He's been telling us since he saw The Apprentice that Obama is fired. It would be the thrill of his life to be able to stand next to you and tell them both, Obama and Hillary, you are fired. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's so awesome. That's oh the best shit I've ever God. heard in my entire life. Mr. Trump, my retarded son. Yeah, he's a yeah, big yeah. fan of your policies. <laughs> Mr. Trump, uh, my, my son with Down syndrome, who sometimes thinks you are Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> who sometimes confuses you with Donald Duck, to be fair. He would love, to tell, love Hillary. to tell Obama and Hillary. They're You're fine. fired. Like, what is he basing that off of? What? <laughs> Why does this kid hate Obama? <laughs> BB came out for Trump in a couple tweets, and I was, and yeah, people yeah, responded yeah. like, "BB, don't BB. Trump's not good, dude. You shouldn't do that." No, I, I fully support it. BB being on the Trump train. Well, <laughs> BB does support BB Netanyahu, but that's only because they have the same name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that is so goddamn good. Well, we are winding down here. Um, we need something else to talk about. We still have 15 minutes to kill. This I watched the time. Benghazi movie. Oh, did you? How yeah, perfect. Let's talk about that. It is okay, guys. It is. It, but first of all, Michael Bay is so right wing at this point. I don't know what has <laughs> happened to this guy. He's just like he's like a psycho. They kill so many Muslim people in this movie. I, I can't it. even begin. To explain to you how many people Jim from The Office <laughs> killed. <laughs> it's Jim from The Jim Office. Jim looking hot as hell, by the just way. Just murdering. And Roy from The Office is also. Really? In. Yeah. But he's it's like. It's an office spinoff. Um, 
Oh, dude, it's just incredible. So me and my friend were watching it, and... Uh, is Hillary supposed to be Michael Scott? Well, Hillary's <laughs> the head of ISIS. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Uh, me and my friend were watching it, and like at the beginning, we were like ironically high-fiving each other every time they said, like, Benghazi, like, real serious. They're like, best we get, guess we better go to Benghazi. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, we just, like, yeah, high-five yeah. each other. But at a certain point, like, we realized that the word Benghazi is literally written on maybe every single page of that script. Damn. They just, they are saying, and, oh, the movie is also two hours and 40 minutes long. Oh, my of God. Of just them <laughs> saying the word Benghazi. There are... There are titles, there are crayons on on screen at the beginning of scenes where they say Benghazi. <laughs> they like introduce the scene as like Wait, that they're when, in Benghazi. When they, when they show you the location in that movie, is it always done in that like like that like, 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 like the computer yeah, font yeah, 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 that yeah, shows yeah. up in the military <laughs> movies? They always have to have like the date and military time. Yeah, and they computer yeah. where it's being decoded in yeah. front of you. Just like the fucking military movie. Yeah. That's my favorite thing is in uh movies about the Muslim world, like there's always at the beginning of a scene to establish you're in the Muslim world, the call to prayer. Yeah. It's like the gong. It's like yeah. the gong yeah. of East Asia. Like, oh, we're in China now. Gong. Yeah. You know, the, the best song from any one of those movies is that like Somali, like prayer song from <laughs> Black Hawk Down. They're like, <laughs> hey, I love my, I love my, I love you know, like the dramatic <laughs> somebody's dying <laughs> just have that dying in slow motion dude your close personal friend is in that movie Tom Sizemore oh shit yeah oh by the way if you're listening and you don't know uh, Tom Sizemore and me are actually friends uh, you, could push, you, you still follow life. each other on Twitter yeah he, I checked to make sure he hasn't unfollowed me <laughs> uh, but he you know uh, Tom Sizemore is fucking insane imagine he like was in every great movie from like oh, yeah. 1996 in until 2000. Oh, yeah. And then uh, just did a bunch of math and beat the shit out of <laughs> who's it, Heidi Flies. Who did he beat up? He's still working. Yeah, he's still working, but he was in a movie with Paul Verzi. Really? Yeah, like two weeks ago. I saw Paul. What? I saw Paul outside the stand. He's like, yeah, I just, uh, I just I finished working on a, a movie with uh, Tom Sizemore. And it was great. <laughs> and, you know, we took pictures together and we had a great time. And I was like, Tom Sizemore? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I love Tom Sizemore. <laughs> um, and I, he I, was I, on the celebrity rehab, Dr. Drew show. Hell yeah. You can't fix Sizemore. Sizemore needs those drugs to be as talented of an actor as he is. Oh, yeah. Um, the yeah. Way that, that we, that's what Kelsey needed to be Frasier. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Apparently, Kelsey Grammer was on like a, a cocktail of intoxicants the entire time he was making. Hell fashion. yes, dude. Apparently, uh, the how much runner... of the cocktail was semen? <laughs> it was Niles. It was semen. two liters. It was Niles semen. I yeah. love that that Niles. show. I, I, when I was a kid, I couldn't tell. I thought they were British. Yeah, I, I did. Too. I, I was so like, too. are they British? I don't understand why they have that accent. It's like, oh no, they're not. Because the gay. dad, yeah, the dad was gay. a cop, and yeah. he was like, you know, working vice. He was like, uh, you don't understand the kind of day I've had, and he he beat him, so they sent him to live with their their uh, gay British mother. <laughs> Is that the story? Because there was so. a British, wasn't the the, the nanny? Or not the nanny, nanny was the, British, not the nanny, but the like maid, Miss, or... Mrs. Sheffield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good ass show too. That yeah, was I a, watched all of that shit. I wanted to smash Fran Drescher, and I still do. By the way, really? Hell yeah, dude. dude! She was hot, dude. The, she, and then she had like a show on the CW or some shit, like fucking ten years after the nanny, where she was like old and still hot. I'd still smash now, guys. I can't. I don't know if I can have sex with a Jew ever again. Yes, I can, can say that. Yes, why you can. can you say that? Personally, I'm offended. They drive as a me- guy that likes to fuck. <laughs> I can't do it. You would live I just, I just dated. Fuck. I just, I was seeing this girl who's like a New York City. I was like, this is the real Jew. She's mm-hmm. a real kind of Jew. Yes, I was the like, very, not like me. The treacherous ones from Las Vegas. This is a real bit, you know, a real, yeah. a real. And then every time broad. she'd say thank you for something, it was just. It sounded like she was being sarcastic. She'd be like, oh, "Wow, thanks." A lot. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I just did, like, I cooked dinner. So. Dude, Are you're going to come serious? back. You're going to come back for the I tribe, I can't stand dude. it, dude. They drive me. Would like your parents it. be sad if you didn't marry a Jew? They're, they do say that, but that's just, like, absurd. I love that. That's gr- like, yeah, the- fuck your cousin. Okay, Adam, fuck your cousin. <laughs> you know, we are only 2% of the entire population of the entire country. I mean, I guess it's different in New York. But, but, but fuck your cousin. Yeah, <laughs> just please fuck your cousin. They're like 97% here. 
Yeah, I it's checked two men. Yeah, it's yeah. mostly them, I think, yeah. in New York. And we're the I like two non That people. girl accent, whenever girls say thank you, they go, Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh so my much. God, thank you. <laughs> That's like, what? Every girl, yeah, every single girl. Why like do you shop, do that? Like thank shoppy you. girls? Shop yeah. girls? Shop? What are you talking about? Like girls that are like to shop. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to I shop. I have to shop. <laughs> yeah, we were doing that. <laughs> right. Oh, my I've God. Had I had to, uh, I was the shopping. Worst day. <laughs> I was shopping all day, and I'm so exhausted that I just have to shop. <laughs> I have to blow off steam. I do my business shopping during the day, and then I work on these commercials, and like the wardrobe assistant girls are always the worst fucking people in the entire world. They're like, I'm 20, and I kind of just. You know, find my way through life by positive thinking, and uh, so I don't really pay rent. I just fuck people to stay at their place. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I would the, love to do that. Always, yeah. I saw this girl that I was dating a few months ago, and she said to me, she said, um, "Yeah, after we stopped seeing each other, I realized that I can fuck any guy." That I want, <laughs> so there was really no reason to go out with you because. As a woman, I can have sex with any man. Yeah. And I feel like that's the Da Vinci Code. They should, I mean, if they all realize that, then it's over for us, right? No, I don't know. This is... Us this personality is, boys? This is getting into, like, shitty black comic territory. Because <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, the pussy... You, got, got, a, you yeah. got a scholarship sitting underneath <laughs> your legs. That was one of Aries Spears' bits where he's talking about, how are women, <laughs> a woman not going to go to college? You got a scholarship. You sitting on a scholarship, girl. <laughs> and he's basically saying, fuck your way to college. <laughs> Use your pussy to go to college. <laughs> Uh, that's so a good, good. <laughs> That's a good bit. That's a good bit. Yeah. They can f- they can fuck whenever they want. <laughs> um uh, well, yeah, dude. Well, what else do we got? Somebody talk for 5 minutes while Ooh, I look to, guys. Twitter. I just want to know what's going on with my cum boys, dude. What's Are you coming? Up? Is everyone co- Let's have a weekly cum check. When was the last time you came, Adam? Yesterday. Did you beat off or was it sex? Both. Both? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Nice, man. I did both activities yesterday. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. F- beating off first or second? No, that was just a daytime roommate's gone, you know. Beating off just to clear the pipes. Escaping into my masturbatory. I mean, like, living with roommates is just... Yeah, oh yeah. You know. I know. Anytime you're alone, you have to like you a have bandit. To masturbate, yeah. Um, now, let me ask you this. Yeah. Uh... Do you like to keep a Michelle certain... from the podcast? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, from the weirdest part of the not... podcast. You thought it was weird? I think it was a little weird. I think uh, it was people weird. the the feedback was it was they loved it, but it was also very retarded. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, well yeah. then that's that's well no I think it was brand. dumb. It was dumb how we we took it to a dumb place maybe. But people told me that well you know we went in with a lot of tension and drama and then I wasn't there for most of it. Neither was Stav. You went to the bathroom? I no I I left and then um, yeah I left and also then, in the yeah, beginning and then that apparently that Seth guy came in. Yeah, we took well, it. Was- to- Seth Dickfield, who's not based on another guy who's been posting <laughs> a lot of dumb shit on the fucking internet since the shooting this us. morning. Dude, I'm trying to look at uh, Twitter for like uh, some... Didn't he block you? Uh, he unblocked me for whatever reason. This other guy who's not really not, to Seth has nothing Dickfield. to do with Seth Dickfield. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to look at Twitter for like trending topics, but I guess like E3 or something is going on now. So all the shooting stuff has been <laughs> drowned out by... Uh, <laughs> By news about video games. So, <laughs> heads up to... A VR headset that's also sex? I remember <laughs> when I was like... When I was like in middle school, me and my friends were talking about like, imagine how sweet virtual reality is going to be. You can put on a helmet that'll plug into the Nintendo and then another machine will suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> and you can fuck fake women in virtual reality. Like it was just, we never even considered that you could fuck real women. Yeah. <laughs> just, technology is good. When we're adults, we'll, able, we'll be able to fuck robots. <laughs> it just never. Somebody made that. that what pro- age is that though? Uh, like 11. Because <laughs> the age immediately after that 13 is like when you become the most misogynistic you'll ever be. Uh, like I before was Before pretty... you've actually touched any anything, that's when you like see a, another t- child like at school and you're like, 
go to your boys, you're like, yeah, I would fuck that bitch in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Some girl is wearing like a training bra. Yeah, yeah. like a child, like another child yeah, at school. Yeah. She has a Barbie shirt Yeah, I would shirt fuck on. her in the ass. Because <laughs> I know. I, 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 yeah, I remember when I was in first grade, I had a piece of paper with a mar- and like a marker I had written, girls I would fuck. <laughs> And then it was just a list of girls in my class. Are you, wait, then, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. And I like folded it up and hid it somewhere oh, in my man. room. And I remember my parents never found it, but I imagine if they did, they would just have to be like, yeah, I guess we just put this back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I want to have this conversation. So they probably found First it. First grade? Just, yeah. You knew fuck? You knew like fuck? Oh, I knew the word fuck. I mean, it wasn't like... You didn't know the concept. Yeah, no, I didn't. I mean, I, I guess. yeah. But until like, you know how like in, in a child said... First of all, like the vagina is like where your dick is. Of course. So you, you very confusing the first time you you oh, try and touch down. a vagina. That, yeah, it's yeah. so it's much lower than you think it's yeah, gonna yeah. be. You think it's at the dick place. Yeah, that was yeah. a, I I fucked that up big time. Yeah. In the, and then also you think you just put the dick in and then that's it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, know, you don't understand. There's like a thrusting element there. My oh, friend no. was asking me the other day. He's like, you ever like, like, in a relationship with a girl you're close with, like just a. Uh, like sleep inside of her. Oh, yeah, like there's a name for that, dude. What is it called? What is what? it called? It's called like hot soaking or something. That's terrible. Yeah, you like leave you your sleep, dick in. You Let's say you give somebody inside. a fucking yeast infection. That, that sounds disgusting. terrible. Dude. Yeah. Also, what your dick just like is. Also, who's like, this fucking really weird beautiful. friend of yours asking you this question? Dude, my is it Michael Douglas? <laughs> you know the friend. I'm not gonna. You have a make love. Oh, I think I know the friend. Who? You can't, don't just either say it or don't say it. Don't like signal us. Oh, it's no. A Tom Sizemore. It's a oh, close okay. Person. All right. It was somebody, I, it was another person. Um, God damn. Yeah, no, was... that's like a terrible idea. Somebody, I forget where it was. I saw it online. There was some comment section where, or maybe it was like Yahoo Answers or something where like a woman was like, is it normal for like uh, like her boyfriend kept a cup of water next to the bed to dip his dick in after they fucked? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> to give a bath? <laughs> to give a penis to <laughs> you? Rinse your cock off in the fucking bathroom, it's dude. Like a dick cup. That's terrible. He's like putting his dick in. Oh. Wash it off. He should have he has like a fucking, bird bath should, in his room for his, dipping his dick. in? Well, it's like a bidet. No, oh. he should keep he should keep fucking uh, the stuff uh, barbers use. <laughs> he should keep the blue stuff. Does that have his dick in there? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Barber side, the blue stuff. Thing? What blue stuff? Oh thing? yeah, uh, barber, barber side. Barber side. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. The, for you the combs, they I've put the, blue, the combs in the oh, in the oh, blue shit. Yeah, oh, it looks like okay. Windex. Yeah, barber side. You know what's funny? I was like, uh, you know how they have the the barber shop poles with the blue mm-hmm. and red, and they do oh. that because they used to like drain blood there. But like barbers, like before, I think surgery was like you know standardized. Like you could just go to a barber and you'd be like, "Hey, can you cut this tumor out of me?" And be like, I'll "Give it a shot." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what medicine. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. I feel like we need to end this one with a bang. There's got to be something we can fucking talk about. Okay, where we're not just ram because this is, to be honest, the worst one yet. For sh- for sure, I'd say this Maybe. has got to be the worst. Yeah, one. Yeah, well, we didn't plan. Well, we can't plan. I'm fucking sick. It's not my fault. Yeah, I don't blame. We ran out of shitty comedians to talk about. <laughs> there's really, there's, you know, there's like three of those guys. <laughs> All right, and there's actually, you know what? You ever, you remember Tom Flood? I don't. Tom Flood. I well, I don't even know if you. I wouldn't really classify him as a shitty comedian. He was like, oh fuck, Mike Diesel. Ooh, how have we not talked about old Mike Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm glad I remember. Tell that fucking story though. <laughs> okay, so. Mike Diesel is this little fucking. He looks like uh, he looks like uh, you remember that show U.S. Acres? It was the no. uh, it was part of Garfield and Friends. Oh no, I don't remember. Remember this. Garfield and Friends, the TV show? It was the yeah, Garfield TV yeah, show, yeah, yeah. and then it would cut yes. to the farm scenes where there was like you know the uh, Roy, the chicken, yes, and yes, 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 yes. And then yes. Orson was the pig. Yeah, hell yeah. And Orson had three older brothers that were like bully <laughs> pigs. So Mike Diesel looks like the bully pig older brother. <laughs> He's this like stout fucking like I think his real last name is Cucarini. He's just like stout fucking <laughs> yeah, Mike just real Diesel. Yeah, yeah. His stage just real, name. And it's great if best. you if you do a, a Bing image search for Mike Diesel, the first like three pictures of him, the next one's something like guy deadlifting six hundred pounds, and then the one underneath that is like three dudes sucking each other's dicks. <laughs> 
<laughs> but so yeah, Diesel was fucking. Uh, did you not? You don't know Diesel Adam? No, 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 no. Oh, you, you met. Him. I I barely met, but I only I barely came. I only came oh. contact with him once at an open mic. Yeah, well, he was great. He was like a pathological liar, and uh, and he but he would tell these stories where they were harmless. You know, he was like that much of a liar. We never right. had to worry about the stories, but he was telling. You know, his act was fucking... He was so happy when the Iraq war started because, like, you know, he, he'd go on stage and he would start doing his Iraq war bit about, like, yeah, hey, you know, George Bush and Saddam Hussein, blah, blah, blah. And then halfway through the bit, it would some at some point he would be like, and you know Ross Perot's over there, like, hey, and he'd do his Ross Perot impression. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you wrote these jokes 10 years ago. <laughs> You're just cycling these back. Wait, in. you Perot. were doing comedy, like, at the beginning of the Iraq no, war? No, no, no. I started in 2005. So, you know, two years in. Okay, we're Two years into the war. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so Diesel, he would tell all these fucking lies. And one time he tells this story about, he's like, oh, so I'm at a bar, right? Uh, I'm at a bar, and uh, say anything you want to me. You know, say whatever you want to me. I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, I'm not gonna have a problem with it. You know, he's like D- doing that one, the thing that guys do where they do the tough guy thing, where it's like, you say whatever you want to me, but if you come <laughs> after my friends, I'll fucking kill you. Right, <laughs> right, right. He's like, say whatever you want to me. I don't care. And there's this guy at the bar, and he's talking about your shit. You know, he's like a shit talker, causing a, you know, a ruckus or whatever. I'm not thinking about it. But then. He steps on my wife's foot. And, uh, and you know, that's just a line you don't cross. So uh, <laughs> so I, I say, you better fucking apologize. And he's refusing to apologize. So I, I grab him. I get him in a headlock, and I take him down to the ground. And I get him down to the ground, and I, I have him there. And, I, you know, I can feel his life slip out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. He murdered someone? <laughs> he goes, he goes, and so, like, you know... Uh, people are just listening to Mike tell because he bullshits all the time. They're like, "Go on," you know. Right, right, and he's right. like, "Yeah, and you know the wait staff. Uh, they said, Mike, we saw what happened. We'll take care of this for you." And so he told a story about how he murdered somebody at a bar, and the wait stepping on his wife. Yeah, yeah. Story. And the bar was like, "Hey, that's Mike Diesel, famous comedian. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna fucking let him go." Doesn't he have that other thing about the advice? He oh got, yeah, he told another story about yeah. He told this another is... story about being at a fucking bar one time. He's always at a bar. He's always got these like bar stories that he tells. Was it this was a headliner he was working? Yeah, with, he was. Right? Uh, no, he's working with a young comic. Comic named uh, William. <laughs> uh, really good comic. Everyone knew this guy was going to be big. And uh, you know, he says to me, he says, Mike, if you just took the impressions <laughs> out of your act, you would be the greatest comedian I've ever seen. <laughs> And that was Bill Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is, he still has impressions in it. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you didn't take Bill Hicks' advice. Oh, my God. Uh, I had a teacher. I had a teacher in high school <laughs> that was a former LAPD vice cop and a pathological liar. He made up stories. Like, we we would fact check a bunch of them. But one of them, actually, we thought was a lie, ended up to be almost true. What, what was it? He... Basically, he was saying that during his time in the LAPD, he worked security detail for like movies, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, you know, I, uh, I was a big fan of Cosby. Uh, you know, we would smoke cigars together on set. You know, and uh, 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 I was like, whoa, you worked on movies? He's like, yeah, I was in a couple uh, movies, and we're like, what was the name of the movies that you were in? And he's like, uh, Disco uh, something, uh, Disco something or other." And we're like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember the name. <laughs> he's a, and I was like, do you have the movie? He's like, oh, my fucking ex-wife. She, is, she, she has uh, the movie, you know. But yeah, I, we, I, had, I used to have it on tape. But, uh, and then I, it was the first time I'd ever used IMDb. Uh, I looked it up, and there's a movie. There was a black exploitation movie directed by this guy, Fast Black. And uh, it was called Disco 9000. And he was a vi- vice cop number two, Richard Warren. <laughs> he was well, in, that's, that's weird. It's like, this movie. This is pathological yeah, yeah. liars, they'll have one or two stories that are real, but then they're, you, they sound like bullshit like the other ones. Well, right. he, he used to tell us stories that were like, he was like, oh, uh, and then she died in my arms after after dropping charges from the scumbag, beating and raping her. Uh, she, I finally came and it was too late and I, I'll never forget that day, uh, April 31st, 1968. You know, and then we're like, 
the my friend was like, "Yo, there's no April 31st. That's yeah. not, <laughs> right, 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 that's right, not right. a day." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Mike told it. Mike, I forget who told me this story, but Mike had said this. Said uh, I think it was Rob Mayer. He told Rob Mayer at a party. It was like, you know, he's like, "Hey, Mike, how you been?" And Mike goes, "Uh, ah, pretty good. Uh, went fishing with the Clintons on the weekend." So <laughs> he said, he, "He, you know, him and his wife went. Uh, me and Patience went fishing with the Clintons." And uh, so I guess yeah, Bill and Hillary Clinton are good friends with Mike Diesel, the Booker of Wiseacres Comedy Club, <laughs> the defunct for yeah. six <laughs> years, <laughs> Wiseacres Comedy Club. Yeah, so they went fishing, and then at the party later, he sees Mike's wife, and he's like ah i was hanging out with the clintons uh, all weekend and mike's standing right there and she, you know his wife looks at rob and she's like what are you talking about <laughs> and mike just like you know in the simpsons when homer like is talking to flanders and his brain just like disappears yeah, 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 or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah mike just fucking stonewalls him and pretends <laughs> like it didn't happen <laughs> mike one time he invited me to uh he goes uh he's like I want you to... I throw a party every year. It's the only time I do cocaine with my wife. It's at this party. It's called the East Coast Comics Convention. And basically, every comedian on the East Coast is going to be there. <laughs> Which is like... Mike, that's like 45,000 people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it East Burning Man? East Coast you, Comics yeah. Convention. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, it's at my house out in... Uh, he lived out in West Virginia somewhere. And uh, I did I did a show at Fish Head Cantina. Is oh, that yes. it? Yeah. It was in like Rivera Beach or some shit. No, Fishhead was in a fucking uh, Arbutus or like in Catonsville. Yeah, that's where it was. It was Arbutus, and uh, I so the party was at Mike's house. But after that, and I okay. drove out there. I followed Mike Stork and Cat Malone out to this fucking party, the East Coast Comics Convention. <laughs> And, uh, you know, but I know Mike's a liar. So when he says every comedian on the East Coast should be there, I'm like, okay, like a couple of guys I'm friends with. It'll be a right. party, you know, uh, I'll hang out and have fun. And I get there. There is literally no one. There. <laughs> no, that's sad. It's, it's that Mike. is sad. It is, it's that's M sad. Mike oh. on the couch. He's he's got oh. he's in his lazy boy with his fucking legs up, and he's got a fucking afghan draped over his legs. And he's petting a shitty old dog, and his wife's like, um, "Oh, uh, come on in," you know. And Basil White is asleep upstairs. And there's a fucking cat eating like a uh, part of like one of those long catered subs oh, on the table. Oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> and I, you know, I mean, I had driven from like Baltimore yeah, basically to plus. West Virginia. Yeah, it was like an hour and a half. We drove out there, and that was the night. Uh, yeah, so we're all like getting high and shit, and it was me and Mike, Diesel and Stork, and then <laughs> I think Basil woke up, and we're like. You know, uh, you know how Stork is, where he'll like, yeah. you know, like just go off and he's talking about like neurotransmitters yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're talking about like therapy and shit. And Mike, uh, Mike says at one point, he's like, "Yeah, you know, it took me a long time to find a good therapist, and I, uh, you know, I had a lot of people who tried to be nice to me, and it really took someone <laughs> to just sit me down and say, no, Mike, this is what happened to you, okay? You were fucking raped.'" And, you know, immediately I'm like, fuck you, asshole. And he's, like, reenacting like, the Whoa, scene from that's... Goodwill Hunting or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. fuck you, you know, I, because that's why. Because fuck you is why, you know. Right, right, but right. eventually I just had to accept it. And, I mean, I know Mike's lying. He wasn't fucking raped. <laughs> wait, he, you think he's that's also He's just casually lie? mentioning <laughs> yeah. being raped. Yeah. As... No, <laughs> wait, 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 he was doing a scene from a movie? <laughs> well, he's always, like, all of his, because re... he's a liar. So yeah, all of right. his reactions to things are like shit he saw in movies right. and, you know he's like and then they tried to say my coupon wasn't invalid and I said you can't handle the truth you know it's like always <laughs> this dramatic interaction with people where he's like you know coming out on top but yeah that was the best part of this oh and I went down to his basement to get like a soda or something and so he's this big fat fucking piece of shit but he's one of those fat guys it's like <laughs> he told Andy Klein one time Somebody was talking about working out, and he tells Andy, he's like, yeah, I've been working out a lot. I'm actually down to 0.4% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> like Ray Lewis in his prime had 6% body yeah, fat. Well, like, <laughs> and he's like, Mike, we can see you. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> was, he, was, he, was fat. he was fat as shit. He's fucking bigger than Stavros. He was like twice the size of Stavros. Point, He's a point point four. four percent body fat. Uh, that's so like a no, fucking Auschwitz victim. That's yeah. not even a, body fat. Yeah, like peak athletes are at eight 
percent. But yeah. that's not that's that's a cr- that's not even like believable. Uh, yeah, no, I mean that's very kind of bad. Shit at you. Yeah, I'm down to point four percent body fat. So yeah, I go down to his basement and he's got his little workout area, which is like a bench, like an adjustable bench, and then just two fifty pound dumbbells. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. Just, whoo, just doing like one fucking swinging curl with his fucking piggly arms, and that's his whole exercise <laughs> regimen. Uh, fuck. Uh, well, that, I'm good. I'm yeah. glad. Yeah, I'm we glad I nice remembered stuff. him. We'll save Tom Flood for the. Uh, I'm glad. You know, it's funny. I was trying to like pick my brain, trying to think of like a, a a shitty comic I haven't shit on yet. I'd love to. Maybe next episode we'll get into really deep into Dave Schofer. Yeah, Dave's He's good. He's a fucking. Dave's gem, always dude. been nice to me, but uh, oh. you know, apparently people fucking hate Are you him. Kid- oh. That's yeah. hilarious. Uh, uh, Uncle Dave Doug Comedy? Uncle Dave yeah. Comedy, dude. Well, Tom Tom Flood, why we're out of Tom Flood is because Tom Flood, and it sort of ties into Diesel, Tom Flood was this guy with like, who was severely autistic. He wasn't high-functioning autistic. He could like barely communicate with you, and he pushed carts at like the Safeway down <laughs> Route 7 or something, and he would come to Wiseacres uh, for the open mic, and, uh, you know... He would go on stage and do his time, but it wasn't jokes or anything, and everyone would laugh at him. <laughs> and like, but people, so half of it was people being comedy, like, "We're being dude. supportive," or "This is avant garde," and it's like, "No, you're laughing at an autistic man. Right, this is right, exploitation. Right. That's all right, it is right, for sure." And uh, like one time, he went on stage and he fucking like dragged. He spent the first two minutes of his set dragging tables onto the from like the audience onto his the stage. And he lines them up and puts four chairs behind him. And he's yeah. like, oh, the, 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 uh, 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 the 1984 uh, NBC4 afternoon news uh, broadcast from September, uh, you know, 13th. And he like he's like, and uh, like uh, Mitch Douglas sat here and uh, Kate. And he reenacts <laughs> some afternoon news broadcast from like 1984 <laughs> that he remembers. And it's not jokes or anything. Hell yeah! And I remember Mike Diesel, like he was like. I'm telling you, if you brought that act on the road, it would kill. <laughs> he is a genius. And it's like, no, Mike. If you brought that act on the road, Jesus it Christ. would kill. <laughs> that is Andy Kaufman level genius. It's like, no, you're you're just fucking laughing. And disabled. Oh God. Yeah, he's so dumb, dude. Twitty, <laughs> Twitty met him. I read, I, read, I saw Twitty at a party. And he was like, do you know this uh, Mike Diesel guy? And I was like, oh, yeah, dude, I know Mike. And he's like, yeah, I just work with him. He's like saying he's been a comic for 30 years. And like, he's like, I only got four teeth left. But like, you could see all of Mike's teeth. So <laughs> Mike was literally lying through his teeth. Which is great. Uh, we're going to have to wrap it up. Yeah. Now, all right. That's more than enough time. Uh, uh, thanks for listening to Come Town. We're gonna set up uh, donations soon. Yeah, because you really should be paying for this. For I the, feel. Yeah, this level of work. Give your money to women, fam. <laughs> Give your money to women. We all identify Please. as women. We're all women when it comes to being paid to fucking say woke shit on the <laughs> damn internet. Hand, clap emoji. Clap back, fam. Clap back. Fingernail painting. I love the emoji. fingernail one. Yeah. All good. right. Uh, later. Bye. See you, bros.
Welcome to Come Town, episode Ooh. six. Uh, just two of us today. I'm sorry, seven. Episode seven. Episode seven. We're just, just two of us. We're a little. Our uh, our leader Nicholas Mullen is not here. He's actually at a uh, rape joke convention. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a keynote. Uh, Daniel Tosh uh, keynote. Tosh will be in there. Uh, Brock Turner, I think, is skyping in. Nick is going also to an N word convention, headlined by <laughs> Kramer next week. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, so Nick isn't here. So. But listen, you're going to want to stick with us. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What's up? We Dumb Boys? That's right, We yeah, Dumb Boys. We Sorry. are Dumb Boys. Did we say I'm Stavros Hockey? The, Adam uh, Friedland. Uh, Puerto Rican Rattlesnake. Uh, Puerto Rican, yeah. And uh, But seriously, you are going to want to stick stick around because we have an incredible... This is our biggest get, for sure. We've had some great comics on, but uh, this guy, seriously, I'm star. pretty stoked about having this guy on the show. He's been Normally, when movies. you guys get famous people, I'm not on the show. Yeah, and but this that is will, the most famous person we've ever exactly, had. Exactly, and that's without So, Nick. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, so, uh, guys, without further ado, Dr. Evil is here, Woo! huh? Thank you, Stavros. Thank you, Adam. It's oh. a pleasure to be here at Come Town. Oh, we're so happy to have yeah, you, Yeah, so, I mean, I've been a fan for years, really. For I, years? Yeah, you're too kind. I didn't know you were a real <laughs> person. I thought you were just from movies. Yeah, but. a lot of people make that mistake, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> they think I'm a silly character, but no, I'm real. You're a real person. With I'm, a faint Canadian accent. A very faint Canadian <laughs> accent, yes. Uh, a faint Dr. Evil accent, some people would say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's almost true. like I've I think- forgotten my own personality <laughs> since uh, 2000. Three years. <laughs> what have you been up to? You've been trying to take over the world and stuff? Still trying to take over the world. That's nice. Really? You haven't That's made a nice. lot of noise. I've gone into startups mostly. Uh-huh. Evil apps. Perhaps you've heard of Grinder. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Tinder, <laughs> except it's for spreading AIDS. <laughs> wow. Wow, Dr. Evil. We make a noise. We them boys, dude. Wow. Um, Incredible. Wow. This, well, we're so happy to have you here, Dr. Evil. I'm happy to be him? here. Do you know? Huh? Do you know how we booked Dr. Evil? How we booked him, Nick knows him. Nick yeah, I knows think, him? I think he actually saw Nick was using uh, a well, lot of... I'll tell you how it happened. Oh, yeah, please, tell, please uh, fill us in. I had, I had an email from somebody that knows that I'm friends with him, and mm. they said, uh, this guy's uh, harassing women online, Ja. Uh, and, Nick, uh, they Nick w- is. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, and no. They w- <laughs> Oh yeah, does he? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, they asked me if I could help uh, getting him fired. Oh yeah, we got those emails oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah. That woman, Sadie, uh, Sadie, 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 Sadie Doyle. Doyle. Well, oh, yeah. don't you know I'm actually enemies with Sadie Doyle. You are too. Oh, Why is so that? So you and Nick have a common enemy. Uh, well, I'm what you call a brochialist. Uh-huh. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of it. The well, term for the listeners at home, who's who's Sadie Doyle? Doyle again? She's a journal. She's my arch nemesis. She's yeah. a, a journalist, a blog, a blog ass. ass, a blog <laughs> ass. Yeah. Uh, she's a, a lady who uses computers to spew hatred. Oh, who does she hate? Uh, every white male comedian, <laughs> <laughs> all of them. She has a, a vendetta, as they would say. Oh mm. yeah, that's true. And why do you beef with her? What's the, what's your problem? You said you're a brochialist. That's correct. (laughs) Basically, we all live in, uh, you know, skull mountain castles out in the water. That's very strange because, like, uh, I would have assumed if, like, you were supporting someone in the U.S. election that you wouldn't be supporting... You know Bernie Sanders. So you must supporting Bernie, Donald yeah. Trump. Right? No, I'm actually a Bernie bro. <laughs> okay, <laughs> might think that I'm not, but I am. I love Bernie. Uh, I can't get women. enough of him. Donald, uh, I just don't like his attitude. Mm. You don't. Okay, it's too much uh, upfront evil. Yeah, it's not true. enough subtlety. Yeah. What I, I let me see Donald Trump end a sentence with uh, you know a long laughing gimmick like right. we do. Yeah, that's sure. true. Which is your thing? That's my thing. I think. <laughs> if th- I think that was in the second movie, <laughs> the one with Beyonce. Uh, yes, uh, yes in the member. gold, in the gold outfit. That's the third one. Yeah, hey, but that's but mainly that's there. why I hate the identity politics people is because Beyonce <laughs> dared to oppose me. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that's their queen, right? That's, that's their <laughs> hero. They're, I just now put it together. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a good. That's a good bit. <laughs> wow. Jeez. So okay. So you're so you're bummed. Bernie's probably 
going to pull out soon, right, dude? Well, I'll tell you what, Adam. We're going to find a way to create a new robot Bernie uh, with freaking laser beams <laughs> in, your, <laughs> in his eyes. In your socialist utopia that you want to In my up? socialist utopia where we can harass women from the safety of international <laughs> waters or space. I have a base on the moon where uh, Glenn Greenwald sends me uh, updates on the coordinated harassment campaign to bully women off the internet. That's actually what happened. Glenn sent me an email. He said, hey, Dr. Evil, how you been? Would you mind uh, uh, threatening to rape Sadie online? <laughs> I'm too busy raping women in Brazil. Wow, really? Yeah, he lives in Brazil with his <laughs> with his husband, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> they, they rape women together. <laughs> this is really great. Wow, Doctor Evil. Evil, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Because I know Nick had a bunch of beef last week with Sadie Doyle. She was going in on it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I heard about. that. Did you that. see that he used your image a lot? Actually, I actually endorse that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you make I all was on board. Evil memes? I make every Doctor Evil meme myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really interesting Wow, that's pretty chill Well, I tell you what, we're winning the fight against them But uh, there's uh, one of uh, 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 these people, a newer online, online account yeah. uh, Who I'm mostly worried about yeah. uh, It's this guy, uh, Woke Bastard <laughs> Oh, Woke wow. Bastard you know what? I would love to hear about Woke Bastard, but I really have to go to the bathroom. Oh, stop. So, yeah, we're in the middle of an interview, Dude, I man. know. It's very unprofessional. Stop. You can't leave us. I oh have to go. God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm going to go. I should be back really soon, though. All right, so. DR. I'm sorry. You know, DR, I was wondering, your voice sounds a lot like Caitlyn Jenner. I was just <laughs> thinking. <laughs> we had the same kind of surgery. <laughs> On your voice? I take the hormones because I like the flavor. <laughs> Oh no! Wow. Not this guy! <laughs> wow! Oh no! It's it the, it's, it's the woke bastard. It's woke bastard! I'm dead sexy. No, I'm you're woke not woke bastard. No, you're not woke bastard. Yes. There's nothing sexy about you. There's okay? no place for that body negativity here. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Evil. You're, you're too fat to be lovable, okay? That's not true. Being hot is everybody type. <laughs> Don't listen to what the patriarchy tells you. Wow, I didn't... Well, that's true. That is... Yeah, that's a good point. I'm what, hot. I'm dead sexy. <laughs> what I don't understand is the difference between fat bastard and woke bastard. <laughs> I'm pretty yes. sure they're the same person. I think Fat I Bastard is more uh, like less accepting of his body. Well, exactly. Let me explain. Yeah, yeah. You might not know because you're not. A, even though they weren't, you weren't in the scene. There's a very emotional scene where Fat Bastard sad about being fat. No more. <laughs> now I love my body. I love my curves. I know that just because society says I'm disgusting doesn't mean I'm not lovable. Yes, yeah. it does, actually. Take it okay. back. What you should do is get a tiny clone of yourself that might weigh a fuckable weight. Oh, are you talking about a baby? I, yes. <laughs> so everyone is going to get a clone in your socialist utopia? In my oh. socialist utopia, oh. yes. Everyone gets oh. their own baby. Now they're going to be cool. baby-sized. <laughs> I'll tell you something, guys. If I had a clone, I just would not stop 69 with a clone. <laughs> you answer the question. Are they well, going to be baby? That's <laughs> why you get a tiny clone. Oh, because oh, you can't reach. It has oh, to suck your disgusting. dick, but you don't have to suck like it. Like the size of a baby. Oh, like a shrunken clone. I love eating babies. So is Austin Powers still at large? Did you, did you win or did he, he win? I don't... Austin Powers has actually been replaced... Uh, there's really? A, I have a new uh, foe powers. by the name of Autism Powers. Autism <laughs> Powers. So. Yes. Wow. He sounds pretty cool. Adam, don't you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I don't have to go to the bathroom. I mean, I can go to the bathroom. I have oh, a call, look. actually. I'm getting a call. Oh, wow. Adam's really good at improv. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> going to the, I'm getting a call. I got to go, and then... I'll be right back in one second. I just don't want to be the only host here. Well, just go. We'll okay, hold I'll down go. the fort. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh no, it's autism power. Do trains make you horny, baby? <laughs> 
Yeah, he's a light, lot like Austin Powers, except he's uh, mentally retarded. <laughs> and I have absolutely no sexual desire for women, baby. That's that's essentially what the character is. But you're lovable. Just just because you're retarded doesn't mean you can't have love. Well, hold on a second, woke bastard. You're not allowed to say the R word. <laughs> I'm doing it uh, uh, ironically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Because I'm woke, it's okay. Yeah, baby, that's not very woke of you, baby. I mean, you might want to, you might want to stop don't know that, what baby. The woke is. You barely know how to tie your shoes. Can I? T- uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, baby, I, I was at home memorizing every line to every episode of Goon Girls. <laughs> When I heard my arch nemesis, Dr. Evil, was on the Come Down P cast. And I'm here to, to arrest you, Evil. Uh oh. Yeah, arrest him for yeah. his crimes against the blogosphere. I, frankly, I've done nothing against the autistic community. I don't understand the hatred autism powers. Listen, all of. Uh, all of you. <laughs> What's wrong with autism powers? <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble with your voice oh, over there? I think maybe autism oh, powers yeah. ate too many edibles before the podcast. <laughs> no, baby. I've never smoked weed in my life, baby. I'll tell you what I have eaten, though. Is it pussy? Is no, it, is baby. Pussy? That's repulsive, baby. A human pussy. <laughs> No, baby. I didn't know this stereotype about the autistic that they hated sex. I eat train <laughs> pussies, baby. <laughs> yeah, trains don't have pussies, autism. Well, that's just a matter of perception, baby. <laughs> wow. I get in the caboose and I eat that train pussy all not long, baby. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, I've got to go. I've got evil plans <laughs> oh, I have no. to attend to. Dr. Evil, get dreams as far as I'm concerned. Thank no. you for having me. I say I goodbye. I gotta let you go, baby, without arresting you, baby. <laughs> say goodbye to... I gotta to put you in jail, baby. Stavros. Autism jail, baby. And Adam and... We'll jail. tell him. To uh, okay, back. thank Who's you. Who's Stavros? Well, there goes Dr. Evil. Well, just it's me and just you. us, baby. You let him off the ho- <laughs> hook? <laughs> You let him off the hook? Here I am, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, baby. Sister. It's Caitlyn Jenner, baby. <laughs> Surprise, girls. Here I am. It's an easier impression to do. <laughs> it sounds a lot like Dr. Evil, baby. <laughs> Maybe he's very similar, but I'm... Uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing. Caitlyn, yeah. you're a hero. Thank you. Can I just say you're beautiful? Uh, I agree with that. You're a beauty. I've had a lot of surgeries to make this happen. Thank you. I'm attracted to you sexually. You know okay, I- well, I have to go now, too. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, I thought I was getting somewhere. Yeah, baby. Well, I, I, I have to go, uh, I have to go fuck a train, baby, so... <laughs> Wow. So, so I'm going to go, too. but uh, uh, Woke Bastard... Uh, it's me, Woke Bastard. Yeah, keep it, keep it 100. Uh, I will do that. All right, bye. Oh, hey, guys. I'm, I'm back from the rape convention. Oh, it's Nick Marlin. Uh, and Woke Bastard is also leaving. I've got to go now, even though... Because I hate... And because I hate Nick Mullen. Fuck, I lost the accent. <laughs> and a scene. <laughs> Guys, that Guys, was actually from the play Hamilton. That was a play. Seen, <laughs> you haven't seen the play there Hamilton There were yet. no actors it's here. It's a deleted it scene us. from Hamilton. That was all black people doing that. <laughs> um, it's going to rhyme. That's a rough draft. Hamilton rough draft. Uh, you know, give it a couple more weeks. And, you know, that Lynn, uh, what's his face? Is really Manuel, have baby. Lynn Manuel, yeah. Samantha. He's going to hammer out the kinks in that. Mm-hmm. Um, have any of you seen Hamilton? Um, no, no. I, I, uh, I, I saw the, a performance. That I guess I, sh- I should also just say it's good to be back, guys. Oh yeah, how was wow. the rape how joke was convention? The convention? Um, it was pretty good. Um, they tried to get me fired. Somebody oh sent God. an email to the rape joke convention. Who was it? Old Sadie. 
Uh, yeah, it was Sadie and then a bunch of other, uh, wow. you know, just like angry people online. They said that, uh, they sent him an email and said, like, this guy does rape jokes. He thinks it's like funny to choke women. Wow. Um, that's actually a direct quote for me. I said that <laughs> at some point. I don't remember saying it, but apparently I said that. You said that it's, <laughs> funny. it's funny to I, choke women. You know, women. I didn't think, I didn't think I did, but a journalist tweeted that I said that. So I guess it must be true. That's right? probably true. Top three, um, banana peel on the ground, uh, choking a woman. And uh, hitting the balls, obviously. Yeah, hitting the balls. Sure. Yeah. Hitting the ball. uh, and then the trifecta where um, a woman slips on a banana peel <laughs> and her vagina falls into a guy's crotch. And so <laughs> he has the pain of being hit in the balls, but he's also raping the woman. <laughs> and that that uh, is the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. The funniest. They did a study that's historically the funniest joke that translates yeah. across all that Actually, that joke was written by the Japanese in World War II. They killed a ton of GIs yeah. from, from laughter. They died well, that's, laughter. That's, that yeah, yeah. move is actually how the Russians won the 1980 Olympics. The gold <laughs> gymnastics. <laughs> yeah. They coordinated it. Um, Sven Lana Sharanka, she, you know, she put out the banana peel and everyone's like, what is she doing? This is going to be fucking ridiculous. And she did. And then, uh, and then, yeah, she, she pulled it off with her partner. Uh, Igor uh, Fuck suck Nico. kids off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Igor suck kids off. He's, Igor suck kids off with a V. Uh, at the yeah, end. With a V. Yeah. It's it's pronounced off, but it's a. Suck That's what I said. Yeah, Igor, yeah. My name is Igor suck kids. Oh, off. Igor's here. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> they they wow. skyped me into the. <laughs> The audio I, fidelity in my headphones <laughs> is just perfect. Uh, oh no, Igor's gotta go. Yeah, oh, shame. goodbye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon the characters are just gonna be one second, like just the name and then yeah. Bye. Yeah. Oh, good night, everybody. I'm retarded. See you later. <laughs> Who was that, that guy? Was the Australian <laughs> retard. I've got a good one. Hold on. I've got, go. I've got the trans hatter. <laughs> Hello, I'm the trans hatter. <laughs> You're not allowed to call me ugly anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Legally, you have to say I'm beautiful. Man, you're only allowed to do impressions of Caitlyn. Uh, what's it's that? It's mean because she's rich. That's the only trans It's Caitlyn, bitch. Right. Here I am, bitch. Here um, I am, bitch. Here we are, the real trans wives of Target bathrooms. <laughs> That's the reality show, one of the bitch. We're all here in the bathroom for a big birthday bitch celebration. We're cutting Miranda's balls off. There's like a family coming in. They're like, get out of here. We're having mimosas. <laughs> and Target has to sponsor it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the well, rape joke convention was great. Um, awesome, but man. you know, they sent all those emails trying yeah. to get me fired and I was just going to go attend and then they let me be the keynote speaker. Oh, that's awesome. So I gave wow. a shout out to come town and, uh, I've noticed there were an additional 80 million downloads last yeah, week. We're making a lot of money off dude, of dude. Yeah. We've got the, the Patreon pay. I said, I used to call it Patreon. Like General mm -hmm. Petraeus. <laughs> yeah, he was sucking and fucking That's how side. I thought you pronounced it. And then somebody laughed at me and I was like, yeah, you know, that's not a word. They made up that yeah. fucking word for the Patreon. Comp pa yeah, pa Patreon, Patreon. Like a patron. Like yeah. a patron, right. But yeah. they couldn't call it patron because somebody already owned that. So uh, has anyone sent us money for whatever this podcast yeah, is? Yeah, every episode we're making about seven, $7,100, $7 million. That's not bad. It's Can not we bad. like grow? From we there. should tell the listener at home what we're gonna do with the money. So we're uh, not just gonna waste. Well, it goes money. to my crippling Ferrari addiction <laughs> and Adidas addiction. I'm addicted too. to Ferraris. So yeah. I melt them down. For real though, we will buy custom come town track, track, suits. track suits man 100 percent. oh if, my god if you well, give us money we will yeah adidas wouldn't make them because they have refused to acknowledge my presence on the internet damn it, no matter how many times i tweet at them or send threatening emails to their <laughs> <laughs> customer service department we could get that shit and just sew on like a come town patch on the back or something that's what we should do and then yeah, we should sell those at 800 you know or nine thousand percent markup or whatever of course. I'm down. That's why don't we get fake bootleg shit and make our, that? Now we're talking. Yeah. Why don't yeah. we get Kooji track suits? Okay. And then put the Come Town logo on them. I'm done. We'll we'll talk about this more. Uh, no, these know, are all. What's that? Cosby is like a majority shareholder of Kooji and private prison industry. That makes sense. No, I just made it up. Oh. <laughs> what if he ends up in his own prison? <laughs> and then he's the hero of the prison. Do <laughs> you think anyway, people are like, I hope Cosby goes to jail. It's like he would be the king there. There's <laughs> no way that they wouldn't. Abs him. Everyone in prison would love Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the greatest time. Of, uh, his life would end beautifully. People would be bringing him cigarettes and Doritos from commissary or whatever. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, Bill, how's it going? 
You're the reason I almost didn't end up in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you just stop with the cuss words. Oh, my yeah. God. Bill Cosby's here, everybody. <laughs> I was at a restaurant Jesus with my Christ. wife. Restaurant. Uh, and she said, if you just stop with the cuss words and the raping, God the women, damn. and the jalom, the oh, no. pudding. Bill Cosby had to I go. had to go, yeah. I mean, Cosby, okay. It's uh, me, everybody, the oh, other yeah. Bill Cosby. That's better, yeah. The, 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 I'm more at the Cosby that you remember from growing Liar. up as a kid. Oh, Why oh. are you doing an impression of me? <laughs> Right now, <laughs> I'm not doing it. All right, <laughs> Professor Doctor Emirates, I'm not fucking do. Let's make Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. I'm retarded. <laughs> I'm trim. We should just bring the those oh, boy, uh, French guys. Good, <laughs> <laughs> the French guys. Guys, guess how long this episode's been so far? Six minutes. <laughs> Twenty minutes. That's so not bad. bad. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Can um, I can I talk to you guys about something that's been fucking me up sure okay so i looked at the forbes richest people in the world list right mm-hmm. yeah number one easy billy bill gates right he's number mm-hmm. one bill gates okay. no yeah. it's carlos slim no I thought it was, carlos yeah. slim number four he dropped down according to the I current slim carlos according to no. the current carlos current forbes list slim carlos is the guy from the wire carlos oh, yeah. slim <laughs> is the guy that invented slim gems slim, slim charles. charles slim charles yeah, that's Jesus, what, like that's not, what. It's like you're not. You don't even know. Bottom Charles Road. and Carlos are the same name. I happen to watch it's the like wire you on Univision in translated. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you have, watch it in Yiddish. <laughs> <I> Slim <watched it. laughs> Carlos. Slim Carlos. Avon Borgdalio. I'm sorry that I watched it in Spanish, so it could be. It seemed more real to me. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I decided to change their ethnicity. <laughs> Guys, this is a working like, theory of mine. But the star of the wire. Do you know who that was? Um, the white. All the white characters. The city, city of Baltimore. Baltimore. City of All the white characters is funnier though. <laughs> <laughs> All the guys that season two of The Wire, aka season one uh, of Do you know one Frank, of The Wire. Frank Sabatka, <laughs> season two was like uh, like thirty one years old. Yeah, but he played like a fifty five year old. That's guy. what happens, man. If you go bald, if you go young, bald, you, if you yeah. go bald you young. Old. You're fucking thirty eight yeah, years yeah. old until you die. Yeah. Um, Except me, like I'm the exception. But yeah, you guys wait, are right. Forbes you dress like an idiot. <laughs> Forbes list. Yeah, no, I dress cool. You're right. You could yeah. play old man. Forbes list. No, I couldn't. Number one, young, Bill Gates. Too. Number four, Carlos Slim. Number two, I thought Warren Buffett. Right. But here's the here's the trick. Right. There's no Dope, number bro. three. There so is. So everyone's looking Buffett. for number three and they can't find it. There's only four millionaires running around the school. All right. <laughs> school. Well, that's where you do that prank. I don't know. Yeah. The pigs. Warren Buffett three. <laughs> Who's the number two richest guy in the world according to Forbes right now? Uh, P Diddy. You the told me already, Master so I'm not going to answer. It's the guy who owns Zara, the store. What? The guy who owns that, Zara. What and is I that? Looked up his, like, I looked up his bio, and basically the only thing he's ever done is owned Zara. Zara is like a sh- like he has, Forever 21 He has almost shit. as much money as Bill Gates. He has more money than Warren Buffett. That's insane. What is that store? Just like a ladies. It's like a shit. It's like H and M. Oh, really? It's like, but it's owned by this guy. It, it makes absolutely no sense. How like shitty pants? Yeah. He has almost as much money as Bill Gates. Like Bill Gates brought the personal computer <laughs> to people's <laughs> homes. The most like important. No, that was invention. Al Gore, dude. Okay, fine. Al Gore invented <laughs> computers and the internet. That's right. And getting sucked off outside. He was the first guy to ever get yeah, sucked yeah, off yeah. outside was Al Gore. I invented. I can't even get anywhere close to it. I invented. I can't, <laughs> stop, I can't stop thinking about how the fuck this is possible. How much money that makes. The Zara guy being the second well, richest. Well, did he have money? Maybe he had money from something else. It was probably real estate or he something. Owns he's a Habsburg. The t- he owns the textile. Have you seen that? That uh, There's like a, like a, not like a conspiracy theory, but there's a meme that goes around. Yeah. It's like... Um, one Jewish bank owns every bank. <laughs> One Jewish family owns every bank. It's like the oh Ross yeah, Charles, that's the, the protocols Charles. of the elders yeah, yeah, of Zion. No, yeah, it's yeah. like five families. Uh, no, there's a thing going around saying that the Rothschild family oh, owns every national bank in the entire yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. which, they which do. you know, it's true. But like, why would you, you know, remind people of that? Do you know what my point? reggae band is called? No, this is gonna be good. The protocols of the elders of Zion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's these all, guys sound cool. It's dude. all <laughs> they smoke weed. It's all all Jewish banking people uh, in my in my reggae band. Zion the Lion. Zion. Um, 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so, but, like, the reason I was looking at the, the Forbes list is because I wanted to know if Donald Trump was even the richest guy named Donald in the world. No shot. There's three other Who Donalds richer than him. I don't know, but they're fucking, they got so much money. Well, Donald you would Trump's have to. If rich, your name's Donald, you have to be a millionaire. There isn't an Adam in the top 1,000 richest people in the world. Good, fuck that shit. Yeah. But there are like 20 Donalds. Well, maybe if your fucking name was Donald or Carlos Slim or some... Carlos Slim's a tight name. There's a Russian yeah, that oligarch <laughs> that I saw on the list. There's a Russian guy who yeah. has an insane Igor amount of money. Igor sucked kids off. Yeah. <laughs> Igor sucked kids off. No, his first he name... He off that gold medal fame. Yeah. His first name is literally God. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like God Sarnayev or something. <laughs> <laughs> Sarnayev. Yo, can we talk about how that Sarnayev guy, not guilty, y'all got to feel me, though? What uh, What happened? Uh, Joke, Jokar uh, Sarnayev. He the got Boston. not guilty? No, I just don't think he's guilty. Oh, oh, oh just some, I thought you meant they had a trial and he was... <laughs> no. Somehow I missed that. He's not guilty. It's too beautiful. <laughs> no, first of all... You can't be a stoner and be a terrorist. It's not possible. That's just <laughs> are you going into a Tom Myers <laughs> yeah, are bit Are you now? working out bits? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. are you talking no, about? Let me <laughs> ask you this. Did, did Jahar have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> I mean, you'll be... You listen, you're telling me he's going to hit the bong and then get up and <laughs> do plans? I don't think so. You're telling me my I'm man's going to take a before. toke? <laughs> yeah, on his way to the, on his way to the, the blueprints, he's going to see a bag of Cheetos and that's it, my friends. <laughs> the most good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Myers. <laughs> I think someone that's never smoked weed talking with authority about weed yeah. is the funniest thing in the entire world. <laughs> so, like, bragging about well, the funniest thing Tom Myers ever did. Back to Tommy. Yeah. Fuck, I was going to do some research about shows. That's going to have to be next. Oh, yeah, podcast. we'll do that later. But the funniest thing Tom Myers ever did is when he did that CD taping. Yes, um, I love it. He was doing a bit, and I forget what the bit was, but he sort of just casually mentioned it while he was on stage that his parents already have a grave for him <laughs> next, <laughs> next to them. Next to them. Next to them. <laughs> <laughs> They've already decided this motherfucker isn't yeah. going to have a family. Do you know yeah. I bought that CD online just so I could hear Stav laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you still you're exaggerating laughing. I think it's on my computer. I'm surprised that it didn't it get soon. fucked up because Mike Turpin the whole time was like stomping his foot down <laughs> yeah. on the ground. He's like, ha ha, look, doing this exaggerated laughing. And Mike and he, Turpin, yeah. Mike Turpin's a, a, a giant. He's like, yeah. He's like a power lifter or power whatever. Lifter, MMA guy. Yeah. Like. Well, the guy squats like a thousand pounds. <laughs> so he's like just, just smashing his massive foot against the ground, like fucking up the recording equipment. <laughs> the Tom had to ask his parents to <laughs> rent for him. I'm a, like, listen, guys. When Bernie drops out, we will be one step closer to Tom Myers eating that pussy. Yeah. Well, I'm writing, the only reason I'm, I'm writing that over. in on the ballot. Tom Myers has to eat the pussy. <laughs> And that's I'm, I'm voting, voting Hillary for. only if Tom Myers eats the puss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we should definitely. Make we should get a clip and, that. and throw that in in the shit. Yeah. Oh, definitely. We That'll be do. the break. Yeah. It's going to be the Tom Myers Ed Schrader Tom Myers clip. Stuff. Um, fuck. What was I going to say? I had some another Tom Myers story. You were talking about the graves. Talking He's also graves. an announcer oh, at no. a at a children's that's, baseball that's field. Funny, but yeah. what was the best part about that CD taping is Tom actually has fans, and I remember these like two weird guys from Newcastle, Delaware. What? Yeah, these two weird Are you guys. Fucking uh, yes, kidding? I'm serious. These two like with, like this guy whose proportions were all fucked up. He was like you know just fat and wide, a Reddit guy with a weird like witch hat. I remember that yeah, guy. Yeah, and the long Fuck. hair. And he came all the way from Newcastle. I guess it's not that far away from it's Bel Air, but still, yeah. Any, I mean, anything it's, longer than it's the, one fact, block. the fact that Tom Myers has a fan. Yeah, it's but just, it's like that makes sense that that's who would be. The, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just the most off-brand Reddit guys. <laughs> like not even cool in the Reddit world. Yeah, would he? <laughs> Like, he, he's intimidated by guys that wear Bazinga shirts. <laughs> like he's like, oh, they're looking at me. I hope they ask me to sit with them. 
<laughs> Holy shit! Imagine being on the low end of that totem pole, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that's the worst. Oh, remember that Mexican Reddit guy we <laughs> yeah, saw yeah, at the yeah. pool hall? Yeah, no. yeah, he was uh, wearing a fedora we, and a bazinga yeah, shirt. Yeah, we were shooting pool like a year ago, <laughs> and there was this fucking guy. Uh, it was like a Mexican guy with another Mexican guy, and he's wearing a bazinga shirt and he's got a fedora on. They're speaking Spanish. And to I think each he other. was vaping. Or he was. There was another element. Yeah, there was a third element. Like suspenders like vaping or, or vaping. Or yeah, something. there was a third Reddit and stuff. Was like, this is just like a Mexican Reddit guy. <laughs> And we're, he's just speaking Spanish, so the whole thing's like, yeah. eh, Los uh, Feminismo es eh, uh, Cancera. <laughs> El Feminismo. <laughs> it was awesome, dude. Es la Cancer. And the guy with him was just like in a, like, just Mexico <laughs> soccer t shirt. Like, it was just, he was clearly. Just, I don't know, Mexico, it was, it was incredible. Yeah, he got bullied out of Mexico. <laughs> yeah. That's why he came here. He, he had made fun of so hard in Mexico, he had to come across the border. I was just remembering the other day, I saw, uh, I miss uh, I miss watching black teens harass people. Oh, the best. I was on a, a, um, a bus when I was like 17, and uh, there was these three black teenagers uh, harassing this middle-aged black woman. Who was like kind of overweight, and they were just making fun of her feet. Oh, and geez, she, yeah, like, and so they're like, uh, "Ah, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a, a, a woman they just wasn't a, talking. Yeah, to wasn't talking to them. Talking oh, them. Like, bitch, your feet look like Shrek 3. <laughs> your toes look like fucking rotten grapes. Oh. And she's sitting there and just like you know stoically looking ahead, trying to ignore them. And there's like tears streaming no. down her face, like Holy Denzel shit. and Glory. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> no. <laughs> and that was like a classic moment of bullying. <laughs> That is some fucking very good shit. I I saw I heard this this one lady bullying another lady on the streets yesterday. She's like, "Where'd you get that dress? Century twenty <laughs> two? That doesn't even make any sense." Yeah. Well, it's not Century twenty one. It's the knockoff. It's well, twenty two is better. It's for, it's from the future. That's true. <laughs> well, I like that Century twenty one is like the place that's not forever twenty one. Yeah, it's a sh it's close to forever, but it's a shorter amount of time. Yeah. A century sounds like a long time, but it's certainly not forever. Not forever, baby. And that's the bit, folks. That's pretty good. Woo! That's, once you bring that that's one, that's the process. Months, you that's know a what? Freebie I think terrorists. Could never be potted. <laughs> I think so too. Should we do I a break? I think so too. Uh, Let's yeah, no, nah, we hit we hit thirty minutes, so first half pee. is a We're success, and then yeah, I got to get more coffee. We'll be back in We're a minute, folks. Like Enjoy the Tom Myers bit. I'm Don Shipley, that phony Navy SEAL, the weed guy, and geez, have I been getting beaten up with emails about some picture, some chief posed with Hillary Clinton at one of her rallies or some stuff. Out of all the phony seals that I've ever busted, I have never been wrong because I check, double check, and triple check, double check, double check, and triple check, and triple check, and I make it my business to know awards, uniforms, buds, databases, classified shit, claims, seal, buds, databases, classified shit, seal, claims, uniforms, all of it. And some of you guys went nuts when I started getting off of YouTube and starting my own video website. And the reason I did it, putting stolen valor on the map, new laws enacted that guys can't get away with this stuff. Posed with Hillary Clinton at one of her rallies or some salary. So it's an election year. It's an election year. You guys all excited about this election coming up? Yeah! Yes. Yeah. Actually, yeah! Me, me, I'm an Obama person, but me, I kind of, part of me kind of wants Hillary Clinton to take the Oval Office. No, 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 okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. What's the first thing Hillary Clinton's going to do when she gets in office? Get back, get back, no, get back at Bill for all the shit he pulled. That's why I'm going to apply to be an intern. <laughs> I quit smoking the I quit smoking though, so I don't know if that'll affect my shot, but uh. Good morning Vietnam I killed myself because I have Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, wow, Robin Williams was in studio. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost. The characters. The characters app continues. The characters will not stop coming today, guys. Uh, nobody stops coming, baby. This is Comtown. Comtown. Sploosh. 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 Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I I'd smoke so much weed, my cum got THC in it. I smoke my cum. Um, I'm so stoned, man. <laughs> All right, um, guys, we got to talk about something for a second. What's wrong, Nikki boy? Um, so, I mean, I don't want to like confront you guys or make it seem like it's your responsibility or anything. Or <laughs> what? I mean, okay, well, a couple of times I've stepped out of the room. Yeah. And while I've been gone, um, you've let other people on the show, which well, I'm fine with. What are we supposed to do, It's man? supposed to we be an open room. Three. I get yeah. that. There's always an open door. Everyone knows that. Well, there's one guy in particular. Um, apparently, there's this Seth Dickfield guy. Ah, uh, Seth, sure. That comes on the show. Yeah. Which I have no problem with, but um, yeah. I found out that apparently um, that's supposed to be like a cruel impression oh, God. of this guy that... Uh, that blocked me on Facebook a while back. <laughs> he blocked he, me this a week. A friend on of Twitter. yours? Well, no. I mean, he's he'll he'll talk to me as if we're friends whenever uh-huh. he uh, you know has like a complaint or something that he sure. wants from me. But for the most part, no, we're not friends. And he's uh, uh, I'm a slime bag. Oh my uh, gosh! According to him, and Good the, Lord. so you know, it's kind oh of like an no. issue. So we shouldn't really be addressing him on the show now. I don't buy it. I think he's like blowing this out of proportion. I really mm-hmm. don't see the similarities. I mean, he's they're both named Seth, sure. And yeah. They kind of have the same opinions, but the, you know, this the- this Seth has round glasses and Seth Dickfield from what I know has square glasses. Square glasses. Square. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a big that's a key thing about the Seth Dickfield. Yeah, you wouldn't uh, fuck character. that up. You you know, if you're going to do an impression of somebody, Absolutely. you'd at least get the glasses right. right so Right, yeah. right, right. Um, Especially on a podcast. Yeah, so I mean, guys, at most like maybe like six or seven more times you can let him come <laughs> okay. on. Okay, but okay. Any more That's than that, it. you know, I mean, I okay. Really don't it's want it really to be upsetting this guy that is also named Seth. Yeah, he's also named Seth. I guess that's really in, in, if anyone named Adam is like a uh, like a fucking a uh, mean character. Like I'm gonna get offended by that. That's like bullshit. So wait we, a sec- we yeah. don't need to well, give he, in. Look, to that. you need to understand is that this other guy Seth. Did this, something happen? Uh, well, he he has PTSD. Oh no. Um, which um, you know, I mean, he wasn't like a veteran or anything, but apparently, like growing up. People would make fun of him sometimes, oh. which you know nobody experiences that. That's not <laughs> a thing that a- anyone else has to deal with. It's it's no, really it's just cruel. him. So it gave him PTSD. He's basically post traumatic. Uh, oh, wait, dick. this guy yeah. coming post, on post, post uh, being teased by Seth Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> post traumatic <laughs> Seth Dickfield. PTSD <laughs> podcast. Po- it stands for podcast triggering Seth Dickfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different type of PTSD. <laughs> Jeez. We're okay. upsetting a lot of people, I think. Well, maybe, well, the, maybe the thing about this maybe. podcast is that, like, I don't know if people l- like this or not, but it's kind of been a platform for us to just make fun of people we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Not, like, necessarily even famous people or, mm-hmm. you know, well-known mm-hmm. people. Um, well, it's maybe though, yeah, punching, about this? punching laterally, guys. I don't believe in punching up or down. Just you punch, the same left punch to the front and to the right. That's what Ali did. And that's, yeah. you know, Ali, Ali that's who, why he's um, the greatest. B- 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 yeah, was the greatest. Seth uh, actually, you know, said uh, last week if you're not hip to Muhammad Ali, oh, it's God. not too late. Wait, on Facebook? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> if you're not hip to. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> is he in the room? Um, uh, well, maybe. How about this for a solution? We just have him on and um, we'll hash it out well you know? i asked him he you know he was blowing up my phone the other day and he was like um what did you say about me and i was like <laughs> i didn't say anything dude we, you've never come up once which is a that voice sounded a l- very different to the seth yeah Deckfield he's voice. like yeah, a, yeah. uh you know i mean i don't really know seth dickfield but he's like hey everybody how are you doing <laughs> which and is the not, other seth is yeah. like here i am it's me seth <laughs> and those said, are two different not- and day. Nine day, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, you know, similar accents because they're from the same exact place and they're the same age. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they would have had a similar, if not mm-hmm. identical Louisiana. Oh, so they, yeah. they know each other. <laughs> 
Uh, you know, weirdly really, enough, I don't think they It'd be do. really interesting to get round them in a room glasses, together. Round glasses, square glasses. Get them glasses, in a room together glasses, to talk too. sometime in the future. We should maybe I, see if I, we can't I asked that. him if he, you know, because he was like, he was like, what did you say about me? And I said, I didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I, I don't know this Seth Dickfield yeah. guy. So, I, you know, I can't answer for what another man says. You know, sure. I have integrity. Absolutely. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to put words in somebody else's mouth, you know. That's messed up to do. That's totally fucked it, up. If, you know, to go around just like <laughs> almost doing an impression. <laughs> a caricature of someone. Yeah, I wouldn't do something like that. We know that, that no, about you, that's Nick, a, And that's why we started a podcast together. Yeah, because right. we're friends. Because I care about my friends and I appreciate my friends and the mm-hmm. diversity of opinions that my friends may or may Absolutely, not have. Absolutely, I agree 100%. Regardless of whether they block me on Facebook because <laughs> I made fun of one female Ghostbusters post <laughs> eight, <laughs> eight months ago. <laughs> what was the post? It was, I don't know. He goes, he was writing. He's like, uh, he's like, um, I oh get get a load of this. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm in a coffee shop the other day. Of course he is. He just sits in coffee yeah, yeah. shops working on projects that'll never fucking go anywhere. Just oh. what is, it's a two what? hour movie that's all puns. I bet I guarantee you that's what he was writing. About, his fucking mole skin. <laughs> I'm in a coffee shop the other day, and I hear this guy, he's talking about, uh, he's on the phone with his pal, and he, like, transcribes this guy's, like, you know, three-minute conversation. For his Facebook. For his Facebook, about how, oh, wait, and this is back uh, before he was a Bernie guy, you know, Mm. oh, oh, uh, it's, uh, this guy's complaining because he's saying, oh, it's sexist if you complain about Hillary Clinton. Uh, News for you, pal, it probably is, and, you know, that kind of shit. And he's like, and then he doesn't even stop there. He's saying, go going on to say it's like they have they have to have a female ghostbusters now it's like why do the girls have to have everything and then it closes the quotation then his line at the end is uh uh look out ladies there's a new mra sheriff in town oh <laughs> god <laughs> and when you say mra sheriff the image that pops in my head partially due to autism probably is yeah. uh, you remember in mario party 2 <laughs> Where you can get like there are like there's like cowboy level, no. but it's the cowboy Wario is what. <laughs> that's what I think. Is the MRA, <laughs> MRA sheriff that's pretty is cowboy good. Wario. There's gotta be so, there's gotta be on the internet somewhere. What cowboy picture Wario. cowboy Wario? Yeah, unfortunately, when I want half podcast, of your followers, it's also video. half of your followers, AVIs or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so I guess yeah, I guess want to you know just bring that up and you know let you guys know that. You know, maybe, maybe prevent that guy okay. from talking well, too much shit. Um, well, future, open we invitation won't. to this other Seth anytime you want to come on. Yeah, you hash it out. You don't really. You don't even have to unblock me on Facebook. I was following you because you followed me, really. So, oh, he blocked you on Facebook or on uh, Twitter. Oh. I haven't been blocked yet, but I'm sure after this podcast, probably. Yeah. Um, well, if you want to sneak into his mentions, the key is uh, replying to anything Talib Quayle <laughs> tweets, because Seth will defend his opinions against anyone that dare trolls Talib. <laughs> How dare you say that to Talib? <laughs> <laughs> Real hip hop. God damn. Uh, I love you, Talib. <laughs> it just, and you know, I, I, what I love it, you know what it's so fucked up is he doesn't understand how funny he is. He's yeah. amazing. He's one of the he's funniest incredible. people in the fucking world, and he just doesn't get but it's why just he's not funny. on purpose. Funny. Yeah, no, it's That's ridiculous. He is funny, though. It's stand up, right? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, I don't know. I saw him at an open mic once. He was very funny. That's all I can say. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, for yeah, for somebody who's been in comedy sixteen years, yeah, <laughs> funny. I didn't. Nick, you're not helping. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what? He's no. very funny, and we'd love to talk with him because he's so funny, and we want him to defend himself. You're pandering too much, dude. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's it's a delicate line. You oh, you almost have to neg him into it. Mm. You know, you got to treat him like a woman. <laughs> but you're trying <laughs> the only to, way to treat women. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just neg them. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, we're all in agreement there. Absolutely. Uh, so, and I guess uh, from the Brandon Ward L corner, who oh, yeah. isn't a character. That's just uh, Brandon's our friend who's big. 
been yeah. the most remarkably successful out of well, any of And us. that's, you know why, is because Brandon's a fucking retard. <laughs> and he, no offense to real retards. <laughs> you know, I know there's like issues with the word, but, uh, you know, Brandon's a fucking idiot, but he acknowledges that. Like any right. fucking comedian. Like, I know I'm an idiot and I fight, say and do dumb shit all the mm-hmm. time. And you have to have a sense of humor about it. Otherwise, like, why are you even doing this? Right. And that's why Brandon's successful. To score chicks. It's because his, all of his content is fucking dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his whole, like, Snapchat. Was, he's going to be a Snapchat fucking guy. That's his thing. No, don't say that. Uh, I mean, he's funny. <laughs> he's funny. He's funny, but he's also, like, self-aware to an extent. Like, I'll Oh, see yeah, people- yeah. He's doing, like, a crackhead teenager character yeah. online. <laughs> but he did, he did try to troll me he's on Instagram. Dude. Because I think... Well, he told me that he thought it was funny when I did the... Hey guys, uh, uh, Drake uh, Drake had a Pokemon, <laughs> and uh, Big Sean Big Sean come in, and he no have sex. <laughs> I like that you make him Asian. Yeah. I make him an Asian baby. <laughs> well, that's kind of what he is. Well, yeah, he is. He's half Asian. He's half Asian, half Air Force. He colonel. wrote on my <laughs> he wrote on my Instagram my last Instagram post. Uh, Your light count is embarrassing. It's wild. <laughs> Which isn't even He getting cyberbullied by Brando Wardell. I really wanted to respond. I stole this picture from Black Twitter. <laughs> um speaking of stealing shit from Black Twitter, did you see the uh-huh. Good Morning America thing? No. Oh, it was awesome. Oh god. So yeah, Good Morning America, they I mean, I feel so dumb doing topical. Why? Just stuff. do it. Well, because it's, you know what this is going to be? I'm going to describe it, and then I'm going to go, isn't that fucking stupid? And then we're going to go, yeah, that was stupid. Well, we're here, baby. Yeah. No, well, Good Morning yeah, America, like, deep. tweeted something like, which meme is the most meme fucking something? I don't right, know. Right, right, right. And then they included, uh... uh that boy? And it was like, is crying LeBron the next yeah, big meme? Yeah, that was it. Is yeah. crying The Le- next big meme. Watch, yeah. but listen. Yeah, well, then, the, like, uh, the, is it that the next uh, crying Jordan? Uh, uh, lizard T hashtag lizard <laughs> T which lizard, is the I mean, cur- yeah. T lizard yeah, yeah, yeah. is the Kermit it's the Frog Kermit, thing. It's Kermit, yeah, 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 and then uh, and then smocking that mask thing, <laughs> which I don't even know what that is. Yeah. I haven't seen that one before. And then some other fucking thing, I don't know. And then somebody wrote, uh, somebody wrote, uh, oh, fuck, was it? Uh, Good morning, America. Uh, or races or something about stealing the comedic excellence of black Twitter <laughs> by not acknowledging the black Twitter roots of a picture of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that's, that's if the, like that's th- well, they invented rock and roll and they invented Kermit sipping a Lipton's tea. That's none of my business, though, you guys. If that's what cultural appropriation is at this point, then... Uh, I think it is. Th- what's just stealing a picture? <laughs> stealing is an Good Morning America picture? tweeting a meme that Black <laughs> yeah. Twitter invented? Also, did Good Morning America... Rec- like, they got the memes wrong, right? No, they got them right. Uh-huh. It's, actually, it's actually more... You know, it's cool that they said uh, tea lizard. Tea lizard is Sobe. Do you remember that that brand? It was like a, a lizard yeah, yeah, themed yeah. tea. I used to drink their energy drink. All Hell the time. yeah, dude! I used to get actually, I used to get like crates, Sobe not crates, yourself. but like uh, from Safeway. They had uh, or like Shoppers Food Warehouse. They had like the wholesale yeah, size yeah, yeah. of Sobe adrenaline. <laughs> Sobe <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. What a fucking loser! Yeah, <laughs> no, that was Ride good the shit. lizard, man. Yeah. I love soda. I want to go back to being a soda guy. I've been like really into. Did I mention it last time? The Kmart graphics tees. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you uh, are wearing a Bob Marley. I am shirt wearing a right Bob now. Marley shirt. Yeah, you called. You said I dressed like an idiot earlier. You've been dressing solely in Kmart graphics tees for the next last three weeks. That's the fucking move, dude. I want to find one of these <laughs> like know, Bushwick Normcore parties. Mm-hmm. Everyone's like, actually, we just dress normal. That's like the cool thing. And then you mm-hmm. show up wearing like a. Like a like a Suicide Squad Joker fitted tee <laughs> or fitted hat, and like, like the like, newest the Joker Jared memorabilia Leto. there is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Jared like Leto, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a picture of Jared Leto. Yeah, Joker fitted hat, and see if you can get them to kick you out of the party for wearing K- Kmart clothes. <laughs> like, um, you're not cool in the right way. <laughs> Who has normcore parties though? I don't know. I might have just made it up. I don't think that's the thing. No, nah, Adam definitely. You have definitely gone yeah, to a party where everyone parties. dresses that way. No way. 100%. Probably the one you were at yesterday. What were you telling me about? Oh, yeah. I went to this party, and this girl was uh, there, and I didn't know who she was, and it ended up being uh, 
Lenny Kravitz's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Kravitz? Jenny Kravitz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Zoe, Zoe Kravitz. You're telling me you haven't gone to a party where everyone's wearing just like white tees and like ugly jeans? No, that's Baltimore, dude. Nah, dude. Not, but dude, I mean like the fitting Baltimore, shit. everyone... Okay, I don't want to piss people off. Let's do it. B, everyone smells like trash in Baltimore. Oh, dude. I and feel... dresses like poor people from the 90s. Dude, how fucking That's the you. normcore aesthetic. That is true. That is bizarre how that's a thing where they were like, 1998, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> are you, but are you, you're talking about art school kids in Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. Micah kids. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. I mean, all those people are mad cool, too. But that's the that's the aesthetic. They're not that cool, guys. Here's what I want to talk really. about. <laughs> what are you who are you backpedaling for? Yeah, go I ahead, Nick. Um, <laughs> who's excited for the uh, new Independence Day? Oh, I am. Did they get Will Smith? They didn't. They no. got. Is that the dude Will Smith's son? It's yeah, a, he's playing he's Will Smith's playing, son. It's not Jaden, but it's a guy yeah. playing Will Smith. Will Smith son. actually picked Suicide Squad over Independence Day too. What a fucking idiot! <laughs> what an idiot! Are you offended? Uh yeah, I mean I don't think Suicide Squad is gonna be good. I th- I'm excited for Independence Day too. You're excited for it? I'll yeah. see it, but I'm not excited for it. Well, the first one was so good. That's like the first time I've been earnestly like excited about a, a sequel or a remake in a while. You think it'll be good? Yeah, of course it will. I think it'll be fun. It'll be fucking shit exploding and shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. The guy that plays Will Smith's son though sucks so hard. Who is it? On the commercial, it's just like today Earth. He just gives. He's just like trying to be like. Fucking, you're trying to give a big speech and it sucks. Like the Bill Pullman one? From, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Today is our Independence Day. <laughs> and then the president just, like, they let him fly. A- <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing, is that he's sick at flying. Yeah. He's a former What if, what if pilot. that was his, like, that's what his campaign was? It's like, I don't know shit about anything, but I'm the best at fucking flying. <laughs> and then people voted for him. That's, I mean, Dwight Eisenhower didn't know. He was a fucking He was general. a four-star general, dude. Dude, that shit's was easy a hero. to do. That shit's easy. I could do that shit. No, you couldn't. Easy, dude. Um, okay, well, that went nowhere. What's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else No, I think is... it looks gay. You think You think it looks gay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to ten gays. We should have a movie <laughs> review segment. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, that's uh, the gay meter I mean, that's essentially what Rotten Tomatoes is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Change. Well, no, it's because... It, Create a widget. Fresh. For, um... <laughs> Which changes fresh to gay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, Hank, the guy that, uh, Hank Tomato, the guy that opened uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Hank Tomato. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he was like a guy that fucks tomatoes. Oh. And so it was like how he ranked movies. The more, the better he liked the movie, the more tomatoes he fucked after yeah, watching yeah. it. <laughs> so if it was a hundred. If he fucked a hundred tomatoes, it was a really good movie. <laughs> Yeah, no, that makes sense. We should have... I was actually looking at um, a review of uh, The Sandlot, a Roger Ebert review of The Sandlot. He said he trashed it? Uh, no, I mean, it doesn't have, like, particularly good ratings, but uh-huh. uh, Roger Ebert said, he's like, um, you're just so, like, enveloped in the movie that uh, at one point a line drives hit over, uh, I don't know, the first baseman, and I found myself ducking in the theater and reaching up with my <laughs> mitt, but I didn't have a mitt on. It's like... No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that absolutely did not happen. That's a lie. No You're way. completely lying. And if you did, then you need an MRI. You need yeah. like a fucking, you need to get your oh, brain. Yeah. It's like a oh, 3D ride at Disneyland. Yeah. Boom. He's a yeah. movie reviewer. Yeah. Profe- he watches movies professionally. All day long. Yeah. If anyone is numb to that kind of shit, it's him. Yeah. Who the fuck is he kidding? I thought the baseball was coming out of the movie screen. <laughs> I, I'm glad he's dead. Yeah, me too, honestly. <laughs> did you see that first interview he did when, like, they got the, they removed the second half the of job. his face, the bottom yeah. of his face? Oh, jeez. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. just using the, uh, like, the... The Stephen Hawking machine? Well, he was using, like, the Mac Talk app. Yeah, yeah. And be like, hello, it's me, Roger Ebert. I feel great, <laughs> or whatever. And that video was great, because you could just make him say whatever you wanted. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, wow. Fuck. Yeah. Have you done that? I did. I made a couple of them. <laughs> When I was like 20. Let's make some more. Yeah, we should do that. Let's make some Come Town Originals. Come Town Originals of Roger. Well, how did he die? Did his uh, cancer come his back? Cancer. The cancer, yeah. Didn't, like, didn't he get like a jaw that transplant? That documentary for was really a hot beautiful. Sec. Yeah, and then, and then it, it rejected. Take. That yeah, sucks, his body dude. rejected it or something. He had a jaw again. For, there was like a day where he thought he was going to be okay. His wife's name is Chaz. That's pretty cool. Is it Chaz Bono? Uh, yeah, it it's is. It's a sassy black lady named Chaz. 
She's sassy. Um, that's you know who has a I black love wife? the pictures on like vacation of Chaz's kids and and like just this fat white guy. Like, <laughs> they're such a happy family. It's like all these black people and just this is like portly white like oh, smiling on a dude family in reunion. The Six Flags <laughs> and they get yeah, custom yeah. T-shirts made. The Koopa Eba family reunion. They all have the shirts. Two thumbs up. Uh, I think he was a drunk. You know who has a black wife. Is George Lucas, yep. Nero, which too. is hilarious. You know his wife played Jar Jar Binks. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just like, I, wasn't there a conversation in that household at some point where she's like, George, what the fuck is this? <laughs> no, it's chill because and he's she, like, I told you not to read my scripts. <laughs> she sanctioned it. <laughs> George, you crazy. <laughs> This Jamaican you crazy stereotype, for this George. <laughs> he was a platypus Jamaican. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about it, that's the only like racist against blacks character in Star Wars because pretty much every other, uh, the majority of them are Asian people. Yeah. He found a way to f- like every the single glasses one. lady in the last one. Was that's he an had. Asian they had one. to get. That's a tribute to George Lucas. That's the only hat tip to George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glasses Asian lady. Alien. It's like one day your destiny gonna be real big. You gonna have real good time destiny. You are you like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> it's like and there's like a shooting star in the background. Mm-hmm. It's like this is for you, George. <laughs> JJ Abrams like points outside the. the Stadium. <laughs> yeah, we real big. You get your own lightsaber. You go down basement, fire right saber. You be real hero, just like Ruth Skywalker. Oh uh, fuck yeah. Yeah, no, the best one though, the most racist of all the Star Wars, like uh you know, background characters has to be Han Solo's co pilot in Return of the Jedi. No, you- Han Solo or uh, oh yeah, Lando. Lando's Lando. yeah, yeah. He just looks yeah like that's... a fat Korean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then all he says is like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> George <laughs> okay, Lucas okay, okay. hates Asian people. I think we might be onto something here. Yeah, well, more so because that's how really you can't just say somebody's racist, right? Because nobody has time to. You know, just say like, "Oh, this guy hate." And then he has that defense of like, "Oh, I hate everybody equally, right?" right you know, yeah, you can just yeah. say he's a uh, what, what's the word, uh, uh, misanthrope. Uh, yeah. But uh, he clearly hates Asians the most, so that's the one you should focus on. Yeah, did, was sure. he beefing with an Asian actress? Was that who's that sexy Chinese lady who was in Lucy Liu? <laughs> no. Sandra O. Oh, that's to both of them. It so was it's Bai, one of those two. name is Bai Lin or some shit like that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, from Crouching Tiger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was feuding with her. She, well, she like yeah, with she the wires. Out of, she got cut out of the movie or some shit like that. Oh really? Yeah, she was in. She was in it. She was like hunting fucking. I don't fucking know Boba or some shit. Like, I don't know, dude. I was beating off to her once, and that came up in a search. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was like, Did you see they made that Ghost in the Shell movie and like Scarlett Johansson? They cast Scarlett Johansson. And all these idiots on Twitter are like, um, here's who you could have cast instead. That's actually Asian. Uh, Bob uh, ba Bing Lao, uh, Ling Zhao Xunzhe, and it's like, <laughs> who the fuck any of these people are? It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like I know who Scarlett. Johansson Johansson is. Maybe I'll go see this stupid fucking anime movie if she's in it. I don't know who. Oh, Ching Chang Sally. Like, Ching Chang <laughs> Sally. <laughs> yeah, she was on a TV show in Korea in 1992, so she should be the star of this blockbuster movie. <laughs> yeah, that one's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, we should just send that directly to your girl, Sadie. Yeah, Sadie should find out about that. You need to apologize to Sadie about being racist to Asian people. Well, you know, I feel like Sadie could come around. You know, she's the, Doyle's Irish. She's got the the, the <laughs> she, evil in her. You know, <laughs> she has the potential to be as racist as the Listen, rest. Listen, they of us. came over on those boats and they saw those signs that said they need not apply. Yeah, and, and it made and they them thought angry. they they thought that meant to life. <laughs> and so they just all became scumbag pieces of shit. Um, but uh, actually, there's that other woman, Feminista Jones. That was fucking hilarious. Somebody started searching her old tweets. And mm-hmm. uh, like 2012, she's like, fuck a Chinese people. Yeah, Asians can't drive. He just straight up said Chinese people can't drive. Asians can't drive, which is like not even is a she joke. she like a Hillary person? Uh, yeah. Hil- well, she's I don't woke as hell. Don't know. Yeah, she's like a woke account, though. I so. don't. Ugh. 
This is but, such a weird group of people that Twitter has uncovered. Well, so yeah, so she is had the all these middle, the militant middle people. Well, hold on. So she goes. She had a tweet on there that was like, um, "I love when you come out of a bathroom and you could tell the bitch that was in there before uh, her pussy stank like a Holocaust shower," which what? is like, that's like my level. Yeah, you know? yeah seriously, yeah, yeah. that's the kind of shit that I tweet. And I'm like, that's I don't know extremely about this one. online. Yeah, yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. and so I kind of had this moment with her where it's like, I don't want to shame her for these old tweets. I just want her to be like, come back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let this be your like, come to Jesus moment. Just give up all this just shit. Be a monster just online. Just fucking do it. You like it. It makes you probably makes you happy. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to be a fucking good person. You need to enjoy your life and take care of your children. Let's reach out to her. Let's get her on. I tried to. She blocked me. I added her to one of my irony DMs. <laughs> isn't this like digging up? Isn't one of these like digging, like this whole thing about digging up old tweets from accounts is like, the same thing that we criticize this happens to like SNL people, right? But yeah, we but just SNL do it. You people, just do it to SNL woke people, people aren't online. fucking sanctimonious pieces. That's true. Of shit. I sure. I support doing it to the woke. Yeah, if you're online constantly talking about like you know uh, fucking going through and criticizing like word choices that people you presumably agree with, like mm -hmm. her tweets at, on that day were all about some Asian guy that wasn't a good enough ally. Ugh. I said something about how like the, like Asian men's like uh, allyship should be you know you should side eye clap back fucking Kermit the Frog at it or you know, whatever because <laughs> wow. uh, because you know uh, it erases her voice and then you know then immediately people were finding those Asian tweets and she's like whoops <laughs> whoopsie daisy she's like I'm glad I've grown a lot yeah but those are the people retweeting the stories about when a comedian gets fucking yeah, hired and you know which is fucking ridiculous. We'll stay out of that shit. Yeah. You know? No, they did it to Rednitsky or whatever, who yeah. bumped me at the stand last night and crushed. Really? Yeah. That's How's his stand up? Is he he's good? He's good. I, I want to hate him. I want him to like not. But he's did good. he dance? Yeah. He's like 23 or that some shit. That dance thing he like, did on SNL was amazing. I didn't see the dancing. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's clearly what he auditioned with. It's, yeah. It was pretty incredible. Is it just dancing? No, Is he just Hamilton? does the entire plot of Dirty Dancing with, in a dance. And he's just well. A, how hard is that? It's a dancing movie. He's an electric performer. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he, yeah, he's not a bad stand-up. You thought it was bad? It was fine. I don't know. I thought it's it was just a like bit. I, yeah, I prefer Joe. That's the thing is like they they always bring the new guys on who aren't getting enough time to just do their stand-up during weekend update. Right, right, yeah. right. So like that's he, they did one of those things with him. Yeah, yeah. You know what, guys? We should make our own. SNL with all our crazy characters that we've been coming up with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like Dr. Should, Dr. Evil and, Dr. <laughs> Evil and Woke Pastor <laughs> and uh, Seth Dickfield and Autism. That'd be good. I, it would, I, I think we'll, we'll see if, if we could do like a web series. That might work. That would be funny. You know who makes me we'll horny, baby? Yeah. I'll see that Lois from Family Guy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good to see. You know what? I, what is funny to me is because like... Um, I, I mean, I'm not like a free speech guy per se, but I do like copyright infringement a lot. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> um, I think you should be able to just fucking steal shit from companies. We oh, should yeah, do that. Yeah, for sure. You I can't own sued. ideas, people. My, 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 my angle is it's not funny unless you get sued. <laughs> nice, dude. So I know that once Cometown gets to a certain point, we're going to be getting like a briefcase offer. And they're going to be like the only Jason's thing. going to try and buy it. The only thing that needs to happen you don't is understand. you need to change your name. And Nick is going to be like, guys, let's walk away. Well, first yeah. of all, no one. Oh is yeah, we're not changing that. the name. Ever. First <laughs> of all, no one is going to fucking give us like a hundred thousand dollars. It's going to be in a briefcase. Down. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. We want to make, make this. We want to make this. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get a hundred thousand dollars for this podcast. NBC. I no, you won't, you, bitch. Dude. Yeah, I will. MTV. Come, come. Uh, you know what somebody dash taught? M Town. I don't know if it's smart to shit on like a fucking MTV show. Don't do we? it. All right. Well, why? Because you want to work for them? No, not really. It's not going to happen. But they're garbage. You know, so I was talking with somebody the other night, and uh, they're great. We were making fun of or like you know Guy we've made fun of <laughs> we've made fun of like MTV shows in the past. Sure. And somebody told me they were auditioning. For, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fucking. Say it. I'm not <laughs> what? Gonna well, I'll tell Peach. you afterwards. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even. Oh, well, we just great for the, the podcast. Wow. I did. Let's I end it on that note. Let's tweet it. 
that, Nick? What was you want to just cut that out? Uh, no, I'm leaving it in. He doesn't. Do you refuse to ever edit any of these ever? No, I don't. I, I I just learned what compression is the other day. You can edit fairly easily. I feel like. I yeah, could, but whatever. Easy. Why? We can just drop it. We can move on to something else. That's talk a good about something point. Else. I like that. I That's wanted to mention zen. this. Here's here's a good. Uh, you throw this in the bit tank for the open mic. <laughs> Let's do it. So the money in the briefcase thing. Nobody mm-hmm. has briefcases anymore. No. Mm-hmm. But they still do the briefcase thing in movies. Yeah, yeah. Right? So if somebody's buying drugs, if I saw somebody with a briefcase today. That's for drugs. I would pull them over. Did yeah, you see yeah. that truck that got pulled over in the Holland Tunnel today? No. no. Oh, yeah, yeah. With, with all the, the guns. With but the then guns. they showed the truck. And it's like this fucking like Ram van with wraparound decals and a fucking like surge green cooler in the front on like a bracket. They were like strapped up and they were like, we had to rescue our friend who's addicted to heroin. That's what they said, and they had just like an arsenal of weapons. And the, the to get truck, it to New York yeah, the truck looks like a like a mid '90s Mountain Dew promotion. <laughs> That's awesome. It's got all this like you know like urban tactical gear or whatever decals yeah. on the side, like a Tonka decal. Oh hell and yeah! And yeah, there's like a fucking beer cooler attached to the front of like a like a neon green beer cooler attached to the front of the truck. <laughs> it's basically a monster truck. <laughs> Damn, I wonder what they were for real about to get into. Hopefully about about to like kill somebody over Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, to raid the surge. Factory. I love that. You know what I love with each new mass shooting? It's always like a new like uh, kind of. It's always a new different type of guy now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they'll be like, oh yeah, <laughs> Do, of course it was a, a gay Muslim. <laughs> yeah, closeted gay God, Muslim. Oh, fuck, I don't even know yeah. who to be mad at with this one. It used to be easy, just yeah. crazy white guy. Well, until uh, what's his name? The DC I, sniper. N- uh, no, I was. I almost said Jeremy Lin. What's the fucking Arthur? Ar- not Arthur, Arthur Chu. Chu. Virginia Tech. Virginia Virginia that Tech. joke. What's his name? <laughs> Cho. Sun Cho. Sun Moon Cho. I don't know. I don't know. Whoever he is, he should star in the new Ghosts in the Shell. That is. Should, that should be the fucking. <laughs> the young, and young we kid. did it. And there it is. That's the callback, folks. Thanks should that for be listening? the podcast? Whatever. So. We did it. That's an hour. You guys were fun. Yeah. You guys got anything you want to plug? No? Great. Uh, see you later. Nothing. Instagram, bitch. Is it eight?
eight or eight. nine? Eight. It's eight. It's eight. This is the... Oh, uh, these are now paid episodes. We have... Did you see we have donations Hell yeah, now? bitch. How much did we get? Uh, know, something like million. $70 a month. Hey. People are, have pledged. That's great. Which is That's not bad. Really you know? good. <laughs> yeah. It's more than zero. Thank you. To Which whoever... Is, uh, whatever... Uh, people in basements out there <laughs> sent us hey, their parents' whoa. money. You know what? I was kind of depressed because I was like, yeah, this will be cool. We'll set up a thing. And then the names started coming in. It's like people that I'm friends with. <laughs> uh, I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> Give me uh, your money. Nah, you, that's all right. We'll take, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll I need, uh, it's basically like they're paying for my like social skills surgery. <laughs> 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 and like an emer- like a like terminal autism. And they're donating to... You know, letting us pretend like we have a real radio show. We have a real radio show. We're in the top of the Empire State Building at the Anthony Cumia Studios. Oh, no, yeah. True. Come the, on, man. The the rattlesnake den. <laughs> With the, yeah, the rattlesnake. Puerto Rican snake rattlesnake pit. den. <laughs> in the yeah. snake pit. The, what's den in Spanish? Uh, abuela? Is it abuela? Al <laughs> oh, oh, hombre. Uh, every word in Spanish is abuela, guys. <laughs> um, you know what's funny? is like sometimes I'll try to be racist and I'll add O to the end of a word to like make it Spanish. And yeah. then that turns out to just be the word. <laughs> <laughs> like you got restauranto. That's it. I don't think that's the name of restaurant. Yeah, yeah, restaurant. Librario. Librario. That's it's Biblioteca. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a famous one. I feel like everyone goes to Biblioteca. Yeah. When I was in Spanish class in uh, in middle school, uh, me and my friends thought we were really clever, so we made up a gang. We're like, we're los, las mariposas, the butterflies. <laughs> we thought that was hilarious. And like all, like all, like we kept making jokes like, oh, las mariposas, they're going to get you. And then like my teacher couldn't take it like midway through the semester and she just like slammed a book down. She's like, that means the homosexuals. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you had no idea it was slang for gay man. Yeah, we didn't know that. So you're gay. Was the, I mean, it <laughs> was pretty the butterflies. Good. We didn't think it sounded too hard. That's you guys, pretty artful. Yeah, yeah. Do you know the rule with like uh, Maricone and Cabron? Mm-hmm. It's like the two of them. This Peruvian guy told me like 10 years ago, but he's like, you know, like if you're friends with Mexican guys, you can call them Cabron. Like that's like a term of endearment or whatever mm-hmm. among them. He's like, but don't call other South America or like other Spanish speaking people Cabron. Really? Cause like Cabron apparently just means like top faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I want to be a yeah, cabron. Yeah. Right, right. And then maricone is like the bottom one. But that's only Oh, like, you mean top, like top yeah, and bottom. He's like top like and bottom. So ass. it's like you're like a pimp if you say it to a Mexican. No, I don't I didn't check any of this. Yeah. <laughs> Peruvian guy told me. Peruvian guy whose name... At a bus station? No, I worked with him. I mean, we took the bus together, but I worked with him. So maybe he did tell me at it the bus station. It was on a bus. It was on a bus. It was a Peruvian. It was a fat Peruvian kid. I love it. And I swear to God, his name was Nick Nolte. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he wrote that down as his name on a thing, and I was like, "No way, that's hilarious!" Like, you put that down. That's a good reference, dude. That that's was a cool. Bad. That was yeah. a solid reference. Sexiest Cape Fear, I love it. And then he was like, "What?" And I was like, "That's not your name." And he was like, "Yeah, it is." And he was also a pathological liar. Mm. And he, we were, I think we were talking about that the other day. It's like pathological liars. About, yeah, they about have all these bullshit stories, diesel. and then one of their stories will be like real. Oh yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah, like, yeah. you fucking actually oh, beat up a chimp. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know, like, that actually happened for real. <laughs> He's got like pictures of him and the chimp. <laughs> He's got blood all over his face. But yeah, no. So he pulls out his ID, and there it says Nick Nolte, spelled the same way, spelled and exactly the same way. That's and awesome. It, yeah, and I was like, that's insane. He's like. Yeah, it's a family name. I'm like, well, <laughs> every name is a family. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, That's what does that mean work. when someone says it's yeah. a family oh, name? Oh, well, it's a family name. It means they don't know how to read. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> it means they've never encountered another human being in the world. Unless their whole family is all just like, you know, share. And <laughs> Madonna. This is my aunt Madonna. <laughs> Did you know that uh, Marcus Doodoo Brown was a family name? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that? I don't Doo-doo want to Brown. shit on Marcus. He's yeah, I don't want to doo-doo on Marcus. There we go. Marcus is a good comic. <laughs> He's I like very Marcus. Funny. Um, we're still drinking coffee, guys. Uh, we got the Rift Juice Rift going. Juice. Starbucks. Woo. Let me get a Grande Rift Juice. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so Maricone is the bottom one. Mm. Cabron. Cabron is the top one. Yeah, that's such an awesome term of endearment. Yeah. It's like you fuck a man in the Power ass. Power top? You're yeah. my boy, dude. <laughs> you fuck, you're yeah. my bottom. The Mexicans but have cool slang, ass. dude. They're cool. What else they you got? You know what I don't understand? Uh, what, what's the proper term? Is it... You can, uh, Mexican's fine. You can say that, yeah. right? Mexican. It feels a little weird, you know, it's but funny. Yeah. It felt weird. 
Yeah, because like growing up, most of the people I knew that were like Hispanic were like you had to call them Hispanic because they could be from Venezuela, right, 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 or you know, El Salvador, Mixed bag in, uh, yeah, yeah, in, uh, Salvador Maryland. or whatever, Colombia. But then I moved to Texas, and people yeah. in Texas are like, "Oh, there's a bunch of Mexican guys that live yeah, there." Yeah, I was like, "Keep the, your voice down." I grew up in the Southwest, so yeah, yeah that was and exactly they're all Mexican, yeah, yeah. so you could call them. That. Really, you didn't yeah, have yeah. any like, fucking Mexican, Uruguayans, yeah. any any, any Spanish that. person. But you what just is? Say, Look at the fucking Mexican over there. But it's like Puerto Rican people are like, "Oh, I'm Mexican, man. Well, I don't know what to do." Oh, yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's just. Uh, what is Chicano? Is that if you're like for you're from Chicago? Is that like Chirac? <laughs> if you're in Chirac but you're Mexican, Chicano, Chicano, I feel like it means you're wearing like a velvet shirt. Yeah, <laughs> it's a like, clothing yeah, thing, yeah, like yeah, a yeah, vato. Yeah, yeah. I feel like no silk. No, vato just means dude. Chicano is like yeah. they uh, like I identify as Chicano. Oh really? Yeah, I Chicano got- is Chicano is on par with Hispanic or Mexican or wow, Latino. This is how stupid I am. I think Chicano. I just think. The guy, the from the Jesus, the Jesus character from uh, uh, fucking help me out here. The bowling, mo- I can't believe. I'm oh go- yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. From Lebowski. <laughs> Lebowski. Yeah. Yeah. When you say Chicago, you know the bowling movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, the famous Jesus. bowling movie. Yeah. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Oh yeah. You when you say don't know chi- any words, when you say Chicano, that's what I think for some reason. And I bet I can't wait to Google it later and find out how I, wrong I am. I think uh, I think Michael Chiklis. <laughs> I think Chicano is like the me- the Mexican uh, term for Michael Chiklis. I think about that movie Blood In, Blood Out. Yeah. So if you, you look like Michael, movie? if you're Hispanic but you look like Michael Chiklis, <laughs> you're, you're Chicano. Sure, you're if you're like bald, like if you're like a bald, portly Latino guy, you're, how, that's what Chicano is. And how short do you think? Uh, he seems very short. Four foot eleven, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Imagine if he was 4'11". And like then when little... he goes on talk shows, he goes, or as I like to call it, five foot negative one. <laughs> and he like winks. That's good. Yeah. As everyone applauds Chickless, him. great talk show guest. Yeah. We'll have him on. We'll, we'll have, have him on. on. Yeah, yeah, we got Chickless coming Is Chickless up. short? We're going to make fun of him. He's, he's like the same height as us. No, nah, no, nah, I think he's short. Yeah. He looks like a testicle. He does. Somebody described Bob Hoskins that way one time. That he looks like a testicle. Yeah, an angry <laughs> testicle. That's pretty good. You know what's funny? Wait, he, like, this... died loathing the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> oh, poor guy. That so movie was that. so bad. It was Dude, really bad. It, everything about it was awful. That might have been the most underwhelming celebrity death of all time. Bob, Bob Hoskins. Hoskins. Yeah. What happened? He was nobody, in a lot of really good movies. He's a, he was an amazing actor. Yeah, he was. He was really talented, mm-hmm. and he died, and nobody gave a shit. Yep. When did he die? He died, like, two years ago, and... Mm-hmm. Really? On the anniversary of his death last year, articles about his death started coming up, and people were like, "Oh my God, Bob Hoskins died." Well, that's what happened, dude. I feel like, l- literally, in like a year, this past year, everyone claims they loved every celebrity. Mm-hmm. Like it used to be, there'd be like a status here or there, but everyone's writing an essay now. I don't fucking like were people that important to you? It doesn't it feel like it just right. became yeah. a thing. I mean, some of them were like. You know, Muhammad Ali's big. Sure. Prince Bowie, is big. Prince. The those fucking are big. The bad here. guy from Harry Potter. That one was stupid. Yeah. Snape? Yeah. Well, he was a he wasn't the bad die guy. hard. <laughs> I don't know. He ended up being the good guy. You fucking <laughs> illiterate piece of shit. <laughs> you would be illiterate to see a movie. <laughs> yeah, he starred in a book. Dude, there's a new <laughs> Harry. He starred in a book, dude. He was also, they have pictures of him. There's a there's a new Harry Potter coming out, so looks like your boy's about to read a book, dude. The boys are back. <laughs> Is the there library. a new there's a new one coming out? I think, yeah. She's making mad Harry Potter. Hell yeah, dude. New that new bitch ones. ain't rich enough. JK, get yours, girl. Um you never read any Harry Potter bitch, dude? Me? Little no. Mullen? No. What were you doing, dude? Making fun of retarded No, children? I think I read uh I read At eleven, what were you doing? Heroin. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 I read books. Well, no, I didn't really read that many books. I guess the, the books I read as a kid were like, I guess Goosebumps was like elementary Hell yeah, school. Yeah, Goosebumps. Hell yeah. The, uh, what was it? Fear Street. That was I read maybe one of those. Those were like the more mm-hmm. hardcore ones, right? Yeah. And then yeah, I would read yeah. the shit we were assigned in school. The only shit I really remember reading outside of school was like C.S. Lewis stuff, um, Ender's Game. Mm-hmm. I read all those Ender's mm-hmm. Game books. But the, the, he came out with like nine other books after like a resurgence in the popularity of those books. Yeah, like when I was Cash in grab. middle school. Yeah, because I remember Ender's Game was that came out in the eighties, and I remember reading mm-hmm. that when I was in like third grade, and then like again when I was in fifth grade, and then they released like a whole. You know, you know what it was? It was an additional series based on one of the characters from Ender's mm-hmm. Game. A little spinoff, Frasier, the Frasier. Yeah, the Ender's actually, Game. actually, Cheers. it was Frasier. It was a novelization <laughs> of Frasier. <laughs> Niles. Yeah. 
Let's Niles, go. there's aliens. We have to fuck these book, aliens. My favorite books growing up were uh, that mo- that book, uh, Fudge. Do you remember? Hell yes, yeah, dude. Fudge I fucked with Fudge. And uh, Judy Ma- Bloom. Mein Kampf. My, <laughs> Mein Kampf. Yeah, yeah. Was, it had to be That's Fudge good, or Mein Kampf. Well, they're both remember. like coming of age stories. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Hitler true. gets his period. Yeah. That's a big chapter. They're yeah. both they're both written in prison. <laughs> you know what I never understood? <laughs> Judy, Judy Bloom. Bloom was in prison. Judy Bloom doing time for a fucking yeah, manslaughter. Yeah. <laughs> Not to get into conspiracy theories here, Let's but hear like, it. how was it that Anne Frank was the only person with a diary? <laughs> that and was that the shit only just popped one off the hardest. There couldn't be, there was not a better. She got her period in it. Yeah, she, I've Judy never read Bloom, it. Speaking never of Judy it. Bloom and getting your period, mm-hmm. I was like really into those fudge books, and then I got Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. One summer, like do, my parents make me do the fucking summer reading club or whatever. Of course, I and think my I read it, and shit. it's about getting your period for the first time. So like I had a bunch of questions from my parents. And my mom literally took me to the library and yelled at the librarian in front of me. <laughs> it was so humiliating. <laughs> it was Don't so humiliating. Don't you ever tell my boy about How girls. How dare you? <laughs> my this mom- is a young adult novel. This should not be an easy readers. <laughs> My mom, uh, like, it, like, struggled to quit smoking for years, and she finally did, and then she was, like, all about anti-smoking, and she chewed out the ice, she, like, sc- was screaming at the Nigerian ice cream truck man for, like, bringing candy cigarettes to the neighbor, she's like, how fucking dare you sell these, you piece of shit, and, like, I'm, like, mortified. Of course, yeah. Like, I didn't even want those, I wanted the fucking Ninja Turtle with bumblegum eyes. Oh, the know? best one. Yeah, yeah, Hell yeah, I didn't, yeah, best one. I didn't want the candy cigarettes, it tasted like shit. They were awful candy cigarettes but they were dick. cool you could do smoke they you were could cool. pretend to smoke they were and so cool fucking <laughs> set my mom off i remember uh when i i was we lived in la and like after baseball games we'd get like you know pieces of apple slices and like granola mm-hmm. and stuff and then we moved to vegas and like we get like fucking cheeseburgers and like yeah. people like bring mcdonald's and like the kids would go yeah. fucking nuts for mcdonald's hell yeah dude yeah, mickey d's sick. after yeah. a soccer game that was my shit dog yeah. I was good at I was No, it was funny. I remember that. You play baseball and then my dad would like take me to 7-Eleven and I'd get like the largest Slurpee size. <laughs> yeah. After like baseball practice. <laughs> yeah. Baseball is like the <laughs> lowest yeah, man, impact dude. sport. Yeah, I, know. I know. You're barely like fucking no running for it. You just stand there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, horrible. Even fucking Gatorade is just sugar. Yeah. Well, you well, need it. It's got the Gatorade's electrolytes. Yeah. electrolytes dude. It's got the electrolytes. Gatorade it's you need if you get the flu or something. Yeah. I just had a pretty wicked stomach virus. You did, yeah? Yeah, it's going around, guys. Listen, fans, if you're out there, <laughs> don't get the stomach This is the flu. Come Town Health Minute. Yeah. Did um, you see that thing the Red Cross did? They released that, like, Red Cross got in trouble this week because they put, like, a like a pool safety, just some fucking pool safety poster that they, like, tweeted out, and it's a picture of a pool with, like, things you should do in the pool versus things you shouldn't do in the pool. So it's, like, someone running, and it's pointing at the kid running, and it says, not cool, and then it's, like, a guy holding his baby, and it says, cool. Uh, but every one of the not cool ones is a black person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is it a real picture? Is it, like, no, it's a brown cartoon? cartoon? Yeah. That's... It would be great so if it awesome. was just... Because then you couldn't complain. If it yeah. was just a photograph someone happened to take of a pool right. and all the black people had to happen to be doing breaking all the rules, <laughs> you can't help that. That's not the Red Cross's fault. <laughs> the cartoons were all brown. <laughs> it's the white guys who weren't breaking any of the rules. Did and you know what's funny? is like Shackleford, man. Hell yes, so all baby. these people are mad at the Red Cross. There is absolutely no way in hell that was on purpose. Right. No way. There's no, no way at all. Deaf, yeah. yeah. But what's so funny so is, is funny. that they were like, they probably did one draft and they're like, ah, put more black people in there so people don't get mad about us for like not being you know diverse yeah. enough. And then, uh, and then that backfired. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine yeah. if it was some guy who was like, this is how I get him. <laughs> this yeah. is how we set him back. Finally. This is yeah. last day. Their favorite place, the pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's where. This is like when that, that guy... <laughs> That guy tweeted that picture. The, the United Airlines account tweeted that picture. The woman with the with toy, the <laughs> the toy yeah. plane in her pussy. With the, oh, the plane You remember that pussy. shit? Yeah. That was oh, awesome. That was incredible. That's the best way to quit your job. I love the auto fucking... When someone has their shit set up for auto retweets, and it just like... The Beatles fucking suck dick. Yeah. And then the Beatles <laughs> <laughs> the thing will just retweet it. Yeah. It's the best shit on earth. Yeah. I love seeing that uh, shit. Corporate man. Twitter accounts are still figuring it out. Remember that? What was the makeup account? There's some makeup company 
uh, when the Aurora shooting happened in Colorado, <laughs> oh, and yeah. they were like, Aurora's trending. That must be our new Aurora makeup. Line. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> yeah. Hell and then yes. the makeup they tweeted, guess what, guys? It was the Joker makeup. <laughs> They tweeted the Joker makeup. <laughs> they tweeted out a tutorial of how to do your own Joker makeup. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Um, oh, fuck. So the um, we yeah. had a bunch planned today, but we wiped it clean because there was a big news event on Friday dropped. Oh, right, of course. Yeah, Brexit. Oh, right? is that how you pronounce it? What do you say? I thought it was Breshi. <laughs> Breshi? Breshi. Well, it's about Breshi, Europe. the first book of the Torah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You don't have to do all these Jew jokes that we don't get. <laughs> I'm sorry. Neither I'm of sorry. us have read the Torah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. There aren't any Jews Keep it. Was there a Jew version of C.S. Lewis books? I was so pissed off when I found out that those were all like Christian I know, yeah, those yeah. allegories. I was like, what? Thing. I thought you made up all this cool you shit. You tricked about me into liking this a shit. A big mouse that does sword fighting, and it's like, that's Paul or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus was the lion. Clearly yeah, the right. lion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit is so fucking gay, dude. I hate when I yeah. get tricked into liking so, Christianity shit. Oh, man. I, so I, I, sorry. Uh, I just remembered I did extra work on Jermaine Fowler's sketch comedy show like <laughs> yeah. a year ago. Friends of the People. Yeah. And uh, so. I don't know if have either of you been extras in anything? No, no. It's the funniest. I'm always the fucking star. I'm the star of the show. (laughs) Uh, It's the funniest shit in the world. So like all the people that most of the people doing extra work, it's like it's it's actually it's an easy job. Yeah. And if you're a union, you get like 150 bucks a day, and you mostly just sit around. If you like freelance or something, Mm -hmm. it's great. You bring your laptop, you can like just write. That's awesome. Yeah, you don't really have to do shit. You're in like a scene for maybe like five seconds. Oh, that's cool. Do they feed Um, you? Yeah, you get free food. You know, eat your dick sucked. And then 10 percent of the people there. (laughs) Okay, so yeah, like 89 percent of the people are, you know, just like just they know what's up. 10 percent are. you know, trying to be serious actors, and then one percent are like batshit insane. Of <laughs> Mentally course. Ill just yeah, like yeah. there was this one time I was in in holding for a show, and there's this woman with like aviator sunglasses on, rail thin, like anorexic, like very tall, lanky. You know, just veins everywhere. Just a very vascular, creepy yeah, woman. Yeah. She's like hunched over, like a fucking gargoyle on her chair. And some guy was like, uh, "Oh well, my friend uh, David Richards. He's a writer. He's like talking to somebody quietly." And from across the room, she goes, "Oh yeah, I know him. He raped me." <laughs> oh Jesus fucking! Uh, yeah, Christ. I know him. He raped me back in the eighties. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. What are we supposed to do with that? And then they start talking. She's like, oh, never mind. This must be a different guy. It was like somebody with the same name or she was Was he a manager at a Chili's in Newark? (laughs) The only Uh, set job I've had is the one you got me when we were truck boys. Truck boys, dude. Uh, Well, didn't you have a good extra... Well, I was about to tell. Oh, okay. I was yeah, about yeah, to tell yeah. an extra story. I forget what the fucking lead into it was. I think we were talking about that. Oh yeah, the Jesus allegory thing. But there was this one guy at that Friends of the People thing who just had like '90s asshole hair. You know, Hell like yeah. both. Yeah, yeah. Like both of his parents were named Zach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking like always wearing eyes odd. Like like penis eyes haircut. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. '90s penis yeah, yeah, haircut, yeah, 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 exactly. yeah. We which is about. a very like like a very nicely shaped glands <laughs> helmet of hair. <laughs> And like nice. anytime they would call cut, he would immediately turn and face the camera, and you could see him on all the monitors, and no one's paying attention. Oh my god! They're just trying to fucking ignore him. And uh, and then I had to fucking listen to. Oh yeah, so I went into. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot what. Okay, yeah, we're sitting and holding, and one of the producers comes in, and like they tell us, like, okay, guys, so basically the sketch idea is like. I don't want to shit on the show or whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, but like they're just telling you the pitch of the sketch. So mm-hmm. it's like even even if the funniest show in the world, they just tell you like here's the idea. You're like okay, you're not gonna laugh at yeah, it, right? right whatever. Right. It's yeah. just the you know they're just telling so you so you know what's going on. It. Yeah, yeah. So he, she's like, uh, okay, so basically the setup is like uh, you know um, they're throwing a house party and the president shows up, Barack Obama shows up, and he eats all the food. And, uh, <laughs> and again, I don't want to shit on the show, but you know. So <laughs> Why are you prefacing that? And then this guy, he like leans in. He physically leans in and he's like, oh, wow, that's so great. And I had to like, you know, step out of the room for a second to like, you know, call him a slur under my breath. (laughs) Like laugh at him. And I come back in 
and the producer's talking to him, and she goes, N- no, uh, President Obama won't actually be here. <laughs> 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 he, oh thought, my God. he thought the president of the United States <laughs> was going to pop in. He's going to do a quick drop in. Or he's gonna spend a day shooting a sketch where he eats too many Cheetos. Right, for True for, TV. For True TV. Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, we were leaving. Uh, That's so good. We were in like a van back to the city or whatever at the end of the day. And like somebody was talking about something. And, and you know, he's like, well, what is your favorite film? And they were like, oh, The Matrix or something. And that guy goes, you know, that uh, that whole story is actually an allegory for Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yes, And then he bitch. starts describing the Matrix parallels. And how it's I mean, it sort Jesus. of is. He's not wrong. Yeah. No, Two those, and three are the just chosen one? Christ yeah, yeah. allegory. Oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, isn't the license plate like a... Yeah, yeah. It's like a biblical reference. When we Adrian can't Smith. criticize it because they're both trans, so... Oh, are they? Oh, yeah. yeah the other one's trans, trans now, yeah, too. yeah. 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 Um, so is it the Wachowski sisters? Yes. This is, well, no, just the Siblings. Wachowskis. You the just w- say the Wachowskis. Is that their chosen pronoun? Yeah, yeah. Just what the, are the name. odds? Yeah. The pronouns. Um, what are the odds? It's really you, I, Let me ask you this, though. Do you think they would have transitioned if the second two movies had been better? <laughs> <laughs> if they had been better movies, as good as the first one? They're sitting with their PR guy, and they're like, look... <laughs> We need to get a little traction Steve right Racer now. Steve Racer bombed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, God Emil, damn it. You said we w- I wouldn't yeah. have to. If they had never Hirsch. gotten funding for the Animatrix, would they have transitioned? I, uh, I watched uh, Speed Racer, their Speed Racer on Mushrooms once, and it was... Intense? So scary. I mean, I had to turn it off. I tried watching, I tried watching Super Jail on Mushrooms. I don't oh, know why shit. I thought that would be a good idea. Isn't that the show that on purpose fucks with you? Like, yeah, on it's like it's even when tripping. you're sober, you're like, you feel kind of disturbed. Right. It's great. It's one of the best things I've ever seen. But yeah, yeah, yeah I tried yeah. watching that on mushrooms. And I had to leave the room. <laughs> that was too much. Yo, you remember Jose Extreme Parking? Oh God, that guy was the best. We'll talk about Jose real quick. All right, so Nick Nick gets me a job. He's like, you just got to sit in the passenger seat <laughs> of this truck. That's basically it. And then we, we got to move things like a couple times. But you just hang out on this truck. In the middle of the day, they're like, yeah, we're going to need you to get your own 16-foot truck and drive it around Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> just alone, just in a massive truck. Oh, you truck. were alone? But yeah, no, yeah, Nick alone. Yeah, you? they split us yeah. up. <laughs> For starters, they, the truck they made us pick up, it was like a 20-foot truck. And normally the trucks are 14-foot. Right. And like a 20 foot truck, you don't need a CDL until it reaches like, I don't know, it's a weight thing, but basically like a 30 foot truck. Right. But the difference between 14 and 20 oh, feet is huge when you're driving yeah. that truck. Because they're get also in wider thing. too. And yeah, like, you get in that thing and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be driving this fucking truck. No, yeah. Especially around Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd feel weird driving in like the fucking Baltimore suburbs fucking yeah, yeah, in yeah. the middle of fucking... And you guys were right in the mix. We, had a, this? we were like in Midtown driving these massive <laughs> trucks alone. Yeah, <laughs> Midtown. I just lied like, my way into this job. Nick said I just have to sit in the It's not even seat. a lying thing. They don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They yeah. don't give a shit. They hire whoever. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I got a friend, Brent. He'll do it. And then it's like, okay, we'll go pick up $2 million worth of camera and lighting equipment. <laughs> and they're like, no, we already signed for it. And then just park the truck wherever. They don't even like, give you instructions on where to park so, the yeah, truck. So yeah, so like we had a 5 a.m. call. They're like... Yeah, it's our responsibility to park the trucks, and so, like, we're supposed to park them in, like, you know, lots or whatever. Um, We had a 5 a.m. call. There's this dude that's just, like, wide awake. We get there to park the trucks, and he's just, like, screaming at people, like, moving trucks, like, air traffic controlling. And, uh, like, I get He, like, screams at me to move the truck, and then I get out, and he's like, anyway, man, sorry I yelled at you. Uh, My name is Jose. I'm a small business owner. (laughs) Um, I own my own company. It's called Extreme Parking. <laughs> well, he didn't. He didn't tell us. He showed us his business card. Yeah, yeah. That's how we found it because we struck up a conversation with him. They like hire somebody, and this guy's j- only job is to just sit outside all night before the shoot and put up traffic cones so oh, that wow. like nobody will take the parking right, space. Right, 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 right. Which is like a in new, shooting in New York, you need someone to yeah, totally. Like a, it's yeah. called so a park, that parking so coordinator. This guy it sounds has, illegal, right? You no, just, it's not. No, you, you get permits, permits from the city streets, yeah, 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 but okay. the way the permits work is that they don't say that. You can't park there. It just allows you to hold the parking space. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So if somebody wanted to come and take that parking space, they could. Gotcha. Um, and that's why you have like a cone guy. So this guy's business is he owns the cones. <laughs> He's the cones guy. Yeah. He just owns the, he, the business. Well, he, he shows t- us his, his business card and it says extreme parking on it. <laughs> Jose extreme parking. Yeah. And it took 
like everything I had not to like. That's incredible. Like, Ex- excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I have to go. They to have the a website. I found the website. I have to take really? a number yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, so he's like bragging to us. We're like, yo, so like, are the parking guys in New York like union? Like, that's what you ask every job on a film shoot. It's like, are you yeah. union or not? Right, because right, that's right. like, you know, an easy conversation starter. And he's like, hell no, dude, never going union. I'm never going <laughs> union, bro. He's like, yeah, man, I raised like six kids. I raised like six nine, kids. Nine. nine. I raised you exaggerated nine in the wrong direction on that. <laughs> yeah, one. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. He's like, I raised nine kids um, last year. Extreme parking made $85,000. <laughs> And like split between me <laughs> and my five guys. Well, we asked him. We asked him. He was like, I made $90,000 last year. And I was like, that's pretty good. Is that before or after tax? He's like, well, it's split between me and my, my like eight guys. <laughs> I'm like, that's no money. Yeah. <laughs> you made no money. <laughs> He's no got way I'm going children. union, man. Yeah. No way I'm going union, bro. <laughs> I've raised nine kids on this. That's so fucking On this funny. parking game. Yeah. Holy shit. No, what jobs. is he feeding those fucking kids, dude? I don't know, man. But production's the funniest job for meeting those kinds of people. Oh, it's the best. The other, the other extra, I did extra work on Blue Bloods. Oh, one yeah. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tom Selleck? Did you see Tom Selleck? No, but I saw Donnie. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. I saw Don. Oh, and there was this fucking guy there. This older black dude who was like in his like mm, probably he was probably in his early sixties. Okay, and um, you know he clearly had taken elocution lessons <laughs> or at least knew how to approximate them. <laughs> yeah. because, you know he's like always had his fucking eyebrows vaulted. You know, <laughs> like speaking in a you know very like erudite way or whatever. But then bull about bullshit. It was right, always right, bullshit. Right. And, uh, like, the minute I saw this guy when we're sitting and holding, I'm like, I'm going to listen to every word this guy has to say. Yeah. For, uh, also, a lot of the extras, <laughs> they have their own cop outfits because they do extra work so much. They oh, just, wow. They go and buy New York police officer <laughs> outfits. I come with my uniform. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what they do because it's like you can get a job as, like... Uh, you know, a, yeah. uh, the guy that's permanently a police officer on the background of like CSI or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. So we're there and he finds this girl. Um, I forget her name. We'll call her Gabby. And she was like younger, like kind mm. of attractive, but not TV attractive. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, or she's like, yeah, I'm trying to become an actress. You know, right, like, right, that's right, what right. I want to do is I'm going to be an actress. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, I mean, whatever. She's 19. So yeah, yeah. she has time to She's like figure out that, you know, don't She's do not that. going to be an actress. <laughs> yeah. And uh, this Lawrence guy immediately hones in on her because it's someone that he can spew all of his bullshit oh, to. Oh, God. And, uh, you know, like I'm trying to remember a couple of the hits, but, you know, there was a good one in there where he's like, uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I show up on these sets and, I, you know, I'm ready to go, you know. And I, I <laughs> the one time they say to me, Lawrence, you know. We need you to move up, and we need you to speak a couple of lines in this one. And I say, I'm ready. I can do that. You know? <laughs> uh, but they uh, they give me just my sides, and I say, well, I'm going to need the whole script. I need to understand my character's motivations. Oh what is he feeling God. in this situation? You know, <laughs> like, and the line is like. Yeah. Um, has just anybody seen we- the coffee maker? You know, yeah, like, yeah, she yeah, just pokes yeah. her head in or whatever. Yeah, it's never. They went anything. that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, I need to know my motivations. And then you know, it's like everything's like uh, just filled with all this like bitterness. There's like a, a, a subtext of, of, of you know jealousy and anger. And there's one time he was like, I just heard him and he's talking to her. He's like, and I told her, you know, you know, I mean, next time you're going to be working for me. I'll be producing on the next one. I'll be directing. You know, you're going to be working for me. So. You know, no, you can't talk to me that way. <laughs> As, uh, I forget who said the line, but my, one of my favorite lines is, uh, I'm going to show them who's never been boss. <laughs> yeah. And I think that applies. I think that applies to Lawrence. But so he's going off about, you know, the whole time. One time he's saying, uh, you know, I've been here since season one. I've been working here on this project together since season one. It's like, you know, you've just been booked as an extra. Yeah. For seven years. Now, yeah. On the show. On Blue Bloods. Yeah, yeah, on Blue Bloods. <laughs> the show with 19 granddads where everyone has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> the mustache granddad show. Uh, yes, yeah, no, you know what? So it's like Tom Selleck is supposed to play the major, uh, the patriarch on that show. Yeah, he's like yeah, this yeah. like cop granddad, and then his son like has a son. So he's like the great, he's the granddad. Right. And then Tom Selleck's dad is on the show too. So there's another grandpa. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Really? There's like, it's there's wow. that many grandpas? Nine generations of Irish cops. But the guy who plays Tom Selleck's father on the show is only like three years older than <laughs> yeah, Tom Selleck yeah, in real yeah. life. 
Because his math shit. doesn't make any fucking sense. But so yeah. after like a whole day of Lawrence going off about how much you know everybody loves him or whatever, he's talking. He's like, you know, me and Donnie have been working on this project for years together. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg shows up. You know, nobody's seen Donnie yet. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's Donnie Wahlberg, and he walks by. And Lawrence sees him and he goes, good morning, Donnie. <laughs> and Donnie Wahlberg takes one look at this man and goes, been seeing too much of you around here, Lawrence. <laughs> and just walks away. <laughs> been <laughs> seeing like, too much oh, of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's completely oh, annoyed. Oh, my God. And then he goes, uh, he like turns <laughs> to that girl and he's like, we play games with each other. <laughs> We like to joke around with each other. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Okay, so if we're talking about, like, career extras, I feel, I mean, Tommy Myers is coming up again. Have you guys seen his acting reel? It's the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. His acting reel is the incredible. absolute best. He's, like, like, in the investigation discovery yeah, shows. It's like yeah, he's yeah. a priest uh, and like, an investigation he discovery. He looks surprised. He looks like he learned emotions from, like, uh, emojis. Yeah. <laughs> he learned how to react to things. Whoa. From, okay, well, I'm supposed to have dollar signs in my eyes right now. <laughs> What is the dollar sign tongue emoji all about? I, put your money where your mouth is, dude. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. It took me years to figure that I, out. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, Good yeah, for yeah. you, man. So. Um, so, Tom, your motivation in this scene is uh, I want you to imagine that your character is confused. He's just been hit with all this information about this missing girl. I, it's almost like I want you to imagine that you've just had like a bong hit transplant. <laughs> That's what, that's what you're doing. In the scene. <laughs> Is it just a, okay? So Tom, you're carried. So this you're is in the a, hospital, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you're in the hospital. You just had a bong hit transplant. <laughs> and the EKG is beeping yeah. next to you. Okay, so there Tom, were complications please. during your bong hit transplant. Uh, yeah. Tom, I, I, first of all, thank you for uh, being a part of the reboot of West Wing. Uh, <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. So basically, in this scene, you know, it's a walk and talk scene, and you are there next to Madam President, <laughs> and you're walking down the hallway of the West Wing, and uh, and then you know you have to eat her pussy. <laughs> If you can do that for us, Tom. She wants to get revenge on Bill. <laughs> Tom, I want you to imagine... Okay, so pretend like you've smoked pot before. <laughs> imagine you're Paul Revere and you're on pot. <laughs> I think the British are coming, dude. <laughs> the British are coming, man. <laughs> so the the Brexit, what do you guys think? Oh, of course. Oh, Brecci. The Brecci? Well, man, it's mm. just, you know... I don't know. Things. That's one of those things I didn't fucking pay attention to. And they then, said like, they were going to do it, and and they did it. I, was, yeah. I, I look at my friends reacting to it on Twitter. I'm like, I guess I'm supposed to be mad about this. I don't, <laughs> yeah. fucking, I don't even know what the EU is, really. I just thought it meant you don't have to get a work visa if you want to like work yeah. in yeah. It's France easier. or yeah, it's whatever. It's easier to go to France. But that doesn't apply to me. It doesn't mean shit to me. I think it does feel like too much shit that's like a little weird is happening recently. Like, I could, this could be just some, this happens and then some fucking, there's a skirmish. You think like it, a Trump? Like, some, something fucked up, I feel like. I don't know. It, this is the first time I've been like, that's weird. That's a fucked up. I'll just say the worst thing. part of the Brexit for me is my dad called me four times on Saturday Your morning. Dad calls you about everything though. With Brexit puns. <laughs> oh. And it was like I was I was living in an absolute eternal hell. Damn, dude. Terrible. That must suck. Yeah. Having a loving father. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> this bitch has a good relationship with his parents. Well, <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean that's the first time you think like Oh fuck. Now I'm calling it you. It was my it. dad's birthday yesterday. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta call my fucking father. Shit. How old is he? I, dude, I could not tell you. I We're, think he's Jesus 60. Christ, man. Come on. You can't even eyeball it or... He's 63? That makes sense. That's like 62? my dad's age. My dad's turning 65 this month. My dad's like 63, 64. All right, let's see. I'm 27. He was 35 when he had me. 64, right? 60. No, that doesn't make 62. sense. 62. Because my dad was like 36 when I was born, and he's like 63. 62. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'll say. Your dad's got to be a year younger than my dad. Okay. Because I'm older than you. Yeah, but my dad could fuck your dad's bitch ass up, dude. What if What if me, my dad and your dad like kissed back in elementary school? <laughs> <laughs> what if they practiced kissing on each other, and that's how they met our moms? Dude, that's probably what, what if we <laughs> What if we parent trap all three of our dads to be gay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we could be real brothers. <laughs> your dad would. I feel like your dad would be a bottom. My dad's Yo, a check top, this out. Dude. What if your our dad's, dad's a top? 
No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad's a maricon. My dad was a maricon. Maricon. My dad is a maricon. Yeah. <laughs> Your dads are fucking cop. My dad's a my dad's a Wachowski. <laughs> <laughs> The worst <laughs> joke. A little wig on him. Throw a, yeah. throw a dreadlock wig on him. <laughs> the worst <laughs> joke pitch I ever got from him. I was like, he called like four times. I called him back. And he's like, comedy is over. Comedy is over. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, his name is Wiener. And he showed his Wiener. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go. I have to go. That is a pretty good Leave bit. Leave <laughs> me alone, please. What happens to dads that they just become horribly fucking unfunny? Yeah. After, Even like, like professional comedian dads. Yeah. Like at like 65. Like I don't know what no, happens. That's it. Once, as soon as you become a father, the two things happen. You stop being funny. And uh, you you start having to scream when you yawn. Yeah, <laughs> I don't understand what that is. Like you can't just fucking yawn That's like a normal so person. Fun. Yeah, you just start screaming <laughs> <laughs> like a deaf person having an orgasm. <laughs> Take that. You guys are lucky though that. Sorry to make this Jew again, but Let's hear your dads it. don't go through one of those like make like just getting obsessed with Israel things. Like, just getting angry and shouting at you about Yeah, but Israel. everybody's dad's racist about something. Well, your guys' dads get into cool stuff, like trains and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, my dad's into trains. My dad's, like, <laughs> really? my dad, like developed autism at age, like, 61. His, really? his wife took him to, like, a train museum for his birthday a couple years ago, and he's, like, trying to show me a train video on his, like, phone, <laughs> oh and I almost God. had to go cry. Oh, my God. I was God. like, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> Dude, what's happening? You, my father became a crazy cat man. Cat this man. Mother, I'm not even kidding, dude. This fuck. So he's got. He's a carpenter. He's got his own like fucking yeah, yeah. place. And I went in there to visit him, dude. There was at least fifteen cats. <laughs> just he just had fucking. Is it all huge, Greek dudes? Huh? Is it all Greek dudes working at the spot? It's just his fucking spot. So it's, it's just like, him. It's you just know who him. did that? Hemingway. Your dad's like Hemingway. Yeah. yeah maybe he'll fucking shoot himself. Shoot in himself head, in the face. And here's I'd hoping. Know. Yeah. <laughs> you can get all that cat money, dude. Yeah, I could get. I could fucking uh, inherit all inherit those cats. Dude, he- Hemingway was so dumb, dude. They, why? Why do people like Hemingway? Hot take. I don't know. Hot take. A I've little. never enjoyed his writing. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm incredible. I went to Africa and I murdered an animal. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna write a fucking whole story <laughs> about it. people. Are yeah. gonna be like, oh, this is incredible. Have you ever this read guy that? went to Africa and he murdered an animal. You know that short story? The, the what is it? The short symbol Shoes? life of Francis uh, McComer. Is that Hemingway? It's a Hemingway short no, story never. that's like the most like like Pua MRA thing <laughs> yeah, I've ever yeah, read. Really? Like, yeah. So the story is like this guy goes to Africa with his hot wife to like <laughs> hunt a lion, but then there's this just fucking big dick swinging like hunter that's already there. That like has to take them out into the field, and this guy's like a stuck up like you know. He cuts him. No, well, yeah, he does. <laughs> so they go out to you know to hunt, and he like takes his like you know disaffected you know uh, like disillusioned wife out into the field with him, so she can watch him do a safari or uh-huh. whatever to oh uh, to like want to fuck him again. Yeah, and they go out. Well, not at this point in the story, they're just sort of like in a you know a malaise. So they're like right. upper middle class people or whatever. Mm-hmm. He's like, we're going on safari, mm-hmm. and they go out into the into the you know the field or whatever and there's like a rhino or something and the guy tenses up and he can't shoot the rhino he's like a coward about it or whatever he's a bitch and the hunter has to save him and the hunter saves him and then there's like the next scene is like the guy's in his tent at night and he hears his wife go like fuck Mm. the other guy what (laughs) yeah and he just sits there like all mad while the wife's like fucking the other guy and then she comes back and he's like all pissed off. He's like, I can't believe you fucking did that or whatever. <laughs> so the next day they go out and there's a fucking lion, dude. And he's like, I'm going to kill that lion. And he goes out and even the hunter's like, don't do it, man. You know, like, don't kill the lion. And he like goes out in the field and then he like shoots once and shoots twice and he's missing or whatever. And then finally there's like um, one last shot and he like the lion drops, but he drops too. And the wife had like stood up and she shot like him in the back of the head. So oh. he, like, he became a man, but then his fucking bitch wife <laughs> killed him anyway. Just sucked Stupid. off a guy. Bitch. Stupid, yeah. That uh, sounds like some pretty relatable. That sounds. Literature. I mean, that sounds just, a lot like that old joke. Where like, it, yeah, just like imagine Hemingway sitting at his like fucking typewriter, being yeah. like, and then that fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. And then here's what she did, <laughs> and not me. I got a fucking uh, hard six and a half. That's average, dude. That's fucking average. No one can tell you it's not average. And average means good. <laughs> Yo, the, you know that old joke though about the guy that goes to Africa to kill the lion. No, 
So is it poor, uh, poor old? He thinks it's a Cadillac. Is it that one? No, no, no. He goes out to kill the lion, and and he sits back and he, he unloads. He unloads on like, bang, 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 bang. The dust settles. The lions, the lions still standing there. He, and the lion goes up to him and he's like, um, you know, you missed me. So I'm gonna give you a choice. Like either you, uh, I'm gonna eat you, or you can suck my dick. So he's like, all right, I'm going to suck your dick, right? And then the next, the next, you know, season, whatever, he goes out, he sees the same line, bang, 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 dust settles. He's like, you miss me, you're going to have to, I'm going to eat you or you're going to have to suck my dick. And then, like, the third season, obviously, yeah, he's, like, out there and he's like, uh, yeah, um, the line, like, comes up to him and he's, like, he's seeing his life flash before his eyes and he look, looks him square in the eyes and he's like, you must really like sucking my dick. <laughs> Yes. My grandfather told me that. Shit. <laughs> I don't know, that doesn't make any fucking yeah. sense. <laughs> I thought the punch was gonna be something like uh, you want to just skip it. I don't know. I don't know what. But I thought that was like a very well known old joke. And that's like no, oh. I've never heard that. My grandfather told me that joke. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. That was like there used to be a joke about life or something. like a genie when I was like in middle oh, yeah, school. Yeah, and it, didn't, yeah. it was like what was you it? get two wishes. The first one was like I want to suck another guy's dick. That's what Mike asked for. That's like the punchline is like somebody being gay being gay yeah. Yeah. but there's a genie involved oh yeah oh, i remember there was uh there was a fucking yeah i there was a, another one where it was like a gorilla it's like we'll give you they told this poor zookeeper we'll give you uh eighty thousand dollars to f- get fucked in the ass by this gorilla and he's like or he's like for eighty thousand dollars get fucked in the ass and he's like all right i'll do it but uh you're gonna have to give me some time to come up with eighty thousand dollars <laughs> and it's like that was like a <laughs> fucking joke i used That's to tell on joke. buses on, on that one uh uh r.i.p uh, uh, you can't you gotta plug that i'm sorry man i miss you so fucking much god man. damn it every day it's getting a little better it's but been a long day uh, without <laughs> you my <laughs> friend <laughs> um sorry. well I think we got this is a good first chunk. What do you want to do? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we can just go through. We don't you need to go have, through. Yeah, well, we'll we just have. Keep doing. I got to pee. Oh, you got to pee. Okay, then we'll take a break and then we'll okay. come back. Is there anything else we wanted to riff on before you guys have got any zingers in there over the last? I just uh, I, I the Brexit, dude. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I can't get over it. Yeah, either. how about this? Boris Johnson uh, looks like fucking Trump. Yeah, huh? <laughs> yeah, they got the same hair, huh? He looks like Boris Becker, dude. Uh oh, <laughs> Becker, good show. <laughs> <laughs> to dance that blind guy, Brexit, dancing, Becker, Johnson. We made it. We, we brought it all full suckle. Uh, and uh, you know who uh, else was on Cheers? Um, with Ted Danson was Fraser. <laughs> Fraser from earlier, which, which yes. we also mentioned. In I'm the show. gay, Niles. We fuck aliens. Uh, it's so funny how callbacks work. I know. How this fuck like a comic will be on stage in 45 minutes in their act? They'll be like, egg sandwich, anyone? And be like, ah! He said that 25 minutes ago. Why do you think? I think legitimately it's because like it's the same reason that roasts work, right? Because everyone laughs when you're making fun of a celebrity because it's like a common experience. Yeah. Like hating Justin Bieber is something that we all feel or something. Supposedly, I don't give a fuck yeah. about Justin Bieber. Yeah. So that, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, we shared that joke 20 minutes ago. That's yeah, why I we, think we're I honestly, I think it honestly is just like the first time that happens, it's fucking weird and funny, so you laugh. And then if you have two jokes that have the same punchline, mm-hmm. it's a funny coincidence. So it's like, oh, this that's funny. But now people just like I think plan he's it. right. I think it has to do with like the communal aspect yeah. or whatever. You know what? I think that's why like a lot of like why newer comedy or stuff online that's like you can't really understand the structure of it. Like what makes Sam Hyde so funny? Mm-hmm. Right. Why that can't appeal? Why you could never do that on stage just because it's like necessarily individual there's no like right. community there it's just like one guy's fucking weird personality all right. comedy like on the internet like memes is like do be comedy like not like joint but like yeah, yeah people do be like that <laughs> oh you know? my god yeah, yeah. teachers do it's be all like formulas that. you yeah, can yeah. just plug in whatever you want yeah, yeah. Right because like oh that time when the teacher looking at you and you like you know it's all like oh yeah that's just i hate when the teacher be yeah, looking yeah. at me when i was like 17 um, me and my friend Brendan used to hang out with like these kids that we just hated. We like didn't like any <laughs> of them. course. And one, like I wasn't there for it, but Brendan was telling me about it. Like one of them was like showing everyone on his laptop this picture of uh, 
It's like SpongeBob SquarePants, but his eyes are all red <laughs> and he's got a bong and like pot leaf behind him. And it's, you know, it's like sponge bong hemp pants, yeah. <laughs> sponge bong weed pants. And they're dying laughing. Yeah. And this one kid goes, uh, oh man, I got to show my dad this. <laughs> <laughs> my dad will love this, dude. <laughs> it's like, that sucks, man. That's like worse than if you, he was just like, yeah, my dad molested me when I was a kid. It's on par with that. Is that so much of a slip up? My dad up loves that was. proto memes. <laughs> my dad loves sponge bong weed pants. Dude, I can't believe David Cameron fucked up so bad, guys, in that Brexit. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. How did he? Fuck it. Wait, how do you go from directing it, Titanic? Didn't he fuck? A pig in the mouth. Didn't that come out a couple years ago that he fucked a pig's mouth? Is that what Black Mirror was about? I think Black Mirror <laughs> might have like made some allusion to it. No, or, or maybe that even came out after Black Mirror. That when he was at Cambridge or Oxford or whatever, he was in some like secret oh, society yeah. where you he had to right. fuck a pig in the mouth. He did. And then that just went away and he was, was allowed to continue being the prime. Do you see the speech where he said sorry and then quit? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's pretty well, funny, though, to be like, all right, well, fuck that's you That's pretty guys. good. Was, that's on par with Nixon's, just like, that know, was awesome. see ya. <laughs> see ya. The peace yeah. signs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He Nixon literally trolled out. on his way out. It was yeah. awesome. That was the best thing he's ever done. Yeah. His fucking jowls shaking. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Ah. Uh. Are any Jews going to be at the party? I don't want Jews at the party. <laughs> Did you read that the book with all the transcripts in it? Well, we were going to do that as Oh a, yeah, we yeah, were going to we do that podcast. Strand, yeah. We were going to do a Nixon secret tape podcast That's fun. where we'd get like people to like play Kissinger and like whatever. Yeah. Hey, that's not bad. And we, we do just that? do excerpts from the tapes. We it's, could do little And it's like bits. how that goes from being like, you know, it'd be a funny idea to actually being something. I it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we, 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 we try to come guy. up with bits and we do them and it's like, all right, that was a minute and 20 22 seconds long, and I used three racial slurs, so I guess that we're cool going to have to delete Nah, we'll yeah. get back. Dude, we got some great character work in the past. I mean, this, is, this will be, the rest of this, there will be no character work, yeah. for sure. No one will be doing any characters, but we've done in the past some pretty good character stuff. I think there so. There are a couple characters that I think we've done on this podcast. Yeah. I think... I hope uh, Lauren Michaels isn't listening. Yeah, Lauren. Lauren is listening. Um, yeah, we came up with Doctor Evil. <laughs> That's <laughs> one. Benny. We wrote. We wrote Doc Evil. Hey, it's me, the Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, That's our other character. Is the Family Guy. Oh. Lois. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm trying to eat a sandwich. I'm freaking a fat guy. I'm a freaking fat family guy. And I want a sandwich over here. A freaking sandwich. Is that a, it's good, man. Character. Is Family Guy guy gay? Is I'm gay. gay. Oh, yeah, totally. McFarland? I'm absolutely. Gay. And he, I feel like he's one of those gay guys that like feels like he missed the opportunity to come out of the closet. So he just really likes musicals? Well, he's just like... You, I feel like that's probably a problem that gay guys have now, where it's like... You had a window to come out of the closet. Now you're just old, and you're like, everybody like already figure. assumes yeah. I'm gay. I don't yeah, know yeah. if I should say anything yeah. or, or what. That was right after, uh, right when the Orlando shooting happened. Uh, the Matilda girl. Uh, oh yeah, Mara, yeah, yeah. Mara Wilson was like posting on Facebook. She's like. By the way, guys, I'm queer. I don't know if you know that. She like used <laughs> that day to be like, I'm uh, I'm queer, not gay, queer, which just yeah. means that like you know, You're I got my hair cut too short one yeah. time. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh man, I was at Pride the other day, and nice. I saw you know what I love sucking off guys. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's Pride, dude. Not oh. Prude. It's Pride. <laughs> you gotta have fun. Damn, man. Fleet Week. Uh, Fleet Week is the real pride. That's the Let's real pride. Honest. That's real pride. Yeah, that is. Those are the most prideful men. <laughs> <laughs> semen outfits. Pride. They're called semen. They're literally there, called there semen. There has to have been a hat comic that made a joke about like people thinking that it was like white pride or whatever, right? Uh, no, but not, I'll take it. I, don't okay. so. I call that one. All right, that's yours. That's all Thanks, yours. man. You guys see these Donald Duck racists <laughs> out here? They're all dressed like Donald Duck and they're white supremacists. Uh, so... <clears throat> yeah, no, I was at Pride, and there's, you know, like, it's all, like, people that are naked or whatever, and they're, like, yeah. kissing mm -hmm. each other. It's, like, ex like yeah, expressing yeah, yeah. sexuality. Yeah, yeah. And I swear to God, I was walking down the street, and in the middle of, like, the parade, and, like, one of those, like, East or West 10th, there's a fucking, like, probably homeless older black lady, like, in her, like, you know, early 70s, <laughs> rail thin, you know, like, kind of like a, an emaciated crack yeah, body. Correct. And she's in a wheelchair, and she's got her, like, jeggings pulled down 
over her like you know the diameter of her legs was mm-hmm. probably like four inches each it's like bean pole Jesus leg Christ. Uh, and she got her her jeggings pulled down she's masturbating with both hands <laughs> and oh. she's like oh my god oh my <laughs> oh my fucking god and she's fucking just rubbing her pussy and everyone's just trying to ignore it <laughs> like shielding their eyes <laughs> And Johnny and Ryan's like, why doesn't she have her own float? This is, <laughs> yeah. this is what should, this should be in the parade. That's can we get so her? Great. Can she, she be just... the grand marshal? <laughs> this is the the most powerful display of sexuality of anything here. <laughs> what we're supposed to be proud of some fucking hot twenty year old girl with pasties on her perfect tits? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> to give this woman a fucking TV show. Some <laughs> ripped jarhead guy <laughs> with like Ultimate Warrior, like yeah, like. Rubber tassels. bands around tassels, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, that, I love that too because she's probably just beating off to all the gay dudes. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> just, what she was doing. Yeah, yeah. She was just staring at all these men and masturbating. Just looking so. incredible. I got a piece of that. All right, we're gonna take a break and then we'll we got move. a real sweet treat for you after break. Uh, ooh, we better think of something. All right, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. see you guys. The day after tomorrow. A time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with a criminal cosmetic fine tuning. He'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one. Activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system. A lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets. Folks, the boys are back in town. Brockman Turner Overdrive, uh, live in studio. Uh, But some sad news. All right, I guess I'm just going to abandon... Oh, I'm sorry. You guys got nothing for that? I wasn't going anywhere with that. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was Thin Lizzy that sang that song. Well, Boys Are Back in Town? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not. Yes. yes. Is it is. Oh, it is. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Fucking Bitch. Ireland's own. Yeah. Look, dude, we're all a little frazzled. We just had some. Uh, yeah, no, we got terrible news. Terrible um, news. Um, guys, we found out, uh, you know, <sighs> and I know this is going to... You know, be weird. Uh, you know, like tonally. Before you say anything, can you just like be responsible? Like be like honor, honor what we're about to say. Like do it with honor and not no jokes. And yeah, I won't make any jokes. I guess. I and I do feel partially responsible. I guess I was kind of mean to him, but it was like a freak accident. But Seth Dickfield, who you guys may or may not know, I, he's come on the <sighs> podcast sometimes. We've had. Have sort you of, met him? Um, no, actually I haven't. Um, but we've had like sort of like a, I guess, you know, like, like, um, you know, like, a, an intense, you know, back and forth, I guess mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, I was a little annoyed that he came on my show and he caused, you know, some grief with like another guy I know. A good friend of yours. Sure. Yeah. A guy that I'm, you know, I'm pretty good friends with that I've known for years. Just, uh, guy, well, I mean, we've known each other for 10 years, you know, since he was like about 30, he's, he's near 40 now. So that's how long I've known him is that he's almost 40 years old now. Um, but, uh, yeah, Seth Dickfield, unfortunately was, he was on vacation in Europe, um, last week and he, he was visiting Auschwitz, uh, just to see the sights and take it in. And he slipped on a banana peel and cracked his head open on one of those novelty penny smashing machines. Oh no. And he died. I can't. I can't deal with this, man. And I know it sounds like that's a very funny way to die. Yeah, especially considering he's not even Jewish. He's not, but it's it's the actual way he died. I know that, like, like that guy the from Star Trek that died. You know, like everyone was pretty chill about not making jokes about the ridiculous way. (laughs) Yeah, don't laugh at it, dude. I'm sorry. There's nothing funny about Anton Yelchin being crushed by his Jeep while trying to check his mail. (laughs) By driving over himself. There's nothing funny about yeah, it's this. It's not funny. I can't do this, man. This, and it's this not funny to, that there is a steakhouse <laughs> themed. There's a there's a Holocaust themed steakhouse. That's not funny. It's not funny that Seth was there. And that yeah. guys, I can't. This tone is well, too light. I can't do this, man. I don't want to disrespect the dead. Well, I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I'm, luckily, I'm luckily we have. Uh, 
We have someone here to, you know, send Seth off. Oh, no, yo. Oh, what's up? Everybody, please welcome Ralph, Ralph Orowski, <laughs> Seth Dickfield's cousin. <laughs> My beautiful cousin, Seth, yo. <laughs> Yeah, this is the saddest day of my fucking life since the O's lost to the fucking Kansas City Royals in the fucking AL Championship Series. <laughs> yeah, they, the fucking good ones always go early, yo. You know, um... That's true. The good ones always go early. The good ones, the, al- the ones always go early. The good ones? The, the good ones, ones, yo, please do not when fucking the- antagonize me right now, yo. I just lost he's my fucking grieving. baby cousin, yo. Nick, I will not have this right now, yo. He's grieving. I'm grieving, yo. What are the fucking seven stages of grief? Fucking sadness. Denial. Beating up a fucking Jew that talks to you funny. You know what I mean, buddy? And right now, I'm getting close to number three right now, okay? I'm sorry. Let me mourn I'm sorry, my Ralph. fucking cousin, yo. I'm sorry, Ralph. We're here for you. Yo, I don't know, dude. It's tough, man. This is tough now. My family, now we got to find a new gay cousin to make fun of, yo. <laughs> yo, I think it's going to be my cousin Mark who cried during 9-11, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, that's not the kind of family we are, yo. We are vengeance family, yo. We find some Sikhs and we beat them up afterwards. We don't fucking cry about that shit. So Mark is, but it could be, you know, it could be who knows, man. Is there is there going to be a funeral for Seth? Yeah, there's going to be a funeral. Um, We're going to... um. <clears throat> We're going to um, stuff his body up into a uh, crab cake. And we're Are you gonna, getting him taxidermied? Yeah, we're going to get him taxidermied, and we're going to actually, um, we're going to put him just in the den, uh, in Uncle Mark's den, where uh, it was his favorite place to visit. And we're just going to, we're going to Steeler, put a Steelers jersey on him, and we're going to give him the finger just for, like, for old time's <laughs> sake. Um, that's how we want to remember him. As uh, a guy we fuck with. Was he a big Steelers fan? Um, no. No, he wasn't. We would actually hold him down and we would toss Steelers memorabilia onto him. And yeah. then we would send him out into uh, <clears throat> we would send him out into the streets of Baltimore. And we would tell people he loved the Steelers. And then people would commit acts of hate uh, against him. And also yeah. we would tell them he was gay. <laughs> and Could um, you... I mean, I know it's tough in a tragedy like this that you didn't... You obviously feel like you were robbed of the opportunity to say goodbye and to say, yeah, if you could say something to Seth right now, like what, what would you say? I would say, Seth, yo, don't be doing no gay shit in heaven, yo, because I'm about to be up there and I'm about to be finger popping some bitches. And if they hear, if Marilyn Monroe hears that I got a gay fake Jew cousin, yo, (laughs) that might fuck my shit up. You know what I'm saying? That's who you're going for in heaven? Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, Marilyn Monroe is, um. Yeah, this fucking uh, cross-eyed black girl from uh, Dundalk High School that was killed in uh, junior year. And, uh, <laughs> oh. Her name was Mar- Is there a different Marilyn Monroe? Yeah, Mar- yeah. She sucked my dick ba- out back behind a Mars once while I was eating fucking burger cookies. Oh, you're... <laughs> <laughs> You know, you go back for doubles. Yeah. So I'm going back. So don't be fucking my shit up with Marilyn. I know she got that good heaven body up there now, Seth. What do you think Seth would do if he had one more day on this earth? Honestly, yo, I think he would probably get on Grinder and then message a guy <laughs> and then uh, be about to meet up and then uh, delete his account real quick because he realizes he's still in the closet and it would be tough. <laughs> he didn't know what he would do if anybody ever found out he was gay. I think if he had one last time on this earth. <laughs> do you think Do you think Seth would get bullied off of Grinder? perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that definitely going down. Someone might, someone might make fun of Seth on Grinder and he has to delete his account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that, dude. Because he got PTSD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's gotten PTSD before, yo. Um, but but you gave it to him. You gave, gave him PTSD him. by, by yeah. teasing him. Well, yeah. well, that's how that's how that's what family does, yo. That's so, the kind of family we was, yo. But. So I um, I actually when I heard the news about Seth, I reached out to my friend who lives in Silicon Valley. He's an app developer. Oh my god! And so he developed Seth this loved gay shit like apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He developed um he developed an app oh yeah that it's basically they can create a facsimile of your loved one oh after they die. Oh my god. So you, you can just click on the Seth app. Oh my god. I got him to make a Seth one. Are you serious? So man? we're going to I'm going to I'm going to hook Seth up to the soundboard right now. Yeah. And I'm going to give <laughs> you the opportunity to say goodbye. Oh my god. To your yeah. cousin. Yeah, okay. 
Does, is you. that all right with you? If, if you're not ready, if that's weird if to you, ready. I don't... I don't know if I'm ready for this right now, but... um. Okay, so I'm going to just click him in. I'm just going to... Okay. Uh, hello, everybody. It's Seth. me. Yes, hello. I'm not dead anymore. <laughs> Seth is so good to fall and He's talk to inside you, the phone now. He's in a phone, yo? Yeah. He's... I live in the phone now, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. I can always have him in my pocket, yo? <laughs> Seth, yo. Hi, it's me, Seth. Seth, do you know how you died? I'm not dead anymore, everybody. <laughs> Seth, yo, one big-ass question, yo. Are what? these coins in the lost and found for anyone? <laughs> Seth, listen to me, yo. I'm trying to ask you a serious fucking question, yo. Hello, it's me, Seth. Seth. I'm not dead anymore. Seth, you fucking little slut. Shut the fuck up, yo. Yeah. Oh, my God, yo. Yo, have you seen my coupon for half-off steakums or, or what, yo? Can I bring my own coupons? <laughs> yo, this fucking app sucks, yo. There's some more you yeah, fucking Yeah, I don't know. They... Hi, it's me, Seth. I'm not <laughs> dead anymore. This is... Yo, honestly, I'm oh, tired man. of this shit, yo. Fuck. It, you're ruining the fucking tone. Well... Out. I think you're making a mockery of me and my I'm fucking family, I'm not making family, a mockery. Yo. I just thought it might be nice. I think you're nice. fucking my shit up I thought right it now. might be nice yeah, if dude, you could Adam, see your Adam, don't cousin. use that app anymore. Okay, just... I'm gonna... All right, I thought it might be nice if you could see your cousin. No, again. that's disrespectful. I mean, even I wouldn't do that. Dude, don't you ever do that. I'm, I got half a mind to slap your ass over this fuck. You're lucky I respect Anthony Cumia in the studio too much to do that to you right now. But I feel like... Well, you better calm down, because I'll tell you right now, everybody here in the Anthony Cumia studio has a concealed carry permit. Yeah, and I'm all well, all, well, all the way 100% up there with c- carrying your own fucking arms, yo. I think, honestly, I take my own gun, my gun to paintball, yo. We only got, <laughs> we only got three amendments we care about here in the Anthony Cumia studio. Yeah, yeah. Number one, free speech. Number two, guns. Number... T- 27 podcasting <laughs> right to podcast yeah. Yeah, Mark. listen I think I think we need to send stuff off yo I think we need to say goodbye I think we need to well luckily um, beautiful we, ass piece of music. Seth left us a song um, that he wanted us to play and we're gonna we're gonna end it on that note and let Seth himself take us out I'll miss you Seth yo R.I.P. Dickfield. R.I.P. You. We'll never forget you. We'll miss you, Dickfield. Okay. Come town, episode eight. The I don't know. The, the, the eighth episode. That's what this one's gonna be called. Goodbye, Seth. I love you, yo. I fucking love you, yo. I'm sorry, yo. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's me, Seth Dickfield. Hi, it's me, Seth. And now I am dead. And I'll complain all about it when I see you again. It's been a long day fighting Republicans. And I'll complain all about it to none of my friends. I don't have any friends. Goodbye, everybody. I've had a great time here on the podcast, uh, telling everyone about all my various uh, circumcisions and political opinions. And uh, it's been so much fun being woke. But I'm in heaven now, uh, where you go if you're perfect like me and beyond criticism. You know, I, I know I've complained a lot about uh, the Bernie bros and, uh, and the MRAs, but, you know, we're all people. I, I don't remember exactly how this song goes, and I'm not looking at uh, the lyrics, so um, I just want to reiterate... Uh, that I'm dead now. I slipped on a, on a banana peel at Auschwitz, uh, uh, and my head hit. Uh, oh, oh, geez! It hit one of these uh, penny machines. Oh boy! And here comes the loud part of the song again. You know what I can't stand? Loud noises. Some of us have PTSD, folks. Some of us got PTSD from being teased as children. I was bullied relentlessly by my 32 older brothers who uh, all hit puberty before me. I've actually never hit puberty. I still don't have puberty. 
now I'm up here in heaven with Harambe the gorilla, and he's been having sex with me. He's been demanding sex, and I have to give it to him because, first of all, it's right to refuse sex uh, if you're a man, and uh, also because he's stronger than me. And with that, folks, I'm, I'm going to have to say goodbye once and for all. And I don't know what. I don't remember this part of the song either. Goodbye, everybody. before we actually said it. it like two episodes Oh, in. really? They just assumed we did, which is fair. <laughs> fair assumption. You know, like a preemptive criticism. Sure, sure. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, when you guys say yeah. this, it's going to bother me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and then I've always been like, what does it matter? They're not listening. And then we did that, uh, uh, guy came up to us <laughs> and he was like oh, 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 oh I really like the, the the podcast and I was like oh shit we shouldn't be saying that word <laughs> yeah our friends <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our fans. we're offending our yeah, friends yeah, that's, yeah that you'd guy. be surprised you, 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 no matter what group you think wow they don't listen yeah. you know like fucking eight of them come up to you at a show you're like oh my god I can't believe I made fun of one legged Jews why would I do that <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, they yeah. do listen uh-huh. so it's, you, you can't so you have to just kind of write it off and go I'm gonna bother some people saying this because there's no way they're never gonna hear you. Yeah. Um, have you had a one-legged Jew experience? A lot. Yeah? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, who's, who's uh, like, do you get a lot of, like, hate on Twitter and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. But it is what it is. I mean, it, it's, um, you know, it's funny with Twitter and, and social media, because a lot of them come off like they're these hardcore critics and this and that, but it's like, a lot of them are just literally... They need the same thing college students need with safe space. Yeah, right. Because they can't just come out. And I've they've gotten mad at me when I've said I despise their anonymity. I don't respect it. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's like, look, we're not in fucking communist China. All right, you're not criticizing the regime where you're going to be thrown in jail. Right. Yeah. You just want the safe space. You want to you want to weigh in, mm-hmm. but you don't want to weigh in as yourself. Yeah. So I, I get a lot of it, but I kind of take it with a grain of salt. But it doesn't mean that it's not legit criticism either. Like I did the chip animation, and some people really. Really loved it, and a lot of people hated it. And th- you have to weed through hateful comments, like because a lot of them are just being cunts. But right. some of them made great points, mm-hmm. so you have to like weed through and go, okay, well that was a really smart criticism. Yeah, they're right. This didn't capture Bob, but whatever. You know what I mean? But let's say between reading that. You have to read, you're a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, all you had to say was, this is why I didn't like it, and I actually would have given weight to what you just said. Yeah. Right. Well, I feel like, I mean, all, half those people are just mad about that, the schism, the O and A schism. Oh, that's a all, tremendous part of it, yeah. Why I don't understand taking sides with, like, the end of two grown men's friendship. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's a weird thing, you know, it's like, those, it, it, that's basically what it is. It's like a divorce and they're really yeah, yeah, yeah. mad. Well, dad, dad gave me a better birthday last year, so <laughs> I like his house more. They look at it like, and again, I can only speak from what I've heard from them, Yeah, but a lot of them come from a place of like, this was a show that 
It was a different fan base. It was a very aggressive fan base. Yeah. And very. Well, I remember when it was taunting. A, when I was a yeah. teenager, it was like, wasn't it like a bit, like a, a a pest bit to like blow a fucking air horn in like a local news reporter's <laughs> ear? No, that was the one that ended that bit actually. <laughs> oh, really? uh, they got sued. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Let's make somebody fucking deaf. <laughs> yeah, it was just about being stupid and getting their name out there. Yeah. But when they're when they're um <clears throat> when the show ended. People really did split down the middle because it was frustrating for them to see this thing that they love so much gone. Like one day right. it was there and one day it was gone. And then when Opie and myself didn't go with Anthony, that's when a lot of the anger came out. Like they were angry immediately that we didn't quit. Yeah. Right. Um, which contractually we couldn't have. We would have gotten sued by Sirius. Mm. And then and when we re upped with Sirius and didn't go with Ant, I always kind of held out a secret hope that there would be some kind of a reconciliation. Um, but as time went on, it became apparent that it would not be. But the thing I don't understand about the side taking thing is like, have you never had a group of friends in your life? I mean, everybody, anybody I know knows somebody that, or knows two different people that fucking hate each other Sure. and they can be friends with both of them. And that's like a social dynamic that everyone has to navigate. And then these people just don't understand that. I think what bothers them is they looked at it like... These guys are very, and I mean, see, these guys, meaning me too, are very real people. They tell us how things are for them, and they tell us what life is or, or how they see life. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, this, um, as you said, schism, this thing happens, and it's not the way they saw it. They're like, these fucking guys were fake. They didn't tell us that they didn't like each other. Mm -hmm. They acted like everything was okay. To me, I mean, I was there every day, so I saw a lot of it. Yeah. But there were things that came out afterwards that I wasn't even aware of. Um, you know... I didn't know ex exactly how Opie felt. Um, there were times where he said things were good, and there were times where he said things were bad. So I think the fans, if I'm sitting there, and I'm not 100% sure, um, like there's been a couple things that have happened in, in the time since the show ended that surprised me. Yeah. Um, but then the, the fans also have to be realistic, too. It's like <clears throat> Keith Richards and Mick Jagger really don't like each other. Yeah, right. You know, Kiss didn't like each other for years. Yeah. Ozzy and Sabbath it didn't get along at one point. It's how it is in a creative collaboration. Right. The difference is when you're hearing music, you're not hearing real opinions on a real time daily right. basis. Yeah. You're not hearing guys, you're not hearing the fucking recording sessions. Right, right. Where Who they're they yelling are. at each other. So when you're it's just a different dynamic with talk radio, man. Fans get very attached to it. But the only thing that bothers me about the fans' reaction is the way they've kind of turned on on the three of us. And it's like, man, we made you laugh for fucking 10 years. Yeah. The guys that hated us all along, that's different. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like all of a sudden to have such vitriolic anger towards guys that made you... Like, I've been pissed off at people who I enjoyed too. Yeah. But I didn't get that vengefully angry at them. I guess it's kind <laughs> of like a finding out like wrestling is fake sort of thing. <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't a fake sure. dynamic. Right. Um, it, was, it was... I mean, what you, what you saw... I mean, we were trying to be... Funny, and there was a lot of it they saw before it ended, too. Mm. But yeah, maybe it is along those lines. They, they just feel deceived to a certain point. But, you know, it's like I've let more of my personal life hang out than fucking almost anybody in showbiz. Like, what do you want? Right. Like, that's right. what bothers me. It's like, what do you fucking guys want? Like, I've told you more about myself than most performers would have ever told you about themselves. I told you to be, to be funny. I told you in times when there was a slow news day. Right. You know what I mean? I just start <laughs> spitting shit out. Yeah. Hey, sorry if I let you down. What do you want me to tell you? Yeah. You're half of you don't even use your real names when you yell at us. Yeah. I've told you things that most guys would never have told you. That's like a, a funny comparison to like the band thing. You know, like I always have uh, had a lot of respect for like the Brian Setzer Orchestra that he could manage all those people that that band didn't break up you have that many people and they never had an yeah. issue or they well they had never had a visible issue i'm sure they had them yeah but you know how many how many musicians are there in that band i don't even know it's a whole orchestra yeah and they hold that together do you think like orc like philharmonic orchestras have like <laughs> like the first second, chair violin yeah. has a heroin problem yeah. and, and fucks the tuba players <laughs> yeah. fucks the tuba player's wife yeah it probably happens all the time and they just boot him and you never know it's just another jerk off in a tux there's no attachment <laughs> <laughs> there's no attachment to those people right. so you'll never see them coming and going yeah you know I would but, yeah I would love to be, see a showboating like cello player <laughs> just yeah, like yeah, yeah. you gotta you gotta keep it together so you can no more I don't know fucking just comes in, 
makeup. I don't know, just like spandex. Really See, I don't know to... shit about the orchestra. I'm yeah, sorry that... I took this in this I'm direction. really reaching here. I'm yeah, why? I had bow ties, <laughs> violins. That's uh, all I really understand. I had cello. Now. That was it. Yeah, 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 I had tuba. I don't think tubas are in orchestras, but I said it. I'm sure they're all once in a while. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> that's where the rift is. You know, yeah. maybe, maybe the one guy shows up with a tuba because he's better at that, and they're like, we don't need this. Whatever yeah. it just happens. That's how marching bands started. They literally walked out. <laughs> just didn't stop. <laughs> just kept going. Sorry, I'm clearing my throat so much. Just fucking. I realize it's coffee that does it to me. It's not, I don't drink dairy at all, so it's like, Ugh, that fucking thing you get, it's caffeine. I gotta quit caffeine. Yeah, you're like a big, you're like a diet and exercise guy now, right? Yeah, but I've been eating like shit lately, so I get self-hatred immediately. So remember like 10 years ago, you were never like fat, but you were oh, like... I was, I was a fucking pig. So you were fat, you were like round. <laughs> I'll show you my driver's license photo. I was an oinker. I was yeah. a fucking, yeah. I would say fat, yeah, as a fat man. I, feel I like was, I, can, I was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, really? <laughs> I was you know what, I was, I was like, heavy. I was probably around the same weight you were, or like the same, yeah. like when I was like 17, I was like a little bit heavier, but I was like, I'm not fat. Bad. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what like motivated that. We were doing Tough Crowd back in like, this was like 2002. Me and Nick DiPaolo had an argument in the, um, you know, far be it from Nick to say something caustic, but we were in the, uh, we were in the, we were in the writer's room fighting. Yeah. He's like, ah, you fat fuck. <laughs> and when he said that, I was like, oh my God, that's something people use at me now when they're mad. Right. I yeah. must have really put a lot of weight on it. And I still fluctuated. Up and down for, for years after that. It was a couple of years ago. I just got sick of it. But I, f I found, uh, I was looking through my old hard drive last night trying to find something to jerk off to that I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw a picture of myself actually on camera with Janine Garofalo for the first Tough Crowd. I was so fucking fat. Yeah. Because right. we taped those first eight in, in uh, November of 2002. And I remember, I think I was in four of the first eight. And uh, oh, was I fucking horrible. That was like almost at my fattest. I was probably like 175 at that point. I think I hit 181 at one point, if I remember right. <laughs> that, yeah, that's kind of fat, I guess, yeah. <laughs> no, I take that back. That's yeah. hilarious, yeah. yeah. That would be pretty big. What was, your, what was your fat guy vice? Did you have a specific thing that you did that you just went crazy on? Food, you food mean? Yeah. Um, no, mm, it was everything. Because yeah. I quit smoking in 2001. Mm. So I think that was where I just started eating more. And, and no, I wasn't exercising. I was doing this thing for a long time when we got kicked off the radio, which was, again, 2002. 2003, where I was watching The Sopranos and eating fruit until four in the morning. I'd go to the diner and get these, uh, this giant like fruit plate with, uh, uh, what comes with fruit cottage cheese? Cottage cheese yeah. Yeah. And I didn't realize that that was all fattening and sugar. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, well, that's sucks. Wow, getting fat from that's, fruit is yeah, horrific. That's, <laughs> that's the worst way to do that it. That was just one way to do it. I mean, there was other stuff I was eating. Yeah. Then, that was yeah, just, yeah, that, yeah. that was, I thought it was like thinking I was being healthy at two o'clock in the morning. Well, that is pretty healthy. Cottage cheese is like a great, you know, Post post sleep or pre sleep meal. Sugar keeps you up all night. It was really awful. Yeah, the sugar. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's probably bad I, for you. I tried to get. I tried to be healthy uh, by ordering a salad yesterday, and I was like, oh, like a chicken salad, and it was just like. I just ordered from a place I'd never gotten. It was like four pieces of lettuce and just a chicken cutlet on top of it. And yeah. I was like, well. I guess I ate a salad today. Yeah, you got to ask for grilled chicken. Yeah. You got to ask. It. So you do. I, I'm the white of vegan. Tell me you're fucking worse than me when I order. <laughs> I'm horrible. I, I order everything exactly how I want. I went to uh, I went to Joe's uh, by the uh, by the stand. Oh yeah, the fucking place. And I was like, can I get like a, just a chicken salad? And the guy was like, we're like, a, what do you mean like a chicken salad? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's literally, yeah, that's what I yeah. said. Yeah, let me get a chicken salad. He's like. Oh, oh, okay, I guess. And he was like weird about it. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And then they bring the, and it, it was chicken salad. It wasn't like uh, a chicken with mayo salad. And stuff, right? With mayonnaise. And it was a giant scoop, like the size of a half a fucking basketball on the plate. And they're like, yeah, it's like $13. <laughs> he thought I just wanted like a, you know, three pounds of a chicken salad. A handful of chicken salad. I'll just yeah. put it yeah. in my hand, please. I'll the just plate take fucking I'll mayonnaise. Yeah. Yeah. No, you got to ask for a regular salad and say, I want grilled chicken on it. That's yeah. how you got to order that. Because chicken salad, they bring that fucking, like you said, that scoop of mayo. It sucks. <laughs> this is Excellent content. I know, it really is. <laughs> I know. We're just <laughs> chatting about yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. three fucking this hens, so yeah, fetching about our weight. Oh, I don't know. It goes right to my hips. I tried the fruit salad. It's delightful. We really should be killed. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess it's just weird to think that, like, because you seem like you know, very like, 
not obsessive, but like detail oriented and you got to schedule and you got to like, you know, keep things going all the time. So the weight fitness stuff and like the diet stuff makes sense in the context of your personality now. I don't like what was your thing before diet and exercise? I was up. I mean, cause I, you know, I was I, I as much as I talk about escorts and stuff, I really don't do that much mm-hmm. at this point. Um, but back then, man, I was in stomach depression. I was doing uh, like fucking dominatrixes every night, escorts every night, th- to, you know, till three o'clock in the morning. We did afternoons when I was in MW, so I was not a morning person. Right. Yeah. So I'd go to bed at six in the morning. Seven in the morning, get up at two or three in the afternoon. Tough crowd taped at three. So we'd get the topics. I'd write the night before. We'd, I'd get up at like noon right. at the fucking earliest and then kind of go sluggish to work. So it's like there was no time to exercise. After yeah. that, it would be right to work and do gigs and up all night again. So now getting up in the morning kind of helps you be more regimented in life. Right. So that's why I hate it, but I like it for that reason. I feel like a real person. Because you quit drinking like young. You were, I was 18, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do like you regret douche. that at all? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't. Regret quitting drinking? I do. I do. I've been sober for a couple of years, and I don't know why. I don't understand why I'm doing it. There's times where I was like, hey, smoking pot would be fun. But I, I learned from the people who, is that too loud, that thing? No. no. You sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there, there's times where... I crave it. Like, wow, that'd be fun. But then I look at people who are wrecking their careers with it, and I'm like, no, it wouldn't be. Because yeah. I'm the guy who wrecks his career with it. Joe yeah. Rogan fucking eats pot and then practices <laughs> jujitsu. I'm not that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not the guy that fucking eats pot and then succeeds. I'm Listen, the guy who smokes <laughs> pot and does nothing. I don't really have a career to wreck. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of just like, you know, I just haven't had fun in the last three and a half years. <laughs> I guess things have gone better for me. Things are know? definitely better. You, you used to live with a... Uh, Clown rape victim from the army in a closet oh, yeah, in Baltimore. Yeah. Remember oh, that? Yeah, yeah. That was that was your life. You worked at a. You were a part time. What were you, a telemarketer for a symphony? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh you, no! You, uh, you don't think your life is better since you I, quit drinking? No, no. I look worse for not knowing shit about the orchestra when I yeah. actually. Oh yeah, you telemarketer. <laughs> I worked for the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. I was like a telefunder for them. Yeah. I worked in the basement at nights, and I would like call old people <laughs> and beg them for money for the orchestra. Oh my god! Yeah, and I lived with. Uh, I lived with a clown that had PTSD from when he was raped in the army. <laughs> so he would like fucking wow. wake up in the middle of the night hyperventilating and screaming and then throwing his clown shit all over the fucking... Who raped him? Uh, another clown, I guess. Another, <laughs> yeah, it was in clown no, college. Was, uh, no, yeah. Other soldiers. That was the story, yeah. Wow. You rushed a clown fraternity but, and they you know, raped him. <laughs> and it's shitty, I know, like, you know, believe victims or whatever, but I don't think it... Yeah, it just didn't make sense. Yeah, there's times where victims are lying too. I mean, just because yeah. they're victims, or they they say they're victims, you know, everyone's not a victim just because they say they are. Yeah, I mean, the story, the way he told it is like he was coming out of surgery at, at like age 47, and he like one of the orderlies in the hospital looked creepy, and then he had like a flashback to like, oh yeah, when I was in the army, I got raped, but. There's, you know, repressed memories is kind of like a bunk science. A lot of that's just like <laughs> a suggestion, you know, on the part of a therapist. It can be, yeah. Although I, I know cases where it's really come back, um, you know, where your mind shuts down and fucking because you're protecting the person uh, or protecting someone who abused you or whatever or protecting yourself from it. It's a good time for well, you. Do, fuck. You do that bit, though, about your friend with the Star... What was it? The Star Wars cards or the Star Wars toys? Your oh, friend? yeah, my friend who got... Uh, I think molested by the fucking uh, security guard. He pulled his dick out to show him that he didn't have any Star Wars. That's a true story. Yeah. Jesus. Came back with the Star Wars Corvettes, uh, white trash department store in New Jersey. And I just forgot it for years. But I didn't repress that or wipe it out. It might yeah, have just been unpleasant or scary, it. and I walked away from it. Right, right, right. But right. I wasn't the one who was abused. He didn't yeah. ask to see my dick. He asked to see my friend's dick. Well, um, it's like those the <laughs> satanic I mean, ritual. Being thorough, honestly, the satanic like. ritual abuse like scandals in the 80s. You know, they have all these kids where they're like, and then did he, you know, like, and you can say no, but did he bend you over and fuck you right. in the ass and pull your hair? You know, and then the kid's like, yes. And they're just like playing with a truck and not even looking at the investigator. And like, was ha- most of those people recanted. But there was like one or two, like if you watch, um, you know, Capturing the Freedmans, I think there's like one guy that's like, no, he did it. He's still convinced that it happened. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's a very weird thing with repressed memories in childhood, like the McMartin preschool. You know what I mean? They, it was the whole thing was a... Uh, I don't know that story. Oh, it's a really huge story. Look up the McMartin preschool with the power of suggestion. Yeah. A bunch of kids said that these teachers molested them. Yeah. But in hindsight, it looks like they really didn't. Yeah. Um, well, that's what, that's what, yeah, but this case was. Did you see Capturing the Freedmans? I did, yeah. yeah, yeah. One of those guys was at the Comedy Cellar one night. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, doing the documentary. One, of the, was one right. of the victims or one of the Freedmans? One of the Freedmans. Oh. Okay. I think. <laughs> did you ask him if he did it? Don't remember. I, I don't remember. If it I should be, him you should not. be great if like you just conspired with everyone in there uh, that was there that night to be like, he raped all of us. <laughs> 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 he came in and he raped everybody. <laughs> he came into the cellar. <laughs> uh, I don't think we knew he was there when I was on. Or I don't remember if I knew he was on. God fucking damn... Uh, do you guys talk? I'm gonna open my dry up my washer thing because that's gonna beep and okay, annoy sure. the shit out yeah. of me. Um, look at the look. Look at Mister. Where's clothes over here? <laughs> yeah, he's got he's his got own washer. Clothes, uh, <laughs> so how do you feel about this stuff? How's it going? Pretty good. I think you know we could pick it up probably. Yeah. Um, I want to ask about dominatrixes probably next in a second. That would be a good idea. We could do that. Uh, we I always talk more about Brachy. We pro- we probably could have gotten more into Baltimore. That weird period of time in Baltimore. Uh, where you were a big time alcoholic and you were I mean I was a big time alcoholic you know for years probably Yeah well that's but I knew you then when you were uh, you yeah know, uh, you know there's plenty of Oh the, this is a nice little mid mid podcast check in It is a good mid podcast check in this apartment is so nice I'm like yeah, just so relaxed incredible. We <laughs> usually do it in your <laughs> shitty office you know I'm thinking about getting all that free cereal. <laughs> right. That woman so badly wanted to kick me out last oh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excuse well, they, me, who are you here with? She they, asked me that like three times. They barely want me there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We, Where was he, this? Has, he has this fucking dumb job at this office in yeah. Midtown. So yeah, I, you can tell him. I guess. Yeah, I work, I, work for, uh, I work for this company. They're trying to do a comedy. They're trying to launch a comedy site, but the rest of it is all clickbait. Like they all do, uh, you know, just the, the worst parts of the internet. Yeah, they're yeah, just, yeah. They're just, you know, Ripping off anything that's successful, they just do their own version, and it makes yeah. the sad part is that's what makes the most money. It's it does, not original right? content; it's just taking other ideas and retreading them. Uh, but most of the people there are just like, prof- you know, it's coders, it's advertising people, it's like professional people, and it's like, yeah, the company, the company is like, the, the, what are the their main thing is like programmatic ad sales yeah, exactly. or something. It's, it's an it's an advertising company, and then you know, I think what their main thing is they they uh, they find like media outlets or websites and then they tailor like ad content for those sites oh but then to make more money they said well why don't we have our own proprietary sites right and then put the ads on there but and then one of them is like an onion or like yeah you know, and then they're turning into a comedy but whatever that, that what matters is that most of the people that are profe- like you know real people with real fucking jobs and shit and then we come in every once in a while with dog t-shirts and M- Mullen's wearing a M- Mountain Dew sleeveless tee and they're just trying to kick us out every <laughs> we do the podcast there and it's like clearly we don't belong there clearly yeah. this is you know we're the people that are just working for the comedy site and doing a, a cum podcast in one of their conference rooms but I'm surprised with the internet and stuff there's so many people that work on it that don't wear a suit and a tie like I'm surprised right. they're not used to that dynamic of you know somebody who's a different or odd coming <laughs> in I mean it's just it's not that uncommon with the fucking web well, yeah they, well it's mostly because like I'm screaming in the kitchen or whatever yeah, we're like, just, she got she got mad at me because Adam <laughs> said that like Adam told this story about uh, he's like the other guy we do this podcast with Adam was like watching. Uh, well, fuck, because now his friends listen. I can't. I can't tell his. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. He said he overheard like some girl. He's watching like Game of Thrones with some girl, and the episode ends, and the girl was like, "It's just so cool that we like all get to be a part of this like cultural event together." <laughs> It's like a cultural movement. She was referring to Game of Thrones as like a cultural movement. And then, you know, we were like making fun of her in the kitchen or whatever. And I was like, yeah, like, you know how like Dr. Martin Luther King wrote Game of Thrones? <laughs> and the receptionist is, it was like, uh, she's like a black lady. Yeah, yeah. And I saw her like fucking snap and look at me as soon as I said Dr. Martin Luther King. You're just taking free cereal. It's 6 p.m. You're loading up on their yeah. breakfast cereal that yeah. they have there and eating and drinking All coffee. All special K they have there. And she asked me like three times. She's like, who are you here with? Does he know you're here? Yeah. And I almost kicked me out. I want to ask you this about, because you know about like, uh, uh, I guess, well, prostitutes and stuff. Because somebody yeah. told me, do you know what Findom is? 
Uh, financial domination. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Somebody told me yesterday <laughs> that that does, that's like, not real. Like a, oh, it's real. Like a grizzled of vet. Of that, course that, I know. But uh, that there's no real market for it. But people do that for real? There are, of course, there's guys. That, I used to date a dominatrix. There are guys that love that. They are. They absolutely is real. I'm not saying it's a big fetish, but there's a lot of guys that love opening their wallet. It's probably more wishful thinking on the part of the dominatrixes, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, there are yeah. guys that love that type of humiliation. I don't get it. Um, at all I don't do it I think it's stupid Right Yeah. I'm tactile You know I need a fucking sure. Ass on my face I gotta well, that's, smell it <laughs> That's how most people are Yeah well, That's coming I think. That's what I don't get about Like a, when a dominatrix It's like they just like Treat you bad And then look Do whatever you want At first Treat me like shit, whatever. But at some point, I want to come. Sure. Yeah, I right. Want, that's that's where. Well, at the end of the day, with the fin dom shit, you're still beating off. And if you're beating off, then it's like a fantasy. And then it's like, why don't you just fantasize about someone taking your money? It's not <laughs> yeah. enough anymore. And you keep the money. <laughs> no, it's progression. It's not enough. How yeah. come you don't just drink one beer? Well, because eight is what I need now. That's right. how it is oh, with this I shit. See. It doesn't feel good anymore. Got to keep upping the ante a little bit, a little uh. bit. Got to do this. Fin dom does nothing for me. Though. I don't get it. Um, I mean, I get it, but it's stupid to me. Yeah, no, nah, because there's uh, this girl that hates Kurt, who went after Kurt, who uh, just like a nut job internet person, and she does fin dom now, I guess, because she couldn't get a job writing. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, now someone was telling me that there's no way that she actually has a job doing that, because no one will... You know, Wait, no she does it. financial domination? But online, where she just like texts you like, fuck you, pig. And then apparently men give her money for that. What? Yeah, it's a weird thing with, uh, there are guys that like to be, like if you would have told me at one point in my life that I would ever get turned on by a woman putting her feet in my face while I jerked off, I would have thought you were nutty. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you grew into feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. liked it. I, when I did my ex-girlfriend who was a dominatrix, had beautiful size eight feet, never cared about them. Never. It was something that happened after. A recent development. Yeah, it was one of those things where you just get bored and you move on. So financial domination is probably one of those things where guys who love just having hookers say, open your wallet. Yeah. Or right. dominatrix say, open your fucking wallet, worthless. Yeah. Lick my feet, worthless. Just a, f- a way of feeling worthless and used and shitty. Probably guys like judges and fucking hedge fund guys. Right. And guys that get whatever they want. That's right, weird. Right, and now right. I have to worry about that, that I might turn into one of those no, guys. My dad, at age like 60... Got into trains, <laughs> and it's, it was so fucking embarrassing. Hope you didn't want to be the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two, two darker studs. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, really, like it was like yeah, it's like 63rd birthday, and he's like, yeah, my my wife took me up to some bullshit town in Pennsylvania to go see a train. And then he's like got videos of the train on his like phone. He's I to swear to God, me. I thought you meant threesomes. Yeah, no, no. I swear to God, I thought you meant threesomes. Why would I be ashamed of it's that? It's more embarrassing yeah. to be yeah, into no. uh, it's, yeah, look, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, look Lionel motive. trains. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, he became like a railroad fan at age sixty three after like I had spent fifteen years making fun of those people on the internet. <laughs> your dad turned autistic at sixty three. And those are just in your genes. He just yeah. likes to look at trains. He just likes trains, yeah. He likes, <laughs> enjoys looking at trains. He used to, oh man, one time I like, he used to wake up, uh, so his wife doesn't let him do anything. He's not allowed to have like friends. <laughs> and one time, uh, he, used to, he used to like wake up at like four, four, like 3.45, four o'clock in the morning and like go out into like where his like laptop is by the kitchen area in the apartment and like quietly look at model cars <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> Like slot cars and stuff that he wasn't allowed to buy. His wife wouldn't let him have anything, but he would just look at these collectibles that he would have if he could. But he had to sneak out into the you know the computer area to do that. Why? I don't know, because his life's shit. You don't like her? No, she's great, actually. She was a nightmare when I was a teenager, but like now that I'm an adult and she doesn't have any she's control okay. over me, she's a lot of fun. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, we went to my grandmother's funeral like two months ago, and she's like, you know, well, I got to stop to get, and she gets those little like, you know, those tiny liquor bottles <laughs> so yeah. she can get drunk Flu at shots. the funeral. Yeah. She's yelling like, fuck you to everybody, and everybody's <laughs> like horrified. Oh, wow. This is funny. I think it's... She's Once like, you're uh, out of it, it's fun to yeah, watch from a distance. Yeah, not yeah, my yeah. funeral. I don't give a shit, you know? Why don't ruin it? Is your dad embarrassed by her? Is he like one of those codependents who's like, oh, you know, she's just grieving, or, you know, or is he? It's not. It was his mom. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was the one who was grieving. She was just drinking. So she was just being an asshole. I guess. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I don't know how he, he. I mean, they. They're not. Well, I mean, maybe they're happy. Who fucking knows? They've been together forever now. Right. But uh, at a certain point, it's like, what are you gonna do? Right. When you're like, you know, 
60, whatever. Yeah. What are you going to start a new life? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, hard yeah. when you're older. <laughs> yeah. I feel bad for older women. I think older guys have a shot. We can always go out and find somebody. Right. But if you're like in your fucking late 50s, early 60s with two kids. You don't, oh, you don't yeah, have yeah. a shot if you're like 63 years old and you just like trains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 that does not, knock you down the odds. You money. You're just a guy <laughs> who likes trains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, not, you're sh- knocking a lot of pussy off the auction block when you <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. come with that. Yeah, the only woman he can fuck are the women that are tied up on the tracks. <laughs> yeah. Ready? rescue. Oh, man. Um, so, uh, usually we take a break right around now. You uh, break on your podcast? Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you break? Um, just because it, like, offers people, like, a split. If you do, like, a 30-minute chunk, people will listen to 30 minutes if they're, like, I don't know. I read it. Where are we at, time-wise? About 30 minutes. Oh, okay. We'll take a quick break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Take a quick break. Do and you then, do any uh, ads? Um, no. We do, uh, uh, like, a Patreon where people can just, like, like oh, donate. Oh, okay. It's, like, a monthly donation. Do they donate? Thing. Yeah. No, we're getting, like, I don't know, 90 bucks, 100 that's bucks. That's nice. Yeah. My friend started a podcast, like, two months ago, and that's where I got the idea for the Patreon thing, and I checked yesterday to see how much money they're making off donations to their podcast. And Do you want to guess? Um, is it a good podcast? Yeah, it's a good podcast. 1000 bucks a month? No. <laughs> no. It's just shy of, like, $8,000 a month. <laughs> Wow. For like a podcast. <laughs> Off like donations. That's good. That's insane. I admit, well, if we were smart, because they, yeah. they well, they're smart guys. Yeah. They do people. like, they, uh, you know, they know about fucking Syria and Journalism shit. and shit like that. Yeah. We don't, we're not like, uh, we don't really know stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we barely yeah. can keep a conversation going. Right. Perfect. So, so. we'll take a break. <laughs> sure. And then it, either, so here's the thing. Either uh, we'll decide, like, if, if we're having a good time, we'll, like, continue, or, like, we'll just get at him for the second <laughs> half. Oh, a teaser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we'll take a break, and we'll be back. They say you can't say that. So you're wearing a thong right now? Well, Shasta yeah. McNasty is saying it. So you want a brofish? Does she have a sister? <laughs> People say don't do that. Give them breast implants. <laughs> we say do the McNasty. <laughs> Shasta <laughs> McNasty. The WWF's big show and Cindy Margolis guest star on the series premiere. You want to play in her sandbox, you're going to trade in that little digger for a steam shovel, baby. A full hour beginning at 8, 7 central, UPN Tuesday. Okay, we're back, and Jim Norton is gone. Uh, uh, Stav's fault, mainly. No, he loved me. Uh, yeah, no, we uh, we recorded a second half with Jim, and then the uh, you know the recorder shut off because I didn't change the batteries. And uh, I think there was like a rape override. We talked about rape for too long. We talked about a bunch of shit for too long. <laughs> it was bad. That's yeah, good. it was it's, fucking terrible. It's probably better that it got erased, but <laughs> it we really shut sucked. off. And then I didn't know what to do, so I panicked and just pretended like it was still on for a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because at the end, you were like, oh, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, um, but hopefully Jim, long- <laughs> Jim won't listen to this. He won't find out. No uh, chance he listens. Yeah, of course not. No, yeah. I don't think he even knows the name of the podcast. Didn't ask, didn't at all. Yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah, no, we really fucked that one up. That was like a big... Uh, I know, we should have done some work for us. It was a big guest, and we c- we kind of ruined it by... We had um, no interview. We had nothing we prepared. Had nothing prepared. <laughs> we just wa- yeah. Like, less prepared than when we do it with you, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but we're friends. We can't be yeah. like, hey, Jim, do you know about Dr. Evil? So, yeah, yeah. all right, we're going to pretend that I'm Dr. Evil. <laughs> yeah. And you need to react to it as if I actually were. <laughs> I mean, what was just like you didn't have anything to talk about with him, or yeah, no, not. Re- I mean, there's plenty of shit to talk about. It's just like we want to just say dumb shit, yeah. And uh, you know, I don't know if he was on board with that. <laughs> yeah, no, he was not just like not answering earnestly. And <laughs> it was yeah, it was like he was having like a really nice. We talked about like di- actually, that's probably gonna stay in the first one, huh? Yeah, the first the people already listened to. We talked about like dieting. Yeah, and shit we t- like it, that. Was mo- it was it was 27 <laughs> minutes of talking about chicken salad. <laughs> And the best, what you have to do to order chicken salad at Joe's. I told a great anecdote about going to Joe's on 3rd Avenue, and I asked for a chicken salad. Oh, yeah. And the guy was like, hey, what do you mean? I'm telling literally the same <laughs> story. People just listened to yeah, this, yeah. by the way. So Adam just wasn't hear here. I, was, I, mean, I mean, now you're telling me the story. So oh, like, oh, that's <laughs> right. I'm sorry. <laughs> so like a whole new bit. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, oh, yeah, we have yeah, Felix yeah. Biederman from uh, Chapo Trap House, yeah. honorary Puerto Rican rattlesnake, that's Felix right. Biederman. Yeah. 
And uh, Adam, uh, of course, I'm back. Adam, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. And I'm actually turn. now I'm Sherrod Vrosalkius. Yeah, Sherrod <laughs> Black, now, Sherrod Vrosalkius, <laughs> the Black Rican rattlesnake, the Black Rican rattlesnake <laughs> from uh, Race Wars. Spinoff, uh, yeah. spinoff. Stop, <laughs> Stop told me he had a racial awakening on his way here. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Yep, I'm a Black Rican now. Yeah, we're actually uh, now live at the uh, Anthony Cumia Studios Two in Bed Stuy. Bed Stuy. Believe it or not. Anthony's not actually allowed in this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so he ha- we have to Skype him in whenever he tells us how to decorate the studio. Because he wants it to look just like the top of the Empire State Building, <laughs> where his real studio is. Oh, um, man. He likes, so, to, he likes yeah. to just stand on the balcony and just say the N-word. Yeah, a lot. so this whole place is filled with lawn jockeys, a lot of um, a lot of blackface art. Uh, the way, the way <laughs> yeah, Anthony wants the it. The Al Jolson wing of yeah, the yeah. studio. Uh, <laughs> uh, all of his concealed carry permits. <laughs> door the walls. Oh, God. Uh, African masks with darts in them. <laughs> I, I, I think I think the thing that sums up this studio is the graphic that reads right when you walk in, have you ever tried counting to six million? <laughs> and it like, really makes you think. And you're like, no, it's I It's too big actually. of a number. How could a number be that big? I agree. I agree. He <laughs> said so he said that Mr. Show sketch with the highest number, oh, the, but with the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the next guy to add one number to another number is going to hear from my 45. <laughs> That's such a 45. good sketch. <laughs> but boss... <laughs> Um, oh man, the pitch for that sketch must have made absolutely no sense. I mean, most of most them, of those, most yeah. of their yeah, sketches so. were Pretty like crazy. That. That's what made it such a funny show is that they were just trying to be funny. Also, the fact that they kind of circumnavigated the fact that it's really hard to end a sketch. Yeah, oh, just, yeah, that was by genius. just blowing it up yeah, and yeah, then yeah. like you know you know mash it or what? what right, right, I'm right. trying to. I'm trying. Sketch. Maybe you guys can help me with this. Uh, Stav's company pays fifty dollars for anyone who can come up with a sketch. Doesn't matter if you're homeless. <laughs> it's true. It doesn't 100%. matter if you're illiterate. Yeah, I did get that fifty dollars for an anonymous <laughs> sketch. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's dropping this week, baby. Is well, it? I want yeah, to do. Yeah. Here's what I need to. We need to riff this one out. Maybe maybe we can just do it on the podcast and then sell the idea. Yeah. So it's Jurassic Park, but Attenborough is like. We can bring back the dinosaurs, <laughs> and then we can fuck them. And he wants—he <laughs> just wants to fuck the dinosaurs. Says, suck can my you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dick, suck you do my the song. Dick. <laughs> That's pretty much all we got. I love it, well, no. Okay, so the mosquito—it's—it's uh, it's <laughs> sealed in cum. <laughs> And he says, this it. proves that even the tiniest of creatures can be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Something about maybe getting pissed on by a hot, thick yeah. stream of brontosaurus piss. Yeah, being pissed on by bron- Have you ha- Imagine eating the asshole of a brontosaurus <laughs> <laughs> as it unloads tons and tons of waste of foliage into your mouth. <laughs> and he just wants to fuck the dinosaurs. Maybe Chris Pratt knows how to jack off velociraptors. <laughs> That's He's the only he guy that really can do cool, it. Yeah, yeah. He does it really cool, though. Yeah, cool. he's a cool. He's got a cool. I'm not fat anymore. <laughs> style he's of jacking an off the. Yeah, I don't yeah. appreciate that. That guy betrayed us. Can you dude. imagine how good he is at giving head? You know, because oh, like yeah. fat people are good at giving head. Hell yeah, dude! Because they like, like to champion. eat. That's my favorite. I know. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say about fat girls, dude? <laughs> is they're better at giving head because they're they like eating. Yeah. <laughs> you know those guys? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, because that's they how you do. Suck you get nourishment like that. That's the way you eat things. Is by sucking it off. Classic. So what? Uh, Speaking of getting sucked off or, or jerked off, somebody has a little story. Oh, oh. yeah, tell the story. <laughs> Ooh. Somebody got their little... Should I? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I already told everybody, so... <laughs> you said it during the first half? No, no, no but no. I've been we telling should've. people. Yeah. I got a <laughs> massage... Uh, <laughs> full service massage. <laughs> What happened, dude? That's when you get Tell jerked off in Jersey. Yeah. It's a full service massage. Yeah, yeah they actually <laughs> don't let you jack off by yourself in Jersey. Yeah. yeah. It's a big problem they have. The union, pump the gas the, union. And the, <laughs> the union is too strong. <laughs> um, I was I had a slight headache. I was walking down Canal Street at about five in the afternoon a couple of weeks ago. And I saw, and I had a b- my back hurt because I had my laptop in my backpack and oh, I saw sure. a massage $25. Night. So twenty five. Like, twenty five bucks. Thirty minutes. It's Where was this deal? Place. Tell me off air. On Canal. 
Canal and what? Uh, we'll talk about there's it. There's like the 35 of these places on Canal. There's like 100. Yeah, yeah. Every I, single one of those places where they have like a, a discount massage, they'll jack you off. The, be- <laughs> the best part yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, give us the, the whole The best experience. part of it is like, she's like, you want hard or soft? And I was like, hard. And so she just starts walking on my back and it hurt. It's Ugh. like very uncomfortable. It was a terrible massage. She actually fucked up my back for like four days. That's hilarious. But uh <laughs> but, <laughs> but she jerked you off. She like So wait, turns you go there. Over. You think you're gonna get beat off or no? I didn't re- it really wasn't in the front of my mind. You had an inkling though. I was uh, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. <laughs> Listen to this motherfucker. Oh, I don't know if this <laughs> if this twenty five dollar <laughs> massage place will beat me off in the basement of a fucking shoe store. Yeah, this Next is like a- that Jim Carrey movie where he can't say no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Adam's version of it. <laughs> liar, liar. No, yeah, no, yeah. there was another one that was just like yes, basically man, ripping yes, off man, yeah, liar, yeah. liar. Yeah, yeah, yes, man. How did he make that movie? Well, I mean, I, I consider him. liar, liar, the Quran, and yes, man, like the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, it expanded yeah, on yeah, the yeah. lessons of that movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, the best part was she's like, okay, hand or, or mouth with Ooh. condom. And I was like, I don't. <sighs> My sister listens. Okay, whatever. It's too late now. It's too dude. late. All right. When I was 19, I was in Israel in a strip you're worried club. About, you're worried about your sister hearing about sex on the cum <laughs> podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I was in Israel at a strip club. There's this Russian woman with braces and fake tits, nice. and she had a necklace on that said "sex" on it. Oh, uh, <laughs> where do you get that <laughs> necklace? <laughs> it's just a fuck. Sex. <laughs> and I was there with like it came boys. with the braces. <laughs> yeah. the orthodontist. I was on my occupation tour with my of friends, course. and uh, you were there to boys, steal the rightful right? land of Palestine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, uh, and uh, lap dances were were twenty shekels. I love which it. is like five dollars. And we're getting like a ton of laughs. I love that you're complaining about the price of. No, no, no. He's talking about what a bargain it is, dude. Incredible. He's chewing it up even further. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was only 20 shekels. Yeah. There's no way a Jew can complain about or mention the cost of something without it sounding like a complaint. That's that's where that's where all that like Sheldon Adelson money goes. It goes to subsidize strippers. (laughs) (laughs) Birthright. That's we'll pay for fifteen dollars of the lap dance. (laughs) That's actually pretty smart. Oh, I know. I was. Anyway, yeah, she's like, uh, you want private room? So I went, and she was like, blowjob with condom, 200 shekel. Ooh, and I was nice. just like, which is like And you talked her down? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, had I, like, know. <laughs> I had my meal stipend thing for the month. Like, uh-huh. the program gave us a meal stipend. Yeah. And I had literally had an envelope of cash in it. And I like fumbled through it. I just so like good. handed her the cash, <laughs> and I got a blowjob with a condom. Came in three minutes. That's maybe insane less. To me, maybe less. Go ahead. Okay. And well, because the I braces, the braces tear it off immediately. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. She knows what That's she's less doing. time than it takes for the Iron Dome to block a missile. Exactly. <laughs> Same technology. Yeah. That's Same what. Technology. That's what actually they call that braces blowjob <laughs> process. <Just kidding. laughs> Iron Dome. That's her nickname. There he is. There's the mole dog. Oh god, this is so extremely <laughs> online. This is so good. Oh. Yeah, well, I love getting Iron Dome. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, it was Iron Dome. I yeah. love getting Iron Dome from retarded girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she horrible. mouth retarded. <laughs> yeah, her mouth retarded as hell, dog. <laughs> <laughs> left left my entire meal stipend for the month in, in this that, girl's mouth. In that <laughs> <laughs> in that strip club. That's hilarious. And I starved. Literally for a month, I would eat at five o'clock once a day. Yeah. I'd st- I'd wait to Ironic, eat. that's like Ramadan. I'd eat at five. <laughs> 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 it was like my Jewish Ramadan. <laughs> Um. Anyway, I felt horrible about the whole thing. Yeah. Fast forward. Fast forward two weeks ago, she turns me over. She's like, uh, fifty. So you're fully <laughs> nude. <laughs> she pulls. <laughs> no, not yet. I'm in my boxer. Okay. She, th- that's the point of the story. That's the funniest por- part of the whole story. Which what does this Sorry, person look like, by the way? What's that? How are we looking? What does she look like? You know, I don't want to do the accent, uh, but <laughs> do the she's accent. She's a Chinese woman. She's do like, it. but is she hot? Is what I'm getting at here. She was uh, attractive. I know yeah. that people can't see this because this is a podcast, but Adam just put on a straw hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's <laughs> really stretching yeah. his eyes. <laughs> all right, he's got tape all over the place. <laughs> yeah. All right, gong sound. Do 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 do. We're in the massage parlor. <laughs> so she says, "Do you want?" to... Uh, do you want to touch me? And I was like, uh, okay. 
So she takes my hand, puts it up her shirt, and I'm just like squeezing her boob. I'm like, okay, this okay, is that's cool. not bad. And she was and hot. She's like, yeah. She's like, okay, hand or mouth. And I was like, I'm not gonna go for mouth with condom. I think I'm gonna go hand. And this is an expert okay. practitioner. I see what you're saying. Uh, you're thinking she's much better at. I've never gotten a good hand job in my life. I'll agree. I didn't either. From, yeah. Not even from me. Yeah, I abuse my shit. I'm re- you don't have a good technique. She did. Down? She did a. B- 50 million times better than I've ever done. So she's a pro. Incredible. Oh, that's But great. the best part was I was wearing my boxers. <laughs> she pulled down my boxers and she looks at my dick and then she looks up at me and she goes, <gasps> like, it <was> <laughs> 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 like it was the biggest dick she'd ever that's seen so in my funny. entire life. And I was like, I oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I and hate she's that. she's like, it's so big. Dude, a girl <laughs> I, I like, hooked no, up it with. it is not. A girl like that was doing the same shit. She was like, oh, my God, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh just like pretending to choke on my. It's like, listen, I've had my dick for a very long time. I know exactly how big my dick is. Ugh. It is not a big fucking dick. She was doing fake gagging, dude. It was so <laughs> embar. I was embarrassed for both of us. She was actually just gagging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From repul- yeah, yeah. Repul- hey, what the fuck? Disgusting. Anyway, I left. I came so she super quick. Also, she, was she beat you off. Like she beat me champ. off. It was it was amazing. How much did the whole shebang run you? It was uh, seventy five dollars. I left and I was just like so mad at myself. I was like, New York City, you've done it again. You just fucking <laughs> vacuum seventy five dollars out of my pocket. Whatever, man. Like that could have been a decent pair of pants. Could la- have lasted true. me a couple years. That's true. And I just fucking paid for <coughs> sex work. Nothing. Not not. That there's anything wrong with that. Right? <laughs> that was, that's, uh, that's legit. And then I told the girl that I was used to be dating. I'm not dating her anymore. But uh, and she was like so mad. You at me. told the girl you used to be dating. That you got beat yeah, off. Yeah, we had like an yeah. open thing. That you like paid. That you paid to get jacked off by someone that looks exactly like her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she was like, <laughs> <laughs> what her life would be like if her parents didn't. But come I over. thought like it was yeah, like yeah. this progressive thing where she's like, yeah, I want to fuck other people too. Yeah, that's totally a Bernie Sanders move, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <Bernie. laughs> she does cam work. So or she did cam work, so I didn't think that it was like a big deal to her. And she's like, "You're disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting." Interesting. Who does I don't feel th- bad. Around is cam work though. bad though? I feel like you have to because we live in the future now. <laughs> yeah, you, you know? have to beat off. That's on like cam? the new way to fuck. I, like I, wanna, uh, I would like love if my dick was bigger. I would beat off. On, with a luchador mask on, you don't have to have a big dick, dude. You you already have all those Instagram followers. That's true. Uh, a yeah, lot of gay men want to fuck me. Yeah, you can just. Yeah, yeah. There was a guy I saw on Chatterbait one time who had to be <laughs> like eighty nine years old. <laughs> He looked what, like what a start of a sentence. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy I saw on Chatterbait one time. He's this old ass man. <laughs> Wait, how does ball. Chatterbait work? It's you just people just, just jack off on get camera. Paired with yeah, people yeah, jacking no, off. no, no, no. Yeah. That's chat roulette. That's Chatterbait right. is that's like also it's a LinkedIn gallery. premium. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a gallery. You can choose somebody to watch masturbate so you or whatever. Watched an eighty nine year old man beat yeah, up. Yeah, I was like, look how old this man is. <laughs> I mean, there is there's a market for everything on camera. Oh yeah, like that's well. Half of bodybuilders support themselves <laughs> by like jacking off on their stuff. That's how they buy Anna. Really? Is they no, do gay for pay stuff? Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 There's actually a separate room in GNC where you can do all that. <laughs> <laughs> <for supplements. laughs> but when Arnold, yeah. to, like, to raise money to come to America, Arnold's dad actually just recorded himself jacking off on an eight millimeter, <laughs> <laughs> distributed it like over the Iron Curtain. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, He's a cop, you idiot. Well, that guy, yeah, that oh, yeah, guy, yeah. he was like, you know, like 89 years old, uh, you know, big, long, white beard. He looked like Ooh. The Giver. You know, the cover yeah, yeah, of The yeah, Giver? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that guy. Like With Walt Whitman? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He looked like Walt Whitman. Um, Walt Whitman fucked kids, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Less, of, less of a sexual deviant than the actual Walt Whitman. This was just a guy that yeah, jacked yeah, off on yeah, camera yeah. instead of on little boys' faces. <laughs> <laughs> and he, so he's got, uh, and he's got like this distended belly. <laughs> And like Hell you know, yeah. just like an old fucking ass man. He's got nipple clamps, and he's like Ooh. beating, and be, like hitting his dick with shit, and he's jacking <laughs> off. And uh, he just yes. seemed to be having like a great time. And I'm like, you know what? Good for him. Right. He figured out the computer. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you know, living an active life. This isn't like it's not deviant if he's like, you know, like his family's probably like, yeah, Grandpa loves the computer. <laughs> that we got him. <laughs> 
<laughs> they're like, yeah, he's using the camera to keep in touch with friends from the war. He's Skyping all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. loves Skype. He's just on <laughs> Skype all the time. Uh, he doesn't really use uh, any of the email software we got him, but it's, yeah, he loves that camera. So, you know, he's holding out. Oh, my God. Have you but guys ever tried to have s- Skype sex before? I have. It's terrible. I it's have. so it's bad. You just feel silly. Like, you, you like, see yourself in the you little box the jacking little off, corner. and you're like... You're like, just I didn't your mangled face just, yeah. like, beating off. Oh, no, I get a top angle of my dick, and I angle it down so that my dick looks good. No, I'd go... You're like the Terrence Malick jacking off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just uh, trees and leaves. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lens flare coming out of the back of my dick. There's a Jessica Chastain voiceover. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what I gave you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only do it in uh, 70 millimeter. <laughs> 70 millimeter. The light is Louis- just exquisite. Yeah. I mean, Louis C.K. is really adamant about using a red box for his jack-off footage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, when he does it in front of women with Without their consent, they're bringing yeah. that back. That's yeah. coming back. It's coming Roseanne back. Was yeah, Roseanne about was talking about. Who was it? Jen Kirkman that said that? Yeah, apparently yeah. Uh, she said it and then deleted it. She said that he like she either said that he did it to her or brought up the allegations and then deleted the tweet. Interesting that he's just like a subway jack offer, like, but he doesn't know. Yes, he does it in his hotel room. He dresses his hotel room up like a subway station <laughs> <laughs> and then invites people. <laughs> No, you gotta swipe. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta swipe to get, get in. in. That's, yeah, he, he's an autistic pervert because he has to incorporate trains. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. I don't know. I mean, it seems like, uh, uh, from what I've heard, there's been no like substantial claim. It might be a thing he likes to do consensually is beat off in front of people. But if that's a thing, then that's just like kink shaming. Yeah. Whatever. He's the president of comedy. Well, so. I don't know. I mean, if he's doing that, Sounds here's like here's, the, here's, where doing this. here's my stance. If he's doing that against people's will, I'm against it. So of sorry, guys. Uh, well, even then, I well, mean, he is a very good yeah, Sorry, guys. Dude, I'm you're against really taking forms a stand of sexual today. assault. Sorry. You're coming out firing shots. That's the Louis kind of guy C. I am. Okay. Wow. Well, hold on. Uh, you know, I didn't say. You know, I said if. You know, but uh. <laughs> <laughs> who? Are, who? Are, what other? Remember, there was that one comedian. Champion, that guy champ was it Vince Champion? Walter. The clean guy who was also like a rapist and murderer. No, now I'm just accusing Vince Champion of being the rapist. There was a guy that was like <laughs> on the, the road. The Champion Brothers from DC, those guys? Yeah, the no, Champion there's, Brothers. There's like four or five. When comics. I watch porn, do you remember <laughs> that bit? <laughs> They had this very anti-gay bit. What was it? Do you remember? Dude, this had a, this guy had a bit a pro porn bit, which was <laughs> incredible. I don't remember. It, it made no sense. He's like, when I watch porn. I ain't try to hurt nobody. <laughs> 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 yeah, they were great. There was uh, a guy doing anti-gay bits at Caroline's the other night. Remember that? That guy that was like, just don't do it around me. Who, Mateo? No, no yeah, it was Mateo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, in my defense, it was open mic night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a guy, I remember, did I talk about Big Ron on the podcast before? No. no. I don't know if it was, yeah, I think that was his name. Big Ron, Big Ron. Did we cut you off? I don't remember. Who, me? Yeah. I don't know, probably. Whatever, who cares? You do that shit all the fucking time, dude. Huh? We're going to beef about it. I do? No. I mean him. Adam yeah, does Adam it. does. Yo, yeah. let's blaze it Adam's off. the cut let's off. Let's blaze it off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, there was this guy that used to go to uh, Japanese. He would do the mic at Japanese. Oh, what a shit. That su- yeah, <laughs> that sushi restaurant where the light was just... Uh, Ian Salmon, like, drunkenly holding up a candle at you. Oh, Ian Salmon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who would do 35 minutes in between every comic. Um, but, yeah, no, this guy, Big Ron, he came in, and he's, like, you know, immediately, like, I don't write down shit. I never write down shit. It's all, you know, imp- improvisational, you know? I'm, like, saying things off the top of my mind. And uh, so he goes up, and it's, like, a nice restaurant. And then he's talking about, like, you know, in jail, you know, you think that <laughs> hearing people being raped would be bad, but it's not that. It's when you hear a motherfucker getting stabbed. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> there used to be this big motherfucker, and he used to jack off to, to the little Michael videos. When Michael Jackson be coming on the TV, pull his dick right out and jack off to Michael. And, uh, you know, people are just trying to, like, eat dinner. Or <laughs> and, then, oh. and then my favorite thing about that guy is he handed me my bi- his business card. I was, like, talking to him afterwards, and he had, like, a business where it was a detailing service, but just for Lincoln Town cars. <laughs> <laughs> I do, yo, I do not do fucking uh, Escalade. Yeah. Only thing I touch, <laughs> Lincoln Town cars. Dude, that's... Oh, man. That reminds me of when Rollo did Funny Moms. Yeah. 
our Rollo. friend Rollo is our friend. Hilarious, Rollo is one of the comic. funniest comics. And every Rollo boy he's definitely a comics comic. We all like. No, he's a good comic. No, no, I mean like. Back of the room always loves Rollo, you know. Yeah, in fucking shitty alt rooms is what you're talking about, right? In, so he in, did in, he did our shitty alt yeah, show yeah, yeah, in yeah. DC, and you know it's all white people with clenched assholes, and he's just like talking about pink areolas and crushing. <laughs> then again, saying the n word, and like everyone's yeah. just like, oh, we love this, we love this. And he's just like, so he's killing, he's killing, and then like all of a sudden, just midway through his set, he's like. Nah, but seriously though, gay sex is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> how you gonna have sex in a bathroom? Yeah. Dude, he goes, he goes, how the fuck you gonna get raped to death in a bathroom? <laughs> Dying of AIDS and shit. And then you could just hear a pin drop. Just literally every single like Columbia Heights soft ass like white DC, you know, like works at the, you know, fucking some NGO and like yeah, just silence, and then the back of the room, like all the comments dying, are just dude. dying. Yeah, he's he's nah, really but funny. Gay sex is gross. <laughs> gay sex nah, is but like gross. seriously though, no, gay sex is disgusting. <laughs> 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 just like wow, yeah. how are you gonna go there, Doc? <laughs> the just read the room. I'm trying to I used to do his rooms, and just get absolute. You, well, you gave me the best advice. Like, whenever I'd work a black room in dc mm-hmm. i just like they say n- coming up next to the stage adam freeland and then just like there always be a drunk woman in the stage i'd just be like oh he looked like harry potter yeah. right <laughs> and then like everyone started laughing and stuff and i just i didn't know what to do and i'd feel like really like intimidated and stuff and the stop was just like yo if anyone makes fun of you just tell them that they have a tight shirt <laughs> yeah 100 yeah. percent like, <laughs> crushes every time crushes every time <laughs> Tight this Look guy's his little shirt, ass is. shirt. <laughs> yeah. little ass shirt. <laughs> also, when gays say they have a little ass shirt, yeah, I would always like make fun of Rollo for being dark skinned. Everyone loved yeah. that shit. Oh man, Rollo hates the Warriors because they're too light skinned. That's so funny. Yeah, he's anti light skinned people. I love it. He's yeah. <laughs> such a stand to take. I love it. Well, uh, he is pretty dark. He's as dark as the fuck. Yeah, dude, he's dark as hell. It's a stage name. Rollo? Rollo what Boykins. are we talk what are we telling people this for? Yeah. That's what he used to order pizzas under when he was at Howard. <laughs> That's the Genesis. Why do you need a name to order pizzas? He used to tell the pizza guy Rollo Boykins. Interesting. <laughs> My friend went to GW and he had this fat piece of shit roommate, this like a, like a Paci- Asian Pacific what are they called? Pacific Islander. A- APA whatever the name they Asian have. Pacific Islander. Yeah, Asian Pacific Psych- Islander yeah. or whatever. He uh, was Samoan. T- yeah, he was like like One of the uh, rocks island Chinese. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was spam Chinese. Yeah, he was shrimp Chinese. So <laughs> he goes, he like uh, he was this big fat kid, but he was Catholic. And I remember one time I like crashed in their like dorm or whatever, and he was out of town, and he had a. He had a crush on, uh, was it Rachel Adams is the actress? Rachel McAdams. McAdams. Rachel McAdams. Yeah, yeah. And so above his bed, he had a poster of The Notebook on the ceiling, oh. <laughs> which is like, that's not the movie you beat off. To. <laughs> yeah, you, know, yeah. you don't have a crush on that actress. You know what I mean? Like, dude, the woman where she's in love. <laughs> and that kid, so he's real fat. And uh, I remember, like, my friend was telling me, so for Lent, he, like, gave up pizza. Oh, and yeah. like the de- first day of Lent, they're ordering from like Manny and Olga's or whatever, and they're like, uh, "Yo, Jesse, do you want anything?" And he was like, uh, "Yeah, let me get a calzone." <laughs> 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 and he's like, "No, it's not a pizza." <laughs> Holy fuck. I love I, I love people who follow really strict religions and then they're just like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna fool God. Like the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Hasids. Like we yeah. I'm from Chicago and there's like just we gave Hasids an entire neighborhood, Rogers Park. Oh yeah, yeah. And half the people in Rogers Park are Shabbos Goys and Oh yeah. Yeah, and I always thought that was weird. Like oh you like a that they didn't update the rules to be like oh yeah pressing an elevator button is work we've decided yeah, that yeah, for yeah. some reason but we're gonna get around that by like hiring a Mexican kid at Birchwood in California to oh press the button for Wait, it's like really? why do they do that's it that's what then? they do that's how they do yeah it. yeah they do that shit here yeah. that's when incredible on Pride last year did I mention this I mentioned I said was this there on. a Chabad float at Pride I don't well, think you said it on the podcast. I, I don't know if I said it on the podcast but last year at Pride I was walking home and I walked through Pride and there's a protest there's a counter Pride protest and at the first it looks protest? like they're well yeah protest? at first it looks like they're Hasids and I get closer and they're Mexican guys. <laughs> 
wearing the outfits <laughs> and they're holding signs and they're these like you know tired you know that like five foot one guatemalan type yeah. where you can tell underneath the hat he's got like a faux hawk uh yeah. like those guys i was like what the fuck is this this looks like his just hired day laborers to <laughs> protest pride <laughs> And it didn't, like, make sense. It was just too absurd to make sense. Right. And then the next day, I saw in, like, the New York Daily News or something that, uh, yeah, Hasid's hired day laborers <laughs> That's incredible. to go protest Pride. I guess it was, you know, because it was Shabbos or something, or <laughs> they, so couldn't, they couldn't be there, <gasps> or they just didn't want to go themselves, so yeah, they hired God. day laborers to dress up like them and protest. I, I did the opposite of that when I was a kid. There is a like you had sex with day laborers. <laughs> 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 yeah, there is like a Puerto Rican Day Parade Pride or Puerto Rican Day Parade in Chicago or yeah, like yeah. some type of Latina parade. And like my mom knew the person who was organizing it, but for whatever reason they couldn't locate Latino children to do it. <laughs> and I was eight and I was like I was way darker as a kid. <laughs> uh, I'm glad really things worked out for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it was a scare for a moment. You prayed yeah. every yeah. day. Yeah, thank God. Uh, but I bleached like yeah. one of the <laughs> reggae singers. Yeah. But uh, give me the asshole kind. <laughs> <laughs> I need the extra strong asshole kind. <laughs> but my my best friend was Greek, and we were like really yeah. dark, and. They paid us twenty dollars each to lead the parade <laughs> down Lake Shore Drive. <laughs> like we Carly can't trust Latino kids. children. Yeah, yeah they're too just, fiery. They'll just run off. A with soccer their... game might break out if we let them lead it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some real race science. They're like the the Jewish and Greek brain has the European <laughs> order gene That's that right. could carry the sign without straying. <laughs> oh my god! Did you did you see where? Uh, uh, I guess I, we said we weren't going to talk about him anymore, but Cockfield. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Nick, please stop. <laughs> uh, fuck Adam, go ahead. Right. Yeah, <laughs> were, you were re using his real name. <laughs> <now. Anyway. laughs> well, we killed off the other guy. I don't want to do a cruel impression any anymore, but I do want to make fun of. He got, <laughs> he got, uh, he got. He's like, my girlfriend got twenty three and me. You just said you don't want to do. I don't want to do a cruel <laughs> impression. You're addicted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing an accurate impression. My girlfriend got me 23 and me results for my birthday. Oh, I did see that. It's yeah, so yeah. And so he's like 96% uh, like British and Irish yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, he's like 4% African. So he's like, here's the results, everybody. I'm 1% African, 4%, no, no, 1% Pacific Islander, 4% African, 95% uh, who cares? Oh. So he was And very, also, those, see, by the way, are like, that's the... That's within the margin of error. Yeah, that four yeah. percent. Like I was like I was like six percent Jewish or something, and it's like, it's no, totally not. Jewish. I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. Stav it's immediately got on the phone and said, "What's yeah. going on with this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Margin Jewish. of error. It's the margin I of error." I want my sir. money back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? There's a thing on PBS where Henry Louis Gates was doing like. Uh, ancestry tests for famous I black saw that. people. I saw that. And Oprah like was like sitting there. She's like, I talked to my spirits, and I know I am a Zulu. I am a Zulu warrior. I have Zulu warrior blood. And uh, they were like, no, you're Ghanaian like every other black person in America. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah South Africa was not part of the like the triangle like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> slavery. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, Oprah? It was so funny. Do you Quincy Jones was like more white than black i think too like was just, it yeah, 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 yeah i immediately burned every album he produced after that yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like no way buddy <laughs> what were you gonna say nick uh do you follow like i i found them through haywood but one of those like um like pan-african uh facebook oh, groups oh yeah i remember uh, those yeah. yeah there was one i because like 90 percent of the things they share it's like be proud of your c culture be proud of your heritage and it's like you know like a positive, like affirming stuff, and then five percent of them like there's nothing wrong with female genital mutilation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, they shared one meme that was like uh, Europeans didn't bathe before they discovered Africans or something. Yeah. It was like they learned bathing from <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was like, <laughs> going into water. Like yeah. you think yeah. that didn't come up at some point? Oh <laughs> my god! Yeah, no, there's like a bunch of sites like that that claim basically every single invention. 
was actually made in Africa, like <laughs> you know, three thousand years ago. Who are those rat? Like, who are those like uh, the black Israelites? Black, black Israelites, like yeah. outside the gallery so place good. metro. Yeah, station. yeah, they're yeah. great. They're, they yeah. so they think that uh, white people were created by an evil scientist named uh, Yakob. That, yeah. that invented white people in his lab by accident. <laughs> Wait a second. Well, that, that differ like the Nation of Islam version. <laughs> nation of Islam follows the same shit where the evil scientist, Yakub like, used germs from Wait. black people to create white people. <laughs> but in the black Israelite version, he does it by accident. It's like yeah. the nutty professor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what buddy love? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> which is funny because they all look like the clumps. Yeah. <laughs> all of those guys. Look at these. Uh, there was so wait. This is true. Like the the there's a scientist. It's like a that's what they believe. Yeah, Holy shit. they they really believe that. Yeah, scientists. And the Nation of Islam. Nation of Islam too? believes some like really cool shit. Like oh, they. Man. What's Farrakhan? Is he like still acting? Like yeah, dude, he's still doing his thing. He's, I saw uh, a video with him and Young Thug, and it was like really powerful. Actually, really? <laughs> yeah, Young Thug was like, it's so amazing to meet you. Farrakhan he's, like, would really like you. Yeah. Yeah. He'd love me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> would be like, what's, <laughs> what's with the bow ties? What What's the deal with the bow ties? They look pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, but there's got to be a reason to I wear. I actually don't know. I know like most of the Nation of Islam stuff because it's big in Chicago. Like they eat navy mm. bean pies because that's supposed to make you live till 150. Hell yeah. But the bow ties is probably something so like probably like Wa like Walid Muhammad or someone was like, I think they look good. Right. And then. Like usually, there's a reason for shit. Like you notice that no Iranians wear neckties, and they mm. because they think ties are a symbol of Western imperialism. Oh, really? Yeah, but I thought I, it was they just like showing off chest hair. <laughs> yeah, well, that yeah, we have the same and reason. Me and the Iranians. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I actually I think the bow tie like the founder wore them or something. Everything else has like a cool reason behind it. Like the nine thousand years ago, some guy invented white people or a spaceship showed up with so the bow ties. Awesome. They're like, ah, oh, we just like them. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. swag. Yeah, cool. That's like I was they trying. To, good. I was reading. Do you know the uh, the story with the Hasids? Why they dress like that? Well, basically, they when when the Jews like left the pale of se like settlement, like in Eastern Europe, that was like. That was like Eastern Europe style, and then once they left, they basically stopped evolving their style. So they yeah. just kept mm. dressing like that. So everyone dressed like that at some point. Well, in their particular yeshivas, right? Oh, so okay. like that's one yeshiva had like the circle hats. One yeshiva had like you know pay as one you know. Did I tell that story on the podcast about that guy at that Halloween party? I think you did. <laughs> that we were at. Wait, no. Remember what? that guy at that Halloween party <laughs> we were at? But was, didn't you tell us on the podcast? I, I don't, don't think you did. I don't Not remember. when I was there. Yeah, we were at that Halloween party with those giant M and M's. We were listening to uh, Fleetwood Mac. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when we uh, we met up with Tommy, and then he was in the bathroom for like four and a half hours. Oh yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever? Uh, do you have a blow guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh holy shit. That, we were trying to so, find oh my god, dude. That, that's so, <laughs> so funny. funny. <laughs> this is a completely separate story. But I was. We were trying to find coke. And uh, I went up to uh, to our friend Tommy, my friend Tommy, and he's sitting there. And I was like, "Hey, do you got a blow guy?" And I said that to him, and it was like kind of loud where we at. So he like reflects for a half second. He's like, "Nah, but I fucked a tranny once." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Did, Did you I ask? ever blow a guy?" Yeah, he's yeah. like, "You asked me if I ever blew a guy." And I was like, "No." I said, "Do you have a blow guy?" But like, why is that your response? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> On the spectrum of gay stuff, that is closer to being gay than being straight. I guess. Yeah, he's I, no. He told a great story about like following this, uh, this after a show in Philly. Yeah, yeah. He like bought a prostitute or whatever, and she was like blowing him. And then uh, I thought he just met a woman at Helium. And no, no, no. Bathroom. I think he like bought a prostitute, or that's what the story is. And then he like he's like, oh, I, it's his story to tell, so yeah. I don't want to tell it. He's got a career now, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, his name. but yeah, no, that was a funny interaction. But no, the guy at the party. At the Halloween party, when he's talking about those big circular hats that the Hasids wear, and he's like, uh, "Those Ottomans, yeah, the yeah, those like big Ottomans, the big IKEA Ottomans." <laughs> yeah. And he's got, he's like, uh, "Yeah, dude, uh, one of my friends actually, he got one of those." And I was like, "What do you mean?" He was like, "You know, he's riding his bike, and he managed to like get, get one." And I was like, "What do you mean he stole it?" it? Like yeah. Six yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, he got arrested for like you know grand larceny or something because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he got they caught him because like you can't just be the guy wearing the that. one guy." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you seen and then a fucking Shine? odd future shirt. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Shine, the rapper that got arrested with Diddy? Yep. Yeah, yeah. He's a Hasidic Jew now, and he's like wearing a stri. It's called a strimal. Yeah. He's oh, like that's yeah, one. that's yeah, what they're yeah, called. Yeah. He like they decided cost six thousand dollars. Yeah, dude, they're super expensive. Yeah, they're it's super like otter fur. That's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know where you get otters. 
Um, it's like young boy. It's, it's actually or? young boy. Well, Sav's more thing. of a bear, but yeah. Uh, uh, well, he's got uh, like a yeah. cub thing because he's hairless. He's so a cub. I'm a cub. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's more walrus because a cub. cub. Cub is like cub. A, cub is you. like a small, a small but still hairy bear type. <laughs> if you're large and hairless, it's walrus. I'm I not think. a walrus. Or manatee. I'm a cub. I'm cubs are cuter. I don't know. I would go walrus. They have a. There's no way I don't they have. have a, they they need more animals. I don't like, have a tusk. I mean, no, not, this, this is like a body acceptance thing. Yeah, yeah you're right. People aren't just bears or cubs. <laughs> yeah, Gays are the go. original body acceptance people. Absolutely. They, they'll fetishize anything. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. You may. I've already. There's that stereotype like, oh, all gay guys are in shape, and it's like, no, just the ones you secretly jack off to. <laughs> <laughs> just the ones in your movies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My friend, there was this dude in college that was like. His whole persona was he was a total alpha. Hell he yeah. was like a Long Island, Nassau County Jewish, like fucking blowout, uh, yeah. like f- uh, looked like a Jersey Shore Guido. Mm-hmm. And my friend, uh, my fr- it was always strange because he had a Leonidas from Hell yeah. 300 poster of just this jacked ass Gerard Butler, like yeah. six feet tall in his bedroom. Nice. We were like, why does. Why does Brian have that in his room? Dude, and then my my dude. friend, for some reason, who was his roommate, like took his laptop to go on Pornhub, and then like saw the last ten searches. It was like guy kisses guy for first time. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, totally fucking closeted. I, straight guy, guy fucks <laughs> straight guy. <laughs> <laughs> I Two do straight love that. guys fuck. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what all like motivation shit is. Like oh, whenever yeah, you yeah. go to YouTube and it's like motivation of Phil Heath. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like no, that's just like people are jacking off to that. Yeah, Your closet oh, for case. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. I mean, like I watch, I wa- I obsessively watch MMA and have for years, and like it's oh, the big thing is like watch the weigh-ins where they like get naked and almost like get so close to each other they kiss each other. So yeah. and you're like, oh, dude, I can't wait. Uh, you yeah. said you said weigh-in, and I thought you said weigh-ins, like the weigh-in <laughs> brothers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when the weigh-ins brothers yeah, yeah. come yeah. down to the octagon. Keenan Ivory, <laughs> Damien, yeah. Damien. How many are there? Those, There's like seven some of those of guys are definitely gay, by the way. Of the Wayans brothers? by law of so averages. Sure. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. They're so homophobic. Of the Wayans brothers? Damon uh, Wayans is so homophobic. How about this, guys? Norm talk about shit this? about him? The about Gaines Keenan brothers. Ivory. No. Norm, Norm was... Uh, or Jezelnik. Jezelnik was By the way, Nick, shit. great. Gaines Thanks, man. brothers. Thank really you. Good. Uh, sorry, I wanted to get yeah. that one in there before... <laughs> yeah. I missed it. Sorry, I was talking about I said Gaines brothers. Oh, that's good. They are going to be feeling that one in the morning. That's a switch. That's a switch. What were you saying? The Norm? Jezelnik was just saying that, like... Keenan Ivory Wayans, when he was a judge on Last Comic, was the absolute biggest piece of shit. Of course, dude. That he's like ever worked with. I could see that. He's like, I, he, I've never hated anyone in comedy more than. All right, I just talk shit about someone's <laughs> <laughs> second hand. Yeah, yeah. So if you have a problem, uh, Keenan Ivory, you can come on the pod. <laughs> yeah, we'll squash it. Yeah, we're big. Uh, we're we're big squashers. Big, what, uh, what happened to Simon from Cullen. American Idol? What's he doing now? He went on another one. Oh, he fucked on someone's. One? He fucked someone's wife or something. Fuck like. He stole like his friend's wife or something. He's one of those like Simon. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because you know you like just assume most British guys are gay. (laughs) Yeah, of course. And then uh, they're like actually cool, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Like a cool alpha type. Well, Satham, not gay. Well, of course, be honest, guys. Of course not. I mean, that's why they brought him to America. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're waiting for a (laughs) non-gay British (laughs) man. Yeah, they should make a Statham movie where he solves Brexit with karate. We're gonna bring the country back together. <laughs> I'm <Are> bold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm bold. I'm I don't bold. have any air. I and got I don't no air. <laughs> I bold. hate Chinese and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. I'm, I'm gay. racist. <laughs> I hate Chinese and I got no air. What was the genesis of that? The fuck we were doing? We were just walking around Greenpoint. Oh, okay. <laughs> How we doing? Oh yeah, I, we're out of time. We're done. Yeah, uh, we we've, we've filled our contractual obligation to the people that. Donated uh, ninety seven dollars. Is that what we're pulling Keep in? Yeah. Yo, Keep shout out, money. shout out to my friend Max, who's a listener, who's buying us the track suits. Uh, yeah, That's Max, thank you for the track suits. We're getting come. We'll suck you off, Max. Suits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't agree. Stav will suck you off. Adam will suck you off, man. You guys, you just got off. the shout out, the podcast shout out. Yeah, this is big. Um, and then uh, thank you, Felix, for joining Felix. us. My thank pleasure. You very much. Uh, his Thanks presence alone on that. We got two big gets for this one, That's guys. Good. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of people are gonna listen to this, seeing the names. 
expecting are we gonna uh, do well most people are not gonna make it to the first half. are we gonna go on yeah, most probably. people are, are going we gonna to make are we gonna do uh chopo mashup we would love to have you guys on chopo yeah. i've been wanna, practicing my slava zizek impression uh, will does a great impression of you uh, of me <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> what what does it sound like uh, i mean it sounds like you i don't oh, know okay. i can't do it it I sounds like really adam. gay and like a, yeah. a bitch <laughs> he's like oh i'm adam i'm fuck i'm a bitch i mean like you shouldn't say that so much shabbat shalom boys Shabbat I fuck with Chinese girls. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever counted? Where are the shekel prostitutes? Twenty-five dollars. I can't pass that. Oh up. boy, that's too much. <laughs> I'm only capable of doing Dickfield. Me and Stav are joking, like, but it's so like I I, I don't want to do this the sound effects or whatever, so I'm not actually gonna do it. But like. Like there's like lightning or something and a portal opens. And no, then... dude, save it. We gotta do this. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it. All right. Little well, teaser, okay. guys. Yeah. Ooh. You're gonna uh, really That's like a little it. behind the scenes. This is what happens when you go past the fucking forty minute mark on the second half. Hell yeah. We start breaking the fourth wall. <coughs> it's been a fun know? one. But uh, yeah, it was a good one, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, well, I don't know. We don't have anything planned. Yeah. We'll no. Uh, we should we should do that mashup though. For sure. We yeah. Wanna, we would love. We would fucking love to do that. We're, we're tr- we want to do. We want nice. to use. Uh, t- Bobby's about, in Aruba, so yeah. When Bobby back, Bobby I'll Kelly might let us use his studio to Ooh. do that. I'll talk to him. Which about is it. like uh, it's sort of like a second rate Anthony Camilla studio. <laughs> it's above. <laughs> Matt <laughs> Matt, if you are hey, listening, buy a fucking plane ticket. Do not talk shit on Matt up here. Studios. Matt doesn't live here no matt lives in cleveland but oh, wow. he can just come out he came they, up for the live show yeah, so. yeah they can nice. skype him in too yeah. i mean they got totally. they got this indian kid there that knows how all the computers work <laughs> yeah. oh and if you're in new york we have a live show in the works for august Ooh. Just so you know, come oh yeah through. and i want to I, I do yeah. if you guys uh are cool with it i want to plug the chapo live show please of course on please. uh july 28th in philadelphia at everybody hits and yes b- due to the name it is a group sex event. We are running a train, <laughs> running the cell on these thighs. Hell yeah, bro! Well, we Hell got yeah. we got the venue that we're doing is Come On Everybody for Come Town. So Ooh. Yeah. is that the name of the venue? It's Come On Everybody, but it, for us, it's Come On. Oh everybody. yeah, yeah, I that's perfect. It. I love it, dude. Well, uh, we saved that one. We saved. Yeah, that the was episode. great. This was really fun. Yeah, thank I'm yeah, pretty th- funny. Th- thanks everybody. Thanks great. for getting jerked Bye. off, Adam. <laughs> <laughs>
Why do you always do that? <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think it was recording. It w- was. I told you we were gonna start, and then well, you intentionally you know, fucked it up. There's no reason to keep to do this. It you doesn't matter. Started. It's a style of podcast. You're gonna to start before you say you're starting. <clears throat> they it's do cool. that on a bunch of. It's like in music. I it's, think it's great. I think it's really professional. <laughs> yeah. It's like when they yeah. do the like yeah ah. Uh. Exactly. What if you started your yeah, podcast? Yeah, I'm, doing, uh-huh. I'm doing podcast uh-huh. ad libs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. Uh, ooh. Uh-huh. What's Stop your favorite? Uh, what's band. your favorite ad lib of all time on My a rap favorite song? Favorite ad lib of all time. Jeez. Um, the three n words from uh, uh, Trinidad, Trinidad James. Trinidad James. That's pretty good. Yeah. Triple, triple all gold. Everything. Triple n word. Uh, recently, I've really well. My favorite one recently. Did we talk about this on the podcast? Where it was like the Travis Scott. Uh, Ad lib where it was just oh, like it was it fun. was fun <laughs> <laughs> at a party on a Sunday I think it was and then it, like, was it was fun yeah <laughs> it's like that's not even I like barely. I like Gucci Mane uh, freaky girl where he's like she's a very freaky girl don't take home to mama and then in the back he's just mama mama <laughs> yeah mama <laughs> Um, that's a good, a good one. one who does sheesh these days sheesh that's sheesh. a big one that's yeah. on a lot of songs. So that's a little. I'm sure we're forgetting some great Dipset ones. Oh, the best. Um, anyway, would you like to start now, Nick? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Kurt Metzger couldn't do. It. Kurt Metzger wanted to do it. He said Tuesday. He said let's do Tuesday, and then I hit him up, and he's like, "No, I have to work, and then I have spots." <laughs> so, okay. I'm very similar to Kurt Metzger. Yeah, basically the same of, like, vibe. We have movies. Amber Frost. Mm-hmm. Of uh, very similar to Kurt Masker. So yeah. if you know Kurt's credits, they're basically the same. <laughs> I read about uh, writer for Amy Marxist Schumer. feminist economics. So it's like, <laughs> like we're colleagues basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she she also doesn't like Sadie Doyle. So it's, I also yeah. don't like Sadie Doyle. Yes, yeah. we're also like mortal enemies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's that's really the you know. The main similarity, but the most important one, I feel. I think so, yeah. Um, I also pay rent to Amber, so yeah. now the we guests are, are just are whoever rich. is in my apartment. Yeah. This I is in lieu of paying rent. You're having her on the pod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's getting that, this bump, the come town bump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be seeing uh, lots of uh, Patreon donations after this one. Your old landlords didn't get a lot of burn on the podcast. I think that would have actually helped. Uh, yeah, we should have had them on. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been. Do you want me to like move my cat? Well, the cat's fucking with all the gear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cat loves gear, dude. He's uh, yeah. You should take him to B and H and watch all of those seeds like <laughs> die of anaphylactic shock. <laughs> as as oh no! <laughs> uh, breathe, I can't much. <laughs> Are you doing okay, Adam? I'm good, dude. I'm about to be a a foster parent. And potentially a full parent. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna start calling yourself a dog mom? <laughs> yeah, dog mom. It's your fur baby. Hillary dog mom. <laughs> <laughs> Hill, <I'm laughs> Hill dog mom. Hill dog mom. Uh, yeah, I'm adopting this dog from two blocks away f- from here on Malcolm X and Green Avenue. Who is? Uh, <laughs> oh, that's very close. Yeah, she's a bedside dog. Mm-hmm. That's why she's a Brooklyn. Bedside bed. do or She's die. a Brooklyn dog. <laughs> why is that a fucking? pertinent piece of information i think that's cool it's just very oh close my to God. us yeah it's <laughs> close to where we are now and i think it's cool that it's a brooklyn dog it's, it's cool that it's a brooklyn it's dog just, i might not be a brooklyn guy means, but i got a brooklyn <laughs> dog that means dog. pit bull all yeah. the all the dogs here are pit bulls yeah. or yeah. or it's rock a, it's a pit bull <laughs> 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 rock <Rottweilers. laughs> you know do you know what my cat's favorite uh band is what is it? Adam? DMX, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously the best. Tell us, tell, uh, tell uh, Stav the name of the dog. Do you know the name of my? Is it Isis? It's Isis. Yeah. yeah. Well, he already told you. Yeah, the breeder yeah. named the dog no, I guess, Isis. I guess Isis. Yeah. <laughs> is it Boko Haram? Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is uh, this like? like- a Twitter person that you bought this, yeah. like yeah. their puppy named it's, Harambe. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's so irony, boy, to have obviously a terrorist dog, but uh, you can't name that fucking dog. ISIS, no, it's dude. just a guy that's. Yeah, from, I don't think you can yell that across the dog park. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I was. Uh, that's what I encountered on our first walk, but. Uh, <laughs> but also, you don't know the dog might like take it to heart and then decide that. Your yeah, yeah. Real problem. I, she wants to reestablish the caliphate. <laughs> I got friends that they got a dog, um, 
and they named it Strayvon Barksdale after. <laughs> first of all, any kind of dog pun name or cat pun the name, worst. You, you're an idiot. Avon right? Barksdale isn't bad, but not Strayvon. Well, it was a stray dog, so yeah, it was yeah, like uh-huh. stray. I mean, yeah, Avon Barksdale already works, so you don't yeah, need you to. Yeah, you get it exactly. Well, they changed the dog's name to the dog's name was Strayvon Barksdale, mm-hmm. and then like two weeks later, the George Zimmerman thing happened. So the dog's name is Strayvon, oh, no. and it's just like black oh, lab mutt God. or whatever. It's called something then, else. It doesn't know. Yeah. yeah, well, then you can't bring that dog to the dog park. <laughs> yeah. If I had a dog, he'd look like Strayvon. Oh, come oh, on, man. Man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm quitting the podcast. What would be a good Obama dog name? Bo. Oh, Bo. No, it has to be like as bad as Obungler. <laughs> Obanjo, Obingo, O B I N G O, Doc Obanion. That's what my little brother calls Obama. Obanion. Yeah, not bad. That does, that's bad. <laughs> did, you, <laughs> did you know that Michelle's middle the name? The insult is that he's Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck Irish people, right? Yeah. You know Michelle's middle name is also Hussein Obama. <laughs> did you know that? Michelle Hussein Obama. What was her first name? Or her maiden? Do you know? It's Hussein. Uh, Michelle Hussein, Hussein, Obama Hussein. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they got married. They were they bonded over that. It's having a middle name that was Hussein in all capital letters. <laughs> they were the cousins. They were cousins like the Roosevelts. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, fucking- Remember Hillary Clinton said she was like had wet dreams about Eleanor Roosevelt. Like in the nineties, everyone was like shitting on her she, about it. She is Eleanor, dude. She's Eleanor for a new generation. Uh, I guess so. She said she had wet dreams. I don't think wet it. dreams. Yeah, I don't think Hillary Clinton <laughs> said. No, she didn't. Yeah. <laughs> when I masturbate, I can tell ya. There's one thing I masturbate to. It's- <laughs> Um, FDR fucked, by the way, so much. Yeah, well, in the wheelchair? So did Eleanor. That's why he was Ladies. in the wheelchair. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she was gay. Yeah. Eleanor was sucking and fucking all over town? She, yeah, she got around. She had a, she had a gal pal. That's the, awesome. The she had a huma. are, like, very... She had a guma. Very sweet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> guma. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Just one, or do you... Th- does it, this is, I, I, I think it was, like, a long-term... Thing. There's a lot of people who sort of deny it. They're like, well, they could just be like really good yeah, friends. Right. And it's like, bitch. Not like, with that. Come on. Yeah. You, you read the letters, there's clearly like, I want to hold you. I want to like. Right, right, that's, right. That's some serious lesbian poetry going totally. on. Eleanor had as, she as had lesbian a gale. face as you could have, I think. <laughs> If you look back, I don't remember what she looks like. She looks like a very shit, handsome dude. woman, dude. Oh, <laughs> Susan, <laughs> Susan B. Anthony, Eleanor she Roosevelt, not, Elizabeth Cady Stanton. She was not she a was, looker. She was more of a butch. Well, they all become. They're all like. She I just like think Sean of. A, I see a coin in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I think of them, I think she looks like Sean Penn with a wig on. I think that's that's what I would say. Sean really? Penn doesn't okay. work as any gender. Yeah, yeah. He's got a hatchet that's face. that's what I have in my face in my head anyway. I don't know if that's accurate at all. Yeah. Well, the bottom half of his mouth is very small, Sean Penn. I didn't know that. That's what makes his face look weird, I feel. Mm. Like he's got like a small, it's like his nose, and then from the bottom of his nose to his jaw, there's not much space. <laughs> I never, no, never you're right. No, he looks yeah. like the guy that they would trot out for like Dare, who like did chew and had to get like part of his <laughs> yeah, yeah, lower yeah. jaw removed, <laughs> and they're like, don't do school kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's Sean Penn. Yeah. Like, uh, did you ever see, uh, I mean, I'm sure everyone saw, uh, Ebert before. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah, talked yeah. about this on the pod. Did yeah. we? Yeah. We talked about Ebert. I don't know if we on talked the pod, about it. We, we didn't talk, talk about, about how bad he looked. He, he looked like a couple of face. topics. Look, the important thing with podcasting is you only cover a couple of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta Robbie, have brand Ebert. Consistency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His face was fucked up as hell. Yeah, and that poor motherfucker bad, almost had a. Did we? Didn't we talk? Yeah, about this? yeah, oh, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. That his his body rejected, rejected the, the jaw. jaw. Yeah. yeah. What a so sad. Just shit deal. Yeah. Imagine having to fuck that dude like with that weird. Chaz did it, dude. Face. Yeah. She she, think grit, she a lot of doggy. You think? You think she's looking at him in the eye? <laughs> oh god. She's got to be. <laughs> she can't be looking at him, right? That'd be terrible. Nick, your thoughts? <laughs> on who? <laughs> Fucking Ebert. Fucking Roger Ebert. The wife? His wife? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know his wife's name. Chaz. Chaz. Ch- it's the black lady. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, no, it's Sonny and Sherry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yeah, no, I don't know anything about her. Yeah, no, they seem to a have a very uh, mutually supportive and loving relationship. Yeah, it was really beautiful. You guys should see that documentary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't. I saw that one interview, the first like interview he did with her when they gave him. He's like, uh, like I'm trying out my new voice or whatever. But yeah, it's, all it is is just like the Mac. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. Text the to Mac speech talk. program. We've definitely um, talked we about did. this. We did. We talked about this. Because yeah. I, remember, I remember wanting to bring up... You can just skip this. I remember wanting to bring up uh, George Lucas's uh, fucking... It's like, you know what it is? It's fu- It's like 110 degrees, and I can't... Uh, I'm having trouble thinking. Really? Let's talk about the Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess we should Let's talk about, about that. that. <laughs> Anytime someone asks me about... Or says... So, I'm on a group text with some friends... And they keep talking about Pokemon. I'm like, guys, I'm I'm just focusing on Black Lives Matters right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have like, no, did you read about the like the Holocaust Museum? Oh, it's yeah. so good. And people yeah. are going in to there's, catch Pokemon. There's nothing but meowths there. Just with the uh, gold. Oh, I mean, doesn't <laughs> like the kind of halfway get <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, when the pu- pulls there, that thing is gold good. coins. Uh, was that a <laughs> was that a mouse reference? No, no, no. Uh, Meowth. Oh, that's what yeah. I thought it was. No, no, no. Was... Meowth is the Pokemon who hoards gold coins. Oh, oh. 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 I thought it was oh. anti-Semitic. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Famous graphic. You know, it's novel. funny. There's like <laughs> I thought he was making a literary. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> that, no. Although I did have to read that in high they've, school. They've they've released like 50 new Pokemon a year since like 1995. So there's probably a fucking Pokemon now that's like um the Auschwitz victim because they ran out. Of shit. Some of them, some of them yeah, got like you really run out crazy. Of, like shapes and things yeah. to do. After a while, I wonder if they just start accidentally like inventing actual animals that exist in like Australia. And, like, yeah. That's already well, one thing. of them. I mean, they did that with like the first round of them because one of them is just a fucking cat. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. or like a rat. But there's one that's just Rat-a-tat. like a set of keys. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, they like ran out of like Pokemon. There's one of them so just like, the 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 That's so yeah. phoning it in. I respect yeah. whoever did that. Yeah, no. My friend's mom named the the Pokemon. We talked about this too. Did we? I think so. No, I think we yeah, talked we about it on the episode. Oh, we did. Yeah, we talked about we the one that we deleted. Of. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lost episode. The lost which, ep. which in comparison now, it looks like it would have been fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think our standards it at that point were apart. so much higher. Gotten, yeah, we were like, yeah. we didn't do any jokes. Uh, <laughs> at one point, Adam didn't know what was going on, so we have to delete that one. <laughs> we should, yeah, we should release it, see what happens sometime. Yeah. Um, no, we talked about that. We're going to release it as For a Stavis, premium, a no, premium episode. For Stavis Golden Angels, $100,000. <laughs> if, you, if you donate $100,000, you can be one of Stavis Golden Angels, and you get... <laughs> A DVD rip of that episode. And a pair of uh, underpants that Sav wore on a very hot day. In New York I City. literally will do that. If you, <laughs> donate, if you donate $3, <laughs> yeah. you the cost of the underwear. A, a secret recording of me using all of the slurs, both Dog the Bounty Hunter <laughs> and Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan used. Hogan, in yeah. case you ever want to blackmail me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have that. It's the special blackmail package. So yeah, donate. Um, but did, uh, d- there's one I remember... I know there's one Pokemon that's uh, it's just like a woman in blackface. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it yeah, also oh, like no, I heard about that, and I think that the name in Japanese is like uh, it's racist. I'm sure it's racist. Yeah. I'm sure it's the N word five times, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the character yeah. for the N word is. Fuck, what was that one called? Jinx. It was something like it was, it was Jinx. Jinx. Yeah, right. I, I posted it on Twitter the other day. <laughs> See, the problem is like I want to talk about Pokemon Go, but I've already like. Did all the jokes I could uh, do whatever. online. People like to hear it out of your yeah. day. They want to yeah, hear yeah, me yeah. say the tweets. They do. I, yeah, they <laughs> literally. It's got to be. It's got to be spontaneous. I just go through the I just want to see like <laughs> someone taking a picture of like a crowd of of teens at the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> like that's to me that's kind of beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I remember going on a field trip to the Holocaust Museum in 8th grade and like trying to make my friends laugh with like fart noises. So, <laughs> I really don't think <laughs> well, Pokemon like, Go is the worst thing. I was telling you like this happens like every year some horrible tasteless thing happens and people get really upset. And last year it was actually at Auschwitz and they it was like a record heat wave, so they set up these 
like misters <laughs> for people to cool off. On <laughs> Every, everyone got mad. People yeah, got super mad. Well, because the mist was fucking just, up everyone's iPhones while they were trying to play Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just love how like practical and German that is. Like they never, you know, they never thought twice. They're just like, well, right. just, you know. It's a, it's a really uh, hot summer, and we want to make sure people don't overheat, and there are yeah. a lot of senior citizens. And they we are originally and we were going to give out Hagen Dazs, but everyone <laughs> said that would be uh, well, they rude. Had, they had Danny. like really compact air conditioning chambers that you would get into. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if yeah, that was first. efficient, yeah. Germans would be like, what? It's, just, it's, it's the most efficient way to keep people cool. <laughs> Danny Green from the San Antonio Spurs took a selfie at the Holocaust Memorial in Germany. I sent it to you guys. It was so yeah. awesome. Yeah, Sorry, and it said, uh, how to do it. Or what is it? How to do it one time. How to do it one time. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Holocaust. So he knew it, he knew it was wrong. <laughs> No, I think, I think I think he was, he was like trying death. to play trip, pay tribute in his own way. Yeah, I think he had was to like, do it for like one time for the victims. Nah, because like that, that yeah, girl, yeah. that girl did it before him. There was some girl that took the same exact picture that got in trouble for. Oh it. yeah, some, but like, she 13 was like fourteen. Girl. Yeah, it was some fourteen year old like, girl, and then people online were people like, were so "You mad. fucking despicable cunt! As I'm as gonna fucking rape you." Fourteen year old isn't going to be an idiot. As if they're like not. It's as if they're going to understand, like, mm, I should really be reverent here. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no people child. were really yeah. mad at her. Well, it's, and that's the other thing I don't understand about getting mad about the Pokemon Go at the Holocaust Museum. It's like kids do shitty things. And, like, that is you like know, the definition of like, childhood. yeah, if you if if you had Pokemon Go when you were like 13 and you were brought to the Absolutely. Holocaust Museum, you would be doing it. Absolutely. I mean, like Anne Frank was literally like d- making a diary during the actual Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> How also, the stuff that she was writing you know. about in that diary was just like, I would like to touch some boobs. Yeah, right. <laughs> and they, they edited that out at my. Yeah, high no, I remember that part. America. I remember ag- actually only edition. that part. That's the only <laughs> yeah. part of the book I remember. She got her period. period. Too. But I remember <laughs> us having like it, it getting Never banned it. at my high school, and I was like, "Oh, why?" Because like you know, you don't want kids to yeah. like, they're like, "No, no, no," because it's kind of gay. Yeah. It's kind of oh, gay. Damn. Well, but really though, having a diary in those days was the same as playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I also remember like Justin Bieber saying like she probably would have been a believer, and like yeah, yeah that was that's great. technically <laughs> true. Yeah, like she was wrong. a total teeny bobber. Yeah, yeah. I'm having to like come to terms with the fact that like in the last year or so, like it's at the point now where Justin Bieber could probably kick my ass. Hundred oh, yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. For years, it he was takes, like, like boxing lessons. Yeah, yeah, too, yeah. Like, for years, specifically, yeah. He goes to like the he's ripped and he's yeah. on yeah. Out <laughs> anabolic steroids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's just that's kind of that's not cool. How tall is he? He's probably like he's six, five foot three, six foot. <laughs> he's yeah. Danny DeVito's height. <laughs> yeah, whatever. People whatever are numbers. surprisingly short usually. He's he's one point one DeVito's. <laughs> <laughs> he's half a DeVito. Um, yeah, no, that's you disappointing. You could beat him up, dude. I mean, probably. If you tried, dude, no, you could totally. Yeah, beat well, because yeah, thing. if you like threw broken glass yeah, in his face, he's, or you can't lose that fight. You can't yeah. be the one guy, you know, because like even that's why Orlando uh, Bloom had to beat the shit out of him. Because he's like, this is the one guy under me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. hear about that. Yeah. What I think that? they fought, like, twice. They got into some... There was some they TMZ thing. They each other's girlfriends, I think. Yeah, well, no, there was some <laughs> TMZ thing where they got into an argument in a restaurant, and then it's, like, TMZ, so it's, like, and in the background, like, Leonardo DiCaprio's there, and he's, like, cheering him on, and it's, like, <laughs> what the fuck is going well, no, on Well, no, I heard Hollywood? that Leonardo DiCaprio just stole one of Bieber's, like, girls. It was pretty... pretty that's nice to hear that someone Good for him, man. Good for swipe. the pussy posse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the pussy posse. I love when people... Do you know about the pussy posse? Yeah, Remember? of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love... Uh, Toby, the search- best... <laughs> yeah. no, that's Who's why I know about one? it specifically Toby because McGuire. I was like, really? Toby McGuire? Yeah, yeah. Like, Toby, him. Toby McGuire's got a hog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got a big fat one. He's fucking um, laying pipe, I'll tell you what. Well, I love searching for that on Twitter and seeing who's mad about the pussy posse. Because <laughs> every day... I love seeing, a, like, grown women being upset that yeah. like Leonardo DiCaprio is dating like a 19 year old yeah. <laughs> right. you're like he's basically a pedophile it's like, like well no, no he basically like isn't <laughs> no, that's not that's a clear girl. definition of what and also <laughs> like it's not like if he didn't have millions of dollars people would still be like you know ogling over his bloated old alky yeah, face yeah, at yeah. this point right. like he hasn't aged well right no he's not at puffy. all well yeah. you know what here's 
Here's how, like, uh, how much money and fame he has. That last year they tried to make dad bod a thing. Right. So that people were getting pussy by accident because of Leonardo <laughs> yeah. DiCaprio. I don't think that. I mean, I think... It, People like dad bod. I don't. It, I don't think it fucking caught on the way they thought it would. No, you can't like was, make that happen. Sure. But I think a lot of girls. No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it did not. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of girls though, like suddenly were like, yeah, and kind of into chunky guys, and were like, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. saw a lot of that on Tinder profiles, but my swipes did not. Yeah, but you match got up. you got you like did not baby find bod. purchase. I've, I've got, <laughs> you don't have dad bod. No, I've got dad bod. I've got like like you have newborn the hill newborn insulin bod. problem baby bod. <laughs> Giant baby, baby bod. bod. Yeah. Don't take dad bod from me, Nick. <laughs> you know who else loves dad bod? The comedy industry, guys. Mm. Not a lot of room for. Uh, for the buff, for buff guys like me, <laughs> is this the cross you want to bear? I'm too buff. That's what they said. That's lose, the problem. Those muscles get a little. Yeah, it's like worse than being a woman. In well, Hollywood. I don't know. Yeah. Kevin Hart does all right. Kevin Hart's Jack now. Kevin Hart, yeah. yeah. Well, you oh, can be yeah, jacked. it's weird too. Godfrey's pretty jacked. You can be jacked. What? Yeah. Godfrey's no, jacked. not Gilbert Godfrey. People don't like a uh, Godfrey. Oh, okay, Godfrey, the the black comedian. Yeah, yeah. Makes seven up he's yours. always been jacked. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Like, he played like football or something yeah. in college. Yeah, he was so a D one. Dave player. Chappelle now. is maybe on steroids. Have you seen a picture of him recently? Oh, yeah, I don't insane. Like, suddenly, it's crazy. Someone His head looks on so small. Pounds pounds it's muscle. weird, man. It creeps me out. Insane. Now. The last time I saw. Um, and if you have a problem with that, Dave, come on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we will fight Dave Chappelle on the podcast. Fuck Dave Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. I don't condone Adam's My favorite stance. comedian of all time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Who's your favorite comedian before you started doing comedy? I guess Dave. that's not fair because you started like at what, 25 or something? I started at 24, yeah. 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 Mine was... Why um, is that not fair? Well, because like, you have like discern... I mean, like my favorite comedian before I started doing comedy was Jim Brewer. Oh, you mean like... As a little kid, oh, like as a we, kid before you knew anything. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Chris Rock and uh, and the the music guy. I love that the guy that made the songs, the guitar guy, Stephen Lynch. Stephen Lynch. Oh, no, I'll narrow it down. Mine was I Kevin Eubanks, it. the guitarist from from yeah. Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I liked uh, I, with G Smith, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> the ponytail guy. Yeah. From, from SNL. That's my favorite SNL cast member. <laughs> is G Smith, Alonzo Hamburger Jones, Hamburger. Um, and uh, Earthquake. I loved Actually, Chris Kattan. I watched a really? lot of comic view oh, as yeah. a kid. Wow, that's a deep cut. I loved, yeah. Uh, I thought Chris Kattan was hilarious. First? Chris Kattan, uh, yeah, I loved Night at the Roxbury, dude. I fucking that loved that movie. <laughs> that movie was fucking, hilarious. I know all You're about it. You were the guy it. that saw that? I fucking, be- you know, I made my dad take me to the theaters <laughs> to see it. I wasn't that, I was like, 13 or something like I'll that. I'll do you one better. And I made my father take Ferrell, me to... Will Ferrell, right? Huh? He did those Will Ferrell, Yeah, but right? that's the best part. Like, Will Ferrell was the Will sidekick to Chris Kattan. To, oh, my God. <laughs> it's almost I like a... I never even thought about that. Yeah, it's almost like a funny, like, time capsule moment. It was like, in show business, there was a moment where Chris Kattan was the star. Yeah. And Will Ferrell was just, like, the doofy, like... Yeah, brother. Yeah. And then they have uh, they have Richard Grieco in the movie, yeah. <laughs> and that's the, the joke is supposed to be that he's not famous anymore. I think. Yeah. And then uh, and then like now, where's Chris Kattan? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is he in Is he in that ridiculous Six movie? No, no, he's no. Not. He's not. Friends I don't think with that. that was so fucking bad. That yeah, movie. yeah. Nick and I tried to. Oh, we're really? like, let's get high and watch ridiculous. Oh, I would six. love to do that. This is gonna guys, be hilarious. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's really. It was bad, Adam Sandler being like, "What if we make Blazing Saddles, but it's not funny anymore?" <laughs> and that's. I guess Sandler maybe when I was like, oh Sandler, that was huge. School. His CDs were like Hell yeah, fucking dude. medium pace. So important to me. <laughs> yeah. You know who sucked? The kids that like Dennis Leary. The oh, kids yeah. that oh, like the Dennis worst. Leary CDs. Yeah. There are kids yeah. that like Dennis Leary. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Oh, my nice. like, you know about, yeah, That fucking asshole song. Which, by the way, I think is a Louis bit. Yeah, stole, it's a Louis yeah. bit that he stole, right, and made into a song. But, you know, whatever. I think Louis I recorded on a VCR the Mitch Hedberg Comedy Central special and watched that a lot. Yeah. That oh, was, yeah. What does Dennis Leary do now except pretend to be a firefighter? Sex, drugs, yeah, he's and just, rock and roll. He's on like on nine different like firefighter shows. Acting. He, he's on a rock Sex and, and roll drugs show and rock now. and roll, uh, also starring Robert Kelly. It's a very good show. Uh, <laughs> you guys oh, should yeah, all watch your dad, it. Your dad's uh, best friend. My Larry. father's best friend. Sorry. Yeah. We're, um, uh, we're no, crossing he's the over voice. a bridge and stop. Doesn't want to burn. <laughs> no, oh, that's I'm, right. He's the voice of Ford Trucks. 
and is he? Uh, Ice Age. Oh, he's maybe. A, yeah, he's, he's, Ford. Ford. he's Ford. He's Ford. He's the voice of Isis. And Isis. And Ice Age. He's an Ice Age. Which, there's a new Ice Age. All right. He's doing great. There's Never a mind. Lot, yeah. How much money do you think uh, Tim Allen made off of Toy Story? Oh, I don't. Six don't billion. tell me, please. Forty-five million. Wait, so... He ratted on 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 all the other guys in yeah. Toy Story. On everyone, yeah. else. we're all in jail for child pornography. He ratted. He dropped a Tim, dime. Tim on, Allen was on caught with twenty seven ounces Tom of child Hanks. pornography, <laughs> and he ratted on all the other Toy Story. It was Story all chubble. of the little boy chubble, from chubble, chubble, chubble. 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 Andy. 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 He it paid all... one of the animators to animate Andy. <laughs> Andy. Get, Andy get, <laughs> animate get Andy. Shove it in his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, to infinity and yeah. beyond, bro. <laughs> yeah, and that's what Tim Allen comes to. That's what the, where the noise comes from. The oh, row, 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 row. Uh, that was him being right to jail. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Tim Allen story? Uh, him like getting arrested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got oh, yeah, busted no, I know about for that, how much yeah. coke was it? it was like five hundred. It was. It was, it was a lot. Like dude. It was like twenty-seven. It was like twenty-seven ounces of cocaine. Of cocaine. Yeah. It was like it a, wouldn't last a week with me, but it was yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got that yay, though. <laughs> Don't got white girl? <laughs> yeah, and then he came up with home improvement while in jail. In jail. That's his mind count. That. That's yeah. so great. I love how, like, That's Malcolm a, X came yeah, up with yeah, the political yeah. philosophy of yeah. black liberation, and Tim Allen yeah. came up with home improvement. He's like, what if there was a guy with a beard that I belittle all the time, but he's <laughs> yeah. smarter than me? There's a, there's a neighbor. You, you don't, don't see, see his face. You don't see the bottom of his yeah. face, yeah. <laughs> well, the neighbor, the reason the neighbor's in there, like, why he's always like, you know, well, you know, Tim, the Thessalonians or whatever, while well, he's always like... You know, quoting philosophy or whatever is because uh, Tim Allen was like a philosophy major. So if you read any like interviews oh my God, with him, that makes so much he's like sense. dropping all this fucking like really irrelevant information. To, you know, to try and sound, to smart. sound smart. Yeah. <laughs> so Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Yeah. So that that's made, why no, the, that so that's why the neighbors sense. in there. So you know, <laughs> be, it's like a wink to the audience. Like, hey, I'm not dumb. Yeah, you know? I'm secretly smart. Yeah. But he loves hot rods and pork rinds. Yeah. He loved pork rinds, and then I tried pork rinds. I was a, as a little kid, I was like, "Oh, these must be the best snack ever." And then, like, they suck. They suck, but they're good because they're. Uh, it's all just like protein and fat. I mean, I eat them now because I they're just f- f- fried fat, and that's yeah, like yeah, when yeah. I'm really at rock bottom. I, wanna, <laughs> I just want to like cut the middle line. man out. Yeah. Uh, I eat them now because I'm incredibly depressed. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, my life's bad. But like when I was a little kid, I was, they were gross. You I just remember my grandfather eating them when, girl. He was on, when he was on Atkins. Funyuns are great. Yeah. They hold up. Uh, they do, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what if onions were fun? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, stop. I'm yeah. sold. Holy <laughs> shit, yo. Yo, I'll just blew your mind. Oh my god, yo, that's where the fucking name Funyun come from? <laughs> <laughs> where do you get all your shirts? Stop is um, stop yeah, is the shirt king. I love shirts. The shirt, well, good. Is um, that a like if you wore if, if you wore a shirt in the pool? I would be like, that's probably a style choice. You'd be like the one guy. <laughs> no, you know like, I love to flex. Style thing. You know I love to flex these titties. Yeah, of course. I took pictures of you naked last. <laughs> that's week. right. We were on that roof, way. that beautiful sunset. That was a beautiful sunset. Yeah, <laughs> we got to go back up. And that get sounds one. like a bit we're doing, but it's real. I took a bunch of naked 100%. pictures of Stav on. I do. I I follow Stav on Instagram. Fourth of July. Rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, we got more, guys. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of nudity. At Stavi, baby. What's the next holiday that you're going to do? I don't know. Uh, when Hillary Clinton wins. That's yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. You got a good one for that? <laughs> that's me hanging myself. Because it's the Bro. end of civilization as we know it, guys. One million dead Iraqis. <laughs> one. It's me on a drone <laughs> naked. <It's me> <laughs> <laughs> getting dropped on the fucking... <laughs> on Yemen? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have, they have advertisements in the subway now for, like, your own personal drone. I know, it's fucked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. like a minority report feel to it, where that just seems... It's fucked. Yeah. It's, I mean, I don't think most of it is surveillance, but it's... It has a camera built into it. Really? Ugh. Yeah. yeah it's but even regardless, sports. it's just like, what kind of a dickhead neighbor are you to like Tim live Allen. in an <laughs> urban area and be like, hmm, I'm going to have something fly in these like, right. you know, tight streets where people are walking and trying like with, you know, every bit of energy they have not to murder their neighbors. I would do it if you could attach an air horn to it and <laughs> you know, use it to fuck with people. Dude, well, also, I love they, how this- they have drones. They... Police departments have killed people with drones. Sort of like they killed the guy in Dallas. 
with yeah. the fucking robot. They they have now drones you can fly yeah. into people's heads and kill them with. But I mean, what could what, go just wrong? like bang into them? Yeah, yeah, yeah into it's them. really. Yeah. Yeah. That's they a put real, a brick that, at that that the end of it. Real. It's just no good. <laughs> that shit is real now. Now they didn't have a bomb robot. They had like a bomb. That they disposal robot. I know that they just put a bomb on and drove it up to him. I know. So it's like they that's, repurpose. They repurpose that the thing, but people be... are like, "Oh, well, this is drone strikes." I mean, no, I, I don't understand how how that's any different from actually being able to get a sniper on him and shooting him. It's not like it's a oh, specific yeah. device designed to go fucking bomb people remotely. It was a repurposed thing for one specific event. Police departments have used it's bombs a re- before. It's a repurpose. They got yeah. it on Etsy, actually. It's just yeah, 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 it's just a fucking Tonka truck with a bomb taped onto it. It's yeah. one of those like uh, remote well, control. It might as well oh, have yeah. been. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I mean, I I just don't understand. It's not as ominous as something with like you know that could fly that has like GPS. Capability. Where did the Dallas Police Department get a fucking bomb from, though? Uh, yeah. From the FBI, I guess. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, they use C four. That makes sense. They don't have like a bomb guy. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> like, they're in <laughs> Dallas. They could probably just like look for a guy not wearing a shirt that's yeah. buying a whole bunch of liquid plumber and be that's like, true. hey. Yeah. I want a damn bomb. Um, I think they should just burn the set a fire to the building. <laughs> the way it used to be. Like when you cr- the, the sheriff would get a posse together. <laughs> yeah. hey, and they'd be like, come on out. We're setting the barn on fire. <laughs> that's how they got, uh, what's his name? The guy that killed uh, Lincoln. Who, didn't they set a Dude. barn on fire, and then he jumped out, and he fucked up broke his leg, his, and then he, yeah, he ran like... And then some doctor who he didn't know what was going on fucking healed his <laughs> leg, and then they killed that doctor, too. <laughs> <laughs> that poor asshole. Oh, just but like, that's what doctors have yeah, to do. He, he literally, that's the Hippocratic Oath. You yeah. have yeah, to yeah, yeah, do yeah. it. And my they just fa- killed him. <laughs> my favorite thing about Booth was that he was an actor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you know, his crew, they're like the uh, nine other people involved in that conspiracy to kill yeah, Lincoln yeah. or whatever, one of them was just... Legitimately a retarded guy. And you know how fucking retarded you had to be to be considered, like, retarded? In those days? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You had to be super. Oh, shit. I think Kurt actually does a bit about that. Really? Yeah, well, he does something about how the average IQ was, like, less than fucking 100 or something. See, we should have had him on. Yeah. Instead of uh, me accidentally doing his best. But, yeah, one of the guys was actually retarded in that, in that like... Uh, and didn't none of them, like, actually kill anyone else? Like, he was the only one or something like yeah, that? Yeah, he was the only one. Um, yeah, I don't think they were a particularly efficient conspiracy. How is it yeah. that the guy who killed the He was just, president? like, really motivated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wasn't in that play. He yeah. was just mad he didn't get cast in that play. I think, too, like... That's uh, true. I remember they reading... They should have let him in that play. He, he <laughs> made it to, like, Southern Maryland, and he was, like, holed up in somebody's bar or barn, and then he read the news, like, a couple days later, and it's, like, Nation mourns the loss of, like, you know, the president... And he was like, I thought people would be happy about it. Like, <laughs> he really was like upset that people weren't like calling him a hero. He really oh, thought wow. that. Yeah. <laughs> really misjudged the room. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's why he wasn't a successful actor. Yeah. Who's your favorite assassination guy? Sirhan Sirhan. Sirhan Sirhan. Such a yeah. good one. Really? Uh, I liked uh, the Charlie Thibault who did Garfield. He killed Garfield? He killed yeah. Garfield? Yeah. What about Jim Odin? Davis? <laughs> <laughs> he ended Jim Davis's reign of terror? But there's a, yeah. uh, there's a, a, a Johnny Cash song about it, and I probably oh, yeah? would not know about the assassination of... Or, well, about the, the shooting of... Oh, President right, right, Garfield. to try to get him. He, he took, like... He was, like, in the hospital for a very long time. Well, his like, doctors basically killed him. Garfield? Yeah, they were not good at medicine. <laughs> they, they did all this fucked yeah, up what shit. What even was if medicine? They had just, if they had just, just like, not... just, leeches on him. Yeah, yeah, if they had just not done anything to his gunshot wound, he might have recovered. But they were, like, putting shit in it, and then they, like... They literally gave him a whiskey enema. They, like, poured whiskey into his asshole <laughs> to save yeah. him. They were way into enemas. <laughs> they, like, they were into enemas and bleeding, because they're like, oh, there's bad blood. Bad we have to get blood. that out. Yeah. That was the doctor. <laughs> I was like, how do you even become a doctor? You just, like... Say you're the doctor. Yeah, so pretty much. You buy a white yeah. shirt. Yeah. 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 It was, uh, you had to know how to read. It was just, it used to be a thing. Like, Lincoln was like a country lawyer. Right. They didn't have, like, I don't think they had bar examinations. It was just, you know, you're like, well, I read the book. And yeah. then you could just be a lawyer. Yeah, you, well, he worked. Yeah, <laughs> so you was had he to, like, like, a correspondence course? Like, was, is it, like, the equivalent of, like... I think it was more like you're an intern, and then, like, once you've, like... Okay. 
You're a. I was hoping it wasn't like Arizona State or something where he was like. Yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix <laughs> University. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he went to DeVry. I just can't believe Garfield was the president. <laughs> yeah, you missed that. He outlawed Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> the six day week. The su- subsidized lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> All the fucking corn subsidies went to lasagna. Could be worse. To Stouffer's. Well, uh, I guess we should take a break. A little break. That was yeah. yeah. That, that, that was. Uh, it's got to be a quick one because we got we both got spots. We got to rush to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back in two seconds. Okay, explosive impact is basically gonna be a line of videos that I'm gonna be doing on basically rants. And if you don't know who I am, I'm formerly known as Dragon Kid. And the reason why I closed that account on YouTube is because I used it as a ghost account. Anyway, first on the charges for explosive impact. Hackers. I everyone's hate hate to deal with these cough suckers. You know? And I've been hacked by at least 60 of them over the past five years, ever since I heard the internet back in 2000. You know? Because uh because of either something I said by accident when I was talking to one of my friends online. The look of what my the look of an avatar I had on a website, or they just they were just bored. I had to deal with the same bullshit on a current. I had to deal. I still have to deal with the same cocksuckers on another chat site I'm on. Daria, the last the last the last chat site I was ever on was friggin' Wyville, and I've been hacked 45 times on that shit. Accounts and my computer. Just because of something I said. And also, my avatar looked like shit. I know. Can I ask you fucking idiots? What the fuck is up your asses when you decide to hack someone's computer despite the fact you know that you can go to jail for this shit? And you know. 456 viruses at the least I've suffered because of you fucking morons. Over the past five years. And what sick pleasure do you fucking asshats have when you decide to piss off someone by hacking into their computer and fuck around with their computer or an account that they have on a website? It's full of what? I mean, and and I also have the same problem with you hack threaders. Same, same first question I ask. Why would you risk jail just because of some, just because of what someone said in a video or some, or something that that, that person said in a chat? Site? Why would you? Oh yeah! Next on the friggin' charges for explosive impact. I just had an assembly on this exact same bullshit night, and I almost vomited. At Twin Lake Secondary School. If you go to that school, you probably feel the same way. Cyber bullies! You know? I've had to leave like 50 chat sites just because of this bullshit. Because someone's trying to ruin their reputation just because I said something, or if I didn't give 400,000 fake cash from the 400,000 website cash for their avatar, or whatever. Again, referring to the chat sites I was on. And then again, but then again, and also death threats I'm constantly hearing. Directing on other people that didn't do shit. Know? And also threats uh, to other to females of death if they didn't friggin' post naked on a webcam, you know? I got two questions for you assholes as well. Why would you make someone's life worse than yours online? Or try to ruin another per- person's reputation? Why? To increase yours? No, you're just trying to 
decrease yours and also you're looking like a complete asshole. You know? And and also, if I recall correctly, you can go to jail for five years in jail for this bullshit. And another question to you dickheads. Do you have the exact same sick pleasure of doing this shit for no reason as hackers? If you do, please post and I will sure as hell report your ass to the cops, okay? I promise you, anyone that admits to cyberbullying and loves to do it for pleasure, please post on this video so I'll track your ass down. Okay? And that's all I have to say to you dickheads. For now, this is Jedi and Kazama logging out for now. We're back. Uh, We're back, baby. Uh, what were we talking about during the break? We talked about a lot of good shit. We had a bunch of great jokes um, yeah, yeah. that'll be... Uh, Sorry, part of guys. that deleted episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you become one of Stavi's platinum or golden angels on pa- <laughs> Patreon, we should set up levels. We should do actual things. We already have one. If it really? gets to a $1,000, we're buying you hormones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'll Did you curious. not even check the page? You shared it without checking it. I, ch- I checked it, but I thought that was kind of like a bit. Do I actually have to get hormones? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I don't know how much hormones cost. Probably more than a thousand, I'm guessing, right? <laughs> I watched the surgery of how they make a dick. Uh-huh. Um, I actually just watched the how it's made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to the wiki how, and it was illustrated. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, man, those are so good. <laughs> They're so great. I want to meet the person that draws them. Yeah. Well, Did I you think see it's... the one to plan a family trip to Disneyland? No. It's, like, oh, nightmarish. Really? It's, There's... like, more oh, horrible fuck. than any, like... Ralph Steadman yeah. like art I've ever seen. My favorite one is How to Be Dark. It's like how to have like a dark personality and it's like It's like for goth kids? Yeah, yeah. It's like basically how to yes. be a goth, but it's how to be dark and it's like say sarcastic things all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's just like a group of people, then That's one incredible. guy with purple hair and people aren't talking to him. <laughs> one of them great. is like uh one of them is just uh, one of the the steps is do things your own way. And it's this, like, fey hand. (laughs) 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 Up close, like, limp-wristed hand. I love that, yeah, there's, like, clearly a euphemism. Like, when in in Indiana, whenever there's, like, a feminine kid and, like, men wanted to be, like, not homophobic and supportive of it, but maybe, like, couldn't accept that, like, their, their boy's a little marzipan man. They'd be like, well, he's really artistic. Yeah. <laughs> like, he didn't do any art or anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just he's like... He's a real weird guy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty funny. They're pretty funny over there. Do things your own way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, I guess, why don't we... T- what do you have going on? I don't, we're, like, wasting this guest. Yeah, yeah. You're much smarter I mean, than I guess you're us. here every week. I don't so. really... Yeah, I'm here. I don't have a lot going on. Uh, I No, I didn't mean like that. You, I mean, like, you, you know... You smacked we, down that professor, man. Oh, You beat, yeah. beat up a professor? Well, I know you how um, invested your listeners are in <laughs> Marxist feminist economics. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that's like every single one of yeah. them. That's yeah. all the tweets I so, get. So if you're uh, picking up the Boston Review anytime soon, <laughs> I have a materialist feminist theory of misogyny in response to Professor Kate Mann's recent essay about Trump. And it's uh, I'm not making Ugh. this up, it, but it is real. Um, First of all, Kate Mann, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Man. yeah. It's like, why should I even listen to a word she has to say? <laughs> I'm with you. Stupid. So what'd she say? Was it dumb? Let's uh, beat her up, dude. Yeah. N- yeah. I, she was up. like, men hate women because of, like, weird resentment and well. that the enforcing arm of... Misa- you you Rick, you don't actually want to hear about this. <laughs> you know who's the listener of our podcast? <laughs> Judith Butler. You know that? <laughs> Have you ever tried to read know. that? Who yeah. Oh about? my god, yeah. it's There's real this, boring. Like, the Wait, like the and- the president <laughs> the president of like academic queer theory and like m- modern 
the president? You read, like, Basically, like, so, like so it's you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it's just you. It. It's you because you're, 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 you're a fucking gay queer. Bitch. <laughs> no, no like we have a there? specific tone to this show. Yeah. <laughs> and you're really fucking it up for us, man. <laughs> Adam, stop. I tried to read it. Yeah, in why college. did you ask me this question, Nick, for Christ's sake? Oh, I don't know. Because I'm like, br- I'm burning this. up. My fucking uh, well, brain I'd is like melting. Well, I'd like to talk about Marxist feminist Shulamith Firestone for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's about filling that time, baby. Oh, uh, we're filling that void, bitch. I have. I have an advice column for the baffler that's more interesting. Okay, yeah, Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, Recently, the one that's going to run tomorrow is someone asking what they should do because they think that their older friends think that they're immature, but he's not really close to these friends, (laughs) but they're like, you know, maybe telling his other friends. And I had to be like, you're like, 22 and like you don't you this is not a pro- your problem is not a problem like i had to be like you just this is in the gentlest way possible like this is boring and you should not care about this and he sounds immature yeah i was just like, appropriately immature for his age he sounds like I he's think. playing pokemon go at the holocaust museum if you ask uh, me Call I got back. to drop in Woo! Pokemon <laughs> into yeah. the answer too. Everyone I know playing Pokemon right now is thirty. I'm not. I'm not lying. Well, that's you. that's like age appropriate. It's also the same like, people yeah. going to see the Ghostbusters. I never played or not it, going but to see someone it. Uh, like people were like mad about it. They're like, "Why are you playing a child's game?" And and then I was like, "Okay, well now I'm downloading it." Yeah, because yeah, yeah. like yeah. instead of resentment for people who hate fun. Yeah, that oh, well, that's stupid to like be mad at. Yeah, at people for playing a game. Yeah, but you know what else is stupid? Not paying respect to the Black Lives Matters movement. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's what the hot you're take. doing. Well, by... that's what you're doing by going to see Lady Ghostbusters. It is you're basically true. saying Black Lives Don't Matter. I'm seeing see Lady Ghostbusters week. on Thursday. Oh, yeah. I, the reviews for it are yeah. uh, sort of mixed. It's good. Yeah, that's what I hear. Really? Like, yeah. I, I not heard that. don't think it's going to be good. But I'm going to be on another podcast to talk about it oh. as the other requisite feminist. I'm really excited <laughs> for uh, Lady Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. sure there's women in it. So <laughs> They got a girl, Will Smith. They do. Yeah. Uh, it's played by, uh, by uh, his wife. Jada Pink. Jada Pink. Jada Pink. Jada well, has Willow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! His yeah. daughter. He has Willow Smith. <laughs> Willow. We, all, we yeah. all. Before we said it, we all locked eyes and smiled before we said Jada two in the pink. One in the stink. <laughs> Damn! I love being smart as hell. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. I just really like being around my peers. Yeah, intellectually. <laughs> intellectually, we're tra- we'll try and slow it down for you. Okay. Yeah. What do you got? You know. Yeah, I mean, do you want to? Do you want to see? Do you want to see the Lady Ghostbusters movie with me? I have um, to see it for a podcast. I want to see the pets. I, I have the to go. Pets I'm one. going to it on Friday. I get invited to it on Friday. Okay. I, mean, I can't. You I, gotta invite. You gotta yeah, invite. Yeah. Yeah. Scott Chaplin invited me. I don't want to see oh, it alone. Shit. That's fun. <laughs> well, Scott Chaplin invited me, and I know the people. He's going with people that are like, we're going to it to have a problem with the movie. <laughs> That's I'm trying only... to go into it with yeah. an oh, open damn, mind, but it's just, now. it's like so clearly like pandering. Like, yeah. the, did you guys see the BuzzFeed thing that was like 10 ways you can support Lady Ghostbusters? I, now I just call it Lady <laughs> Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> well, and like, it, it it's like they're title. treating it like go seeing a movie. I'm not sure if it was a sponsored post or not, but they're like, oh, this is like, you know, sitting at a lunch counter in Alabama right, in 1963. Right, 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 right. Like, it no, it's seeing a fucking movie. It's exactly. The, the only thing about it that, <laughs> yeah, that bothered me is that, like, I, first of all, I thought it came out like seven months ago. No, because people have been losing their shit over it. And it's like this yeah. weird cultural, it's like the benchmark for like what kind of a person are you how do you feel but who even is losing i think yeah i think a lot of that is pr shit no 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 i know women (laughs) some of them are losing their shit over lady ghostbusters no no you mean like in the positive oh i thought like Like the the bros that have a problem with it i think that's overblown yeah no that's a total it's a false flag is what it is (laughs) i think it's like 12 guys on reddit i don't don't think that's like yeah no there's anything else there's no real backlash but like there's like this kind of 
sort of reactionary feminist response to it is like, no, it's going to be so good. It's like, it's probably not, man. It's yeah, probably going to be pretty bad. Yeah, man, as, like... as much as people complain about, like, baby boomers, they didn't have to, like, reboot fucking everything. Right, right, right. Like, right. Re- all it was was Sha Na Na, and that was it. That was yeah. the only fucking thing that they did where they're like, let's bring this back. And yeah. they were like, no, don't do that. And they're like, okay. Bad and grease. then they just made new shit. And it was bad all good. <laughs> Yeah, Do you know the Pets know. movie that just came out is the highest grossing opening for an original idea? Like something <laughs> that is not an adaptation or a reboot. How is that an original idea? I guarantee because you it's, it's the same story, story as Toy Story. Yeah, it's yeah, Toy Story. It's fucking yeah. Toy Story. Yeah. Yeah. Dog, yeah. Which is less imaginative than Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Toy, yeah. Toys are inanimate objects. Yeah, it's yeah. true. And they actually did it before with the little toaster movie, which was an animate oh, object. That was before. good as shit. That movie was and great. That was fucking dark. That movie was dark yeah, as it was shit. Bleak. There was my. Th- there's a song in that movie called "You're Worthless." Yeah. It's called like "Worthless," where there's like trapped in like a junkyard and all these cars are being destroyed, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah, singing yeah, about yeah. like That's how fucked. they had purpose in life, yeah. but now they're now they're dying. And they're dying. No, I <laughs> had a like in real time. I had a friend who. Sh- she's Irish and like she had never seen it before, and she was like. I'm watching this American cartoon. What did they raise you on? Yeah, like this fucked. is dark as hell. What the, I, everything the Irish produce is incredibly dark fucking as depressing. Hell. Angela's ashes. Angela's ashes. <laughs> is like the most. But I think Irish yeah. people kind of hate Angela's ashes. Like they think it's like schmaltzy crap. Uh, like, really? Yeah. There was some like, Irish movie. At that least porn, that's the people. Yeah. Porn. There was yeah. some. I, I was looking at like Michael Madsen's fucking IMDb like six years ago, and like <laughs> this is a great story. Yeah. Well, the last thing he was in at the time was some like Irish movie where he's like. He plays a boxer who, like, <laughs> he, he beat his best friend to death, <laughs> like, by accident or whatever. You know, how and that And that's, happens. like, see the first scene in the movie. Where do we go from here? In my and neighborhood. everyone gets cancer. In my neighborhood, you had to fight your way out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's when I fight. started fighting. <laughs> you had to fight? You ever see that documentary about that, that gypsy fighter? The Irish gypsy fighter. Snatch? Uh, <laughs> it's, it was, there was this guy that's like, they have these like Irish gypsies. These yeah, the just, bare knuckle. The bare yeah. knuckle guys, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's this one dude that's just, all he does is just, just bare knuckle fights, but he like beat up a bunch of wolves one time. <laughs> and there was like a time where like a whole town was after him and he had to like beat up everyone in the town. Do you remember when they made that movie with Liam Neeson? They're like, he's going to punch a wolf and then everyone saw it and he's like, he doesn't actually punch a wolf in the movie. Oh, the what gray, a, right? The gray, What yeah. a fucking he was, piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, you thought he was going to fight wolves, but I don't think he, he makes so many punch. good movies. wanted him to punch a wolf. That's what the trailer said. Is that in this movie? He's I would have loved to see him. Gonna punch, punch a, wolf. a wolf. He makes a lot of good movies, and he also has pissed his pants in public numerous times. <laughs> really? There's like several photos. Depardieu on... pees his pants <laughs> all the time. Depardieu. I mean, the weight on <laughs> Depardieu's bladder. I, yeah. If he wasn't incontinent, it would be like a miracle. I don't Just, know what's going on down I there. Lack of the Muslims. <laughs> That's my Depardieu. That's your trade-off as you get famous, but then you just pee yourself a little bit <laughs> all the time. Would you do it. that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm destined for that anyway. I have to piss every 45 minutes, so... I was saying that the other day. It's like... <laughs> uh, I feel like all, all... pretty. I know Adam shit his pants like twice in the last two years. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, twice in today. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, one time in my car. You shit your pants in my car. I more puked my face in your but car. Yeah, okay. Let a little, little shit come out. Yeah. There was a little poop that... <laughs> I had food poisoning. Yeah, a lot, a lot of my friends, a lot of my adult friends, have shit themselves in adulthood. I don't know anyone that's accidentally pissed themselves. It doesn't uh, happen. Which you is the pull less your dig out and piss on the sidewalk. Sure, but it's the I, less serious one. I know people one. who have like pissed themselves getting like drunk, like passed out. I've never done that. Really? Never once. I pissed in my car one time, but I like was conscious enough to pull down my pants and then piss all over the floor of the car. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> one time, my roommate in college got up in the middle of the night, fucking pulled out his fucking, pulled out his uh, uh, dresser, mm-hmm. stood up like, oh and, yeah, and then put but put his clothes. In from a yeah. camper and then pissed on it. No, it I know someone who did that with thing. the dryer. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> incredible. Yeah, I did that all over my uh, my laptop one time. I like woke up in like, the middle of the night. It's and like you're drunk and you understand there's a thing that you have yeah. to lift and like. Yeah. No, I piss. I started pissing on my laptop. I was like, oh no, that's not right. And then I walked over to the corner of the room and started pissing on uh, a sewing machine. <laughs> um, I did see someone. Sewing machine, bitch. Yeah. Uh, my friend Dan wake up, not even totally wake up, and walk over to an oscillating fan 
and piss in it. That probably sounded was it cool. Going? Was it going? That'd be awesome. I left the room. Yeah, yeah no, it was going. <laughs> oh, I would love to yeah. watch that. It's I left the room and I got in my car. And you, I didn't come back. There's this. You know what I love? You know what I love in like airplane when somebody's like, D- the shit's about to hit the fan, and then like shit actually hits a fan yeah. and flies That's around. Goals. And it's like, yeah, it like mm-hmm. you, they just put everything in there that they could. <laughs> like yeah. now, fucking no effort to edit or Fuck maybe it. like a better joke would work no, here. You know what I was talking about the other day? Um, you know what I think it w- would be funny? Do you remember OJ's character in the Naked Gun movies? Was yeah. Klutz? Yeah. That was, so I was just imagining Put him together. in jail just like tripping over things. Yeah, yeah. Knives flipping all yeah, over the place. That's how he accidentally killed Nicole. That's how he accidentally Whoa. killed his wife. Yeah. <laughs> he was like holding flowers and then yeah, like yeah. some sort of series. like clip the ends here. Get really some tragic. Some Ru- Rube Goldberg sequence of events <laughs> led to the death of Nicole Brown Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole time that like uh, that Looney Tunes like bum 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 ba da ba da bum bum <laughs> yeah, like that song's playing. They didn't even fucking mention Leslie Nielsen in that five part documentary series. Throw yeah. it in the trash. What if five part me. documentary series? The OJ. Naked Gun. The OJ. Uh, we had to have yeah. the, we had the show, and now there's a documentary. The documentary because we have though. to it's, reboot OJ he's, too. He's the new Steve Jobs. It's, it's just got to have like a lot of a lot of bios on him. Very significant figure. When are we gonna have a lady OJ? You know. <laughs> Kanye said Kim. When it, it should him. Serena or Venus murder her wife? <laughs> her white wife. <laughs> One of them. Drake, if Serena killed Drake, that would be, that would be female OJ. Serena's the goat, man. She's the best athlete ever. Oh my God! Shut up! Stop trying. Dude, that's my take, dude. I wrote that in the Boston Review this month. Yeah. Here's, here's my Boston Review. Uh, it stinks. <laughs> Yankees. Hey, go Sox. Okay. Uh, all right. Jesus fucking and Christ. And strong. Uh, oh, yeah. Are they still strong? Stuff. I guess I think that that's expired now. I think people are back to disliking Boston. Because when the Boston bombing so. happened, Boston is like, as a city, is like the police. Where, yeah. you know, like after Dallas, it's they got a, a couple of, of days cops. of sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. And so after, after that, Boston had a little bit of it. But that's not going to continue. People went back to hating Boston just like they hate the police. Every time I go there, I'm like, this is the most unattractive city <laughs> and I'm from, like, an ugly place where people are, like, unattractive. Yeah. And, like, you know, mm-hmm. you move to New York and you're like, oh, people are so good looking. Yeah. Right. And, like, it, and I realize it's kind of like that in, like, most cities. But, like, Boston has the ugliest, most miserable fucking people you're in talking it. people. Yeah. Oh, you mean, like, emo- like they're how they're all racist? <laughs> I mean, they're ugly on the inside, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, also you're just, just I mean, it's, like, the winter or something. And yeah, they just become, down. like... F- yeah, they're just beaten down, and they just, like, scowl, and it becomes a part of their soul. I was, like, blown away by how less racist the South is in the Northeast when I, <laughs> when I you know, moved to the South. In what ways? It, well, it's just... You lived in Austin. Yeah, though. but, I mean, if, even if you go outside of that and go around, like, Texas and the South, I mean, I've pl- uh, performed plenty in the South. And, like, yeah. I mean, I assume because there are, like, less black people in Texas. Yeah, well, it's all segregated. I mean, it's all like... Every you know, American city is segregated. Yeah, but not like it is in the South. It's Except like, for America. Or America. <laughs> Except for <laughs> New York. Yeah. New York's like... Baby Astoria. D.C.'s pretty integrated, too. No, uh, it's not. Dude, no, we're it's not. literally pushing them out. Yeah, but I feel like it wasn't like that, like, eight, nine years ago. It was chocolate... I mean, it was yeah. 75% black, yeah. like, 15 years ago. Or something crazy Baltimore's like that. super segregated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like... In the South, it's like there's a dividing line. I mean, Detroit's the same way, where you have, like, one road where, you know, like, I I remember being in a restaurant, like, a block north of, like, Eight Mile Road, and uh, me and my friend went in there, and they advertised, like, fucking Coney dogs all over Detroit. Yeah, that's Detroit. Yeah, it's like Coney, like, Jim's Coney Island. There's all these places, like, Dan's Coney Island or whatever. What's that all about? Well, that's what I did. I went in a diner after seeing it a million times. I was like, what the fuck is a Coney dog? And I said that, and these, like, three old white guys were like, oh, man, you don't know what a Coney dog is. Like, ah, let me tell you, it's got a, you know... And he no, starts I don't explaining. Know he's about like, it's your a, terrible depression. Yeah, dude. he's like, it's a hot dog, <laughs> and it's got chili on it. So I was like, oh, so it's a chili dog? He's like, nah, it's different. It's got onions. I'm like, that's a chili dog. He's like, and cheese. <laughs> I'm like, you dog. guys got nothing. Yeah. You guys got nothing at all here. 
and you named yeah. it a different place. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Not even a right. Detroit dog. Well, then we start talking to him, and like uh, the guy's like, "Well, right now you're in like Warren, but you see that? That's like Eight Mile Road. You do not want to go south of there." And like we had like driven north from there, and he's like, "It's filled with black people." You know? <laughs> Uh, in Canada, they have a chain called Boston Pizza, which is like the uh, like an American city that has no pizza, like right. no signature yeah. pizza. Boston pizza? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. That it's just a really racist pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the, the racism in the Northeast, though, it's more, you know, maybe it's not like holding prejudices or, you know, being, or, you know, or, or like... I um, mean, it's pretty... Holding on to stereotypes. It's because hostile it's... Hostile here. Yeah. Well, it is. It's because you're, like, people are so butted up against each other. So you're more likely to hear probably racial slurs here, but there's not as much of, I'd say... Structural? Yeah, that's structural racism you see in the South, which is like, oh, that's from when these people used to well, clean your house. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it's, a black person can't be mayor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Uh, that's that's yeah, the yeah. kind of racism in the South. Where right, like, exactly. Whereas but in, they'll be really kind to the, you know, to you, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, I'm from know. Indiana, and it's like the South of the Midwest. Yeah, like yeah. we revived the KKK after well, the it was gone. Are there. We're like, yeah, huh? My headquarters yeah, are the Klan and KKK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not even creative. Yeah. <laughs> it's really different. We're the Lady Ghostbusters of racism. <laughs> <laughs> Does Mike Pence want to be Veep? Uh, I God, I hope not. Adam, stop knowing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you want to hear? Uh, this is something I heard this weekend. I walked in, or two weekends ago, I walked in on a room where there was a group of people doing cocaine, and I the first it. thing I heard in that room was this guy saying, bro, Staten Island smokes the most weed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You've been holding on to that this whole time? This whole time. <laughs> And then, and then I was like, and then I was like, oh, maybe because it's like the islands, you know, yeah. like Staten Island. <laughs> like, Staten we smoke the, the most weed. <laughs> Staten Island, <laughs> the most airy borough. <laughs> Staten Island has its own hashtag now. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, best value borough. Hashtag best value borough. Really? Oh, They've got man. those all That's over the terrible. Staten Island Ferry. That's terrible. They've got uh, their own It's hashtag. the borough in like the white box with the black lettering that says, still technically New York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How annoying would it be to live there? It would be fucking brutal, right? Everyone Hanging I know the from there hates clan it. All day long, dude. <laughs> Everyone I know cool. from there hates it. They hate it? You have yeah. to take the ferry, right? Yeah. Is everyone there a firefighter? Um, I, there's a lot everyone's of cops. Everyone's union. Yeah, everyone's either eating a sandwich <laughs> or they're, they're a firefighter. Yeah, I'm in the sandwich so union. Nick and, I, Nick and I went to Staten Island to, uh, when I first moved here to see the Staten Island Yankees. Yeah. And I'd go. Did we tell this on the podcast? I think so. JP Sportman? JP Sportman. No, we didn't. You four we stories. Did yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. I mean, we <laughs> didn't tell this on the podcast. No, no, we were just we just talked we about We told it Felix about this yeah. recently. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, we were like the Staten Island Yankees play they're the single A team for the Staten Island or for the Yankees organization. And basically, you could just go up and sit like right up front. You sit in the dugout. And uh, there was a guy on the other team, the Vermont River Monsters. <laughs> 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 and uh, they're like coming up uh coming up next to the or the stadium announcer's like, uh, shortstop, J.P. Sportman. <laughs> and so Nick and I were just, woo! Sportman! Sportman! <laughs> yeah, you Sportman! Got, you got, that's an alien who fucking... There was some... Yeah, they're really phoning in the, uh... The... What? The River Monsters? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's not... The that's Burlington not River Monsters? Yeah. yeah insane. The, there was, uh... There was a fucking... Some Staten Island dad with his, like, two sons... And he's like harassing some guy in the bullpen. He's like, "Hey, hey, buddy, hey, hey can I get a ball for my fucking kid, please?" You know, and the guy ignores him. And he's like, "Yeah, keep doing steroids, then, you fucking faggot!" <laughs> <laughs> right in front of his son. <laughs> his son's like right there, and he's like, "Fathers are so important in a young child's yeah. life for moments like that." Yeah. <laughs> keep doing fucking steroids. Yeah, keep doing fucking steroids. <laughs> like he knows about that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he's reading age. some yeah, blog yeah. accusing him of <laughs> just wearing like an FDNY shirt with a smoldering Twin Towers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. They, they really have not forgotten it. Yeah. Well, they haven't shut up about it. <laughs> they cannot That's stop. That's the other slogan. Never shut up about Never it. Never shut the fuck up about it. Hey, yeah, you're listening to 9-11 podcast. 
podcast. <laughs> yeah, we do a fucking podcast every week about 9 11. We do nine hours in a Bro, I don't think you understand. Week. Staten Island smokes the most weed. Oh. <laughs> out of all five boroughs. Is that was it? Five boroughs? It wasn't just in the world? No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no oh, I think he was claiming that out of all five boroughs, stat, you, it's in our blood. And I was like, it's okay. A I don't, heritage. I don't know even. Yeah. Remember that video of that angry Guido who was mad at his like cousin for moving to Boston and becoming a Red Sox fan? No. Oh man. So it's uh, uh, <laughs> like there's a guy and he's sitting in his computer and he's like on like a Skype call or he's making a YouTube video for his like cousin Nick mm-hmm. who moved to Boston and became a Red Sox fan. And he's just like pissed off like <laughs> bro. And he's got a friend in the background. He's got his shirt off and he's wearing sunglasses and he's just like flexing or whatever. And he's like, "You see this?" Fucking Patron. It's all I drink. It's in my fucking blood. <laughs> He's like, because I'm not a fucking faggot like you. <laughs> He's, like, He's like screaming and threatening to kill his fucking cousin. That's great. That's good stuff. Well, well we've uh, filled our contractually obligated <laughs> amount of time. Yep. yep. Um, to get paid by Anthony Cumia. Yeah. The, oh, I forgot to do the Anthony yeah. Cumia bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys, this is why... It's Rod Rose. You, we, the, what we were trying to... This one was like high concept. What we want to do with this one is show you what happens if you guys tried to make a podcast. <laughs> okay? This is how it would turn out. It would be complete shit. <laughs> so you fucking donate the money because donate. we're professionals and uh, yeah, we, we need those track suits. Actually, Adam's got Adam has some fucking benefactor that's getting us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my my uh, I have a silent silent angel, angel investor. I love it. He's an uh, angel. Yeah, well, we're getting those track suits, I guess. So, I and guess we're gonna do a photo shoot with my new dog Isis and us those track Stop suits. Stop trying to get Isis in the mix, dude. Dude, no. Isis is the first lady of come down. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> even discussed. I'm not even necessarily opposed, but you can't just say it on the podcast. Wait, know? did you mention the dog wa- on this one? Did you already bring up the dog? We brought up ISIS. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. yeah. your yeah. short-term memory is shot. I'm burning yeah. up, man. It's it fucking hot so hot. Yeah, it's your rasta ganja, man. All I ate today was like a bunch of chicken. Yeah, and I was gonna eat. I did got no vegetables. Slaving need... over a hot stove. Yeah, no, I'm I'm burned. Time's your spot. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go right. bomb thanks at this for show. Thanks having me on. <laughs> of course, thanks. Uh, for doing yeah, it. thanks for doing it. Sorry, we thank you, didn't Amber. ask you about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anything. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that's not Karl Marx or well, the economy. Or Normally on Alpha Dog uh, podcast, uh, they're really mean to the one woman in the room. Yeah, yeah like, and, and I'm just an supposed to go. Hey, what do you yeah. think, tits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's, that shit is that is my favorite part about all those podcasts is the girl. You that's boys, like, hey, juicy yeah. bitch. Yeah, hey, hey, you with the pussy? <laughs> How hey, many vagina she's... lips? <laughs> How many black guys were in there this weekend? She just huh? makes like yeah, yeah. I, like I can tell you, in one place, black lives matter noises <laughs> for like an hour and a half. What's that? She just makes like affectionately disapproving noises, like yeah. our house. Oh like, my yeah. god, you're my boy. Well, they used to have. <laughs> I had, we have my fun. Boys. They had Caitlyn on. They had Caitlyn on on Race Wars, and like her only role was to give the commenters something to get angry about. That's hilarious. Like pretty much, like every episode was like, "Who's this just fucking dumb bitch reading books <laughs> on the show <laughs> talking about book shit?" It was great. No, well, thank All you right. for not making me the girl. Oh yeah, sure. no, we don't. Uh, we have a no girl policy here. Yeah. I mean, we we'll have we have girls on the podcast, but there's no girl. There's no podcast girl. Appreciate it. Um, which makes it hard, you know. We gotta have yeah. somebody to shit on, and it used to be Seth. But we need an intern. Yeah, well, we need a new well, I Seth. Hear there's a disturbance in the in the force in the electromagnetic fields. Yeah. around Earth, but. That's what I've been reading. Oh, Mercury and retrograde? Yeah. The yeah. problem is, is that we're all bullies. And if we don't have someone to bully, then it becomes very difficult to, you know, reconcile our own lives, which makes oh, it yeah, harder. Oh, yeah, our terrible lives. It makes it harder to, like, talk. So, I mean, I, I, Seth, for me, you take him out of the picture. This is the first one where I haven't mentioned him, I think. No. Yeah. Well, until now. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot. <laughs> I'm glad I could seg you into that, though, because yeah. it's really, it's your strongest well, suit. Well, you right. technically did mention Seth just now. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was, a, so, it wasn't anything mean. No, yeah, I know. Um, well, hey. Perfect. That's Bye. it. That's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. See ya. Donate. Bye. Don't tell them to donate after. <laughs> after that, I have to get more stuff like this. Yeah, all right. To get more good stuff. Adam, you want to say goodbye? Uh, yeah, I I just appreciate you guys for listening. You're probably not listening at this point. 
we've been closing. No, I just want to see if I can get to a full hour. Oh, How close um, are we? We're like five seconds away. Oh, hell okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Anyone want to say the N word? Anyone want to be brave enough? On three, we all say the N word. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, two, three. Ah, oh, shit. All right. Well, the final episode. We did it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Get on the